Good evening. All right. For those of you who don't know, Rumble, um, I'm multi-streaming to Rumble. What's up, Rumble? Um, on YouTube, when you come into the stream beforehand, you just kind of look at the picture. In Rumble, there's a little, uh, it can be up to two minutes long, but it has kind of a looping video option. So I've been working on my video loop for the little intro thing. I really do need an intro. And that's what this is. I'm out of here. This is just the rough draft. Um, I've got a few changes I'm going to make before it's finalized, but take a look. Give me any thoughts if you have. And well, I'll talk about it after. This idea is courtesy of the Caucasian Sasquatch. This is for the flow state people. Flow state. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state is awesome. Flow state. You see flow state on my show? Flow state. You love flow state. I really flow. do love flow state. Flow, <laughs> flow state. I'm on flow uh, broadcast. That's flow. You noticed it. Okay. Flow states. All right, flow state. I owed flow state one. Flow states. Flow state. Oh. Mr. Flow state. Mr. Flow state. What's up, flow state? Yeah. Flow state. Flow state. Flow states. Hit the panel, flow. Flow state. Flow state. Mr. Flow stage. Flow state. 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 Flow. I do like flow. I do like flow too. Ban flow state and the backup. Flow state is just playing games. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Welcome to flow state. Flow state. Well, there's flow state right there. Yo, flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. You need to go to flow state. Flow state. That's flow state. Flow state over here. Flow state. You fuck flow state. Flow state. Like flow state. Flow state gets all the girls. Flow state. Shout out. Flow. Flow state. Slow state. No, no. I mean, like, I don't even have to hate on slow state. Flow state. On flow state is so great. Flow state. Of flow states. <laughs> what you're creating, flow. Flow state. Hey, Yo, flow state. What up, flow state. Yeah. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state. Flow state's the expert. Flow state. All right. There's flow state. He's cool. Hey yo, flow state. Uh, flow state is on up and up. Flow state in the house. Hey yo, flow state, man. So Luke, I'll support flow state, man. I hate flow state, and I'll even say his name once for his sake, because I know he loves to hear it come out in his mouth. That's why he's got so many of my clips that he plays. But me saying his name, he loves it. He faps to it. He fucks his <laughs> wife to it. He says, "Hold up, honey, I'm about to come. Let me play some of these Tom clips saying my name." What up? There's the man of, the, of his word. Thank you. Yep, I don't lie. You, you must uh, not want to get caught with my interest terms again. What's that? You must not want to get stung by my interest rates again, huh? You damn right. <laughs> 187 every three hours. Damn. Yep, yep. Did you see me apologize today and then blame you? Yep, I saw that you little cheese eater. <laughs> I wasn't. Good. That I wasn't. Was good. Good. Huh? You that got was you good. guys ain't doing Jack no favors. This um, is Irish tonight, guys. This is Irish coffee. Where's my Cynthia? Don't get. Where's the clip from the last time you were drunk on here? It's the same. I finished the bottle tonight. Irish coffee is what? Bailey's and something? It's rum. Oh. It's rum, pumpkin spice rum. Well, that's not Bailey's. Yeah. Pumpkin spice rum and what? Coffee. Oh. Uh, like I little... never mix alcohol and, and like real caffeine. Ba well. Bailey's is Irish cream. Anywho, that was a great clip. Good job. I liked it. And you had a lot of people in there. Yeah. So he told me just clip up two minutes of people just saying your name. And so yeah. obviously I didn't follow his instructions perfectly. There's some, you know, phrasing that. But right. uh, my my first thought was no, that'll be both boring and sort of 
uh, narcissistic or something. I don't know. But um, the more I started working on it, the more I was like, actually, this really does kind of work yeah. well for like, it's like a screensaver, you know, sort of. So mm-hmm. I need to put it out and spread some things out, but. It looks good. I like the vibe. And then I've got a longer one um, that actually might be ready for the end of this room that I'm going to use for an outro. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's uh, Flow State's Greatest Hates. Mm. And it's 30 minute montage of people just talking shit about me. Extra outro for 30 minutes? That's interesting. I don't know if I'll use it, if I'll actually use it that long, but that's how long, that's how long the thing is I have now already ready. Um, I can't, I mean, this file's getting so big that I can't add anymore without it just bogging down my uh, cap cut. What's I came up, here. Lib? I came here to say that um, uh, caffeine, so like Monster plus vodka, mm, that shit's good. Oh yeah, Vegas bombs. I get kicked. I used to get kicked out of bars every time I would do Jaeger bombs. Vegas. Yeah, fair. Hey, what is your uh, what's your topic of tonight? I'm trying to find a good th- thumbnail to restream. Well, my topic of every night is. Wherever the topic goes, my nothing thoughts yeah. coming into it though. I mean, like, so my fallback is uh, last night I went on a different panel and um, they were talking, it, there was manosphere shit going on there. And oh, so, ew. have you heard of uh, what's manosphere? Uh, it's it's the the MGTOW things like Rolo. Have you heard of him? I Who groaned? Shit, I, me, I thought that shit died out like. Half a decade ago, I I ignored it for the same. I, I know, I, I do too. <laughs> it's so cr- It's so cringe. Like, look, okay, no, I okay. <laughs> men's rights activists, okay, men's rights activism is good and valid and like needed. I think, but I don't fucking think so. mig MGTOWs, Well, I mean, I think it's needed in the same way that like feminism is is needed, and that it's always good to have people who are pushing for good things to happen in society. Um. Like, and I do think that there are specific <laughs> problems that men face in our society that I think we ought be aware of that uh, I think um, uh, hy- hypothe- that theoretically men's rights activists could be bringing awareness of, but it's all just like MGTOW, <laughs> like red pill shit. And it's like MG- MGTOW, yeah, red MGTOW pill. And MGTOW is so angry. MGTOWs are so yeah. angry. Oh, I know. And they're in yeah. denial about their anger. Right, like they're like, look, yep. man, I don't, fu- I don't hate women, but also fuck women. It's like, yep. come on, man. Do so, um, the MGTOWs, do they have mom issues or do they have issues getting women? Partner issues, partner issues. Partner issues. Yeah. Partner, yep. And Usually they're mad about good. it, and they blame everybody else. It's it's a whole nightmare thing. And I'd run into lots of people, you know, on here who have that sort of ideology. I just never looked. At, at Rolo's, not he's got like nine laws or some shit like that. Um, they're fucking ridiculous. I only looked at five and. Oh, well, ever since it. they let women out of the kitchen. What? For real. Hmm. I did a cooking live stream today. And in the kitchen. I did she- a cooking live stream today. Yeah, I was about to say I would I would take take offense to that, except for the fact that um. I literally just came from the kitchen. Uh, I was cooking, I was I was making cookies and stuff today. Mm, nice. Um, and I made but, a, a, a. Hold on, hold on. Before I lose the thought, you said about the men's and women's rights activists. I don't. This is about the only place you'll ever hear me say I agree with the laws and the courts. Um, they are at least all the ones I've seen are written so perfectly gender neutral hmm. for the kids behalf that um i don't i actually think that any rights for a specific any rights activism for a an individual group in this case is only going to fuck up the balance well i mean if you're talking about like in the court system as far as like uh like divorce court and stuff like that i actually agree with you i think like um our our divorce courts have gotten significantly better as in like they've become began more like objectively viewing um, the situation in terms of like the kids' well-being when children are involved, yep. you know, like yep. um, 
uh, no longer is it, ah, yes, default women get the kids and the dad is always stuck with paying child support. Now the courts are very much so, very much so more like, hey, look, who's the breadwinner? Um, who makes more money and who has the kids? And then we'll determine based off of those things, which is, I think, a, a reasonable way to do it, you know? Because yeah, more and more. Right. Yeah, but there's, still, more this, there's still this narrative out there that, that the dads will get fucked and it's real heavy in these groups of, of incel. Yeah. Of that. Um, and it's just fucking wrong. It's yeah. just flat out wrong. I've, yeah. I've and, and I know this is anecdotal, which is what they say because they love defaulting the stats that make them the victims. But uh, I've been in two, I've won cu sole custody, sole legal custody of mm -hmm. my daughter twice in court. Well, see, the thing is, the stats no longer uh, uh, work in their favor. See, like they have to go back like 20, 30 years uh, ago to like pull up stats that that even vaguely support their positions. If they were to bring up stats, you know, that are more recent, it wouldn't support them because while yes, predominantly women do still get custody, um, the, like the situations, the, the, the times when like the, the woman gets custody and she shouldn't get custody have gone down dramatically. Um, yeah. uh, the court I system agree. is just better now it's just better equipped to deal with those kinds of things more objectively agree which is good like shit that's what that's i mean we should be like shouting this from the fucking rooftops about how awesome it is how uh activism and and making noise about stuff d d worked d it improved like life for a lot of people it's good you know yeah, but, uh, but the MIG, but the MGTOW people just want people something to complain to, like, yeah, like their oh. ideology is is the end of any success. I mean, the whole ideology just dives straight forward into the problem it's supposed to create mm -hmm. that it's supposed to to solve. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna pull up those rules and look at them. Make sure to hit the like button and don't forget you can join the membership game for one dollar. You can use the custom emojis. Best bargain on the internet. Indeed. Indeed. Did you hear that stupid advice Scott was trying to give Jack? Uh, <laughs> what I was Scott thinking? What was it? Go to a strip club. Oh. No, I'm talking about the stop sit shit. Oh. Uh, ownership, ownership of his house. Man, oh, yeah. I wish Scott would quit running around running his fucking dumbass mouth about that shit. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> they have really fucking no idea. I've been through the conversation with him three times at the minimum about how notes work when you take out a loan from the bank to buy a house. And like literally nothing sticks at all ever. No, I remember twice you walked all the way through the process, even using Black Law's dictionary, and he still argued with you. So, yeah, he's determined. To, I mean, this is a faith for him. It's not. Or it's, a, it's a religion. He's not going to change his mind because it's not grounded in reality to begin with. I think that going to strip club sounds like an all right idea, though. Yeah, well, if, if you're if you're out, of, like, why the fuck not have a good time? All right, because because he's living by the principles of supposedly uh -huh. a godly standard. Oh, so you can go by a godly so standard. What? But hold on. So why why do you use in that like if he's trying to do something? Why are you using that as a as a hammer? So I worked at the club and I went to church. And everybody at church knew I worked at the club. Like, nobody had an issue with it. Nobody was like, what kind of godly person works at the club? Like, they encouraged me to do ministry there. And I did have some pretty good praying moments with a few people. But I think that's so judgmental to be like, you're supposed to be a Christian man. Why would you go to a strip club? Like, dude. It's, it's one of the seven deadly sins. So is gluttony. So was everything. We gotta stop pointing out also, everybody's also sin. The, the, the deadly, the the seven, like the deadly sin thing, is a very like 
specific kind of kind of sash. Bullshit. Sash. This is Irish tonight. It's gonna be that type of night. Sash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sash. Are you drinking that oh, like a female? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna send this to Joe. Maybe he'll come up. Um. So I was. Should we uh, address Tarek's bullshit, or should I give him a second just to get oh him my god, bro? Oh my is, god, is he crashing out or what? Wait, what bullshit <laughs> is Tarek on right now? Bad. That dude is losing it. It's the moon. Give, it's the moon. Given, it's, I like yeah, Tarek. giving Jack oh. money to to try to get at people. I I love that approach. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Embedding his little messages. I think I do think the first one was intended PR, but the second then he got mad and butt hurt because we were calling it out is what it is. Bro, you can't open your pockets and think that your money's gonna fill your character flaws. Facts. Respect what gets you open up doors that money never can. He doesn't understand, like he's That's true. What did, what did, what did Tarek do? He's been running around for, well, for fucking probably a year um, doing this duplicitous thing where he acts like he's everybody's friend, but then provokes and stirs the pot. And it's escalated lately where the last two or three days he's been running around and he keeps bringing up his daughters. He keeps going. He comes into chat and he goes, flow stick, stop talking about my daughters. It's not appropriate. <laughs> right. So he, <laughs> He's running around like using his kids as a human shield talking point to try to be a victim and attack other people as the victim. Mm -hmm. It's just some insanity. So last night, Cynthia had a panel and uh, where they addressed Tarek, and um, he basically got uh, kicked off the island to a large degree. And yeah. then today, um, on during Jack's stream, he shot up a twenty dollar donation, and uh, the, I said in the chat. I'd, uh, I was like, oh, look, he's buying PR. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, he got spanked I, on goblins, too. I think I've been show, beat uh, down beyond recognition by Illumitami, so I won't be going back there anymore. Did you? Oh, what happened? Uh, he had an open panel for haters, so I took that as my cue to, get, to take my beating. And so I... Jumped on panel, and he said, like, the worst thing he has against me is because one time on Jack Talcott, I said, everyone who claims that they're a Christian is not a Christian. And that's what he's hated me ever since then. And that was the beatdown he was going to give me. Ooh. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. You're probably in the camp with Cynthia. Of, yeah. Uh, he really hates. But then yeah, he, he, really then he wouldn't, me. like engage me directly and then we watched a fun little talcott video where he's like doing double speak or something it was like talcott clips or something it was like good that. that was good but then he like didn't want to talk and then other people came on and talking about bear spray and stuff like that and then i was like are you going to a fight with bear spray and then he kicked me off he's like you just don't get it if you get the fuck out of here you retired or something you know i was like okay bye <laughs> so, but anyways it was fun um, yeah. yeah. So, Margo, remind me. Then, then after the twenty bucks, I told him that, or I said that he was buying a PR. Then he started, did a couple more ten dollar donations, um, so that he could send up uh, hate messages at me and Cynthia. <laughs> oh, did you see? Oh, I saw a comment. Yo, in check. Oh, in check. Yeah, and I, I told him. I said, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull all the wind out of your sails on my stream tonight, unless you give Jack a hundred dollars. And you give me a hundred dollars. Did he do it? Thing. Because if you're going to try to open your pockets to compensate for your your um, character flaws, then you're gonna you're gonna fucking pay for it. You're not gonna give us Taco Bell money. You know, Tarek was blind and deaf today. He could, he could type and he could open his bank account to send money. That's about it. Mm. Yeah, first it was the twenty, and then and then a while later it was ten, and then another ten, and people were like, "Okay, dude, you know, w w 
stop, whatever. Flo, Flo gave his two cents and he just, he couldn't let it go. He cannot let this go. Do, Margo, hi. hi. Do you think it's, he can't let it go because he doesn't want to lose or he can't let it go because he, he truly deceased. He's, he's in the right. He truly thinks that. That's a great question. Um, you know, you're the teacher and we're the students. <laughs> oh, young grasshoppers. can't let things go that offend their delicate sensibilities and they will impoverish themselves to prove right. He's, that he, that sensitivity doesn't exist. Yeah, he has yeah. dug in his heels and hmm. to me it's like, you know, yes, he's buying some PR. He's Who's eating pretzels or something? Died. Um, he wants I'm, to win this with numbers. Numbers being people. Okay. okay. I heard that too. It sounded like carrots. It's <laughs> it's colors. It sounded I'm more sorry. like carrots than uh, pretzels. <laughs> Not me. I find that when I color, I can hear y'all better. And so I'm coloring. So I was looking for a color. Maybe it's sort of like that that crazy piano kid who buried a cat alive and could hear a song. Yep. Or it's like the kid that bounces on the trampoline while he learns. That's what I'm going to go with. Well, it's I'll also add to that, uh, Cynthia, this is one reason why we use pencils in school rather than pens. The friction that you have when you're coloring, it's just one more sense that tells the brain that something's going on. And you can store more in your permanent memory. And I'm also back. slowing down and paying attention to not getting out of the lines. And so I'm slowing down and listening more. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the guys talk about boring things. And you notice. <laughs> well, and that's why we need to have a, an all-girls panel one day and just, you know, vagina the whole thing. You know what? I would be totally down for that. Um, absolutely. That sounds like a good time. Although I've, I've, have have thought, hold on, hold on. I've thought it would be cool to like go out with a bunch of girls like a pimp. And then I got it. And I realized at some point the, the social dynamic breaks and there's too many women and you turn into the gay friend, not like the big boss daddy. So, Oh God. Being the being the gay friend is the fucking worst. <laughs> it, 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 it it actually does exist, and oh my god, it's insufferable. Really, I thought mm -hmm. gays love being a gay friend. I've got one. I got no. one. No, oh my god, I had lots of gay friends, and there was these chicks who would come over and try to hook up with the gay friends, and I'd what? get their throat away from because they weren't interested. And these chicks would come over and they'd have their fifis all up in a knot, and then. You know, after they've been through three guys trying to figure out what they're going to do for the night, and all three of these guys are interested in each other and not her. <laughs> yep. I don't know. You go down on Attila the Hunt at that point. <laughs> I wonder well, what the sounds like you got really lucky that night. That wasn't a that night. That was most of my high school and what y'all would consider college when I was at work. I wonder what the actual numbers of like, um, gay dude with all the chicks where it's actually just a front where he's like trying to get more quality time with chicks, but he's just kind of like an incel yeah. guys. Well, most of what I seen low. was the, the girls went with the gay dudes because they felt safe. Right, they'll so like the change their clothes in front of them and everything, you know, because he's I gay. Thought, hey, it's really Here's funny. I thought, I thought that was me for like so long. Uh, but then it turns out I was actually gay, and then it turns out I was actually a gay woman. So, like, it, it was it was a whole uh, thing. That was who I was all through like middle and high school. Yeah. I like all of my like I was friends with the nerds and the girls, those who like were the groups that I hung out with, and I, I thought it was super cool. Apparently, a lot of them thought I was gay, and it turns out I was. But I, I've yeah. heard that that sometimes your friends know it before you do. I've heard some of my gay friends say that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I uh some of my uh friends that I grew up with, uh, we like rated each other like which one of us is like the most likely to come out at some point. And that sounds like a pretty gay activity. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was it was me. It was me. Exactly. Uh, you ever do anything like that? 
You have? No, the best association I have with that is when I was about 15, 14, my best friend comes in hammered to the gills on vodka and wakes me up from a dead sleep and goes, Sasquatch, I want to tell you a secret. I said, what's that, man? He said, I'm gay. I said, I fucking know, man. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm serious. I said, me uh, too, man. <laughs> so I find out like 20 years later, I was the first person to get that too. And I had been like completely oppressing this guy the whole time because I thought surely I was the last person he'd tell, right? And then what happened? Uh, I'm kicking I, I'm, Joe Bull. I got a wrench. I'm going to kick him. Why? Oh. I'll have thicker skin. <laughs> um, we, Joe Cool, the rest of us know it too. He'll He's getting pretty old, but he'll figure it out sooner or later. I think I agree with the Richard Denny bit. Uh, I feel like a lesbian trapped in a man's body. I have that, that same problem. I'm so confused oh by Do your have... relationship, Lib, but to I'm each their own. Too. Do I, Are Do you I have... attracted to males or females? Uh, or both? Uh, the short answer is both. I, okay. I, I wouldn't phrase it that way, but yes. I mean, I know that you wouldn't. I don't know how else to phrase it, though. Uh, I, I would I would just say, geni- like, I don't have, like, genital preferences or gender preferences. I just like people, and the kinds of people that I like it, are all kinds. I've liked men. I've you liked women. You don't have a preference at all? One way or the other? I mean, I, ha- I do have preferences, but they're not, like, genital or gender preferences. They're, like, usually... Oh. Like I like them to uh, uh, be interested in usually the sim- same things I'm interested in, and I usually like them to like be like specific kinds of people. But not do you gender. consider yourself more sexual than others because you do find yourself attracted to both males and females? Uh, not particularly. I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm like demisexual, so I don't like it's that doesn't even factor in 90 percent of like my attraction anyways so what's demisexual yeah what's demisexual uh it's it means i have to have like a i have to have emotional connections to people to be sexually attracted to them so you never look at a stranger and like god damn i would smash that well, yeah. No, 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 no. I definitely look at strangers and I think, wow, I can see that that person like is attractive, but like I wouldn't. Could you have, could you have a one night stand? Uh, not really. Uh, I have had them in the past, but I've had to like usually be very, very inebriated um to do so. And you know, I was just gonna say that when I was drinking, I was a drunk whore, and it was fantastic. I loved it. And then the twelve steps <laughs> screwed that up. I can't. I, I can't just mess around and mess around anymore. What do you mean, was yeah. Margo? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you leave my remember alone. last night? Come to the Midwest hey, sometime. I bet I'll change that. She's not drunk anymore. There you go. <laughs> um, Why does the 12 step, what does the step say, Margo, that you can't have intercourse or what? I think, well, you know, well, here's the deal. I've, I have sponsored several girls. And when you do your fifth step, when you talk about your resentments, your fears, there's a sexual inventory and I don't do it with my girls. Cause I think that's between you and whomever, N- not me. I don't, I don't want to hear it. And I don't, I don't want girls to be turned off by AA because they might have to, you know, talk about that anyway. But you do talk about like why, why you have sex. Is it, is it just for sex or are you trying, trying to acquire status or money or popularity or whatever? It just kind of, it kind of fucks with you. And then, and then, so like when you go back out in the real world and let's say you meet someone, you know, usually one or the other likes the other person maybe better unless it's a outright hookup. But then you're not in the bars and you're not drinking and it, I don't know. Alcohol just is definitely and it, it puts down your inhibitions, inhibitions and you want to fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I mean, well, isn't everybody a whore if you get drunk enough? Okay. I mean, not necessarily. <laughs> I, I have to make a comment here. I usually want to fuck before I get drunk, and then I continue wanting to fuck while I'm drunk. And when I wake up the next morning with a hangover, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we were to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there, you, there you go. But I thought I, the theory wanna, was I like even the most too, frigid but... person, you know, like once you get them drunk enough, they'll fuck you. So yeah. I mean, that's kind of the magic juice. Yeah. Here comes somebody to fuck. All right, Joe. <laughs> Did you bring the liquor? <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm on top. No, no, you got to switch us out because I'm bad. <laughs> Wow! Power bottom. Whoa. There we go. Get her clothes Get her off. Right up here with all that fire and gayness over there. I feel like I'm being <laughs> two manned right now. I mean, I Eiffel towered. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you okay. go. Okay, that's better. Hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I like how weird my panels get in no time. What's oh. up with Lanza? Why he's he's so quiet? <laughs> I, Brown's I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly shocked. Like, Liz, what's uh, going on with you? He's been acting. Oh, just reading the room, letting everyone get their zingers off. I thought I said one thing before. You did. You did. You. I thought I said one thing. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "I thought I said one thing." <laughs> that was awful. Yeah, I was letting you guys get those zingers and shit, and I thought of some too. But like you guys, I thought you guys moved on, and there's more to, ha more to be had. Yeah, well, I'm if not, you just not... want to be a fly in the wall, uh, Luma Tommy's having a moment with um, Paul and and Jack Talcott, so you can go listen to Paul him. Paul went his live? Paul and No, Jack... he's like, that's all he talks oh. about. I, I was, like, going to engage with him, and he spent the whole time talking about Paul and Jack Talcott. I was like, that's what okay. He did. <laughs> I was like, well, why don't you bring them on panel since you love them so much? But, you know, okay, I guess we can It'll be <laughs> Uh, Crystal, I don't. Who's Randy? Who is Randy? Kind of Randy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's me too. Husband. If you got some uh, liquor, I'll be Randy. Gigi, Gigi's husband, I think, or something like that. I can't keep track. Yeah, I, was so, gonna, I was gonna say I was a little shocked. I saw iFi come in here, and he hasn't like come at me a single time. I nothing. It's been surprisingly peaceful. If you stroke him enough, he'll come. Yeah. Right the, at yeah. <laughs> my my eyes have been open to trans communism. I, I'm I'm more open to it now. Oh, based. Um, I'm thinking about I'm trying it out. That Chuck held back when uh, <laughs> when you make yeah. the, the the I am a woman claim. Is, I think uh, it's the solar eclipse. Everybody's switching. Even mean, Brown's like, boy's been uh, off today a little. Is that already the eclipse is? It's like a, yeah, it's like a couple of weeks. It's April eighth. Yeah, or ninth. Is it eighth? Almost. Is it eighth? The eighth. Okay. Yeah, the eighth. Eight. Yeah. Okay. I think we it is. A, um, we can add to. I'm flying down to Texas to go to that. It's next. It's uh, are you? Yeah. Two yeah. Mondays, not it's next Monday. Be, but the uh, Monday after. Arkansas yeah. so to uh, Low Rock and some bluff, not Pine Bluff, Poplar Bluff. Yeah. Dead center of you, uh, Pop of Love. So or should Dallas, we regroup Texas? during a full moon or something? What's up, Cindy? Carbondale is dead center. It's a solar Carbondale, eclipse. Illinois. No, it's okay, not going past Illinois. Story. So my family, my best friend and my cousin lives in Manchester, England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, last night, which was this morning for me, she's in this pub in Manchester. And mm -hmm. she and her girlfriends go in. There's no place to sit except with this one dude. She sits down. He's from Manchester as well. They st they start talking. And he goes, well, I don't live here anymore. I live in the States. And she's like, oh, I've got family, blah, blah. And he goes, I live in Arizona. And she's like, oh, my cousin lives, blah, 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 blah. The guy lives two blocks from me. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. So are you going to steal yeah. right? That's interesting. There you go. Are you, you believe in signs and symbols, Marco? Because to me, now you got to meet the motherfucker because God set it up. Oh, hell yeah. You believe in that shit? Uh, I, I, they put him on the phone. They called. And there's, an, there's a British pub that I go to for fish and chips, usually on Thursdays or Fridays. And so I told him when he gets back, we'll, we'll meet up there. And who knows? Maybe, maybe well, we'll hook up. Time to reverse that uh, trend of not hoeing out at the pubs. 
Wait, there's a wait, there's a British pub in America, but but why? Didn't we have a whole revolution about this? Like the red coats are I, coming. I, I thought no, we already they they don't have tea. tea. That was tea, brother. Right, they're not right. Tea. They're serving beer. It's probably very watered down. So no British. <laughs> probably <people>. really <laughs> shit. Yeah. So like, when's the last time you ever heard of anybody eating a cucumber sandwich? British like, beer. Won that war. <laughs> I, I am pretty mad at Margo for calling French fries chips, though, because that's like. Heresy. Well, they only changed it. They're only called that at the British pub. Yeah, I know, but we're in America. Kind of like sausage is only called bangers if it's eaten with mashed potatoes. And, <laughs> yep, and bangers and mash. Yep. Hmm. Next so thing. I thought, uh, Keith Richards, uh, I read his autobiography years ago, and in it, he says his favorite food is bangers and mash, and it includes, his, it includes his recipe, which I made. It was the most boring ass fucking bland food I've ever had in my life. You'd think that you'd think that Keith fucking Richards would have better food in his life, but it was just yeah, it was white pies. I thought I wouldn't expect a whole lot of seasoning. English English food is very very bad. Honestly, so, uh, like I'm really glad we we left all that behind us. All right, we we invited. Uh, uh, black folk to come in and they they showed us, they showed us how to how to actually make good food. I was just um, about to ask Joe Cool if he's sitting there going, "These motherfuckers still have plain ass food." Well, and I'll tell you <laughs> when when I was growing up, I didn't have pizza until I went to high school or tacos. What? We we That's were British. criminal. You're what? British. Yeah. Where did where did you grow up? Well, my mom came from England to marry yeah, my first dad. First time I've ever heard you have an accent. I don't yeah, have mom. an accent. I don't yeah. have an accent. Oh, well, yeah. when mom, I go, when mom I go, is British. I'm going. I'm going back to England next summer for the summer, and I'll come back with an accent for a while. But my name is actually Margaret Ann. So yeah, I'm British. Yeah. Um, Jean. my I'm a descendant of the Longshanks. <laughs> Me too. What? Oh, something else. Mm. Uh, you're, yeah, a member, <laughs> you're a member of the <laughs> Black Group. Well, yeah. you, guys, you guys couldn't wear the shirts then. If you, if no, no. You know, I have Native oh, American shit. heritage. Uh, my great, 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 great grandfather was named Chief Bowles. Everyone on the panel. Anyone who everyone. knows my last name can check that shit, but I'm not giving it out for free. Um, mm -hmm. I, Yeah, we've had it. So you're just going to dangle it in front of us and then be like... Y'all yeah, no. go ahead and see if y'all can figure it out. Argue amongst yourselves. I really don't give a shit. I know. Already, but, uh, if you're, well, if, you're, I mean, if, you're, if your family lived in America for more than like three or four generations, you're some yeah. degree of Native American. Like In Ireland, Scotland, France, Germany. Yeah. Uh, I've got cousins on every continent, including Antarctica, and up until a couple of weeks ago, the space station is real. Assuming that thing's real. Yeah, yeah, I heard you got cousins in different places. They're called Yeti, Swamp Man. <laughs> <laughs> Wendigo. I don't know how, how one of them can be called Mothman. Pretty much, if you find a dude with a beard working on a broke down car, that's probably my, my family. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I knew a lot of your family back in Tennessee. <laughs> Woo. Are you yeah. related to the Duck Dynasty people? <laughs> if I know I am. <laughs> they all had hot wives, though. That is, that is sus that. What is that? Well, is they got hot money. Yeah, I was about to say they got they got some money. There's something. What are we wrong looking at here? What's that, Lance? You sure you want to know? What is that? Is that an it's arrowhead? A horse apple. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's an arrowhead. Oh, I thought it was charcoal. <laughs> it's massive. I thought it was a petrified turd. Uh, no, it maybe like it a is. Shark <laughs> I used to work with a black guy, and they. Oh, you said it. Oh, was I was I was I muted? He, he yeah. Used to say, yeah. Uh, oh shit! It's a stone tool, dude. It's a carved stone tool. Uh, that should, that should used for pecking. Yeah. <laughs> um, who uh, who made it? Did you find it, or did you make it, or do you know someone who made it? No, dude, I found it. Uh, I kind of like searched these old maps. Uh, the oldest area, the area that I'm from in the state that I'm from, there's two main areas that deal with uh, Native American stone archaeology. 
Mm-hmm. And they said the best way to find cool shit is to use aerial photographs, the earliest aerial photographs. And like, they're finding ruins and shit everywhere that like, oh, yeah. They'll even tell you, they're like, yeah, I don't know how it really isn't documented, but, you know, we can't, even if we did know, we couldn't really say. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and so, like, dude, there's this one site, you can get the oldest maps, and it actually overlays current Google Maps. And What's the website called, do you know? I remember? Uh, I believe it's, like, World Atlas, World Atlas Maps. And then you can actually look up by county, uh, and then you can find a ton of anomalies that way as well. That's dope. So is this just like an ongoing hobby of yours or something you've done in the past? Uh, Yeah, no, not an ongoing, not something I've done in the past. I just decided that before these places get too developed, the area that I'm in, that there's too much like little bit of history that they don't really want to talk about for whatever reason. Well, it's, it's and I'm trying to find gold and I'm trying to find gold. That's where well, it started. I was like, I'm going to try to find a gold statue that these motherfuckers dropped in a lake. Look like for fossils good too. Good luck. I, I, good luck I ran into a dude who had a similar hobby, but he would look for fossils. Yeah. Um, I'm in Kansas. You oh, know, I, I thought, well, that's kind of silly. This motherfucker would sell them. Though. There's a market yeah. for that shit. You yeah. just walk around in Kansas and find rocks. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, fossils are actually like really, it can, they can be pretty valuable if you can find like decent quality ones. Because like, ar- 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 archaeologists are always looking for fossils. Because like yeah. archaeologists, paleontologists, uh, anthropologists even. <laughs> like actually stone tools are super interesting for anthropology. Because <laughs> um. You know, like we've been able to find, you know, worked stone tools uh, that are, you know, uh, 100, 200,000 years old. You know, like humans have been fashioning tools from rocks for basically as long as we have evidence that humans have existed. It's kind of. Uh, Yeah. And in my area, they're claiming anywhere from 2,000 to 14,000 years old. Yeah. That's what they'll admit to. And even even there, they're like, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, because like we, we don't really have a lot of like firm dates i it, it's one of like my hobbies is just like reading fucking uh, uh anthropology well, listen, man, t- with the stone tools dude you would be everybody here because i was like at first when i saw these like these uh, archaeologist people or whatever they were like showing these stone tools and i'm like that's a fucking rock you know, like that doesn't look like a. That's a fucking rock, and they're like, and and, and but then like he works for like the museum and shit, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll keep listening. Maybe I'm missing it, you know. And eventually, yeah, like if you do not watch this like ten to fifteen minute video, you're walking over stone tools like all day if you're in like the park by any str- any even like little streams. Mm-hmm. They're just in there, dude. Like they're everywhere. Yeah, they're yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Everything that's been named so far has generally shows up in clusters and bits your fossils show up in an area that where fossils are likely yeah. your stone tools show up in a place where humans oh. uh, meteorites fall equally all over the earth mm-hmm. so if you can figure out how to collect small meteorites which is usually a magnet are they they're, they're magnetic uh, most yeah. of your yeah. significant meteorites are iron based because they survived the fall through through the sky, right? So you go around with a metal detector and a magnet, and you start finding rocks that are testing out as metal. Get them yep. tested. They, yeah. You might get 50, 100 bucks from one of them things. They might be radioactive. Be I careful. You, I hate to tell you this, sir, but that's a big old hunk of poopy. No, <laughs> well, that's unfortunate you believe that because uh, you're wrong. <laughs> Have a nice evening. <laughs> I would say you can um, uh, the, most of the meteor, most of like the small meteorites that you'll be able to find, uh, do usually have iron or other kinds of metals in them. Because, yeah, like like he's saying, those are the kinds of things that'll survive entering right. the atmosphere. Um, they're I don't I don't know how how expensive they are, but I do know that it's 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 cool to see them. You know, like oh, I don't you know, probably want to pretty those. expensive. I like I yeah. like these I like these reminders of like. Uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, Carl Sagan quote. Um, we're we're made of uh, uh, star uh, star stuff, you know, like yeah. like the the things that we're made of. Every single human being at one point, all of our atoms and molecules were created in a star. 
I mean, like, it's it's literally no way to know that at all. Right. Anything heavier than hydrogen was created yeah. in the heart of a star. Yeah. Like billions. This is billions, all fan fiction backstory years. lore, though, of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> I have no okay, fucking I'm going to head out. Bye, Margo. Bye. Bye. That's my flow. No. Bye, Margo. Bye. She heard the space argument coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, the, I'm waiting for the hairless monkey part. When did we shave our hair and become people? That's well, well, that 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 I think, I think the, the earliest the earliest humans were like the earliest things that we can call like homo sapiens were have been discovered to be like what what is it like a is it only is it like 90,000 years ago? I can't remember. Well, they got the Macedonian uh site now they're talking it's 2 300,000 years old and those tools that you've been talking about were found well, there and the bones of mastodons uh cut up and shit like that so that would double it it was a hundred thousand is all my life and that yeah. would double it Am yeah. among the oldest uh known remains of homo sapiens are those found at omo kibesh uh archaeological site in southwestern ethiopia dating to about two hundred thirty-three thousand to one hundred ninety-six thousand years ago yeah did, all right did, has did he anybody here rocks? has anybody here considered the possibility that wherever we are right now that we have possibly devolved from like a telepathic yeah. like skill set and shit you say yeah like, yeah like we used to be telepathic and shit like that <laughs> there's no i'm not trying to come from the monkey i'm trying to don't, come don't, from like the sky and shit you know what i'm saying like, I don't know about all the psychic stuff, but I can. I can, I can look at my, it's an I can obvious look at case of devolution. Uh, devolution. There's no such thing as weak or something. Blow as soon as motherfuckers start talking, we can't hear you, Flo. They should have never invented language. See, look, the minute that, um, or if you if you start looking at like the biography of what Edison, he was running a whole newspaper staff by thirteen. Um, like some of these, like people, kids used to be doing all sorts of shit that none of us could do now. And uh, I think we're obviously getting dumber. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, kids I, now are doing I, shit they didn't have the opportunity to do because yeah. they got the interweb. So they're kids doing now TikTok. are doing ingenious yeah, they, shit in their they own They can way. figure out your cell phone better than you can, but they're not really doing shit besides being good at the gadget. None of the well, Zoomers I, I talk to know what they're doing. I mean, also, okay, so like for what it's worth, the, 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 the term de-evolution isn't really like a thing. Like... When, when, uh, uh, when, All right. uh, when the earliest photography available came out in like <laughs> late 1700s, and there's some crazy ass fucking photos and shit from the 1700s. And it's look like, at, yo, look we ain't building shit like that. It, there, so, like, the, uh, the earliest sea creatures that, that, tr that be, uh, like started like living on the land. Um, they didn't de-evolve to lose the ability to breathe underwater. They evolved and lost the ability to breathe underwater. No, I'm saying that that entire story is complete bullshit. I, like it. I hear where yep. you're going with that. Too. I hear where you're going with that. Is That's there more still, ocean or land? What evolution on Earth. looks like? Uh, th there is currently more water. The Earth is seven seventy-five percent ocean. I so think. why would it be evolution to have less? Uh, ab I keep waiting survive. for a lighter or something to start walking around and looking for something to have sex with. I that's what I keep waiting to see. What the what? what? Well, you know, life life came out. Of, you know, at some point, life just decided to start like giving a fuck about it's it. Going for spontaneous generation on this life, one. Life didn't huh? life didn't like intentionally start. Uh, the, uh, it is demonstrably true that uh, uh, living things can come from non-living things uh there no, was an not experiment demonstrably true okay so yes, i'm gonna so labs they, what they did, labs they did, they did they did an experiment where they took non-organic material and they created conditions that we believe are were similar they created a whole bunch they 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 yeah. injected artificially sourced biological materials into it yeah there was not only that. No, 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 no. They it didn't, didn't grow up into a human being and then like tight white, like tight no, rope no, no, walk no. across the Grand Canyon or anything. It's not doing anything special, right? Like, no, it's like no, a thing. It, no, no, no. It's special if it just uh, spontaneously came from can, the right if, conditions. But I looked into that and they say that yeah. it was mistaken to, uh, that that happened. And it definitely did not and could not happen. It was the last time I looked. I bet we're talking about the same experiment. Oh. Uh, What's the point that we're making? Like my point was that no, my, we my, 
My Killa point, at a life much life higher life. skill level, and he's on, saying life. that we came from like a amoeba. Hold on, Brown or Boy, we're about we're about to put a fork in in the in the claim that my point my point is that um uh, non living that you can get organic materials from non organic materials. That is well, we have we not done that. You're making that sure. claim. You're so making that off, claim, but we've never done it. I'm gonna. I'm familiar uh, with Miller. the experiments you're referencing. They were done poorly. They put a whole bunch of organic materials in the mix. And um, we've never made because we have never been able to make organic from non-organic materials. Okay. So, well, first off, first also, off even organic even materials organic light years from life. Well, just because okay, right. that's sure. also correct. My, just my, because you can artificially point. arrange organic materials, no, 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 that's no, no, not no, no, even no. one step towards life. Well, yeah, the Santa Claus. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It is a step because it's demonstrating that it's possible to get organic materials from non-organic materials, which Wait, is they didn't the oh, that. No. that didn't happen. What's an organic material? Because I'm the only done so like, right. like, 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 like a protein like a, like or protein, something like yeah. that. Okay, all right. yeah. That's, all, right. that's all, you, all you need to be able to demonstrate. All right. Well, if you can get some proteins, you could probably yeah, get like this is a basic thing that anyone with water and electricity and some electrolyte can do. If you take aluminum or stainless steel and you create a cathode and an anode in uh, electrolyte water, salt water, you can use a few other things. And you run this process for more than like 72 to, you know, a week, you'll end up with these weird jelly blobs that pop up in the water that you have to clean out for making uh, hydrogen HHO, right? And these water blobs that you find in there are polymeric strands of organic material, some From organic in water to start with, but it's a combination of the electro, uh, the, uh, the breaking down of the hydrogen and oxygen and, and the materials that are left behind from it. Uh, technically speaking, no, not my ass. technically my nuts. No, cut it off and I'll stop. Uh -huh. Right. I will just finish my explanation and, and move on to playing Minecraft some more. All yeah, I'm saying okay. is these are organic compounds derived from non-organic sources. Which if there was organic sources in the water, I think that's not true. Man. I stated that there were organic yes. sources in the water, but not a massive amount of them, and they did yeah, not reproduce like from electricity, bro. Like they're pulling more it look like that. Uh, Electricity Sailing. is just pulling oh, more, I'm man. I wouldn't so assume cool. that. When you talk creative. to the middle people on StreamYard, it's way more obnoxious than when you do it in real life. <laughs> but I, but, but I'm talking it, to... your, your mic over talks people when you do that. Was, what Yours I do, is louder sorry. than Sasquatch, so you're not conversing with him. You're just talking over I him. apologize. Let me lower my shit. By the way, Joe Cool, you just said if you have proteins, you can get life. That's completely false. But I'll well, I know it would be absolutely difficult as possible. It, it, it would be it's crazy, super all difficult. But it's all personally, That's I believe if you point. can get the building blocks, and I know the scientists will absolutely disagree with me. Uh, they would be so they, they would cool. say it's like Joe, go ahead. Yeah. Joe Cool, um, we 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 are able to create proteins and shit like that in the lab. And if any scientist on Earth was able to create the simplest form of life, even just like a single cell bacteria. I don't think whatever, a scientist. Yeah, I don't think so. A but I think it took a few hundred thousand years. Yeah, if they could do that, Wait, Joe, Joe, can I ask a question? Everybody I, I got a question for Joe. I don't think a scientist could, but I do think maybe a few hundred thousand or a few million years might change. Now, now, now listen to your, your hypothesis, Joe. You I'm just like said you intelligent people. <laughs> so joe cool just listen listen to what you just said for a second you said yeah. that even with all the technology and science we have the smartest humans all if they all got together and tried to create life still are unable to do it you feel like 
nature will accidentally do it if you just give it more time. Cynthia's losing shit. So now, I, 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 do, I do, I do, I do have a question. So, yeah. um, are you, are you, do you understand how like ridiculous that is? Just because we are unable to do something does not mean that it's not possible. Oh yeah, I, I agree. It's ridiculous. So That's what I'm waiting for Joe to figure out. Like, no, 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 no. no. Why, I, why, why, do you think? Do you think wind and the ocean is going to be able to create life better than scientists with all of our technology and science? <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> Can I ask like, you guys all a question? Years. What came first? What came first, egg or con or the consciousness? Why are you asking that? I don't know. Uh, what came first, the single oh, cell shut up, bro. or? Well, I mean, why? Why are you asking that? We're talking about the origins of life, so I'm asking, like, what do you what, what do you believe came first? How do you uh, believe it came? Their theory is. Is that I, rocks I, I, evolved I, I, into single cell? Hold on, we're not. I don't. There's no reason. Well, to hang on, I find I find I find being I find like being very disingenuous that. with no. With lib that. is being is being. Well, uh, your mic's uh, fucked up. We can't hear you properly. Yeah, oh, lib's just right. being lib, and you guys will figure it out eventually. But I, I was talking to Joe. Yeah. Plus, he's saying things that make zero sense. Yeah. What makes, what makes zero sense? If you just believe just, in just communism, joking, it's joking. possible that rocks will evolve into amoebas, guys. There you just go. gotta now, hear the science. Now here's now now this is iFi. So iFi, like you're just dis, you're dismissing like I don't know like academia science, um uh and like you, then you're saying oh it's wrong because of course it's just like common sense says we couldn't create life like that is fucking retarded. Okay, you said that, 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 that man you know, created is, the first life. No, 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 okay. didn't do it. So, so, so life, we do know there was a time when life didn't exist on Earth and then life did you exist. No, we do not know that. It we do yeah. not know that. Looks God so said so. Hey, Flo, yeah. he was there 10 billion years ago. He knows for science. Fly, everybody back. loves your sarcastic quips, but could you keep them shorter and land it quicker? <laughs> I'm just I'm trying, there, to, I'm, trying to get Lib, I'm trying to get Lib to acknowledge the reality of the of the structure of his belief system okay we don't know shit we weren't there nobody was there by definition nobody was around to Human, see yeah, what it was. humans technically don't have what a he's saying clue is what happened a hundred thousand years ago we don't we don't have a fucking clue what was going on on well, earth a yeah. hundred thousand years ago okay so hang on it, we absolutely well, we're not even sure time is linear we can we can assume a lot of shit. We're, we can say, well, if rocks are you know rolling right at this rate, then <laughs> maybe this <laughs> mountain time winner. Have you ever uh, listened back to the to the panels you're on and go, gee, uh, this is why people get pissed at me. I'm a terrible panel participant. Not. There's no way. No. I fight. Go listen to yourself sometime. Okay. Hey, God said argument, let there be guys light. Argument is is the same as saying uh, we can't be sure that Joe Cool actually exists because we weren't there. You can put together enough clues or you can get a reasonable uh, facsimile, a reasonable belief in your head. And that's all we're doing with these leaps that we're taking. No, uh, none, all you guys are doing is trusting what you've been told. You haven't thought about it on your independently, really, probably. What do you all? think? I actually think okay, about yeah. shit like well, this. That's well, why I my theories okay. are so wrong. I'm the, I'm the wrong person. Theories. I'm the wrong person. I'm the wrong person to make this argument for. When I was younger, I was a young Earth creationist. Okay, and now I you're have, a woman. I have <laughs> thought about it. Is the is the thing? I have done at least the sort of like layman's version. <laughs> okay, which obviously. Okay, I'm okay. Not that claim was wrong. That claim was wrong. Um, no, okay. I, I retract that claim. I knew the minute I said it, it was wrong. <laughs> However, what I'm claiming is we're playing how do you know? Yeah. You cannot. Then, That's well, my what, do you, what do you mean you by no? What do you mean by no? You can't know. We're confident no, 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 no. enough flow, flow, to know flow. that what existed, you know, 10,000 years ago, we weren't here then. Yeah, as I was saying, we're pretty confident. confident. Somebody do just tell us about your astral memory. We'll believe you at this so, point. So Flo, Flo, what do you mean no, by you, Sarah? What do you mean by no, Flo? Like, I mean, have okay, everybody knows that default to authority is, is a logical fallacy, right? It's somebody told me is a bad place to get information from. Yeah, that's what? that's I, I think that is the only reason any of you believe we know about the fucking first fish that flopped up out of the river. Some dude told you that. 
Hmm. It doesn't make sense right. though. Well, not it's actually, how do you, you know? Get your, so where do you get your knowledge from? from? I, 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 I cross-reference it with logic by looking at the observable world around me. But Never someone had, told you though, right? No, yeah. actually. That's why Sometimes. it's so hard for me to explain my beliefs because I believe shit that nobody explains concisely. Uh, um, yes, you do the same thing we do. People tell you shit, you examine it for yourself and you come up with your own shit. Same shit we do. So, Whether um, it's red, well, someone well, told us. Yeah, okay, but when it comes enough. to something as controlled as science... Then let me hear... Let me hear some reasoning from Joe or um, or Lib about why why you guys think about what happened eighty bazillion years ago that didn't come directly <laughs> from authority. Yeah. So, well, so that's what we're talking about now. Here's let me, the, let me go. This one that we're talking about now, life forming. Uh, authority didn't tell me this. It seems logical that there was not there one day, and we know it's there. So at some point, it came about somehow. And I don't think man and scientists. Was the first motherfuckers who created yeah, life every fucking But why does I that seem logical? Did. It doesn't seem logical though, because that's not how life. That's not how, how do you think? Things. How it starts? So, hold on, hold on. We don't know. We don't have a fucking clue. But we I can know, tell you that. We don't know. Shut that's the fuck opinion, up, Joe. We yours. don't have a clue. But I can tell you, it does not make any logical sense. And in fact, if you hadn't been preconditioned, you would never think. You know what? I bet dead things just started fucking. And caring about themselves and procreate like that makes no sense at all to, to think that matter that life came from non-life. So, so for, yeah. Okay, so I, I, I do if have a it did, there that would be like the most lively study in the world, and nobody would be unfascinated by it. But most of us don't even understand why that would be of importance Flo, or value. Think, all I think Flo. it was time and the right combinations of the right materials over the right amount of time, and the most basic form of life uh, began. Some single cell, something that you know that was hard to kill, and it started from there. But when so I say Flo, why, I you say it makes sense. So Flo, but it only makes sense because it's what we've been told our whole lives. Flo, I have a question. Um, hold on, let me let me finish my let me finish. Okay. Um, and there it goes. Fuck. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. The only <laughs> two choices. I think I got at least a fifty percent shot here. Well, I I also disagree with that. I think those are the paradigms we've been giving. I think they're both bad explanations. One is Sky Daddy, and the other is well, it just happened. Rocks just stood up. Like science bypasses consciousness entirely. I believe in Sky Daddy too. So my wait, 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 wait. Flow, it. flow. Science bypasses oh. consciousness. How? Wait, what? Say that again and explain yourself, please. No, it's okay. Wait, it's let me uh, uh, hold on. There's there. I just who did I just shush? I just shushed Lib. And then Ezra came out with the bazooka. Then institutional science. Um, <laughs> Before you start getting into your crystal science and stuff, um, <laughs> Lib, do you want to? Do you remember what you were trying to jump in with? There you go. Yeah. So, so my question is: Do you believe that the Roman Empire existed? Yes. Why? Because we have lots of coins and evidence and uh, writings. Hell, I've got copies of the book right here. Okay. But so it's, it's, it's still from authority. Have you? That's two questions. Sure, that's right, two questions. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's from an authority, but, right? Yeah. So you're appealing to Three. authority, just like I'm doing. Right. Four. Okay. So what's the difference? Why? Why? Why uh, is my belief then uh, an illegitimate? Because appeal to authority you, because we can look at evidence because we have evidence of one. We don't have evidence of the other. You say you don't understand evidence. Yeah, I was about to say. No, so you're confusing an explanation for evidence. I, I do, I'm doing I do the same a, shit you're doing. I have, I have, an, I have an additional. I, I actually own Roman coins. I, I am reading Julius yes, Caesar's yes, book. But we know that it didn't come because you saw that coin. We well, know if you guys have some special information, and light us. Yeah, and, and, and also, um, the the Roman Empire's existence. Mm -hmm. It's describing a human civilization. Yes, which is something I've experienced. Um, uh, yes, that does not mean that it existed, though, because Atlantis is allegedly a human. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. All of history mean... could be a lie, but what uh -huh. it's describing is it's describing something that I have experienced in in form or in you know. Yeah, I can make the same no, I, 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 I agree. Really it, 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 it no, makes the other sense. way. Believing in the Roman Empire is easier than believing in like an Elven Empire because you've experienced human empires right. before, but you have never experienced an Elven Empire. So obviously. Right. Roman yeah, Empire. but we never experienced the whole living out of the ocean and jumping up as a starfish and turning no, into a actually, 
salamander and so, via the fossil record we do have evidence of other creatures existing from a long time ago and the way we know that they existed a long time there's a ver there's a variety of methods of um uh, dating should i taunt this guy for a little bit or just block straight up block him first oh, oh what bro <laughs> you're losing it you're losing it i just like, losing it. Live, you you remind me of like right? Take a look at the I thumbnail. Off, Actually, yeah, yeah. screenshot that thumbnail and little draw a little picture of yourself in that shadow too. You're fucking out of here, bro. You are losing. Lib reminds me of the crocodile hunter's son it, right? or something. Like he went to an academy for this shit. It's okay. I, it's good to have boundaries. That's a good thing. I, I, I did not actually uh, go to school for this. I just spent a lot of time uh, attempting to um, demonstrate creationism, and then was. You know, Which met with me. Is, yeah, is I mean, it's not evidence. Personal yeah. creationism yeah. doesn't designate general creationism, though. I well, think I'm that's sorry. where the whole mix up I, is. I, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about like young Earth creation, like Christian young Earth creationism is what I was intending to demonstrate. And that's fucking. But you serious. understand that that is exactly the same belief system as as uh, the standard scientific one. It just removes God. That's the only difference. It just takes God out of it. But the story about how what happened on Earth is exactly the same. I, it's not exactly the same, actually. It's actually Big bang. very, very the Earth was, was void, or you know, whatever was without form, and then form happened, and then you know, on the last day, he made man. It is exactly the, the biblical creation yeah. story without God. The difference. The difference is the attempt to actually explain how that yeah. might have occurred. Um, Wikipedia says something both entirely both different. Are, <laughs> both of them are trying to explain it, but they're both giving explanations, I, not I, evidence. I actually, I actually disagree. So the biblical account um, hand waves explanations, as in like it uses God in it place. It says God, it explains it through God. It, that, you know what? Using, using God is not a, is not a sufficient scientific explanation, though. And what, what I'm does thinking, science say caused the formation of life? So, to our best understanding. Uh, life began on Earth um, at the bottom of the ocean, where there were heat, there were these. Um, uh, not uh, where, what, what caused? Oh, you're saying the that heat just the, hy the, the hypertrophic thermophiles at the bottom of the ocean through volcanic life supposedly is what they're saying. However, yeah, what you're thermophile. what you're skipping a little bit is that supposedly all came from the Big Bang, was which was some cosmic explosion. Which we actually That's have right, evidence, supposedly have evidence, like slowly was, built volcanic we, rock and that atmosphere, which then yeah, created. We don't have a goddamn bit of I, so, fine, Okay, hold on. This, I'm not a cite your sources guy, but go find me some evidence of the Big Bang. I'm going to wait for a source on that. Hey, hey Andrew, I'll give you an evidence of some Big Bang. Can I? No. And, uh, and it'll have some proteins uh, in it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so it's one, called one fusion, of, and then the nodal cord one, forms. One of the biggest, I think. Th evidences for the big bang being a correct uh i guess like theory for for how how the universe quote you know it's developed began. by a jesuit too right yeah sure i don't <laughs> i don't care um that, you don't like, think that's, that's significant a, that somebody who never married devoted his whole life to the catholic church i think uh, at minimum think spicing it's significant it up. That actually, he developed this this theory actually considering that the jesuits have um, made a lot of uh 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 uh, like scientific discoveries and like they've been involved in uh the the scientific world for quite some time uh yeah like i just doesn't it, it, tell you the, it tells you something about the nature of the scientific uh industry it is a religion well, it is treated as a religion humans have no been believes that religion as yeah. well as the other their old ones and too. even they'll That's tell you it could change yeah. tomorrow yeah, obviously it could change tomorrow. Yeah, so it's like, why why believe so hard today if tomorrow it could change? Like, you know what I mean? You're like, an idiot, bro. I don't under, like, <laughs> I don't, like, I'm, I'm, I'm you can believe something. Yo, they're right in our, sorry. I, I'm defending our best understanding. Anyways, the big thing, uh, yeah, what, uh, the, what was something you going to say? The red, the red, yeah. the red shifting. Well, hang on, really fast. I do want to get this out. The, the, uh, the red shifting of uh, the observable universe um, is the biggest, uh, uh, What's the redshift? I've never even heard of a redshift. I've never seen a redshift. Sure red I, no, I have no doubt that somebody somewhere says they discovered a redshift. What, what, what is the redshift? Everything, everything, Let me take a swing, everything in the universe All right, take a swing. is moving away from everything else. Everything is is being redshifted. Basically, it's like Lib, you, when you're looking Lib, at You haven't explained redshift. Let me take a swing at that. Okay. All right, so have you ever been sitting at a train crossing and heard a train coming towards you and they hit the whistle? 
Uh huh. Yes. And when it's coming towards you, it has a higher, slightly higher pitch than it does when it's leaving. Uh huh. All right. Light, theoretically, light does the same thing. Now, I can't go out and chase down a light particle, but in theory, it does the same thing. So when something's moving towards you, it blue shifts. When something's moving away from you, it red shifts. So, that, so the red shift is is scientists saying they heard it's there's there's the priesthood saying they heard God on the mountain, essentially. No, it's saying they can observe it. Uh, in fact, you can and Moses I mean, saw a burning bush, man. <laughs> they have the same fucking uh structure underneath them. But but you do understand that this has been repeated by motherfuckers outside of those two Jesuit priests who came up with the idea, right? Scientists, students, everybody has repeated and, these. And you understand that that many many more people throughout human history have heard God than have seen redshift. So if you want to take the number of people who have experienced it um, as supporting evidence, God uh, burning a bush far fucking outweighs. How I'm not, so, I'm so, not so, so, so sure saying, about, So you're saying that the red shifting is a lie, is what you're yeah. claiming. Well, I'm I saying... Just, I'm, I'm not saying, impressed yeah, by I'm the term, it. just in general, red shift. I'm just, just not the impressed with it. The logic is undeniable. No, it's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no logic in believing stories without evidence, Joe. It's I've asked you several times tonight for any on. evidence of this shit, and you say it makes sense. Of course it does. You're in the yeah. cult. It, it sounds very it metaphorical. And it, 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 play it, out it sounds it's very well metaphorical, out and I feel like you guys are asking but me no, to take it like literal somehow. Guys, what, what do they tell us the Big Bang is related to? What do they tell us our current universe is made up of? You need to look at this deeper, in my personal opinion, because they actually say that dark energy and dark matter make up the majority of our universe, and it's like 4.6% is atomic, which includes all the planets and interstellar dust. So what is that? And I, to me, this, there's a bigger picture. And if you want to, like, I'm constantly saying flying rainbow lasagna, because that's actually a very yeah. realistic, in my opinion, no, like you almost tetrahedral. You could have I you can't believe it. We're None not, we're not, shit. this discussion hasn't even, we're still trying to get Lib to acknowledge that, like, he's just following a new priest class. Yeah. I, I'm with you with the yeah. dark matter to dark Word. energy. There's more unseen than seen. I am absolutely. That sounds like a good right. donut. Okay, I feel like you're a good bridge between the normies and the insane people. Or, or <laughs> <laughs> which actually to be the insane normies and uh, this, this question is meant to bridge that. Um, <clears throat> are there any repeatable experiments that prove God? No, mm -hmm. not that I know. Wait, wait, are there actually, any repeatable actually? <laughs> okay, um, go ahead, and I, I, I will find the, the article. Can I, oh. if you give me a chance? They they're now saying they prove uh, God's no, existence. No, in no, fuck that, fuck that. That's got the same. <laughs> oh, I love you. Okay. So I have a question. So if you choose to believe something, I choose to believe in God, and I'm gonna hold true to that. And you're not gonna we're sway not, from I'm that. Yeah, we're not gonna try to say that. We're just gonna be. Oh, I said that ain't talked in a long time. Let right. Because earlier y'all were saying, what does it matter? It could change tomorrow. It could change tomorrow. It could change. The theories could change. Everything could change. But at some point, exactly. you have to make a decision and stand on it. We so know. My, That's fine. That's fine. Nobody's trying to shake your faith. All I'm trying to get people to do no, is be I, honest no, no, about what it is we're working faith. with. Yeah, go ahead. That's, that's, that's what my I'm, question is for. Yeah, that's a good point. Are there repeatable experiments that prove God? No. 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 But are there repeatable? repeatable yes. Fucking fi, you better have a good yes. Okay. Are there yeah, repeatable? Have a good yes, fi. Hold on. Hold on. Let fi follow up that yes. Uh, it depends on whether or not you accept the claims that miracles happen that humans witnessed. Repeatable. Yeah, repeatable. Yes, repeatable. they were repeatable. Yes. Uh, can you, okay, can you okay, okay the hold on. Industry. Hold on, this has just like become the FI show. Five. Five. Okay. Demonstrate a miracle, please. I can't. Yeah, right now. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I say something? Can I say something real clear? There's a good book on this. Shut up. Back I didn't this say up. I could do miracles. I said other people. Do you, could. you guys know? You guys know what Reiki practitioners Reiki are, and do you understand? Anything. All right, you're in the basement, Sarah. Bye. Do a miracle, or you're in the fucking basement. 
And it's the asshole. Uh, yes. Oh, fam, she, she's gone. I was going to ask her how to spell I dunked her because she wouldn't shut the fuck up, but she's back now, but Fi's taking a chill. Okay. My um, second question. Can I say what I was going to say really no, quick? No, you this can't. Not keep, all right, you're out of here. Now you're Come chilling. On. I keep trying to give it to Sasquatch, and you motherfuckers keep chiming in with shit. Are there repeatable experiments that can be performed that prove at least a partial under, understanding of mathematics, mass, physics in general? Wait, wait, wait. Is there a, a repeatable a experiment that experiments that prove that we at mass? least understand mathematics, mass, and physics? Uh, Are there repeatable experiments yes. to prove these? It seems this is though, though, this though is some of them, question. all of them. Yes, though they they do sometimes break down. Um, sure, in areas. very small or very large examples. Yeah, the, but that's but where, that's why you have to get like quantum physics and stuff. They're repeatable. They're fairly solid. Yeah. Find me one religion that can do that. So, for me, I, I can name several times, but you are going to say you're going to justify it another way. But you're not going to convince me that it wasn't God and it wasn't a miracle. That's what I'm saying. At some point, we have talking. to define God right. first. But, uh, but also, like, then I could probably give you something to prove. Because we proof all have nothing if we don't define God first. We have different <laughs> versions of God. At some point, I, I I'm not going to drive myself crazy on the train looking for the next exit. Is this the right exit? Is this the right? I, I made my stance. You don't have to be really crazy by it. I'm just trying to get people don't. to be honest. To like, it, People are like, Joe's a great example. I love you, Joe. You know you're my homie. But um, he believes all the bullshit that he was fed because it makes sense to him. Because it's what he fed. Yes, yes. That's what people do. Yes. Right. If, if, but you if have I, to have like your own personal you're smart enough. You're smart enough to inspect your own beliefs. Right. Objectively. You know how much reading I've done? I consider that inspecting my own shit. I'm okay. just not buying shit. I'm checking four or five sources. Every I know, time but I, I keep trying that. to ask you, like, well, give me a why. Give me a why. Do well, you yeah. believe your things? And you keep going, well, it makes sense, or we know. And like, like the I the same I, reason you believe well. yours, there is zero <laughs> difference. Actually, if 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 I may, because I, I think I'm probably like a, a middle a, a, a centrist, if you will, um, in this because you are. Uh, uh, I'm a deist. Uh, I, I believe <laughs> in a deity, but I don't. No, like you crazy. As no. This is a, <laughs> you're not centrist on any fucking thing. I need to get out. I'm imagining confusion here. I need a Talcott moment. I'm 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 definitely in the middle uh, uh, here because of I'm your polycule. <laughs> yeah, because um, uh, I'm a deist. Like I believe. I am a, I believe in this, I don't want to say the science because that sounds fucking stupid um, to phrase it that way. Um, I, I, I believe that the Big Bang is the best current explanation for the origin of the existent universe. Um, and yet I also believe in a deity. Um, so like, so again, bridging the gap. Well, yeah, I, I want to like bridge the gap. Okay, you don't have to there, fucking. I, there's no believe. gap. I believe in both of those as well. Yeah. Well, there so is a gap in understanding because if so we say far. the Big Bang, all of us may have a different understanding. So, really understanding what the Big Bang may mean on different levels would include personal study and. Yeah, all all the Big Bang talks about is is the um, the universe yeah. as it as we can observe it. <laughs> had a, a point at which we can no longer observe it. There was a point in the universe to which we can't observe anything else. And that's the origin of the Big Bang. When the Big Bang happened, we can't see, quote unquote, before that, if see, before that's, that there's even a, a coherent statement. That general truth parallels a personal truth is what I'm saying. Like That's the bridge you're trying to gap by like just repeating the bridge, or repeating the gap without the bridge. Well, I, the, the 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 gap existing um, is like fine. Like we don't know what happened before the Big Bang, and that's like fine that we don't. Um, but like, 
Why isn't it fine that we don't know what happened before humanity? Yeah. Well, why well, is that where we're going to stop? Oh, because we're because theorizing. We, because we do actually have a decent understanding uh, of, of like what happened before humanity because most of history, most of existence has been without humans. Um, I think the issue is that you and Joe have not invest, have not like deconstructed your pre-existing beliefs and re-examined them all from the beginning. I have. Uh, that no, actually but, is, is part of like the whole like deconstructing my Christianity. Um, well, uh, okay. Like that, that was kind of what I did. Um, was I deconstructed all of the beliefs that I uh, that I was given as you know a American Christian born in the late 20th century? There were <laughs> a lot of a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> there were a lot. There were a lot of pre no. beliefs that I had that I had to re-examine to to figure out which ones that I I could justify and which ones that's I could not. That's all I do all day, every day for the last I don't know since I was 12. Yep. That's all. Yeah, I man, do like a hundred times a day. May I don't I? trust anything anybody says, anything anybody ever told me. I don't give a fuck if it's my dad. I won't repeat it until I've gone and checked it for myself. Let me get Wizard. Go ahead. So first of Go all, ahead. I want to first of all, I want to mention a flow state. I actually agree with you on using practical logic. You're one of the few people I see that does use practical logic. Second, Sasquatch's question: Is there a repeatable experiment that can prove God? Even scientists will agree that. If there is no actual evidence, physical evidence, then they can't do experiments on it. So there is no experiment to prove the existence of God. However, that does not say that there's an experiment to prove the absence of God either. So it comes down to that practical logic and your own experiences in life to that reference of miracles. What you see as a miracle is oftentimes what's uh, implied or presumed to be an act of God. And because that's why so far, I will also be, say because, it's perfect. Because, it, because it's so far beyond what we normally think humanly capable. And that's why I will, I will say if the observer isn't observing, is there an observation? Is there not nope. some truth to that? I would there's say no, no observation if there's no observer. Yeah, it doesn't no, mean doesn't I'm, right? So it's like if the it's that whole is does the tree make a sound if it falls in the forest? Of course not. It's not that, logical. But part of the I mean, part of the part of the question is does the tree exist? No, is well the point was it, technically it, science sure? made it illegal to prove God exists and that God doesn't exist at the same the time. The tree exists, but not if a tree. man speaks out loud and there's not a woman to hear him, is he still wrong? <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 I think that's yeah. what no, she just learned to tune it out. Proven ineffective. <laughs> I, I, I did. I did actually have a. Question Are they wrong, Ezra? If about, I, if I have a boner, is there anyone there to touch it? No. I'll touch. I'll touch it, Pi. No. Nope. If I have I to think know. by reality, uh, is someone else wrong? Lib, you on charity cases now. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did. I do have a question because Ezra brought up consciousness a little while back, and I know this is kind of like a topic shift, but it, it's interesting. Consciousness is something interesting to me because I believe, at least to my understanding, consciousness is like an emergent property of, um, at least as so far as we can tell, humans interacting with the world. It's like an emergent property of people sort of experiencing the world. So, like, uh, I. I I do think that like consciousness is a thing that there was a time when there were no conscious entities, um, or at least we, so far as we can tell, there were no conscious entities. Um, I just hold on, I gotta stop you here. It's just the fact that you have strong beliefs about this topic at all is sort of insane. If you take a step back and observe yourself and your life experience, what do you mean? Like, what? why do you, why do you, who was, who was born into consciousness and has never experienced not being conscious and has never experienced an absence of consciousness, why do you have a strong belief that this not consciousness happened at all? Because drink a lot. Well, I drink a lot. As far as we, I quit go, drinking. That's probably the problem. There are tons of other entities that don't seem to experience consciousness in the same way that humans experience consciousness well and even and even that i think humans uh experience consciousness differently and i'll use For you sure. as an example i'll use, yeah. use, use you as an example when you use the term demisexual you evidently don't have the conscious ability to understand what you're saying because demisexual means half 
sexual. Just like demigod doesn't mean a full god, it means a half god. So I question your consciousness about how you use the terms. Just well, now you're just, now you're just arguing semantics. Like you're literally arguing semantics. No, yeah. you want to talk. No, you want to talk about conscience, and you're not even conscious of the real words that you're using. No, just like when I have a. Can I ask you a question? No, he, no, wizard's right because when I have a semi. Oh, you know, some of these, some of these people can't read the room. As, as a replacement, okay, so Liv, can I ask a question now? Like, is there yeah. a, have a Mr. moment? Thank on, you. Mr. Pye, I know I've been you, you and Pye and some of the other people. Sarah's doing a great job of reading me and then adjusting her mood to mine a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear about your fucking boner unless it brings in tips. <laughs> uh, that was a no pun, no pun intended. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> as, as, Ezra, quick, ask your question. Thank you, right? Um, do you know about um, the studies with zero point field? Zero point field. Uh, it's, wow. so it's, the, it's the idea. I've talked about this a lot, and I, I'm not trying to repeat, okay? But obviously, Lib hasn't heard this. It's the idea that it's, it's, it is a quantum physics thing. Again, I'm not on the theoretical side. Uh, where every single molecule and atom, and it's been shown in Corellian photography, has its own biofield that goes out. It's a radius. It's a spiked radius. Sometimes it has been shown in an aura sense. But when you start to break that down in itself and also understand that the brain isn't the only form of consciousness, that actually the body holds almost five, four to five points of consciousness, when, especially when you look at the vagus nerve. So our gut is a huge part of that. Our gut, what, what about hungry, hangry? That's a term related to heart. emotions. What about the so neurons in your heart? I know what I'm getting at. It's like, yeah, with consciousness. The, the, yeah. The problem is so there's isn't... some point it had to come first. I'm sorry. That's my belief. Thank you. Go ahead, Wiz. Well, yeah, I was just adding on to it. Even your heart has its own brain. Technically, according to the medical world, yes, and That's actually, the neurons first, first form, and and okay. they're seeing in science now. They're, they call it the biofield because it actually your heart is in a huge electromagnetic field. It will sense the danger before you see, smell, or hear it. It has its own toroidal field. Okay, That's why I think are, are emotions there, are there, come from the heart as opposed to the brain. Are there are there obs well? I mean, the ancient Egyptians yeah. used to think that the brain served no purpose. So, you know, How let's you know did they really? <laughs> yeah, cool. no, no, no. That's why, That's why they it's... snatched it out the way they did. Yeah, yeah but they just wrote an article out. about a month ago about how it's rewriting all of history that they ever knew about the pyramids because there's all these chambers underneath it. So, like, everything you need before that could be yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's about this design inside, actually, because my friend yeah. is working on this research yeah. and does his right. own free energy design. And has okay. shown that actually it has to has, do with a, a how geometric how pattern. Like, how, 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 how much? How, how, how much? How much shit does he use? Uh, uses free energy to power? Exactly. Uh, like often on a break, he at actually all, has been shown all. that he can like power an entire house. It just runs off of his free energy. Yeah, and it's oh. actually just copper coil design. I've shown his video. I think I pulled it up on your show before. We played it in the background, and I could do it again. It's not yeah, copyrighted. Right. He's not monetized, and he's super cool. He'd come on on your show and talk, and I, I mean, could I, ask him I, to if you I, want I, me I to. I, I retract the challenge. If he's if he's actually done this, then then that's legit. And I just all right. I'm so there's oh, oh, yeah, it's on his channel. No, cool. Absolutely, okay. did a lot of this stuff. No, but yeah, no. anything that anybody that's remember. putting something forth that's practical, yeah, we want to see it. We want to. We and definitely want to see it. There's a whole no, convention on this. Quick, it's called I Apex, me and Joe dude. Thought we were like, it looked like about seventy bucks worth of copper, and it looked like he put it on the ground, and then he, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, just, he clicked the, and everything oh, turned oh, on. Yeah, I like, remember. Yeah, I remember that. Video. Okay, but so, I'm not so, hating on it. But by the way, real quick, requires... don't you go over. Haven't you watched Apex? Haven't you listened to the research and what they're doing in the lab? No, I don't want to hear any research. I just want an instruction manual. I just want to know how to make it. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll show you. It's easy. It's super easy. An item with. Can, can I ask you that that I yes, like, uh, Mr. Pie, go ahead, please. Please, because the, this is something that was like glazed over. She said that we have five sections of consciousness. Like, we don't even know if we have, like, there's just one consciousness, right? Of ourselves. Our oh, yeah. Sorry, I know, like, exactly. Like but you said that we have more than one brain. Said, but no, but you said we have five consciousness. 
And no, I said I, I was trying to say brains. Like the idea of having a brain is actually been attributed to your heart and your gut and your hormone well, center and okay, and your but digestive. That's not, that's not, but but that's not consciousness. Yeah, the right. word consciousness when lived. I agree, but I, that's not what I was trying to say. So you're misinterpreting. So I I just want to clarify. Okay, so then okay, so that's why I wanted to address it because yeah, no, that's cool, not. Yeah. That's I not, think that's worth clarifying. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're more more like neuron centers where you have a large mass of neurons, yeah. not necessarily forming a brain, but interact with each other. Like she said, one one mass center is in the gut, one mass center is in My the heart, penis is one crazy. mass center is your. Oh. System one mass uh, center is your cannabinoid system. It has to do with your health. Yeah, um, and yeah. I meant yeah. I meant brain when I I I think I did say consciousness, and again I did mean brain. So well, that's all, that's not that trying to be. all yeah. these systems are connected to your brain. So like again, yeah. I don't I don't see the like there's definitely. But again, Liv, look up real quick and look up the electromagnetic biofield. On the heart. This is this is updated that. science. This is I'm not making this up. You can look up articles on this. I'm pretty sure the you know our classic medical site has it. Um, but it is actually saying that the heart can recognize and sense it before the brain does. So there you have to realize it it, it, it works together. Does. You can't just say that's the mm. one place. Yeah, there's a lot happening, especially oh. what we understand with the memory and the hypothalamus and actually the potential for that ruling with the gender as well. So I'm oh, not so discrediting it. It's just, you can't God, deny so the whoever rest. Asks, what will be proof of God? So I can I'm not it to you right quick. That, but I am calling a little bit of bullshit on how far all over the place you are. <laughs> I mean, it's it, everywhere. It, like it's like you threw spaghetti at us, and I'm trying to I'm figure out. I'm here for the rap battle. With I know because it went that way, so I can yeah, apologize okay. for yeah. that, I'm, and I'm, you I'm can help with the like, redirection. Yeah, I, right? I, I, I do. I do. We got it, bud. Little, I uh, get into a little bit of what Sasquatch is talking about because mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that like what you're talking about isn't aren't like real things. In fact, I'm I'm literally looking at a .gov website where they have an article on the biofield physiology, a framework for an emerging discipline. It looks like it's um, this is from like 2015. This is like talking about like a a literally Im like just now like being uh, studied sort of field. Um, but I'm not so this sure. This is connecting the consciousness. That's what I'm getting at. I'm not sure how what this is it. Is it not this that. field? That's what I want to well, say. So, so I'm not. I guess when I when I talk about consciousness, I'm talking about the um, the experience of. So consciousness, when I'm talking about it, is I'm talking about people's experiences. Like the only consciousnesses. That's not going to work because can, then I'm going to say, what about dogs experience? Do they not have consciousness just by definition? Because they they're not might. people no, 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 that no, no, won't no. work. They might have consciousnesses, but we have no way of knowing whether or not they do because the whole part of like. You have more evidence of it than you do of Big Bang. The whole, the whole point of like consciousness is you have to be able to like communicate to like the way the reason we uh, we believe that other people have consciousnesses is because they experience they can experience things in the same way that we can and the way we know that is because we can communicate with them so um, i hate to do this i, I got another fact backed by article they have now proven that plants are sentient beings which means they actually do sense pain which means they oh, have some yeah. kind of I was just going to say no, no snowflakes are the same. No, they do. Yeah. No, no, no. You're right. I, no, I, I, no, I don't. Do. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't. I, I, again, you can't like, evaluate that. You're not seeing the bigger picture. That's my opinion. And that would connect to consciousness again. Well, it, it's it's another step in demonstrating consciousness. But again, like the only the only way that we even know that other people have consciousnesses is because that we're able to communicate with other humans. And like because of that communication, we can come to understandings i can um, communicate with my cat and he understands me not, ooh, not in the, definitions same, not in the same way that you can communicate with another human though but if that's what? my definition yeah it's not just that's why they're different that. things you can't imp you can't impart the same kinds of concepts to an another to another animal as you could a human being absolutely my cat understands the word friend 100 percent Sure, but d does your cat like? Can you have my, a my cat knows the word friend better than people, dog? Can <laughs> you know about them? Um, wait, wait, <laughs> Cynthia, the button, the button, Cynthia, show him the buttons. Oh, I don't know, oh, I don't know who you're trying to like. 
fill in on like missing information here? Consciousness is very difficult to explain. I've never heard it heard it explained well. No, I, I agree. It's a very difficult concept because as as far as we can we know, only other humans can experience consciousness. And even then, uh, there's a lot of like uh, philosophy because we can go into like a lot of medical uh, 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 fields to talk about this. However, like at its root, we're mostly talking about philosophy. Um, I go back to the cat shit. I saw a leopard today look at himself in the mirror and knew he was uh, looking at it. He was conscious because he knew it was himself. Other animals, including the dog, well, had actually, no idea what the fuck he was looking at. As I, I say, you don't know whether or not the leopard knew it was itself. Um, I saw the chimpanzee and, opening his mouth and playing with his tongue. I saw a cat touch his ear. He knew what they were looking at. Well, that's that's talking about like um, uh, sentience, not so much consciousness. I, I do think there's a difference between sentience and consciousness. I don't know what either means. I ain't gonna bullshit you. I haven't heard that defined well. Sentience usually refers to like um, uh, feelings and uh, like the ability to like like feel pain and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, like cats are sentient. Yeah. So, yeah. I just said that plants can feel pain. Yeah, that like is most, connected to sentience. Most sentience most, basically means that you can't create it personally see what i mean it's hard to get a definition of these things yeah well yeah i know i mean these these are definitely relatively difficult things to to define um but like and and most and most animals and as far as we know most plants are sentient um but they're not sapient they don't have consciousnesses in the same way that humans do that we can uh that we can observe we can observe them like having sentience but we can't observe them having okay i think there is there an, uh, uh and thank you i think there is a, a, a problem in your definition of consciousness in the definition it must be a human experience so you can no longer ask me does anything other than humans have consciousness which is where i thought this conversation was going Right. And I agree because the, we have to talk about that consciousness and what you said is a type of consciousness. So we have Venus flytraps and other carnivorous plants that most certainly have a consciousness, but is it the same type? Can and it manifest? Can it manifest like a man does by using other parts of his body to do things and make things? No. But bro, it's how sweet are Venus flytraps? Little sidebar appreciation for the plants that <laughs> <laughs> right and Absolutely. Real quick, connected to that though is sorry oh. sorry I, okay so I, I, I have a lot no let's have to talk sorry. i prefer sundews i'm sorry i wasn't trying to interrupt i was just saying sundews yeah. are good. <laughs> no. i want to i want to throw something else out there so if we can't see like on a certain spectrum with infrared whatever like the way we see we think we're the most intellectual things on this planet. So she's saying plants are sentient. Do you, are, are we confused thinking they don't communicate on such a higher level Thank you. or mycelium or like, this is what I'm saying. Yes. 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 So, yes. so what I'm saying is, Fungi. is so we think that uh, I was waiting for the fungus is the brain of everything. This yes, is but what, what? But the root system, oh, dude. This is because yes, we don't. Yes, yes. Just because we don't see it, just because we don't feel it, just because we think exactly. we are the most and most intelligent things that granted Earth and created God and created math. Beautiful. Um, you know, like geometry. So, and that's what I was getting at. There's a root system underground. They've shown this. You can look this up yeah. again. Where you could, they do trees communicate and warn of danger, so do other plants yeah. mm -hmm. through the root system. Even plants, without the root even. system, they have evidence where trees, one starts getting uh, bitten by insects and shit, and the other ones around it that are unattached to it will start to uh, prepare their shit against the insects, yeah. create the poison and all that shit at, dis at distances. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, the, definitely, um, we've we know that animals can communicate. However, they can't communicate with us in the same way that we communicate with other humans, which is kind of, which is what I'm getting at is that- If you're gonna ask me, can humans only have consciousness? The answer is yes, because in there, it must be the way humans do it. So yes, the answer is I yes. I mean, I think humans communicate pretty terribly. 
No, we do. Like, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. However, we definitely communicate differently and to a different extent than other kinds of animals, um, which is why we, we have been able to like, like tool creation is a, well, it's not, I guess, uniquely human, but it's uniquely human and human related because there are, it, there are some, not there are some primates, well, there are yeah. some primates who have been known to like, fashion tools but birds uh, they're finding other other examples now uh, and that was our defiant thing we are the tool maker I've, now I've we seen, see birds. i've seen squirrels like chuck acorns down at people it's, under their trees yeah. that's not that's not that's different from tool creation a, a bird like, a, a, a tool is a is an inanimate object used to perform a function that's a, that's I, a I used to watch with a tool I used to watch a guy who would make a ninja race course for the squirrels in his backyard yes. and they would master it. They like he yeah. had it around their whole fence and they would have obstacles. They would have to jump and they each one of them would master it in a day or two. Sometimes I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. It was epic obstacle. and hilarious. Yeah. And, you know, I, mean, I used to watch it with my brother. Though I wonder, I wonder if the organisms on this planet sit around and underground have a talk about us and be like, "These fucking Those stupid, fucking these, yeah. mother, these motherfucking, these are the virus." No. Motherfucking they know. The parasite. That it was a they human. Know. Know. They know. Know. I'm just saying. I think they have these. Like that's well, what's like when you, with, they do the anime and like, like the CGI with when there's ants and bees and like. The bees are probably like these motherfuckers are fucking everything up. We had a thing going. Yeah. Why are these motherfuckers with fucking nature. with our shit? Yeah. Fucking go out, with nature, go out and savage. take a pot shot at a hornet's nest. Hanging in a tree. No, hey, so I saw a thing. They will the come shot. straight down the path of that where that projectile that's, that's came the from. So the I, I saw a thing today about an electronic um or an electronic tree that's supposed to push out um it's a mechanical tree that put like sucks carbon out of the fucking earth, like at ten thousand times of a tree or something. And you should see the comments. Everyone's like, everyone's like, leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Quit fucking with nature, dude. Nature's good, bro. Wait, well, yeah, when have we ever well, they nature? Them, but they're not I, like I, modifying I it. They literally just put algae in like a, and it actually absorbs what you just said. I actually don't know like, you know, exactly what you're talking about. And there's this whole idea of like living walls. It's like, how nice would that be? You know, you got like greenery all around you. Have you ever been out? Have you ever slept? You have. I know you've slept in nature. It'd be terrible. There's a reason we live in <laughs> sterile fucking chemical houses. Because nature's oh, itchy. Oh, and fucking it's it's one of the most beautiful it's things. It's no, no, oh, no, no, no. Can no, I explain no, something no. actually? The flow. We can live in want, like nine houses. Uh, so I turn on your camera. I want to see the, the mulch pile that you're sleeping in with the beautiful things. Wait, exactly. I, didn't I show you where I'm at? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm in a, I told you I'm at my friend's house and I did. And there's like but kids' the, pictures the point, in the background. Yeah, I'm like in there. Yeah, no, I don't care about the house really. I'm just making a point. Nobody actually wants to live in living things like that. No, so no, no. Can I explain idea. something? Yeah, but Flo, it does have a little bit to do with the building materials. And if, if you do look into, um, like the resonance concept. So what we actually, you can have houses made out of hempcrete that look just as nice as what we have, where you're not dealing with like chemical materials or chemical or uh, excuse me, materials that I'm, I'm don't allow you to ground. As long as we're making synthetic things and we're not living in nature. Yeah, I mean, but, I, but, I, for but, one, but think Flo, like, do you have house nice plants? Invention. Like that's what I'm talking about. Just having a little bit more of uh, some nature like things around you, not walking in, in the, in the dirt. Now. Okay. I go outside. Oh. I go outside. That, oh, that, that helps a lot. You don't but need to hey, have so, bugs and plants and shit in your house if you go outside. You know, I have a, I, I have a, que I, I have a think, question. I think that uh, human made things are uh, nature, uh, sort of by definition, um, because they exist in nature. Humans are part of nature too. Uh, <laughs> we just shaped our nature to be slightly different. So um, that's, that's, that's good to my point. Because. Well, Every every mathematical equation, like we've we've actually made that up. So anywhere in nature, do you find? No, we didn't. We just defined it. All we did. No, is no, 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 no. But anywhere in nature, there's there's gooey <laughs> people and there's prickly people. We we choose to create boxes for ourselves, right angles, pyramids. Where else in nature do you ever see that? 
us as humans are the ones Fibonacci that do- sequence. The Fibonacci, no, I, Fibonacci well, sequence. Yeah, but yeah, the Fibonacci, but like it's not a box. It's not <laughs> a pyramid. Uh, like, it could be. Do do you do you see it? Can, 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 can you give can you give me the dimensions of a tree? Every fucking tree is different. Every blade of grass but is different. Why do we every... have why do we have why do we have to as humans create a box? Well, every, part of, it's part every, of the manufacturer. It's easier to assemble. It's ease of assembly. Yeah. It's it's efficiency. It, that's why. Yeah, yeah. I know, but, every blade of grass not, grows itself, yeah. but houses okay. don't grow themselves. Okay, so, so but that but that's an us thing. We created that. Yeah, well, yeah, we're the only thing that impacts our environments. Blades of grass just just stand there. Well, yeah. no, other 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 animals do impact their environments. We're the okay, only yeah, ones we're the only ones that do it like this. Yeah, let's have some beavers. We're the only Actually, ones that yeah. make right ankles. We're, we're the, the only ones that make right ankles and cubes and, and so triangles. I would backwards. say that a beaver makes a pretty close estimation of a right angle to the riverbank. Uh, no, as far as it can with what it works with. I, I don't think so, dude. I, I, I think that us as humans have made up math. We make up all the angles. We make up our own world. In God, this world, Harlan, will you tell this dude that those are right people? angles on the beavers? So and so, Hi, there are right angles in every solid crystal on Earth. Oh, Thank that's, you, what's up, that is, Cal? that's a good point. That's a good point. But we didn't make those. And there are liquid crystals. Figure yeah, it out. Like, I, I mean, I mean, I mean in, in the oil burner. <laughs> So to, to what you're saying about we are liquid earlier. crystals. Hi. Um. Uh. To, to my understanding, I I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but I've heard of people doing things like that, and a, a large part of that, like sort of sucking in carbon, um, is is it's Who's an effort to like. Baby? I have no She's idea. She's at a friend's house. Remember? Um. Mm. Uh. It is I've like the muted. whole like it's trying to, to do like climate change. Um, basically, like trying to lower the amount of carbon dioxide in the air um, because we have been putting so much Wait, carbon dioxide in the you air. You don't actually think that basically probably anyone on this panel believes that nonsense except for yourself, do you? No, I'm saying that that's the, a lot of what those kinds of things are for. Like That's what you're right. That's I know. I, I'm, it, I, it, whether, okay. or not, whether or not that actually like is, is going to work. Like, no, it's, it's, it's money getting thrown into the scam. That's being run on us. I, yeah. I I actually am personally like against a lot of that because I I do think a lot of that is just basically like um, bur burning money because um, all of all of the solutions that they're proposing are like so like even assuming that it is correct and that we do need to, that that there is too much car that there is too much carbon in the air that we have produced um, the ways in which people have proposed to get rid of it uh, oftentimes are horribly cost efficient. Like, but they, they sure spend a lot of time and energy flying around the world to to have conferences about how you need to not travel anywhere and, yeah, and no, buy right. oceanfront property for millions yeah. and millions of dollars, and right? I, 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 On thirty-year notes with I, you know. I, I do agree that that's all like um, uh, very hypocritical. I'm that's that those types of that type of climate activism, I think, is like that is all climate. Horrible. That's all of it. That's literally the whole industry is douchebags like that, and then insane mm -hmm. anti-human people. Um, this guy believes it 100. percent Can't you hear what he's saying? He's justifying I, it. By I know Lib. Lib is no, lost I'm, in the sauce. I'm, Lib overcorrected from his. Yes, did you? I suppose his conservative Christian childhood, um, just in a different way. You you started banging bitches, and he start and he became one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Try. Anybody, I have. Has anybody, anybody noticed the force of nature? Has anyone seen the force of nature at work? I'm not the only one that didn't laugh at that. Yeah, so that that's so the cool. thing is like one one volcano eruption. One, no, not that. It's like it, it it's it's like the most of like like I'm not talking about destruction of nature. I said the no. Uh, what what I'm saying is it's like more than like two billion cars emissions in like one day, one volcano eruption. So to think that we can control climate or like we have some kind of like impact on that. It's a fucking on. joke. It's I'm a not joke. even debating that. Yeah, I'm 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 not debating that. But also like, are so like, do you think that volcanoes erupt all the time? Like volcanoes don't actually erupt that often. Uh, Hawaii has been erupting for 725 years. 
No, that doesn't okay. change. So, Sorry. You know, take another I mean, swing at it. Wait, do you mean you mean there's spice a hotspot? Hot spot, hot spot in Hawaii has been continuously erupting yeah. since we discovered it. His argument and uh, are and all in Costa Rica is an active, frequently uh, well, erupting active, volcano. Active, active is different than currently erupting. So emissions is what we're talking about, and also you're not you're not equating like fracking and the emissions that have come out of that. And that's actually showing up in people's water, but it's also showing up in emissions as well. There, I'm I'm I have to agree that yes, we probably personally have had some influence, but there's no way when you get down into the deep science of it at this point that that's the answer that that's the reason mm -hmm. we're in this situation. That I, I, and that's my personal opinion. And I, I am a bleeding heart nature activist, like voted for that, right? You know, thinking that way. But it's pretty obvious it's a campaign. Um, oh, I just lost my Oh, the ozone. We should. We need to learn a lesson from the ozone layer that I, we were all alive when hairspray was going to open <laughs> a, a hole into space. <laughs> and then, when, then by the time it was supposed to happen, we magically fixed it. This invisible problem. Magically went away by the end date because yeah, whatever happened to that, that man. I never read the article that said we were safe. Whatever <laughs> happened to well, that? that, that they just let it fall out of the news cycle, and people's no. bird brains quit thinking about it all together because it's all chasing the scare for yeah, well, no, there was yeah, the, there was the a, same as the DDT in the sixties and seventies. They quit using that, and the eagle population came. The out. ice age we're supposed to be in that by now. Fifties and sixties. Wait, I'm sorry. Hang on. We're supposed to be in an ice age right now. Uh, that wait, was it. And Harmon, help me out. The 50 or the 60s or 70s, they said we were going to be in ice age by now. We're going to be in oh, ice age by 92. Everything was going to be frozen over by 92. Yes. They've done this. Year. They've done this every year for like a hundred years. Right. Like, At some point, some, we have to some, catch on to this. Like, the the oil is going to run out. The fossil fuels are going to run out. Climate change, global warming. Exactly. It's, like, oh, oh, it's, oh, a, it's oh, really oh, fast. Really fast. It's a bunch I'm, of bullshit. It's I, a I bunch of question. When you say they, who's the they? That's not. No, pause it. I, I'm intervening on that question because it's not ah. relative. It's just a deflection from what is obvious, an obvious pattern we're pointing out. doesn't matter who they is. Well, yeah. No, it, it, it does because there are different groups who made different claims. No, it doesn't. What we're doing um, is observing the pattern. Out those that did make that claim. It's simple. Some, the claim has been made. That's the point. Right. Somebody who is lying. There's a pat. There's a narrative and and culture mm -hmm. that change that it repeats itself. Mm -hmm. We can see the narrative without having to know who drew it. Well, yeah, it's, it's, they're, it doesn't matter getting if here. Like, if like some retard on the street is saying that it's gonna, there's gonna be a ice age in 50 years, and uh, and there's a how about headlines? Will you yeah, accept you think that that's what we're talking about? Yeah, headlines. Thing, work. yeah, headlines works. Well, no, yeah. what, 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 what I'm, what I'm, no, no, what, what I'm, what I'm saying is that um, I hear you, I do. You're I'm trying to saying, distance the scientific okay. community from the answer. claims that they've been wrong about. No, I'm trying to distinguish between claims that the scientific community has made and claims that like people who aren't part of the scientific community have made. Where do you think you get most of your views from? I'll wait. Uh, God? From the TV. From the TV. From the <laughs> well, considering I don't watch TV, I don't like watch cable news. Or well, I mean, this is new TV. We, we, we are the news now because we're all... We learn, about, we learn about the new breaking developments in science through... Well, previously it was through news headlines. cycles TV, through the TV. Headlines right. will suffice. Headlines. headlines, TV shows, and now this is new TV. We, yeah, this we is, have an information. Today's headlines. Right. Still yeah. yeah. We have people that will, like, Flow State will push back, or anybody will push back. I'll push back. it in, That's motherfucker. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, because. What is wrong with you, Flow? No, we're a bunch of fucking people <laughs> talking, talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not we're, slow. Look, I worked too long today. I've been I've been sitting on my ass being a streamer for a, quite a while. In the last two days, well, actually most of this week, I've been out like actually doing shit. I don't like it. I can tell. Yeah. I've also been doing a lot of shit, but it, admit, admittedly, my shit has mostly just been ferrying people around. Um, I'm the designated uh, driver because I like. I driving. was gonna have a rap battle with Wizard, but we'll 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 save that to later. You think Thank that you're ready for the challenge <laughs> like that? I needed a backdrop. Um, you might, you might walk in here a man and hop out of here a frog if you fuck around and find out. 
No, dude. If, <laughs> if um, hey, dude, the P Diddy thing is uh made me made me think of some good raps. Man, yeah. I, I need you a back. Know the force of nature yet? You can do experiment. Back a little bit of experiment. experiment right there, sitting there where you're doing. The force of nature, we're, we're, everything's in the vortex within this world of ours. Everything works in the vortex. Everything grows in the vortex. Flowers grow in the vortex. Everything has a vortex. You can't take a you water in a in a in a bottle and try uh -huh. to pour it out straight. No, it always pours in a vortex. Some force has us going in a vortex, which is causing aging and everything else. So hey, try, try, pour water to try to pour water out straight. It'll never no, do it. Water. water never comes out. Straight. Work. Have you ever tried to shoot a very long shot? I'm talking seven, like 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 a half. That's not mile. nature. I feel like I feel like you're. Oh, oh I'm sorry. A bull is not made. It. Are you when you water, take water, 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 observe the laws what of you nature. What are arguing about? I just said take some water. I'm not arguing. I'm asking a question. You have to answer the question or accept the premise of the question. Nothing to do with I'm just asking. asking okay. a question. Yeah, it Harvey. Does, um, okay, Harvey, you're water. right. When you pour when you pour a water bottle out, it turns into vortex. Now where are we going? Now Sasquatch, where are you going with it? Whenever you pull the trigger on a gun, it also falls in a circle, a, a, a spiral, actually. Sure, it does. If, it, if it's spreaded. Spread. No, it doesn't matter if, if it's rifle. It doesn't it's matter rifle. if it's, it's rifle. rifle. If you hey. fire far enough, the earth moves under the bullet. And if you don't know your math, you missed. <laughs> Try it. Oh. Go shoot. You're not a Again. sniper. You never made a shot this long. I can tell. Have you, ever, have you math. ever done that with a bullet, Sasquatch? Basic mathematics. It's not a bullet drop. It's Calculation is not science. Harmon, are you? I didn't say it was. I said this is a repeatable experiment. If you fire at a target from a given spot and you don't account for the Coriolis effect, you will miss every single have shot. Have you ever and done that? You really believe that? You really believe that? I have done it. Oh, how did you do that? Let me ask I, you I, a question. Long range in the military. Yes, I have. Okay. How did you do it though? Like, how did you take into account when you're looking through a scope? How do you? He used the computer. You should have loved that far. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Can There's I, a calculator. I another, can I? I'm going to ask. Hold on. There's a calculator that tells that correlates that tells you how much, how how far above the thing. It to utilizes aim. a range finder to a laser to determine how far you are from a given and, spot, and then how much you have to aim <laughs> off and to the left, depending on where you're at. Laugh and all you want. You did you do it the silliest thing ever. Did you it, did it work against just drop? Yes, it does. It accounts for both drop and the Coriolis. It says it does, but did you did you figure out some way to figure out to have a control of, of it? <sighs> all right. Nope. Yes. Yeah, I no, guess you're, you're not going to accept it. Uh, <laughs> I have. So many rounds downrange that you can see the difference in the strike between a wind effect, the normal Coriolis yep. effect, and normal drop. Say no, Paul, you want. It doesn't change the facts. My facts don't care about your feelings. There's no way for me to demonstrate. What is uh, there? What's the I'm satisfied the that with that, I don't doesn't mean I believe that you're right. But I'm satisfied that you're set. Whatever. That's enough. Hey, what's the longest Ask the hunter, shot? dude. Sorry. What's the longest it's like I've dated enough and uh, can't remember the dude that shooting, enough. But it was a Canadian shot, a Canadian sniper shooting in Afghanistan. I think it was 2.2 2 miles. You're something like 2.9. It's up wow. over two miles now. It's, it's 4.4 4 miles. It's 4.4 4 miles along the rifle shot. Uh, yeah. Right. I, if he was shooting from a mountaintop into a valley. Yeah. That is, you, 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 you're assuming things already. You just assumed that what I just no, said. I know happen. of the case itself. I've read the actual documents, man. It is one I of the most. I got right here. It just set last year, one year ago, the longest rifle shot in Wyoming. This is a meeting. Okay. And no Fine. Coriolis was a no Coriolis effect was uh, calculated one percent nothing zero at four point four miles. How do you know no Coriolis effect was? All right, watch the video; they'll tell you how they did it. It took yeah. them like sixty-seven tries to hit the target. So how do you know hey, the guy I'm, in his head, or what did they use the computer? Just look at it. 
All right. Well, Paul, so he's I, not know, you, you just, I was trying to be in here, so he started groaning. If it's the point guy four. who thought it, you know, we don't know if it's <laughs> he's the not you're just sitting there. You haven't seen it. You haven't talked about it. You're just making up in your mind right now. Just like you do all your theoretical No, no, no. I'm, all I was your, not all your theories on it. this stuff in space is just found, based on theory on theory on theory. It's hard to know if you don't let them if you don't let them respond. Uh, just talk through them. I, I found an article uh, that I'm going to link in the chat that talks about uh, this specific uh, long shot, the 4.4 shot. Um, and one of the paragraphs uh, in it says, for the shot that made impact, Austin gave the shooter a correction of 1,092 MOA of elevation, 17 MOA left hold. I'm not using the term windage as the wind value is only mm -hmm. one of several variables. Um, spin drift, where the bullet angles in the direction of its spin. And the Coriolis effect, uh, quote, the rotation of the earth by which the target shifts position while the bullet is in flight also plays a role at that distance. That is... I mean, that was a guy's Mr. article Arlen, wrote about. Like, yeah, this yeah, this is people. That's just somebody talking thought. about my mama. Well, that's this just, is this is the he was saying that the, that not, the, the shooter him. took those into effect. The, he's that, saying right. that, but he didn't. But how, I saw that same article. I think that the, the guy asked him if he did on, that online. The more I'm inclined to just be like, I don't want to hear anything from anybody no, ever. It they've done it themselves. Nobody should talk about a damn thing unless they've done it. There's I mean, so many motherfuckers just, online who know lots of things about lots of things. Yeah, yeah, you qualified in that, Sasquatch. You said you'd shot something. I didn't ask for proof. So of many rounds downrange, bro. And, and that's why I was satisfied with your response. Even though it wasn't proof, you at least said that you had done it. I've done tons of times at 300. No, I didn't do it. I can back up people I know who have and discussed it. Oh, and actually, it doesn't also, quite make the cut. <laughs> um, what, what Sasquatch I think was referring I know, it's to a, earlier. It's a nice we all have a friend's friend who, you know... Yeah, but, the longest I did. No, this well, is family. This is like family you, and direct people hated. Har, you, Harmon, what? have you have you tried doing long range shots with and without calculating the Coriolis effect? I've never calculated Coriolis effect. I did three hundred to four hundred meter shots. I don't uh, think the Coriolis effect. Is, in four hundred meters, you wouldn't need to. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't, huh? How far? <laughs> because you just don't believe anything that's said. <laughs> You're saying the earth moves underneath the bullet, right? I'm not saying shit. I'm saying yeah, you'll you said, miss. You Good luck. Said, you said in your long distance shots, the earth moves underneath your bullet, right? And you have to calculate the earth moving and the target moving, right? Well, we were talking about the four point that's four what, miles. Four shot. I know, no, I know. I, I don't worry about my four. <laughs> you right? have to calculate <laughs> windage, drop, positioning. Angle of descent. I understand. And Coriolis. Okay, your Coriolis affects your, your earth moves underneath the bullet. Yes or no? Sasquatch? Sure. Yes Is that what it sure. does? The earth doesn't stop when you pull the trigger. That's for sure. So the atmosphere isn't with the bullet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Harmon, stop. Hold on, Harmon, pause, pause, pause. Pause, pause. Both of you. What Sasquatch is saying is what he did with bullets. You're telling him about you're making a different argument. You're just you're just claiming you're trying to I'm argue what he said he did because that would mean so you're you're following the dominoes. Does that make sense? Well, he didn't do it. No, I could keep going. see he's okay. just called liar outright. That's what no, that is. You didn't do it. No, you didn't calculate <laughs> didn't do it. You didn't do it. That's you what he's saying. You don't know what he, he did. did. You no, don't know what he did. You know what you believe. <laughs> and so so he couldn't have done that. Yes, in right. place of your belief. Right. You don't know what he did. I do know that if the birth moved underneath his bullet, he calculated that that a helicopter hovering the earth should move underneath him too. I'm going to sit over here. How is that different? To 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 um get us a little bit away from this uh what you said earlier about the canadian that was the longest confirmed kill um and actually that's okay. been done recently um that was it was currently at it was at 3540 meters away and it was some canadian dude in during the iraq civil war however in november 2023 there was a ukrainian who beat that uh record uh at 3800 meters um during the russian invasion of ukraine there's a ukrainian soldier as i understand that ukraine doesn't even exist so how can we count that no, they still exist. Well, because Coriolis yeah, doesn't exist, I've so never I been count there. that. According to Flo, I, they can't exist because I've never been there, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have, yeah. we have good examples <laughs> that different countries exist, that land exists, that different languages and cultures exist. 
So it's not like we have to invent these things from from whole cloth. Uh, okay, you know what? Fair, fair, fair. It's we were not, just. I, yeah, we are doing the same it was, thing. It was, it was. It was. It was just a funny jab. It wasn't. I, I don't. I, not as serious. I think. But come on, you you, you got to admit that's pretty cool. Thirty eight hundred meters is a really. I got fired a lot. Apparently, um, uh, he did it with a whatever a Horizons Lord is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either, but it sounds fucking dope. It does sound. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's, oh it's an anti-material sniper rifle. That's it's a Ukrainian anti-material sniper rifle. What does that even mean? It's a big fucking gun. It's a big fucking gun. Yeah, that's oh, here we go. What does anti-material part of that name mean? Have you ever seen a fifty cal round? Yes. Yeah. The, that is I an anti-material rifle. Yeah, okay. I think so. It just means a big fucking bullet. Great I dropped, shit. I dropped a link in the back. They use it 50, a, it, 50 cal BMG. It will tear up anything. Headshot, it's gone. There's no evidence left. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, all the videos are unavailable of it being shot. I'm upset. I really wanted to see this thing shoot. Cool as shit. So on that, can I can I bring up my question to Harmon? I think it goes more to the perspective of the flow, which is going against the nature of gravity itself. When we're talking about pouring water out of a pitcher, it's going down, not horizontally. So in its natural course, it creates its own vortical current. In that aspect, would you agree that in that vortical current, it's actually creating its own minute energy, a positive energy source, because that vortical gets tighter and tighter. Therefore, it's a small increase in heat. Wouldn't science show that? Sounds My, uh, Trees grow up, plants grow up, and the water goes down. The same thing happens. Sounds like more do you guys? Do you guys see this gun store owner here with just like bazookas behind him? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, this is this is where that my inner libertarian is going to come out. Must every, be every, human, every human should be able to own a tank. They can You can own a tank. That's look at that powder charge, man. Hey, so let's say, are you gonna are you gonna drop the back beat or what? What? Listen, Jeff, I'm not gonna do it here with you tonight. You want to do it? Come to my panel. We'll do it on my panel or something. I was gonna rap. I was gonna rap battle with uh, Keith. Okay, here we go. Well, you may as well go ahead and sit on that sofa, you lazy loafer, because this mofa is gonna show you a fofa. Ruh -roh. Oh, oh, eh. So so, you should probably workshop that a little bit. I I, I, I see the effort. Okay. I see the effort, but I, it, damn, fofa, no, it, come on. It, uh, <laughs> I, I got this new bit, dude. Wizard, you, you should work with me on this one. It, okay, it's... on my panel. All right. I'm still astonished by the powder charge that this fucking round has. Yeah, I'd be yeah. scared the gun is going to blow no, up. The, the, the stuff, the stuff that's coming sometimes. out. <laughs> the, the, the change in warfare that we're discovering with the Ukraine invasion is like fucking insane like warfare is going to be wildly different going forward people are drones are it already is wildly so different that's awesome. why, yeah no <laughs> i know that's why you believe all the things that you believe what information is the warfare well i mean yeah it, it, it is more information warfare but also like the weapons used like drone like cheap like they're starting uh like even the u.s military is starting to shift to where like having squad based uh uh drone operators um like just infantry squads are going to be running around with like not just like reconnaissance drones but um what, what, what do they call the drones that they send that send like the payloads um i, I cannot remember the money okay. shot hey can i <laughs> Can I change it? Can I change the subject a little bit? Maybe. Um, so what's happening here? The eclipse. Everyone's talking about it. Oh my God! It's all over everywhere. No, so, that's interesting. So. Less interesting. There's shooting. You're good. You're gonna. You're gonna just try to power right through me, aren't you? Okay, go for it. It's not gonna work out. I'm just telling you, it's not gonna work. Okay, it's very interesting though. Your topic is not interesting to me. 
And then now it's not interesting on principle. <laughs> why not? Because he said he didn't want to talk about it. Boom. That's why, motherfucker. Just got sniped by one of them. Saw that coming. <laughs> no shit. Is it because you did read tarot cards? No, no. I heard you say it out loud. No, oh, I told him what was going to happen. <laughs> Is it because you read your tarot cards? <laughs> Also, there's a big return to trench warfare. I saw uh, there's a video where a guy did an interview with um, some Westerners who came back, who had had been on the front lines in Ukraine. Um, and like in Ukraine right now, like basically all the warfare is like this static trench warfare right now. Like it's not this like highly mobile, like uh, a strike force kind of war that people have been hyping up that that is going to be the future. Um, but right now it's all like... Um, I don't think either side is actually trying to win this conflict, though. I think that they're just trying to have a conflict. I, I, I think the Ukrainians who are being invaded probably are trying to not be invaded anymore. Well, they're I not really the, they, they're not really the two parties at play here, though, are they? Um, what do you, what do you mean? Do I mean, they are currently they need to get a choice whether or not they're fighting in the in the proxy war between the two world superpowers. The uh, the Russians. And, and the Ukrainians. I, I mean, I, I do agree that like the United States is um, uh, using the Ukraine invasion uh, and not sufficiently funding the Ukraine, like sufficiently funding Ukraine uh, because uh, probably. You guess, really believe that the Ukrainians are uh, on their own autonomously decided this is the war they want to have? No, they got invaded. Like, they don't have a choice. They got invaded. They have to have this war now. I mean, I guess they could surrender, but they if don't they, want to surrender right now. So, they have to have If Russia war. wanted to win the war, they'd win. I... So, why haven't they? Like I said, I think both sides want a conflict. The West wants a conflict. Russia wants a conflict. But I, I have a answer to that. If, if you accept... Oh, if, I can't, but... There is a need to use up weapons of war before they expire so that we don't have to break them down and attempt to recycle them or store them as toxic waste somewhere. Yeah. And so a nice proxy war does a real good job at using up a bunch of old munitions. Well, that's 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 for that's on our side. It, this isn't a proxy war for Russia. Russia is in the war. And Russia. Russia gets to use up all Russia their old stuff. Up their old shit first, too. But this war and isn't this war. good for Russia. This war is objectively very bad for Russia. No, war, of, war, like the war machine is what drives the economy of the world. It's, it's, it's not. It's not just the war machine. Russia is so sanctioned right now. Like that, Russia. Those economy sanctions is are going to backfire. Let me tell you yeah. about those sanctions. Long run, that shit Joe Biden pulled. I can't believe it. He's going to fuck us over in the long run by sanctioning. And yeah, no, he's fucking up the whole SWIFT system. When did you start hearing about BRICS? Right after the sanctions. Well, BRICS is like basically nothing. I, I, I don't I don't like buy into the whole BRICS shit. Um, th you think the dollar is going to maintain currency supremacy forever? Well, n that's not what I said. What I said what I said is that I think BRICS is like pie in the sky, like uh, moon logic shit. Like of course it is. It is. It will never work with Western, that many things doing cooperation. Western, I agree. Western, Western hegemony is by and large so much more powerful than anything like e even more so like china even though they're allegedly involved in BRICS, is so heavily dependent my point China. isn't that BRICS is strong my point is that the u.s is economically weak and weakening we just don't know it because what is your evidence what is, what is your, mean, what we is don't know evidence? it what is well not price most of food. us don't know it because our economy doesn't produce things. If people understood how, like, where our U.S. wealth comes from, we have a service industry. If you take out the, right, we have a service industry. We own assets. We also have an asset ownership class in the U.S. Yes. that receives benefits of that asset ownership. We in the West don't make or do anything for ourselves. Yes. Uh, we yeah. don't have a big so, manufacturing base, but that's so what. So what? 
our manufacturing yeah. bases are in other places. That's that's the point. We we don't do the manufacturing. Instead, we have a, a you know a bunch of poor brown people on the other side of the world do the right. manufacturing for us. But when you have when you have guys. wealth, wealth is a is a resource that can that you can just uh, it's the power of production, right? Um, we have given that away in exchange for comforts being shipped to us over the last century. Well, yes. I mean, it, it, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but yes. It is definitely uh, more complicated than that. Mostly because um, it's cheaper. Hey, well, before we go too far, I want to say to the Sasquatch on that, when you talk about getting rid of the old ammunition and stuff, there was like four years I was overseas. At the end of each year, the stuff came inside. We had to fire everything we could just into the range, get rid of it. So, yeah, th that it's is. It's cheaper they, to not send it back. Yeah. Right. But no, yeah, and, and and that's one of the reasons why we've been sending stuff to Ukraine. And I think we could be sending more, but I, I do think there is some idea where you the United States wants Russia locked in a forever war, kind of like how, how we were. War? Was it Wilson's war? Uh, where that they, movie? Yeah, where they were fighting that war, and the United States was just tr letting the money trickle in, you know, so they keep fighting the uh, Russians, and they wanted yeah. it to go on forever. Uh, yeah, because because so they want because they wanted Russia locked in a forever war, kind of like how like we were in at least a long time ago in in Vietnam and later in Afghanistan, how that did drain us and drain our was a drain on our economy and yes. our workforce yes. um it is similarly a drain on russia and russia's economy yes. and russia's workforce so we uh, probably want this war going on forever at least even though years. i would say that i think that's actually like while i understand why we why? Want no, that, no, no, that's no. like fucked up and evil because like you know people are dying i would, people I would are fucked up and evil that doesn't matter that that's true but like i i would say that it would be better if the war was over quickly and we were full-throatedly supporting Ukraine and actually giving them uh, the support that would allow them to win the war quickly. Um, I absolutely yeah, agree. More healing, absolutely. Yeah. None of this half-assed old, old used equipment and yeah. funky stuff from the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Just either either go all the way or shut up. And, yeah. and quit. Yeah. yeah. Right. I like agree. That's why I don't believe it's a real war that either side wants to win. They yeah. just want to have a conflict. Well, Europe is nah. is trying to Not Europe right. is trying to actually help. Europe is attempting to, but they didn't how do you know? How, well, how the fuck do you know what anybody's actually trying to do? Well, what so, Ukraine? So, what do you the, think the they want to do? You the think European, they want to fight the war or no? I mean, I think they would rather no. um, Russia not be there and for the invasion to be over and the Russians to be gone. Um, I, however, I the think, way to do that is to you know fight the war and kick out the Russians. Yes, um, and, I think. NATO yeah. and the European countries, um, the reason why I say that is because all of these European countries um, are now basically like hyping up their uh, their their wartime economies. So a lot there are a number of uh, of NATO countries that were under the two percent of military spending uh, that have now tried to have now begun like ramping up their their military spending. Poland, for instance, is on track to being what is it like three or four percent? of their of their uh, budget on military which is fucking nuts that's more than like any european country uh poland you know the last time this happened uh afghanistan yeah. no, World this War II? type of a build up in europe this type of uh, oh, increase in military. 1939 <laughs> yes sir yeah mm -hmm. well that's because that's because what that's what people are afraid of people are afraid of another big land war coming into well, all that's that's what they've been predictive programming like the fucking president was. It just, people aren't, <laughs> yeah. That fear's been put there. Well, it's another I mean, the fear, the fear it's is another there because Russia ahead. did an invasion. Mm -hmm. Like Russia did a conventional invasion, which is not like a thing that has happened uh, in the same kind of, that kind of manner in a long time. Um, and people are. I mean, it uh, does happen. Worried. Doesn't Sweet. it happen all the time in like Africa and East yeah. Asia? Like, yeah. No, 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 not no. country taking that, over countries. That yeah. don't happen a lot. Yeah. No, no. Uh, in Africa, it's mostly internal, like civil conflicts, yeah. um, and it's usually less so sovereign states versus sovereign states. Um, it, whereas the Ukraine war was like a sovereign state is attempting to invade Whoa. and take over another sovereign state. Even the United States, um, it, for all like our military misadventures, um, apart from. Uh, I mean, even Iraq wasn't even like a sovereign state trying to take over a, a trying to take over a sovereign state. Uh, uh, it, it started it basically with, is, though. They flat invaded Kuwait. Like, invaded yeah, Kuwait. like we, we were attempting to stop uh, uh, another no. military invasion. 
Man, you don't know when people are lying to you, do you? <laughs> I, I, how the fuck do you think that like in, any of our war reasons are good? Every, you can't name not a single no, conflict no, 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 the United no, no, States no, no, no. has ever been in that, that not, was not caused by a false flag. I, name I, I, one. I think they all have imperialistic I'm, beginnings. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not saying they're good. I'm not trying to like fucking justify them. What I'm saying is it's a fundamentally different thing than what Russia is currently doing in Ukraine. No, it's not. No. Just to be clear, you're saying that there is a fundamental difference between Russia invading Ukraine versus Iraq invading Kuwait. They're both no, after America, America after invading Iraq. Iraq. The first time. We invaded there, Syria. We've invaded seven countries, Libya, you name it. We've invaded so many countries. Hell, we never left like not, half the countries in Europe. Europe. Yes, we never not, have. I don't think. I don't think we ever leave them. Not wouldn't this the be more analogous? Presidents. Wouldn't this be more analogous to Mexico being in a war with, um, with America? Yeah, this would be like if 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 we invaded Mexico, if we did a boots on the ground invasion of Mexico, that would be like what's that going on in Ukraine. Like this. But yeah. if we weren't able, if we didn't win that war, then after a year. Wouldn't uh, that be indicative that we just want the war, not the win? Well, I mean, it also could mean that we're incompetent and not good at winning wars, which so we, well, that's, we took California, Texas, abilities. Arizona. I don't think all, they all belong to Mexico at one time. We've got yeah. both. But, so you're saying that, that, that NATO is incompetent and Russia is incompetent. And the reason that this war won't get resolved where one a big country involves a tiny country is because everybody's incompetent. Well, no, I don't think NATO's incompetent. I but think Ukraine wasn't, a, Ukraine wasn't a part I do. of NATO. I mean... You you think yeah. that the reason that this conflict is going is because people can't figure out how to win, not because people don't want to win? Well, it's, yeah, I just believe that NATO is incompetent. Well, no. Russia... Uh, I mean, so is Russia. Russia doesn't... Russia, like, very clearly and obviously was not prepared for some, like, long invasion, considering the fact that they tried to do... Uh, whatever that like tank march on fucking Kiev, where they just like got the shit kicked out of them uh, when they tried to do a lightning strike on the capital and it failed. And then they just kind of bumbled around for weeks, not really doing much of all um, and giving the Ukrainians time to rearm and then actually form an, a real resistance. Right. They gave exactly, they're giving the Ukrainians time to rearm. They didn't Look do that. I, They're I not think, trying to like, win. I, no, I don't think they did that because they wanted to give the Ukrainians no. time to win. I think what they did it because Russia's military is full of incompetent fucking yes men. Like I don't know why America. that feels like the most logical explanation to you. Why do you think the people running one of the biggest economies in the world are stupid instead well, of that they're dishonest? It's not look at our stupid. Department of Justice. It is stupid. Look at it's, look at who the members that the, of the Department of Justice are. It's, Go it's look them up. That. And, it's that um uh, okay. in, in Department of Defense. Excuse me. So Department okay, so if Defense. these people in, in positions of power are really in the position, are really the power players, how the fuck are they holding more power than us? How do stupid people keep getting put in office? At some point, don't you think that? We're not run by stupid people. Well, so the people yeah, in power have gotten there because they're making, clever, I'm, and we're stupid. Point. That's why they think. That's why we think. Because it's not a meritocracy anymore. It's full of PC bullshit, and you know half the Department of uh, Defense is black people. Does that mean that? Oh. I, don't like black <laughs> I that agree mean, with her. Does that? Yes, mean, I'm agreeing with her. I'm sorry. I'm agreeing with her. Go ahead. Just tell that thing. It's it's not a. a, a it's not a meritocracy. It's not the best, but most valuable person for the sake of its constituency, the, the people of the United States. It's how many foreign people or, or uh, transvestites or underprivileged or underserved people can we get in these positions so that we can look a certain way? Then right. what happens? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, so I agree with that. Now, the people in these positions of power, the, the agenda that placed them there, yes. who made the agenda? Because that's the power players, the ones who can rewrite the whole culture of the institutions the that run the world. The those are the power players. The people with the power and the money, and a lot of people uh, with uh, the money are mostly liberal. No offense, lib, but I, they, I'm a communist. they want to be very <laughs> okay. <laughs> they want to be extremely open to the point of hurting themselves, to be Why? illogical. Because yes, they want because to send a message to, that they, they deem more important than the safety of the country. Because it's easier to rule broken people. 
Well, well, that's, I mean, there's many reasons. Yeah. A hierarchy has a utility. Right. So, but, but my point is, is that the people actually running the world are not the pu puppets that we're being pointed at. Those are clowns. Well, so you, you what can I, call them what you want. They're both. I, when, I I'm, think so. when I'm talking about like the incompetence of a military, I'm talking about the, specifically the Russian military. And a large part of that is because, so like Russia is an, is a dictatorial oligarchy, right? Like that, that much is true. Um, uh, Putin is like for whatever president for not president for life, but he's effectively president for life. He's like, like king, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and one of the ways in which he has been able to maintain that power, um, so like a lot of dictatorships uh, are you know undone by um, military coups, um, because you know you'll have like competent generals who will rise to the ranks and then get right. they'll get like support from among their troops, and then they'll use that power they have to overthrow the. The current ruler and then they'll be the ruler and how do you get power money yeah. and fear well yes really and, and what, putin, what putin did um uh was like he instead of turn making allowing the russian military to be this like you know badass like meritocracy where like the best rise to the top he he like un he severely underfunded their military their, their military has been severely well, underfunded. why do you think that prop why don't you think why don't you believe that we get propagandized we do get how do you how do you then even know how that? do you know what you know well, yeah, I mean, exactly. so like there are some things that um, uh, are like, like, OK, there is propaganda. However, there are also like facts. Right. So, for instance, <laughs> OK, for instance, for instance, OK, <laughs> you're being tough. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's just pulling random facts out of bullshit. Well, uh, oh, no, okay. so no, 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 he's repeating narratives, right? He's repeating yeah, he's, the he's, narrative. He's rereading the main narrative throughout the whole 20th century has been lie about war. And one of those, he's got to be right, though. He's, I think, he's got to be right because the you guys, everything cannot be propaganda. So we know some of it has to actually happen. Just logically, everything not cannot be propaganda. Everything that you ever hear uh, is propaganda. Some things get through, but this we we in America love to buy the childish narrative of good guy, bad guy. We're out here saving the princess from bad. I'm not talking here. about good guy, bad guy. I, I in fact, I if, if well, I you do, are Putin's the bad guy. Putin's yeah. the bad guy. Ukraine's the princess. No, yeah, we, you have to be. You mentioned that you that Russia was a military government. Let's face the reality that the United States is a military government. All government around the world is military. Well, Let's no. start there first. So there is a right and wrong in that because well, we're making war through military terms. There is actually trying to make a distinction between there. America and and Russia. Like while you two have different points too. Flo has been saying the same thing over and over because he wants to be heard about it. And that is just simply how, what do you know is true? And what do you, what do you, how do you decipher propaganda from truth in order to act on it? And you're, you're speak, uh, Lib, you're speaking about the contention and the war itself and the reasons and the logistics. So you, you guys, I mean, you haven't even acknowledged Flo's points about propaganda well, that we could be right. fools. Right, he continues I mean, he on. His, his narrative is built on an assumption that his information is true. And I'm questioning the information, and he just keeps on with the assumption unchallenged in his responses. Okay. Well, you, a, 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 a large part of this, I think, has been... Do you believe a that a large part of what you know is propaganda? What you quote Me? Know? No. No. The, the, the guy I, because I would, personally. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think I, I yeah. do think there is absolutely propaganda. However, I'm going off of like so for instance, um, like no, we do know that the Russian uh, military budget hasn't been exactly stellar. Like how? Uh, so uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you know, made that and this, assumption and this, even and without this, knowing it. I know people who you know people. Okay, because of eminent domain and and Joe power. would have made that assumption. It makes sense to him because he and grew up watching you. the bad guys be Russian in all the movies. No, most so it makes that sense to all fair. of us. Most I know. Okay, it's not, it's fine. Russia exaggerates their uh, finances. I'll quit. I'll quit taking shit out on you, Joe. Cool. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Look at my argument. I know they historically always, as long as 60s, they uh, always lied about how financial stable they were. They wouldn't be giving us the real numbers. It's not logical. And and the shit they give us ain't impressive. If you well, guys yeah, want to I mean, I don't know, I don't keep on something, that. like, go on to X, follow Ariel, 
He's been trending for like fucking a month. Elon won't suppress him. He's had 144 million impressions. And but he's lighting fucking care. the world. He's lighting the world up on everything that every yeah. Elon conspiracy theory. No, every, every conspiracy theory. It, every conspiracy theorist, like, for me, I'm, like, four years ahead of everyone that's re fucking retarded. And so <laughs> I've, I've been I've been watching this happen. And now it's everything this guy is saying. That, that might be the most hardest I've ever heard no, What's the guy's <laughs> name? No, listen. His name is Prolet. His name's Ariel. Just, just, just Google him. Ariel on X. 144 million. 104... 144 million impressions. Go watch. Just read his threads. He's lighting shit okay. up. I'll, I am going to subscribe to him. Here's what I want to point out um, real quick is that X is a controlled machine to disseminate information yes. that, that literally still has open back doors to the CIA. They never close those. Everything does, bro. Also, Elon Musk, the world's <laughs> richest man, son of foreign bankers, He's he's a government contractor. Every wanna, one of his businesses only operates from government funds. He works for the government. I'll, I I'll share that, some I sources. You. I want to share some sources because I was asking other people, like uh, that crow guy James, who's uh, Rose Rose's boyfriend or husband or whatever, because he's I find him to be really intelligent, and well educated. <laughs> I asked him what. Oh, I'm sorry. I was laughing at the comment, Jonathan's comment. Oh, I, I thought <laughs> I was. <laughs> just when I was asking him about his sources because I, I view him as balanced, you know, that's probably going to be a controversial statement, whatever. I, I, I think he's much more intelligent than me and most people that I've met here, even though there are some really intelligent people. So I asked him specific sources that I could use for most accurate news and he couldn't name any. And I was surprised. I'll ask him again. But one thing that I do is I go into, um, I use, the translation tools, and I go into foreign panels. So it's a, obviously in a different language. And I listen to what the Ukrainians are saying, and I listen to what the Russians are saying, and what they're saying about the Americans. And also, um, I talk to any Ukrainians here. There aren't very, very many, but I'm in a small city, and my mom has a Ukrainian neurologist. And talk to him about it, and talk to people that I have, that I think have firsthand knowledge mm -hmm. to get a better picture. Because the first thing you know if you're in the military, um, I think Sasquatch was, if you're out there in the field in some kind of war doing some kind of mission and, and, and the news is is there reporting on it, you know for sure firsthand that half of it is bullshit because you hear them saying things that are completely untrue. And then, you know, the soldiers, their morale goes down and they're like, what are we, what are we even doing? Because none of this that, we're, that they're reporting is true. And it's extremely extremely uh, upsetting. So I try to go to the source. And of course, I can't speak Polish. Of course, I can't speak Russian. I, of course, I don't know Uranian, uh, <laughs> Uranians, Uranians, Ukrainians, personally, except for the neurologist and a few other people. See what they're saying. Go to the source. There's enough it. in yeah. English. I've never thought of the translation thing, yeah. but there's enough in it's English to keep you useful. well fed. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if people, if anyone's um, interested, I just put a link in the private. What are chat. they saying? There's a, a YouTuber who he's a he's an Australian. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what he 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 used to work. He he works in um, military procurement. Um, uh, for the Australian government, and he has like a lot of. Uh, this kind of knowledge he goes like deep into like his sources and stuff uh, his name's perun uh, uh that's who i use as like a source for a lot of my information on um the like russia ukraine or at least as far as like the logistics of it is concerned um uh, i he he links a lot of his sources and i find his uh, uh takes to be uh at the very least balanced um and reasonable with no I if it's the same cat that right? uh yeah, he's he's like he's like some Australian dude. Like he, you know, like he's his country isn't even involved in the invasion, other than no. like I guess there there are private companies that like give money to Ukraine. You know. Yeah, and the people who research history are very very useful too. Yeah, um, but yeah, it, it is important to like understand that a lot of things are propaganda. I mean, hell, even after uh, so. 
there was actually a lot of uh, genuine, like real genuine skepticism uh, after World War II about the Holocaust. Um, because after during the First World and War... That's because the numbers don't make sense. And well, did you know that Hitler's skull was found out, to, was tested and found to be female? No, actually. Um, the, the reason why I, I, <laughs> oh. I believe that those things to be, um, at least initially, to be genuine skepticism was because during the First World War, there was actually a lot of anti-German propaganda that reached like like literally like ludicrous levels like there was like yeah. stories, yes. there were stories about like the germans melting down um the dead to like use their fat as like food um and and so a lot of people especially who, people who were alive for that were like skeptical of the claims of the holocaust because like you know that's similarly like really fucked up you know it's like wow this is crazy no what they what they did in the first place period is really fucked up yeah. i don't even need yeah. any soil and green to yeah, no, 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 no. But, but, the then, but then, you know, eventually with uh, the like the Nuremberg trials and the <laughs> amount of like uh, 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 hard evidence that, that emerged that a lot of that skepticism like faded mm -hmm. away. Um, uh, but so but th this is just all to say that, like, I do think there is a reason to be skeptical, especially considering how much propaganda um, there is. Um, yeah. Of course. Uh, you just, it's just knowing to like how like knowing how to differentiate propaganda and and reality and, and then finding you can understand that, yeah no yeah I, I i understand flo's uh issue yeah. with with yeah. a lot of what i'm saying i'm not i'm not saying that like his his uh uh skepticism is uh unreasonable i think it's actually quite reasonable his skepticism yeah, his skepticism is far uh unreasonable Every at will, he's just able to say everything is propaganda. It is it is unreasonable. Every time he hears something he don't like, he says propaganda exists. Oh, so no, that's not reasonable. Here's here's why it is reasonable. Um, it's reasonable to assume that during wartime, every single thing is propaganda because the the objective of the news. There's not a whole bunch of people are not waking up every day just dying to make sure that the informational integrity they disseminate. Is accurate. I mean, the go the ghost of Kiev uh, is a, is a really good example of like. I don't the, know what that is. It was a, a propaganda story about this uh, Ukrainian pilot who supposedly like took down like fucking thirty uh, uh, Russian aircraft. I mean, it was all. Pro it was we all just, look, we just need to understand human nature and incentives. Yeah. It really boils down to that. We I wake think up and we're go to our job. Up to fact at that end when we come to these conclusions. We assume the most nefarity possible of evil okay, spirits so, in these fucks when I come to so, those conclusions. So why you don't you don't so okay, so why do you trust that the war information you have is not propaganda when we can look objectively at the well, world well, well, history well, well. and First know that all, there's more propaganda not. and bullshit given out yes, than truth? Because, How did because, you get the truth, Joe Cool? Because it yeah. appeals to hubris. I'll tell you. Uh, uh, what I do is it's, it's easy. Let's say, uh, like now the, uh, take the Israeli war. Uh, what I do is I take, it's 2024 people from the neighborhoods are putting videos up all day, every day, uh, of every fucking thing that happened. You know, you can watch 50 of them a day. Easily. I, I watch a, a ton of them. Uh, and I can yeah, tell you I what I TikTok, see I too by the so people on the kids. ground. Uh, all I, I, I don't, I don't even want to say, but I come up with the conclusions. I watch the people there, man, and then you'll learn they're also great tour guides. There are guys who like speak English, they can go into a so and so, and he'll have his YouTube channel be famous because of it. And he'll be like, This is the house they got bombed, this is what they're saying on the news. Now, later, you'll be like, No, it was our own people who bombed us, that type of shit. You hey, good night, guys. Uh, Thanks for having me on. Uh, and yeah, hey, that's watch. Hi, Harmon. Hey, uh, always hey, a pleasure. Hey, Harmon. Much love, brother. Don't let the man get you down. You're All right, buddy. You to sleep. Easy. Um, <laughs> I like his map. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's probably like a flat Earth map on the on his wall, but it's a cool map. Oh, and Harmon's <laughs> Harmon's great because he he's like he's. Joe, he you're muted. Shoots, shoot. He shoots with I'm a rifle. Talking. This is great. Huh, Can um, you hear me? Hello. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, Joe. What you told me is you watch YouTube videos, right? Yeah. I'm not saying truth doesn't come through YouTube videos. What I am saying is that there's a whole lot of CGI. 
I can download an app for free right now and load a picture on my face, and I'll come up in a scene of friends. Again, again, this I'm telling you so that his arguments are insensible. If you told me you saw a video of something, I'd assume you could recognize CGI, and I'd say that the That's last the thing hubris. I would That's say That's where is the not. hubris yes. comes in. No, no, no one, no one saying would just be like, uh, yeah, I saw a video of a lady crying. Someone said it was CGI. People I, aren't I, saying that. CGI is good enough. I guarantee you cannot. I know you can't tell CGI. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. I can, I can assume that out of the fucking 50 I watch, I'll throw some crazy number like 10 with CGI. I'd still be getting a, a good balance of what I need to see. Let's and it's the do, best I can come you up with. I bet you don't have a better I want to use mud flood as an analogy. Yeah. You can go into Facebook and all over, and in the last you know five, handful of years, mud flood shit has exploded. There's pictures and proofs and all sorts of shit all over the fucking place. There are a lot of uh, AI generated images out there. Uh, uh, mud flood. I'm a, I don't know what mud flood is. Someone's told me eight times, and it's not. Yeah, it's it. it's it's the new it's the new truther direction, but it seems to me to be uh, pretty much AI manufactured. You know. A lot of, yeah, lot of I see. A, I see a lot of that, and I think I can recognize the same way you do. And you and know what? You still manage to come to conclusions. You weed we, through all of this nonsense, and you come to a conclusion well, that this guy is good, this guy is my, bad. My conclusion. Is, I don't know about the guys. What I the narrative. You can look. You can understand if you just understand that humans operate out of self interest. Like I don't. Right. Right. Like that's crazy. But then, but then you have to apply that obvious reality to the stories we're told. What and I do think I don't. Where people disconnect. I think that there's maybe you do. I don't know. I think it's amazing how many people run around. Y'all are speaking about says he 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 devalued what was being said when he says he doesn't believe that humans operate out of self interest. By that assumption, what you're Who saying, said that? Said that? he just that? said, you don't you believe do. humans operate out of self interest. Uh, clearly, they do. Who said that? Okay. Oh, oh, I, it was, you just, I think you just misspoke, Joe. I, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so either way. Um, but, but, so then if you apply that, though, to our information, to our media, to our schools, all the things that we know, why do we know stuff? Why have people, why had there been these huge machines that give us information? It's not because they're invested in us knowing yes. things. This they don't give us like this answer, is a given. A in fact, if I see it on mainstream media, me, uh, mainstream media, I know it's bullshit. Twitter blah, is blah, the blah, new blah. mainstream media. Uh, go uh, ahead, babe. I'm sorry, Lance. I think you're trying. I'm, to I'm not, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say, at some point, sort of in relation, not the answer you want, but at some point, you have to use deductive reason to make a decision, whether it's to punish somebody or to hang a picture on your wall. So that's all we have because we never have 100% truth. I agree so whether, with whether you're talking about somebody who's committed a crime and you're trying to decide whether they should be in jail or whether they should be free because there's not enough evidence, you have to put together information holistically and use your best guess or people die. Your best judgment. Well, I think that you have to use... You yeah. Yeah, thank you. And I actually thank sort you. of have an issue with that. I don't think you do. I think that people are best... If you don't know something, you're better off knowing you don't know it than thinking you know it when you don't know it. Well, yeah, that's why you need and, to like. You, and it's cognitively are, uncomfortable for people. That's yeah. why we have religion, right? That's why we have it all these things. It absolutely is. And throughout time, we've used right. deductive reasoning, which isn't 100% uh, accurate, like Tim Bob mentions here. What, el what else do we have? What else do we have? We cannot act and lay there docile and put and go on our knees and, and lay in fetal position while people die. Well, or we can decide who's dying? to act. Wait, or who's provide, dying in this example? I'm talking about the Ukrainian uh, slash Russian war, and I'm talking about Gaza Strip. Yeah, no, I mean, none about, of that. Our we are, yeah, we're not doing shit yeah. for that either way. Yeah. We are just sitting here while people die. And That's I'm, not. Anything we're just that. trying to supply weapons to the to Israeli, and we're, yeah. we just passed. No, it. we're not. No, we somebody is. Reddit, but I've Reddit. never given a gun to them. Oh, so, sorry, the the your government is is I think what. what oh yeah, the, our, like our, yeah, our, our, our government owners, wanna... our owners, right? So our owners are doing it, which kind of proves my point. It doesn't matter what we think. You've nailed home your point to hell and back. Your point okay, is very good. clear. There's no contention with it. We all agree. Mm -hmm. Fight me. 
Yeah. Damn. Linz, we we agree on not only the Ukraine war, but we agree with the Gaza. Like, we both agree that the whole, like, Wait, did, Israel should. Did we just, did Linz just get us all to agree with her? Well, I already, I, 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 already I, thought I saw your point a long time ago. I agreed with it. I already did. I'm really. All right. Well, that's, I, that's, I'm really hey, good job. The, um, well, yeah. I, I was actually she about to say, far. Linz, I'm sorry uh, to, to it's say. It's probably got something to do with that. Well, while while we may agree there, there um, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm one of the, I'm one of those uh, 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 gay transvestites that you're not quite a huge fan oh, of. So no. I'm, I know I'm sorry. Right. I yeah. Look, it's, if I offended you, I'm sorry. I I have. It's, really, it's really hard to offend me. You're fine. With yeah, Liv is pretty chill. With, I, I mean, Liv over here. You did, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. always I've, I always speak and get in trouble. And no, should, you're not I in any trouble. That's what I'm now. telling you. If Liv can hang out here with me. He's fine. Yeah. Or she's fine. Whatever's fine. Whatever's fine. If there's fine. trouble, it's... I'll find it. Or I'll, I'll go after it. <laughs> no, you didn't find any trouble. That's what I'm telling you. So yeah. you can stop trying to clean okay. off your shoe. There's nothing on it. All right. But go I... ahead. Whoever was talking. What I was I was saying I was just saying that uh, that's unfortunately one of the places where we do disagree. But we agree everywhere else. It's fine. <laughs> what do you guys oh, disagree boy. on the war, you say? I was no, simply no, no, talking no. about. On people. his gender. <laughs> yeah. People oh. who are deemed to be in a minority of something, whether it's LGBT or whether it's race or whether it's. Um, no, I mean, hold on. Whatever. It could now, be many different things. I see you trying to smooth things over. There is a difference with the trans issue, which is that it rejects reality. It's the only I'm one. I'm talking about mer that meritocracy. I mean, I'm I'm all for meritocracy too. Like that's I mm. that's I think where we do agree. I just think we. And I agree that we're not a meritocracy, um, or at least we are a a we are a facsimile of one. Um, there there are meritocratic elements of our society, but it's you know we're Jake, you know we are were, a zombie country wandering around screaming about <laughs> meritocracy while changing our head every four years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn Though Sorry. admittedly, we're better. We're better than uh, the previous ideal democracy, Athens. All right, like I mean, we've got it. We do, we do it better than Athens. All right, we at least. Are you sure? I don't know that people will still be talking about us. Um, no, they don't. Oh, I was going to tell gonna, you back to your question. We're what three hundred and fifty years? How long was Athens uh, around for? Uh, the Athens that we're talking about, um, yeah, like the d democracy, probably like two hundred, maybe two hundred. Proper Athens, like proper old, like Socrates and Bill and Ted's Yeah, and no, 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 that was that was actually a sh the the whole like de democratic Athens. What we think of when we think of like democracy in Athens was so great. around for a very short period of time. Um, uh, Greece, gr the Greek. Uh, islands and the Greek Peninsula has gone through so much fucked up shit. I actually just got finished reading a book on the collapse of the Bronze I didn't Age. Know this, yeah. Oh my god, the uh, the Mycenaeans before the Greeks went through so much fucking shit. Like, ooh, there was a lot of turmoil there. Um, it was not a very uh, fun place to live for most of its history. Everything and, you know, is and then it evolved into the shit we see with the government and the robes and. I mean, the the Athenian democracy was cool. Like, I actually do think that like what what they did was. I'll be right genuine. back, guys. You guys have to be on your own for your, for a few minutes. Yeah, that makes a But that does, uh, Mr. Best Pye, behavior. I was, I'm I was in about charge. to warn Mr. Pie about ooh noise, but yeah, he's gone. I'm in charge. <laughs> Let him know, Flo. The authoritarian's in charge. Run that shit, Cynthia. Oh, God. oh no, yeah, I'm right. And she's wasted too. So, oh yeah, I mean, I'm hell get it. Are really. you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> yes. See, the authoritarian might be in charge Ash? for now, but the anarchy. Can, the run for it. anarchy, anarchy. <laughs> can, can we rewind just a little bit here? Because Flo is going to go pee or whatever he's going to do. Lib, why did you find it was necessary to bring up the LGBT kind of thing? Like, why did you? Why oh, did mostly because I just thought it was, I genuinely wanted to. Well, part of it was I wanted to bring the conversation there because i wanted to hear i think your perspective because i i got a little bit of it but not like a lot of it and i i like hearing because i i have found that there's a lot of people that have actually very nuanced perspectives on it um and i just like hearing those nuanced perspectives um it'd be a first for me so it's good wait seriously have you not have you not been in a conversation where we've talked about this joe I don't think so, but oh. I get high a lot. But seeing I mean, as <laughs> good as the first time, it's as good as the first time. If this Look, valid. Wendy's eighty. I'd get, I, I get, high, I'd get high more often, but I probably shouldn't. 
Uh, go ahead, Lance. Give me your uh, opinion on these cats. Well, yeah, but that that was that was why I just you know not not well, really. Any they have to be nuanced point. because it is. Well, it's not necessarily a new thing in our society. I mean, we, we, it is sort of new, you know, speaking yeah. of, it's still somewhat new for all of us to deal with people. For for example, um, I had a nurse and mm-hmm. I had a doctor's appointment to check my heart. Was, everything was cool. Everything was good. The nurse came in and it was a big, big man with lipstick on, a wig and, every, you know, the whole deal. And so I felt kind of uncomfortable and I had to, you know, he had to kind of touch me and check blood pressure and never thought about that. Do a little bit of a physical and was kind of, kind of uncomfortable. It was Mm -hmm. kind of weird. And then the guy who um, came with him to the room to tell him which room to go to, because he was new, Mm -hmm. started calling him he, and he said, he said, I'm just so frustrated. I'm, I'm a she, my name is Melinda or whatever it was. And I just, maybe was it my problem or was it his that I was supposed to treat him like a woman and I'm supposed to call him a she. It's very oh. uncomfortable for those of us who are new hey, to it. All right, let me, hear, all. let me hear what, uh, what, uh, well, I mean, every every different people are going to have different perspectives. I mean, for me, for instance, like I I haven't like begun any sort of like medical transition, largely because it's very expensive. Um, I got you. How uh, much you need, man? Uh, but <laughs> oh, way more than way more than you want to pay. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, um, you too. Tell like that being, <laughs> I don't even want to pay that much. All right, let's. Um, uh, uh, but like. For me, uh, you know, like I, I do like have, you know, friends and family who who do gender me the way I want to be gendered and I do ask them to, um, but I don't really do that for like strangers, right? Especially considering like I've only done, you know, a little bit of social transition, you know, like I'll walk out in, you know, very feminine clothing, you know, um, uh, sometimes. Uh, but, you know, if, if somebody doesn't like, you know, use she, her pronouns for me, I'm not going to like flip a lid like they can't see inside my head they i mean very good yeah i mean they i mean th- there are cases where someone will like you know and, uh, he, you know he, he he him me and i will like say like i actually prefer she her um but usually i do that once and only if like the social situation like demands it like i don't actually i don't do this for like retail workers or anything i've been a retail worker and um I, I don't want to cause any more uh, issues on their plate. Okay. Like yeah. that, that would be cruel of me. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, like Good question, it, hold on. I, I don't mean to interrupt, but yeah. you say it would be cruel to add another thing to the retail workers plate, but it's not cruel to add it to just a random person on the street. No, it would oh. also be cruel to add it to a random person on the street, which is why. Sure. I don't, yeah. It, it, it cruel is maybe too, harsh of a word um i i don't think it's worth it to like um uh, do that like give that kind of um effort into it right like if a random person stranger you know on the street uh, uh calls me he which like never happens it, but if they did i i wouldn't care um because they they're not like a big part of my life so like i do ask that of like you know my family i I, you know i ask them to use uh my new name my pronouns but even even with my family like i only push so far you know because i haven't heard one person call you she i was just going to follow everybody else's lead some people do i mean it's Uh, you know it's whatever um, one more question and and i'm not trying to be an ass i'm just trying to get to the to the core of the of the matter um what is the difference between uh, what you do and a transvestite? Hmm. So um, a large part of this is going to have to do with, um, I guess, people's definition of terminology. For me, I don't okay. actually, I don't actually use. So, like for me, um, I think that so transvestite, as far as I'm aware, is a more outdated term. Um, the more updated term would be transsexual, um, and then transgender. Yes, sir. No, no, ma'am. I'm I'm trying to get to a point here. I have a friend of mine who goes out on weekends dressed up as a woman, and you would probably be quite taken with him. But all other times, he's a redneck dude that you would never look at twice. 
Yeah. He says he's a transvestite. And I'm like, okay, what's the difference between that and a transsexual? He's like, I don't want to be a woman. I just want to trick men. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> but you're not just men? Gotcha. Now that that is um that's so my head could say it's a little bit of an internet phenomenon uh known as uh traps, which is has often is oftentimes a pejorative that um uh pe people call trans people um call them traps um uh, however like that that idea of, because like the idea would be that it's a someone who is a like a cis guy who's just trying to trick usually a cis gay guy who's trying to trick men into thinking that he is a woman so that they'll have sex with them um now your friend uh seems uh is is probably one of the uh one of the rarities um <laughs> Yeah, no, he's definitely unique. He dresses up as blonde bombshells and goes to clubs and raves and and tr he, he, I, I don't I don't whatever he wants to be, man. Yeah, no, like I'm I'm happy for him. If if that makes him happy, yes. I, that's fucking awesome. His wife approves of it, apparently. <laughs> I yeah, look, all right. Hey, look, if people if people you know like like doing that, that's fine. I don't I don't like personally like for me like at every you know I pr personally prefer to think that the person I'm going to have sex with, like, you know, wants to have sex with me, not some, uh, uh version of me that they have in their head. Um, you would know, you say um, a lot of trans people are, I don't know how you refer to yourself. Do you refer as transgender or trans sexual? So, um, I, I refer to myself as transgender. Um, so transsexual is a term that when I refer to it, I'm talking about people who have actually, um, gone undergone, a, a medic, some form of medical transition. So that includes not just, not just like surgery, but also like a hormone replacement treatment. Um, those people I would refer to as transsexual because there is, um, there is, like when you go on hormones for long enough, it does actually, it does. I mean, I, that's the point of them is they change a lot of your secondary sexual characteristics. Obviously, so it doesn't change. Transsexual would not have existed in the past, correct? Uh, it'd have to be not to, because... yeah, not not to those degree. I, I do think there have been there have been historical cases of people who have done versions of medical I transition, guess, though it's that, yeah. not the same that's thing what, as what we do that's today. Logical, yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, mo most trans people who've existed in history, um, uh, or people that we would refer to as transgender, um, would not have undergone any sort of medical transition because the was. technology wasn't there. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, as far as like transsexual people, they've been around since like the, I, I mean, there've been examples of like transsexuals from like the fifties. Um, uh, I've seen yeah. that, uh, yeah, I've looked into it. Is, I don't know if I'm repeating a question because I was gone for a minute, but is is a transsexual different i mean isn't that just an accepted uh uh we've explained it pretty it's well. just social acceptance right it's just they yeah. be in the same social well, acceptance so so, tr so transgender just refers to people who uh is like a broader category of people who do not identify with the gender that they were assigned when they were born um whereas transsexual specifically refers to people who've actually on undergone some sort of medical transition at least when i'm talking about it um that's how i use the term so transgender just refers to um the broad umbrella of people who do not identify with the gender they were assigned when they were Liv, I ask you this. Uh, I think I don't remember the answer. Does that start at birth, or is it possible to start later where you don't identify, or is that something that you're born with? Well, so currently, um, genders are given to people based upon their uh, uh, sex Gen when they're born. I mean, yeah, is yeah, basically all it used to be. At some point, people decided it was different. But well, well I mean. Well, different societies have decided different things about gender for what it's mm. worth. Like, that's not like there are different societies. There are a whole different. Okay, societies what have now. what have the Malaysians decided about gender, and what is their word for it? I mean, I mean so, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Go ahead. Those question when you ask, is it something that they're born with or what it is? There's these two girls that go to church with me, <laughs> and one of them I could tell when she was in kindergarten that she was going to be a lesbian and her sister is like one of those little girls that she was always wearing the plastic kills and they have the exact mom i mean obviously the mom and dad and i talked to her mom and i was like so you do under you know we can 
we, we see the same thing in your daughter. And she was like, yeah. And that was the only conversation we had. But everybody in church always encouraged her. Like we always, you know, we didn't treat her any different or anything. Right. And now, Sexuality now she's in high school and she's like fully becoming her manly self. But it's yeah. I've always known it since she was a little. I was I mean, picture her as the hot, sexy, good, not the dyke guy. Yeah. 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 But just because just, just because someone's a tomboy doesn't mean they're a man. No, you yeah, knew no, 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 no. it. You well, knew it. Also, you just knew it from no, what she was also, interested in and what she liked to talk about. Yeah, and her girls can about. like trucks. Yeah. No, Boys right. can like fucking, I don't know, whatever girls like. Makeup. I, whatever traditionally feminine things are. Like, like for instance, I you know, I identify as a woman and yet like I fucking love getting lost at Home Depot and just like it's staring at all the tools. Okay, I, I well, just, definitely because, a good thing, yeah. because a woman, what a woman or a man is, has nothing to do with the hardware store. Yes. Really? No. 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 Now there. Now there are really there are stereotypes. There are yes. stereotypes that are associated with there, the, right. There are there are norms. There are stereotypes. There are information. Flow, right. Sure. I <laughs> look, look about um, the hardware store. There okay. are sure there are things that go along with it. You would assume a boy is, but uh, but being male. Is not do you like the hardware store? It's yeah. also not do you like your body hair? It's like do you have a penis? Yeah. You can't yeah. be one thing for sure. Yeah, like one one of the, one of the things I guess like that people like will bring up is they they don't like that uh, transgender people they'll usually say like transgender people are like lying about their their sex and um, this is one of the things that I explicitly say and I can say with confidence that no trans person I've ever talked to has ever denied that they were born with certain sexual characteristics. Like I was well, born. Yeah, of course not. Nobody like, no yeah, I've never I don't think any trans yeah. person does that, but they deny that that is accurate of them now. Well, it dep- I mean actually that can depend. Um because like there is um there is a argument to be made that um a certain kinds of um medical transition um does sev- g- genuinely affect uh your sex characteristics, the things that we use to 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 so, sex people. Like before we, don't, before we, don't, we go any further, I just want to uh, let you, you know, establish that I'm not attacking you. I like you. No, I, no, no, no. Um, I, I know you're not. I'm you're just your reality is fucked up. Valid. Oh my gosh, Flo. Right? You believe things that are not real, demonstrably <laughs> oh not real. God. I still exactly like them, but you um, <laughs> but you're trying to hit. But I hear people like, okay, go ahead. Um, what, Hi, all, what, hey. what I was, welcome to the shit show. Yeah. Hey, Snowfire. Hi, Cynthia. Hello. Hey, um, what, what, what I was saying is that like, um, especially like, uh, after you've been on like HRT or even just had like, um, uh, uh, gender affirming surgery um uh that does like change the way your body like functions like, um, HR, like with HRT people who are male can grow tits um yeah and, you and, and the, fuck yourself up with poison and, 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 and mutilate yourself and and the reason why i say that that um that there is an argument to be made that that person is no longer like quote unquote male um is because like the 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 way that we sex people is when they're born we look at their their, their junk okay we don't <laughs> use we don't you use a dick we don't like- we don't we don't use chromosomes. We don't use any of these other things. Right. Um, we don't, and we don't need to because it's the you can see whether or not there's a dick there. Yes, generally, no, no, no. almost then, always, right? Yeah. But but the sex is ingrained in every cell of everybody's body, mm-hmm. so, and your of. new cell growth will continue to affirm your original birth sex, whether or not you have your original birth organs. S- can sort I ask of. A bunch of so no, it's, yeah. Sorry. I'm not going to start already. I, have to <laughs> I really do about this topic. Um, I want to uh, know. And Snow, oh, Snowfire, I want to compliment you on uh, your, your savvy panel moving because I unpinned the, the link a hot minute ago. So that means you also hit the link and then just save it on the side when you see the mm-hmm. panel. Mm-hmm. I just hopped in on under Lindsay posted a stream yard yep. link. I was trying to zoom in on Snowfire's mm-hmm. icon and fucking Google kicked me out. Oh, here we go. I got you. Um, Sasquatch, you had a question. If, uh, 
Okay, your, your body's comprised of cells, correct? Some yes. of those cells are stem cells. These stem cells can be cloned, and if you clone your stem cells, does it come up male or female? I do not know the answer. I do. I, uh, to, my, well, to my understanding of stem cells is like the stem cells um, do include like chromosomal information, so you can yes. figure out whether or not the the the, the cells you're from that Souls. you're looking at are from were from someone who has XX or XY or XXY like or whatever whatever okay. um, as long as we agree we're good yeah. yeah no 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 I'm not like you know e e I had that e mute e someone's e brain one time just that question because <laughs> suddenly they wanted to find what a stem cell was what a chromosome yeah. was what a trait was you know yeah they good. taught them a lot good yeah. job, yeah. Good yeah. job. To, to 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 my knowledge, we can we can't like adjust our chromosomes, and even if we could, I'm actually not sure that adjusting your chromosomes would even like manifest itself mm -hmm. in a way in any like perceivable way. Like after like after you're born and after you grow up, I don't think I'm not aware that like adjusting your chromosomes would change your your body in any other way other than in any significant way that like you know hormone replacement treatment would already like if well, you, I mean you're. Nibs, can I ask you a really quick question? Uh, how old are you? I'm 27. And when did you transition? Uh, so I uh, realized uh, that I was transgender when I was 25 years, 24 years old. Um, hmm. uh, uh, I've currently only undergone social transition. I haven't gone undergone where, any what state? Uh, so I, uh, when I discovered this, I was in Tennessee. Now I live in Washington State. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it was 27 years old yes. when you transitioned? Well, no, I was 24 when I realized that I was trans. 24. Okay. So How, what made you realize that you were trans? Um, a lot of things. Uh, mo most of it had to do with like um, talking to people. I, I get, got trans friends and talked mm -hmm. to them about some of their experiences. And How um, did you get these trans friends and like were they older than you? Uh, some of them were. Some of them were around my age. Um, uh, uh, for for in my in my case, uh, it's like just people that I met. I I'm in a lot of like nerdy circles, and nerdy mm -hmm. circles that I engage with tend to be very just queer um, broadly. Um, so um, that's kind of. I appreciate you being open because I'm pretty curious about this whole situation, and I like to hear other people's like perspectives and what you're thinking, well, uh, like and where your brain was. was. But do you also think that you are being tokenized because you are what is it? You're you're transgressing. I don't know what the word is. Transgender. But you're what is it? Transgender. You okay? Because you're a transgender. Uh, I do. Um, I, I do think there are definitely people who would tokenize me. Um, however, those yeah, kinds, being... those those kinds of people, uh, I'm usually uh, uh, very rude to. Um, so I tend to not. Why interact. would you be rude to them when you realize that you were you are a, a fully grown man, 24 years old? You've already gone through hormones. I'm asking. I really want to know that that you are a trans when you're when you've when you. Oh no, no, no! I'm saying people who people who attempt to tokenize me. What does that? What does tokenize mean? Um, to, a token would be like, it's um, like that it, one black kid in class. Like that Joe one cool? No, like, like yeah, okay. that's, that's exactly saying. like Joe Cool. Yes. Okay. Um, that well, might be a is that token on the panel. Like Joe Biden's little gay guy that goes around. Probably but like, I've been, gay, I've been a friend. woman for sixty-six oh. days. That guy. That guy. Okay. Right. Right. That's a tokenized. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's character. funny. Lib, so how can we exploit your uniqueness for our, for our own gain? Um, okay, sorry. Uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> go ahead, Snowfire. You're you're cooking. Right. No, yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, sorry to interrupt too. You were saying that, um, yeah. So you went through all, you know, your manly hormones. Maybe maybe you had more estrogen in you as you were growing up because of all. I this don't. I have synthetic quite a bit food. Of, I have quite a bit of testosterone. Okay, you're being honest. I like. Yeah. Okay, and so what made you realize that then at 24 years um, old? It was it was a lot of experiences uh, growing up. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of it has to do with like um, feeling. Were you raped? No, 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 nothing like mm -hmm. that. Um, okay. a, a lot of it had to do with like internal, a lot of like internal processes. 
um, for me, uh, most of which I like, it's, it's like explaining to other people why I believe that I'm trans is a little bit like explaining to people um, why I am gay. Um, yeah. Don't you it, think you're gay, uh, though? I think you're gay. And well, you just it, well I, I, I am. Uh, I am. No, it's not. At 20 no, it's years not. old, you didn't know you were tr trans, but you knew you were gay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah no, I... Well, one thing is within your about power, my judgment. You can do. You can choose your own preferences. Yeah, like um, gayness no, is a preference. Right, well, though, well, freaking... it's it's choosing. What is, it, who are I you? Mean, I have, hold on. Let me let me rephrase that. Let me, yeah. Choose was the wrong word. Yeah. They are mm -hmm. clearly decided or exclusively decided by you. Nobody can tell me I like coconut and candy. I don't. Yeah. It just is my only, you know, there's no external reality. But then that. again, that's a mental illness. Just because you like coconut over candy, your anatomy. No, I don't like different. coconut and candy. <laughs> that's right. Good. So is that what it is? Is it about like something that your body craves or needs or is allergic to? Or is it like seriously in some kind of anatomy process? No, coconut do, uh, tastes I, not very good when it's put in a Mounds bar. I, do. I love coconut. But I, I, I do I do I'm have just, um a, a gender dysphoria like that's a a, a okay. thing that so I so you're have. still that's in that process of gender dysphoria yeah no and I you're mean, transitioning I, yes are you scared uh depends on what you mean by scared I I definitely like there are pe there are people whose reactions have made me worried but the vast majority yeah. of I think you're really keeping worried. your dick right uh yes I okay. Uh, okay. I, don't, I don't I don't feel dysphoria. all right as long as you're keeping your dick. That's yeah. like a I mean, positive that's thing. when people are get planning to remove that thing. That's when the 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 game's getting real. Well, I mean, even more than that, it's just like I, I just it a it's expensive and b like I just don't. It's not. Uh, oh, I know some people who would do it for cheap. What it, what's it cost now? <laughs> my uh, uh my my penis doesn't really uh I guess, the trigger I guess uh, my my gender dysphoria. That's not like a big. That's, I mean, that, but that's a, yeah. a very important part of gender, isn't it? Eh. Well, what triggers you? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm just old school. I mean, there's there's a, there's a number of things. The most predominant for me has been like my my body hair. Um. Uh. That's that's been hairy? like. Oh yeah, very mm -hmm. hairy. Um. Like ludicrous. Uh. Like Sasquatch's name. I. That was when I was in high school. I was nicknamed Sasquatch. Like Crash don't grow on the playground, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so can I ask you a personal question? This might be absurd or whatever. <laughs> well, we're pretty but late for that question. <laughs> can I just ask, do you think that you changed or whatever, you went through this dysphoria it's and uh, trans, you're a transgender now. Um, do you think it's um, because you wanted sexual interactions and you knew you could get it from men? Uh, no, because at the time, um, so sure? before before that, so uh, one of the things, so I, I grew up as a very conservative Christian. So um, I had uh, a lot of very repressed, repressed feelings mm. in regards to my sexuality, um, which is why when I was in my I was 17, 18, um, was kind of when I went through um, sort of that <laughs> first awakening where I sort of realized that um, uh, people, the like the body parts that people had and uh, their gender and mm. gender expression didn't really what religion? bother me. Uh, I was Southern Baptist. Okay. This is why I love church in middle and high school, by the way. This man flashbacks. They're all right. It's not like like he was like a part of some strict Catholic school or like Mormonism. Or Catholics are pretty chill in the scheme of <laughs> You've never now been to Southern this church, have you, young yeah, lady? No. I grew I grew up around like Kansas City is very Irish Catholic. When I when I was getting divorced, I found a church in the small town I was living in because I figured it might help in the small town, like with the optics. Um and I went to the biggest church building in the town, which is a Southern Baptist. And boy, was that a fucking mistake. Oh yeah, no. Southern Baptists can be who really. I know, now, like one, Presbyterian, now, like you know, you go thing, and you feel good about yourself, and then you don't. One thing not. Southern Baptists do do really good is they do potlucks real fucking good. All right, you, they you, every you, time for the rest of the seven years I lived there, anytime I saw anyone from that church anywhere, they the first thing they said, "I haven't seen you at church." Like no yep. fucking shit. Oh yeah, I oh, went yeah. there yeah. three times seven oh, years ago. You're not gonna see me again. 
right? Yeah, my 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 birthday is coming up. Actually, my my dad actually just sent me a picture uh because the, there's the church. He still goes to the church that I grew up in, and they have my name on their like you know, hey birthday wishes, you know, <laughs> like. Well, it's a, it's a birthday wish because my birthday's coming up. Okay. And like, like they, yeah, no, no, no. Like I, I, I do genuinely love a lot of the people that I grew up with church in. I, I do think a lot of them were really very kind, very well-meaning people. I do think yeah. that their religion uh, in a lot of ways had a, a, a sort it of created. It is what it is. Just like gap, gay, you know, you know um, people are transgender. I mean, you could put that kind of inner religion in itself because you guys are all coping together. You know, God, mm -hmm. church is mm -hmm. God's hospital. Full of broken people, you know, and that's okay. Church and there's the, a lot of no, that's church right. Is the okay. right. Right. That's where sinners go. That's no, where that's the strip club. That's where sinners go. That's too. That's, 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 that's the night that's before. The people in the strip club <laughs> know that they're sinning. People at church think that they're God. No, they. Don't. No, you're wrong. I don't know. He he grew up in Kansas, Cynthia. I know enough oh. about the Mormons to know that every one of those people thinks that they're going to run their own universe when they die. Sasquatch, did you Sasquatch? Did you yeah. uh, ask about Church of God? My uncle, Church of God, dude. Oh my God, Church Church of Church of God in Christ. Oh my God, they love their singing. Oh, they will. My when we when we go visit my uncle, his church, they'll they'll have a service, and it's like a four hour service, and like over half of it is singing. Oh my god! I oh, uh, these awful. mugs go in on a Wednesday morning. They spend four and a half hours in there jamming out to God, and then they go eat lunch, that. come back, and spend another few hours in there cleaning up after themselves. One it is the, amazing. One of the things I'll give Baptists is Baptists know that there is never such a thing as a bad short sermon. All right, that they're they're all their shits on a on a timer. Okay, the the preacher he's got thirty minutes to give his give his spiel, and then at noon everyone is fucking out of there. It don't matter if he's in the middle of his thing. You so right. I'm the I'm the timekeeper. So, so Southern Baptists, they, they I, I will give them some credit, but um uh yeah no. So when I was eighteen, um you know I kind of I went through that sort of like realizing that I had been sort of repressing that and that this was how I do feel like I, my preferences are, I, uh, not related to gender or genitals. Um, okay. Yeah, I was like, you're, sounds like you're rebelling and overcorrecting. Why would I yeah, be the be person careful. that several different gay and a couple of trans people came out to first, knowing that I was going to mess with them hard? Oh, probably because probably of that. For probably, that reason. Probably yeah, because that, but why. like because they knew that like you probably uh, were at least I, I, also, I can say from my experience. They need the worst they criticism. Thought he was one too. You can say all it. at once. <laughs> <laughs> but I love these guys. I love all of these people. They're all great. Because people. you seem like somebody who would already know that would have told you. Probably told them that they were already. Yeah, yeah. he's. Well, I've been telling these guys they were gay forever. I mean, that was <laughs> right. <even> tell <laughs> what was new was the fact that like ten years later, I find out I'm sitting. In, I'm sitting in a bar talking to these guys, and they start talking about who they came out to first. And it was me, 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 me. Me and me and i was like why why would y'all do that to yourselves nobody did that to me which is fantastic because i don't want that burden i don't know how, how do you respond to that like i, I didn't know. i thought i would be for sure i was the last person they would tell so i just walked around calling them gay queer you know the whole nine i, I just gave them the i business. think that's like uh well, like kind of like hey you guys have the best drugs for some reason i don't know what the math is on it, but time, gay guys have the best cocaine. Yeah. Like Hank, he's like, yo, attack me. I want to hear what you guys have to say because like, I want to learn and be better because I'm going to be criticized and I'm sick of it. And I just know what's going on with me. And I need to figure out some resolution within myself on how to deal with you kind of people, yeah, you know? Dope. So they go for, I just get you people <laughs> like like sasquatch like they're like oh i'm gonna just out myself with him because i know he's gonna be my hardest yeah but i love him well yeah i think i think i think a large part probably at least for me like a lot of the people that i came out to early um were people that i knew they loved me and they felt like i felt safe around them um uh which is kind of like I mean, it's it's to a, to a large extent, it's being vulnerable, especially like growing up in the South. You know, yeah. like it's kind of like you know, you 
kind of got to be careful about who you you come out to because you know some e even today you know while obviously yes you know we have improved in the way in people's reactions to people coming out um you know i mean i knew it actually dangerous. There, there was yeah there was there was a kid there was a kid at my church that i grew up with and he came out to his parents as gay at 17 and they kicked him out mm, they, yeah. they straight up kicked him out of the house um like it, was, it was like super fucked up oh uh, and like yeah uh, and well, I have, sneaking dudes in <laughs> No, that's the thing. He's he's actually really lame and boring. He's a really boring gay. Like he's one of the like you know, uh, you know, upstanding, you know, prudish kind of gays. Like, what I feel so that? bad. There was this kid in high school, and he was big. And honestly, he was hairy. He he kind of had a belly, but he was like a performer, you know. And he would always follow me around in school, like high school. And I remember him. Say, like because I would I would make fun of him so bad but I was mm -hmm. also his friend too I looked out for him but then we got into a huge fight and then he said meet me by the flagpole the flagpole to fight and <laughs> I said uh -oh. oh really I was like we're not meeting at the flagpole by the school we're meeting at the other flagpole we're gonna freaking fight so there was all these people there and there's this huge black like white he's sorry this huge white man he's like Seriously, he was like so tall. He must have been maybe, I was like, maybe 5'10. And he's there by himself. And there's people there. And they're like, what the heck? Blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm thinking I'm tough. And um, he gives me a card with a feather. It was um, a peacock feather. And in that, in that card, it was the most beautiful letter like in that card he wrote like a whole story in that in that card but Any um plans? it made me realize like oh my gosh i gotta quit being so mean to this god you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, i feel so bad Wait, but it I'm took me a while to I, like yeah you're just gonna give me this card you, sip, a... you wimp i was like this is a this spell you gave me a feather we're just flying on its own <laughs> wow <laughs> This is anyway. like the brain engine out of Donnie Darko, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For I say, I was like, it's, Sarah! You know, what up? Everyone? is bad. Well, what up, everyone? I was like, oh, oh, shit. It's, uh, Snowfire, you better get drunk because Sarah's okay. got her happy hands. Are you drinking, Sarah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday I'm night. A little bit of wine. It's fucking tag season. Sarah had a few drinks. What's up? <laughs> yeah, uh, I had an yeah, Irish it. coffee. I'm having coconut water because I'm a bougie motherfucker. Yummy. Bougie. That's so much better than the soda you usually drink. Yay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I have soda too. Where's my Pepsi at? Damn. Give me ah. some of that. We're out well, of soda at my house. Here, I drank all the Pepsi already. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, and yeah. to get more, so I have to stand up and walk to the mini fridge. How is everyone? I haven't been around in a while. What's fuck? I'm crabby, but nothing's wrong. Just in kind of a mood. You're um, in a mood? Fuck that. Okay, we're okay. No, I'm fine. I just I've been kind of barky tonight. Oh yeah. sweet. Okay. Kind of. I've been kind of having a tyrant night. Yeah. Why? I don't There's know. There's something going on with the moon, Sarah. Like people are like weird. Also, I've worked this week like considerably more than I've worked the last three months, probably. And that's bullshit. <laughs> so you had to put effort in this week. Yeah. Okay. Makes I hate sense. having yeah. to put effort. It's the worst. <laughs> you guys yeah. are talking about something real, though. I don't want to break up that conversation. Uh, actually, we're talking about something fake. Uh, Lib is a woman. <clears throat> yeah, mm -hmm. true. true I fact. like Lib. I've, I've spoken with... We all like Lib, which yeah. is why we need to just gently remind him that in reality, <laughs> the person in your Facts. You can believe what you want to believe. At least you're keeping um, your well, movie. Snowfire. I'm. I'm still confused about the guy with the flagpole. What? Is... No, I'm just. Oh yeah, there was a point to that story though. Like, like <laughs> he was talking about the church and like you know growing up and then mm -hmm. I don't know, just not knowing himself and then how you had to remain quiet for so long. You didn't know it back then that you were even mm -hmm. gay. I mean, I had, you know, 
inklings, but like it was all like, you know, repre- I, I grew up Southern Baptist, right? Like it was like, you know, the people who are gay are, you know, degenerates and they're like a special kind of person. And, you know, if you're a Christian, well, you're not that kind of person. So, you know, right. that was so it was a lot of um, sort of you know, confusion. Yeah. Um, and it actually took um, uh, like uh, me like deconstructing uh, my, my, my faith to actually like really sort of work that out. I, I, de- I deconverted um, when I was in high school. Um, I was around the same time I deconverted when I realized. Oh, now you're going to have me with flow thinking over correction if it happened at the same time. You left. I, that's, I'm just, I mean, I'm just t- telling the, the I mean. Yeah. We applaud for, your honesty. For, you'll for you'll it, find, for, the, you'll for, find for, the equilibrium here soon. I, I, I swiveled back and now I'm a deist again. I'm not a Christian, you, but I. Well, you, you know, probably I'm, swivel back to just being a gay dude at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Which is which is like oh, which fine. is why it's, it's cool. There's a picture here that's been missed. He can't you afford have faith, to be. That's a- good. Huh? I mean, I think it's good that you have faith and you're not like one of these people that are just. I mean, my faith is now very. It's <laughs> a lot more. Um, I want. I want to say limited. When I say deist, uh, I I mean deist in like the. As in, I am a theist and I believe in a deity and I. Uh, know about yeah, that. Are you much. in a relationship at all? Yes. I'm oh, is the evidence. Oh, as... Would <laughs> <laughs> you like to share about the relationship, Liv? I'm still trying to figure... Like, I don't understand. I've heard about it a lot. Okay. I, guess, I know it. Okay. I need a graph. I need to see a graph and oh, I need to know who's connected to who or in what way. <laughs> Sarah. I mean, uh, Snow. Hmm. Lib has a girlfriend... Okay. That has a fiance. That has a friend. A boyfriend. Oh a boyfriend. Oh, they are they all live furries. together, and they all live together. Now the fiance <laughs> will get married, but Lib and the girlfriend are going to form an LLC. Uh, well, actually, okay. um, so Wait, we actually, what? we're, we're probably going to, um, <laughs> we're probably going to forgo the marriage altogether and we'll probably just end up forming an LLC. It's, it's because, um, so like, he's a family corp, family corp. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I um, like well, it though. Yeah. Hold on. Um, this has, hold on. This has a basis in some old, uh, uh, sci-fi novels. Heinlein came sure. up with the concept. Oh God. Of, Fucking was, Heinlein. I know. Uh, I know. But the concept of a line marriage was originally an LLC type Mm -hmm. thing. It's it's a very similar idea. Robert Robert A. Heinlein. He's the guy who wrote Starship Asset contract. So so the reason that you groan though is because you've heard you've heard it pointed out, I assume, before that this is social conditioning because it was already described by a scientific author. Or a no, 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 no. I, I groan because I think Heinlein is like a fucking miserable, like, incel fascist. Um, Heinlein's a really weird one. He I love signing her Starship Troopers. No, okay. Starship Troopers is light work. Go yeah. look at uh, Time Enough for Love and tell me that him creating a clone from his own self as a female child and having sex with that child because it's not incest. Oh, I don't want to watch that. No. It's, it's wild. Wild, yeah. I, I like oh honestly, gosh, Starship yeah. Troopers is the is the tip of the iceberg. Like honestly, I actually enjoy Starship. Troopers. <laughs> I think I like it's Starship actually Starship interesting Trooper, science fiction. Um, the book yeah. in the sh- I think the movie is actually better than the book, but I that's like just a, I like the satirization. But um, Fight Club was better than the book too. True, but true back- fact. Fight Club. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Hey, um, come on, man! You put Ed Norton and Brad Pitt in the same movie, and that's it's what it was. That's what I'm it just was. saying, like, I love the movie, and and I every single it. book of a movie I've ever read, the book was way better. So when I read Fight Club, I'm like, man, this is about to be a badass book. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but and, and anyways, what I was uh, so thinking about forming an LLC, basically, so that we can get benefits of being married, but like you can't have a you know four way. Can marriage, I own but... shares in your relationship? <laughs> shares uh no we won't be a publicly traded llc no uh, you don't have to be there can be private you don't have to be on, a, on exchange to to sell ownership in a, in a, a corporation the best way to run an llc is just have two people on the llc 
to protect your business and for tax purposes. Yeah. Just my opinion. Yeah, no, it's, it's basically that's, I mean, because you know, I, I <laughs> was that, was that, Were you using a metaphor for marriage there? <laughs> yeah, it could be for okay, marriage. Okay, okay. Uh, I was just trying kind to of smart. Are there some states where... Hey, hey Sarah, no, can I... you walk away again, whatever you just did, and then walk back? Oh, my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cynthia, what was your question? No, never mind. I thought it through. It was not right. <laughs> yeah, I, if, you're, if you're about to ask if there are states where polyamorous marriages are uh, right, uh, because so that you not. wouldn't have to do it this they're way. They're not. In there, Japan, there you can marry a blow up doll or whatever that guy did. He married like a. They married. They do some weird shit in Japan. Japanese yeah, people are weird. Do you it's think weird. that will come? Live because with everybody living the poly lifestyle, oh, definitely you come. I <laughs> thank you. Probably, thank you probably, probably oh not just because of like logistically, and also mm -hmm. like I mean, you have to realize in in America the sort of like marriage is so intertwined with the sort of like that sort of like religious in it connotation mm, um that okay. like that will never like gay marriage is already fucking hard enough to, to <laughs> pause like, right like the, if, the poly like again I, i've attempted I to explain i don't know stuff to like some of my church friends and like their their brains just like imploded uh, I just think that probably will will fizzle out because it's not sustainable. People are jealous. Have you guys well, watched okay. Sister Wives and what they have to put up with? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I think the it's it's a, it's a very it's like up to a personal preference thing. Like the way the way we structure our polycule is works for us and i don't think it would work for other people and that's perfectly sure. fine like it's just well, it's I'm, yeah i'm not placing it i'm not i'm not criticizing it or, or saying it shouldn't be i'm just saying like by and large people are jealous and possessive oh, yeah no 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 and Absolutely. so i just don't see it well the yeah, way Cynthia phrased it was that everybody's living the poly life is it going to get bigger and i i was telling her to that i don't think at all i think yeah i bang your woman you can't bang mine though Right, yeah, exactly. Well, Isn't that how that the poly relationship everyone wants to be in? <laughs> I agree, <laughs> but I also yeah. a different generation behind us is coming, and they're not going to view it. And mm -hmm. just sp speaking in the past, you the LGBT ever tried to, to be in a relationship with four community, women? Community has always been able to steam forward with it, whatever agenda they're on. So. It'll be I, I, I just I don't think I don't think polyamory is that hip with the kids. I guess I mean like again I have younger friends who, you know, they also don't understand my relationship. Really, or, you know, I, I mean, be, yeah, I, I mean, like, yeah, sure. Have you ever tried to live with four women and having sex with the, all four of the women and the women aware that of what's going on? Have you ever That's anybody ever fun. tried to pull that? Too, and it's I have not. Fun. It is disturbing. It is absolutely insane. There's so much stress involved in that yes. relationship. That's Even crazy. when everybody's in the same boat and everybody's agreeing, there's always these little mini arguments that are always on the verge of blowing up into some thermonuclear BS when all it is is she mispronounced the word for Freaking fragile. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. the only the, the thing that makes my our relationship work is is the uh, amount of communication and open communication. <laughs> the app. <laughs> I mean, we we just. Oh yeah, the app. We have to, you know, be honest with each other and open, and you know, we spend a lot of time together too. That's I think another big thing. I mean, hell, fucking monogamous couples. Who is your you know, least like, favorite person in the polycule? Uh, myself. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. I think I know I you. No way wow, out. you did that. <laughs> Nibs, are you? That was either, that was either dark or it was server. clever. <laughs> am I in? Up. Am I in whose? I think I I've talked to you before. Are you in Maybe. Christine's like server? Mm, Christine. Christy. Christy. No. Not the not that I'm aware of. Uh, not unless Christy's server or is Sylvia. Uh, Neurojack server or Machine Lies server or uh, okay, no, no. Gen Gen only X these Jeff people. Server. Okay. Yeah, that's the only people I've, whose server I'm in. Hmm. I'm already in too, way too many okay. Discord servers. <laughs> I use Discord too much. Oh yeah, Discord. I uninstalled that. I've taken a hiatus <laughs> off of Discord and it's been the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, Discord has a 
just uh, Discord is weird. Every platform is just weird in its own way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, Discord. I use I use it a lot, but Discord is I don't know. Huh. I mean, for, I, dark I took a, pages. Be I, careful, Cynthia. You'll do what? No, I said it's like the dark pages over there. You better be careful, Cynthia. Oh, I, uh, okay. Thank you. I, I did take I did oh, take yeah, a break out welcome. of um uh TikTok. I did like because I found I was like doom scrolling TikTok. Um, especially like um you know late I last year. That too. I got yeah, right. like, yeah, yeah, like following following the the whole stuff in the Gaza Strip. I was just like doom scrolling too much, and so I just. Well, if you can't believe the the ten second video clips you get off of a Chinese state owned app. Um, that was really more directed at Joe Cool. Uh, Joe Cool was zoned out thinking about some fucked up apartment he used to live in years ago. I don't even know why I was thinking about it. <laughs> what, what was, that's because you're high. That's why. That, that, <laughs> you need to well, what about it? You were just walking around in it, or I was uh, yeah. trying to rent one out, and it was horrible. My man was trying to rent it to me. I was a young dope dealer. I took my little squad in there, and it was like fucking horrible, man. I'm like, what the fuck? That's exactly what I was thinking about. When you I tried something. to rent out a few empty uh, trailers in Trailer Park that I just owned. To people. Uh, but, you know, That's they, they nice, didn't so pay man. for it any more than I owned it. So, like, <laughs> the whole thing didn't work. <laughs> You can miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Uh, Tim Bob's uh, saying the You're not red are all magnified. magnified. There's no way. What? He's just not redneck enough to pull off a tra trailer park. That's all. Who? Flo? I am redneck enough to look like I own a trailer that I want you to rent from me. Sure. How about a trailer yes, park? Yeah. Real quick, I've never linked it to you to the trailer park. A little park. class, okay. Let's get you. Well, I'm. Uh, what? I'm just a white guy. Yeah, no, he, he definitely looks like a guy that I've. I, I'm pretty sure I've rented a trailer from someone who looks exactly like. Right. Him. Pay for it though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> Everybody well, just a, is... a white guy with an unmarked van. <laughs> no, his is at least marked. Mine has free candy written on the side uh, of it, and then it's out and it says Wi Fi. Yeah, because <laughs> that's that's a white van alert. <laughs> no, the, the secret is to never have anything uh memorable, just be as plain gray as possible. I think I used to drive like a like a 2000 fucking gray blazer or something chevy blazer like just unremarkable in every way i could be i know it's hard that is so dangerous i, I yeah, got so tired of riding them yeah people don't see those vehicles i mean they'll just pull out right in front of you because they didn't notice the fact that you were driving a beige minivan exactly that's how <laughs> i want them to remember me <laughs> that's why i'm in a bright yellow freaking xterra if you pull out in front of me it's not because you didn't see me. It's because you're an asshole. True. All right. I Flo, hydroplane I've got a... today. Oh, so scary. I fucking hate hydroplaning. Ugh. That was kind of fun. It's like because I've never crashed from it, but it's like a little woo. <laughs> I don't know. One time, <laughs> one time I was uh, driving for work. I was driving my my work truck, and uh, I hydroplaned on that thing. Ooh, god, that was fucking scary. <laughs> a fucking F four fifty, just like fucking sliding along this little two lane road. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> there was this one time I did an epic hydroplane, though. I don't know what happened, but that wheel took over. God said, Whoa. and he. Okay, okay, when you're on the highway, it was I-95 from Virginia to Miami, and um, they have those metal rods that protect you from going... Um, yeah, off the side, yeah. Over, uh, uh, off the edge, yeah, yeah. So, I was driving, I don't know what happened, but I lost all control of my vehicle, and I was just spinning the wheel. I'd, I was told, whenever you hydroplane, do not push on the brake, push on it slowly. Yeah, and I did that, and it went over that metal rod, and it backed up all the like halfway. Uh, with let's say it was about twelve feet, 
12 feet into the ditch area and it backed my car backed itself up and it was like a perfect like perfect line mm -hmm. oh yeah it's a, yeah it was bad i had it i was like on my way to miami you know but yeah. um hydroplaning is crazy yeah <laughs> your heart drops when that shit happens <laughs> I have pictures of it. The cops were very impressed. All right. I tried well, to, to race through. A, you know, the in two, what was it, two thousand six or seven, when it was the bit that huge snowstorm in the Midwest, like it shut the fucking shit down. Um. Anyways, I tried. I was trying to make to our drive back to the college town I lived in, right on the front edge of that storm. Uh, like it had just started. And I was in Kansas City. And I wanted to get back to Columbia. Because there was a party that night, and I didn't want to get snowed in Kansas City when I when MU had just canceled the first time in seventy years or some shit. The college <laughs> canceled, canceled classes, and I was not getting snowed away from that party. Um, and yeah, I ran. Uh, <laughs> uh, whoa, you want to talk about being being indoctrinated into the system? You went to college, cheese. <laughs> uh, I ain't even been to college. You got you there, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, I didn't right. learn much. <laughs> fair, fair. All right, Flo, uh, I got to go. Uh, but before I leave, I do want to say, all right, I know you climate change is a hoax, all that, yada, yada. But at least you got to admit, all right, can, an anarchists can, can unite and say that eco-terrorism is based in Minecraft. Eco-terrorism is economic terrorism because the dollar is based on petroleum. Come on, you, yeah, come on, man! It's so it's sticking it up to the man. No, it's not. It is the man. It just tricks people into thinking it's not the man. It is the man. <laughs> terrorism. That's that why you think it's based. The man told you it's based. No, I think it's based because it blows up oil pipelines. Do you believe there are too many people in the world? Uh, no. Do you believe that there is a supply? problem with the cities a what like a supply problem a uh, uh what, what is it i try 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 we have an issue delivering goods where they need to be cheaply uh i i do think there are problems with that but um okay. i mean i think that's been a problem basically with every society yeah, sure. ever um i do think that we have like there are definitely systems that have um organized uh that those supplies better um, than what we do today. Um, but I do think that, like, today, like, we do have very unique problems. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's, like, particular problems with it. The problem is they don't make any money when they give those supplies to people that actually need it. Yeah. That's the problem. They don't because make people problem. that actually need – the only reason people would actually need something is if they don't have it because they're not able to – NGOs finance themselves to solve problems that if they solve, they no longer exist. Yeah, I don't like NGOs. Most, yeah. most NGOs. I don't like I don't like using I don't like NGO I don't like using NGOs to like solve problems. I don't think they are like actually good methods of solving problems. Hell no. They're the problem. They're they're the source of all the problems. In fact, a lot of a lot of NGOs, especially the ones that are like um founded by uh like sing like individual wealthy people oftentimes are usually just fronts for ta uh for tax breaks um they're usually for not social engineering because uh you know eugenics is frowned upon now overall. yeah or that actually there there definitely uh, are ngos that are like pro-eugenics um all right i'm gonna cut out with you live because i'm about to fall out <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like how, how hard Joe sticks in there sometimes. Like, <laughs> he stays but, uh, on screen until he's falling asleep. You can yeah, leave earlier. Was was there was there any uh, follow up to the to the supply chain thing, Sasquatch? Or was that just? I, no, I was just curious. A lot of people who who want to say that eco terrorism is a good thing say it because they believe in overpopulation, or they believe that there's not enough resources, or they believe that. They, they have a reason. Usually. Yeah, that's I, I found that that usually is kind of it's anti-human. That's yeah, where that's you, what usually, it all boils down to. Usually, those are like e e e eco-fascists. Um, like they're 
they're fascists who kind of like use the whole like sure uh, ecology we, thing it's like communists who use the same like, topic right. yeah no i yeah no i agree um i'm again like i'm a you know, I, I, I guess I've explained this before, but yeah. maybe not to you, Sasquatch. I like when I like call myself like an a lot. or a communist. Um, uh, I fucking hate the USSR. I hate the CCP. Um, uh, they're Ooh. they're Ooh. Uh, bad dudes. They got um, flow. flow oh, they got flow. They got the they got, got me. Flow <laughs> down. Bad down. Bad down. Oh, wait, are you a man? Oh, <laughs> well, I just I what's happening. I didn't buy a ham sandwich, but um, but yeah. Well, no, that's I, what you always were then. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, nah, a bunch of conversations with communists, and every time I try to have a conversation with communists about economics or about economic theory, about the basis of their communist tendencies, uh, it all it almost invariably comes back to some either person, concept, or ideal that either they believe is failing, inappropriate, or wrong. And they think they can correct it by simply making a statement like, bless God, praise yeah. God. And I'm, I'm just using that because religion and, 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 and a political ideal have a lot in common in the way that they are transferred from person to person. And actually, specifically, um, a lot of like communism that, exists in the West, um, a lot of communists do um, sort of look at their ideology in a very like religious kind of sense. Uh, I, I I refer to them as like tankies because um, these are like the kind of people who usually will like, like um, yeah, uh, they'll uh, they'll uh, <laughs> usually like idealize communist China or the USSR and places like that, um, which is really, really bad. Like not just like from like a economic standpoint, from like a moral one too. Like those were like not good like, like, I don't think that I, my I, ideals. I also don't can, think you're a communist. You know that, right? I don't think he's. I don't think you're any of the things that you self-identify as. I think in five years you're going to change all that shit back. You have way too many. You have way too good of a grasp on economics. I mean, not really. I I have, have that flow. I've talked mm -hmm. to a lot, of, and I'm I'm fixing to say the word these people, but as I'm using a very broad umbrella, yeah. right? just people with different ideals from myself. I've had a lot of conversations with these types of people and usually they have some singular core around which they base all of their, you know, because of this, then that, right? right. And it just needs to, well, communism hasn't been done right yet. We haven't done it perfectly. And so we don't have a perfect utopia. Because I'm losing my house, capitalism is evil. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Right. What, Cynthia? Nothing, Flo. You're. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think capitalism is like some like singular evil. I, I don't even think like calling it evil is even like a coherent statement. It's a it's an it's a socioeconomic system. Well, there's um, lots of non coherent not... statements that religious people make, and by religious people, I mean basically a zealot for any ideology. Yeah. Um, oh, Mr. Pie, thank you for the five dollars. Let me read this. Let me read this. We have a testicular problem. They cannot be found. I don't know who the we is, but I, I can find mine. Checking. If, 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 Lib, Lib has found his testicles, so that's. Can I leave with a joke? Well, can we stop you? There's no way possible. Is it going to be offensive? We've had to look at you all night. Possibly. Yeah, only if, yeah, only if it's an offensive one. Okay. Uh, you were going to hit us with that dad joke bullshit again, weren't you? Absolutely. If a, if a man talks in the forest, is he wrong? <laughs> That's pretty good, though, right? You already, you already had a bad joke for the night. All right, all right I'll leave it. <laughs> no, his with the dad joke. But uh, but yeah, no, I mean, like mm. ec economically, you know, I think there's a lot of like complicated stuff. I, I I do have my issues with capitalism. I have my criticisms of capitalism. Um, but they none of them are like it, it it's evil. Um it's a lot of them good. just have to do with like it's incent the incentives of capitalism um I think go against I think I think there's uh better systems that we could produce that would help people. Oh no he's gone. Well well I mean I think the problems with capitalism are human problems. 
right? Because capitalism, it's always human in, in it, right? It's but in its purest form, you have free will transactions, right? So, well, no, I I I, I don't agree that that's um, the, the fundamental. Like capitalism is specifically about. Um, prioritizing profit over everything else. And the thing it's, is, the, look, the, the hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 stop. It is, it is about voluntary transactions and private property ownership. Which is great, but that's usually not what's occurring. Most but people are buying shit they don't actually want and aren't freely choosing. They are manipulated right. into buying. Right. Also, also I would, uh, you could, you could argue, and I do argue that other economic systems have that too. That, that that's not a capitalism specific thing. That's just uh, a, what other economic system. I, feudalism. People could own property in feudalism. They they did only certain people. Sure, but and I, were the transactions voluntary? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, a lot of the transactions were voluntary. That How does it different from capitalism? Uh, because the like production, as in like the firms <laughs> that existed, um, their their primary. Uh, uh, motivator for producing, for doing work was not for producing profit. It was for producing things that people needed. Uh, like for instance, uh, farms were, were yeah. about what producing is, but, I mean, food this, so that people could consume it. What the fuck do you think money's for? Or profit? What do people do with profit? What do businesses do with profit? They pay people, they buy equipment they well no produce. actually de definitionally that's not what they do with profit uh because like profit is what you get after you pay everybody and you pay all your costs profit is what you get over that touche um okay so the machine that the the machine the business machine that gives payrolls out is able to buy equipment this economic machine mm -hmm. the people who bought this economic machine that now produces value what what do they get in using this they're using their assets to provide something that provides things to other people yes their incentive back is the profit otherwise if they got no incentive back why wouldn't they take that and just buy another vacation home well it i mean so it depends on the system you're talking about but in large cases um the incentive there were other incentives other than profit like for instance like the i uh uh community or you know producing things that other people need like uh in feudal societies right like people didn't like the 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 blacksmith um he he didn't like produce these things solely for profit he produced these things because the town needed a blacksmith and there was a social he was fulfilling a social role in doing that for his community bullshit i call it pure bullshit you've romanticized it's not it's not about romanticizing it's about like, absolutely romanticizing. It's about understanding why people do the things they do what's and, the first thing two grown-ass men ask each other when they shake hands somewhere in modern day or yeah. like again you're you're trying to i mean you 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 what i'm are saying is i understand that your job the value you produce to the community around you mm -hmm. has always been a core function of your identity in yes. your social life you yes. nobody goes to work now. Humans haven't changed. People that blacksmith didn't go and sweat and swing hammers all day because he loved everybody's horses. Well, no, it's not about like loving everybody's horses. It's about being a part of a community and having like a role to play. Um, when you had like these much smaller communities, um, the the methods and the reasons as to why people did things were different um, I, because like society was different i i know it's kind of like so but, obvious to say but like uh, for instance uh, actually um th that book i was reading about the bronze age collapse there is um uh, a lot of there was this uh, thing called shit, i wish sasquatch was still here for this that, he gets down on that uh there was uh this uh one of the historians or uh He's an anthropologist, um, describes what he calls incipient capitalism or in, incipient, uh, basically very early capitalism, basically where you had a bunch of a, a basically a merchant class of people who did this like big international trade lanes um, where they would go around. And as opposed to what other uh, uh, more sedentary merchants would do, their primary uh, purpose was to gain profits, was to uh, get something like 
get you know, materials from one area and then go to another area and sell those things for more than they were worth where they got them and thus making a profit. Everybody um, works for their own gain, right? Everybody wants was, to accumulate, was, hold on. Everybody wants to accumulate resources and and become more, have get more clout, get more power, whatever. It's human nature to want to get more turf. Just because some people ended up being better at it and breaking away doesn't mean it's a fundamentally different thing. It's the same exact instinct, just some were better than others. No, it was it, so the reason why, like, the, uh, the that anthropologist discusses this is because that mode of like of, of doing like transactions and business was fundamentally different than how other people were doing business. Um, uh, profit seeking was not a primary driver behind most late bronze age civilizational like uh economies well, it um, sounds like no, they're it also was more they, purpose driven rather than profit driven yeah they, they were would, also, it sounds to me like you guys are economy. trying to just call it not profit because it's not on a balance sheet of an llc every quarter no no no, no. it's it's not profit because that it's it's not profit was not the main motivator like profit could happen but profit was not the motivator behind the economy um, it par partially because these were primarily command economies. Like I'm not saying I'm not attempting to idealize the late Bronze Age's economic models. Those were all like fucking command economies. I hate command economies. Um, but like the point that I'm giving is that capitalism, the, the the unique part of capitalism is that profit is the main driver behind that model. Well, that that because that's profit is profit or self-interest profit is just one expression of self-interest yes um there are that's other. always the main motivator for every organism on earth yeah, whether we want to admit it to, or, to ourselves or pretend like we're altruistic yeah um, well, i i think caucasian has it right i agree with him in his comment religion was the economic driver i think it was the economic excuse which but if you look at the Catholic drives, Church, what drives it? They have well, to well, I mean, that, that was the, that was the story, right? Weapons right. of mass destruction was the story. But if you look at the results, we can see well clearly the outcome was that the Catholic Church is the most powerful institution on earth. Still, it's always been profit. It's always been power. I, I mean, I mean, sure, but like my my point is that there are diff like different economic models that prioritize different things and capitalism is just prioritizing profit over other things and that's fine like again that is a like economic model and there's that's no not an economic model problem that's a human behavior no, no no i'm not saying it's a problem in fact i'm saying that no, like it's, but it's not it's not an economic that that function is not created by the economic model the desire to benefit yeah that's no, 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 going no, that, great that, yeah, right. but like people were benefiting from from other economic models as well. Um, just in they were benefiting in different ways other than directly from profit, or you know, in for, different de differing degrees, right? Or like, differing degrees. No, no, no. no. I, I agree. In fact, but, I I actually think that like uh, capitalism is a step up over command economies. I think command economies I, of yeah, any yeah. variation is are significantly worse. It's really, than the only one that's more. morally justifiable. It's the only one that doesn't start cr walking into slavery. I don't, I don't, uh, well, well, but slavery, slavery has, has existed within capitalist systems before. So, well, sure. Um, but communist systems are exactly slavery. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> uh, I'm, you I'm work where we tell you, you get what we give you. I mean, slavery I, has always existed. It doesn't matter what system. But I mean, that's, that, that doesn't matter. It has always existed and it still exists. Just one is a political and economic model. That is being presented as, yeah. I mean, again, not I, not what it is. Again, I'm not a fan of like command economies. So like the the USSR communism, like their version of communism of a command economy, I don't like it. I think it was like object like not only. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that you do necessarily, yeah. but you're not. You're you're saying that there are other things better than capitalism. What I'm saying is all the problems you're describing are just the results of of freedom and meritocracy. I I don't agree because I don't think that meritocracy is a thing that we have actually achieved in any meaningful sense. Um, like, might makes right is technically I mean, it, it, kind it, it, of... 
Like it's not make- it's not sustainable. But you can look at big expansions, right? Like like the colonizing of America, um, things like that. And you can say in these situations where the existing structure is overturned and then people are given freedom to do what they want, you have massive booms in production and creativity and all sorts of things. Um, and and I don't remember where I was going to land that. Mm-hmm. But those those aren't the only metrics I think by which we ought to measure human flourishing because like for instance uh the big expansion into america the manifest destiny also included a genocide um, all right, right yeah, yeah no i and i wasn't but what i was just saying is as no, this, I, is, this I, is the function of the model right i wasn't i wasn't yeah, justifying no, the no no no, no. I, I i don't think you were what i'm okay. saying though is that like um uh that those aren't the only like metrics to which we we need to be looking at because I, again like that's why well, i think I, the, is is uh, at the, using- economics only addresses one element. It only addresses the fulfillment of people's material needs. That's and that's all it should fulfill. Well, it's not responsible for your happiness. Well, capitalist economics does, but I don't think that that's um, that ought be social. That's what economics. That all the economics is just about material goods, ultimately. Yes. Huh? What did you I say? Mean, I said no, it's not. What's it about? It's about an end to a means. <laughs> to an end. Oh. And and the, the, the ends are control over physical resources. Including or the mu- including the man's body. Man. Yeah, no, I, again, like, I, I, I'm absolutely very pro, like, like freedom in this sense. Um, like, I don't think that, but I don't think capitalism that's why is you're the... Not, that's why you're not a communist. But I don't think capitalism is the only economic model which provides people freedom. Um, because I don't think that's, it's not something that's, okay. I think, unique to capitalism. There Give me an example. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, uh, tribal... Uh, uh, tribal economies uh, had a significant amount of freedom. People had a vast amount of freedom. I don't think it's something that's intrinsic well, to capitalism. So I'm going to say, I'm going to, uh, well, first of all, like tribal economies don't matter because they're not proper economies in a modern sense. Um, it's not a viable option today. But yes. also, I'm going to say that you're wrong because if you look at a family model, if you treat it like a family, there actually is not freedom within that unit, there's clear authority. There's definitely tribal going on in the economy. If you well, think yeah, humans are tribal. It, it's the top ten of the week. Everyone's but, doing like that's well, well, yeah. Not, but not he's about, he's saying like the people, the Bush like, people, could walk around naked and throw spears at whatever they wanted. And I'm saying, okay, but that's a hunter and gatherer tribals. It just means a gathering of people, a unit, people I mean, that I, are working. But what he was, was talking was, about was, or she, whatever was in yeah. in context in the right. And Liv, who's right? I, you are. I, I, I actually, so like, <laughs> for instance, um, uh, the, Suck the, it still. <laughs> the Native wow. Americans, um, the Native Americans, um, uh, long before Europeans came over, um, we do actually have records of like how a lot of their economies worked. And it was a very like sort of like primitive tribal economy. Um, and like, it was not nearly like the way command economies or capitalism were. So how did it work? I people people did things as they were like needed and as they wanted to do them. Um, so like people filled roles that were needed within their communities. Um, and yeah, people just did stuff because they were nice and they love each other. Not, so not you're saying that somebody, nice, but it's like a survive. It's like it's like when you. No, I mean like community, this is the problem with social. This is what I, I get in this argument with Jack. I get in this. Every socialist has this romanticized idea of the world in which people. Do things not for self interest. I'm, I'm not. I'm not advocating for this. But what I'm what saying is, the, what is, why, what is the benefit these people got out of it? Because people never been just generous. I'm. I'm not. I'm not being an advocate for the system. I'm merely demonstrating that capitalism is not the only system which offers people freedom of choice. Like, I mean, it sounds like you're describing capitalism, just kind of a chill version of it. If they have voluntary transactions and private property ownership, that's capitalism. But the problem—that's actually perfect free market capitalism. The, the difference is that the uh, 
the goal of the production was not to generate profit. The motivation, the goal of the production was to fill needs within communities. No, I mean, that doesn't matter, though. It really doesn't matter why somebody is doing something. All that matters is what the, the structure is around it. The structure is people could choose how to transact mm -hmm. and they could own stuff. At that point, I'm content. I don't give a fuck. I don't even pretend to know why Chief Sitting Bull uh, made arrowheads. I don't care. Yeah, then in, in fact we probably economically agree. I mean we do we do economically you're not agree a on communist, a lot of man. <laughs> well, I mean, I am an anarchist. Did I, I just did I just did I just take two W's in like under 60 seconds? <laughs> Suck it, man. I mean, my my economics aren't like I guess traditionally communist in the sense that if you're talking about communism in terms of USSR, like, yeah, I'm not a communist, but I'm not talking about communism in the terms of the USSR. I'm talking really? about communism as a political system, which is uh, a, socio a socioeconomic political system in which it is classless, stateless, and there is uh, the, the driving motivator behind the economy is not about seeking profit. Um, how would you how would you establish such a system? Uh, well, um, that's where things get much more difficult. And the best I can say is, uh, step one is have a, uh, equal and robust democracy. That's step one. You, I don't think you can do it without a robust democracy, um, where the vast majority of people are, uh, engaged with it. Um, because I think that, uh, democracy is the thing that allows for freedom can you imagine how systems. insane the world would be if everybody had actually equal engagement and sway like groups of people are fucking not, not, nuts not not not, 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 e not equal sway um again like i'm not arguing for like a direct democracy what i'm arguing is that democratic principles um need to be take the forefront um so like and I however think the issue that we're having is that you care about like the the fields underneath it and i just care about the mechanics well no i i mean my my primary motivator is about um uh freedom uh both positive and negative uh, uh forms of freedoms uh but because i think that that is before you can even like talk about like uh, uh, a stateless society or classless system. Uh, the first thing that people have to be are you smirking free. <laughs> um, before you can even you know begin to talk about those things, people have to. Good night, you guys. Yeah. I snow. Uh, Thanks for coming thank up. You. Um, uh, people have to be free. Um, and and I think democ uh, uh, forms of democracy are the main ways, uh, which with which we can achieve that. Um, you know, obviously there are different, uh, there are different, like de democracy can be more or less free. Obviously, I think ancient Athenian democracy uh, was quite not free. Um, the only people who were allowed to vote were uh, uh, men who uh, owned land and were free. Like, uh, <coughs> were they the only ones who paid taxes? Uh, no, not in ancient Athens. Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, people like uh, non land owning uh, men. Uh, pay taxes as well um because i'm a, i would be okay if somebody suggested that only people who pay taxes get to vote i mean that i would perfectly reasonable to me uh i i would possibly agree but then i would or orchestrate a society in which everybody paid taxes um everyone because I, does pay taxes yeah when you which, buy anything there's yeah. sales tax right i'm just saying hypothetically like yeah. i think a system I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't think everybody deserves a seat at the table just because they're in the area. Well, I mean, I don't think everyone deserves <laughs> necessarily like a seat at the table, but I do think everyone deserves to be represented. Did um, Cynthia just laugh at me like I'm a tyrant? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. It's this moon, Sarah. I don't get it. You know, if the moon is controlling you, you need to take your power back. Yeah, take it back. It's not controlling me. No, this is a thought you're from you. this whole fucking YouTube shit. Like, I blocked everything <laughs> and everyone for a solid, like, two fucking weeks. Nice. I think that's fantastic. Is that why you haven't responded to my dick pics? I definitely oh. blocked both you and everyone that I had. I blocked. Did everyone. you block me? 
I did. I unblocked you all today. But why did you block I, everybody? I mean, I, I told you I had to take my I, power back. I had to put yeah. up a solid wall. So That's bullshit. You don't know. No, no, I, I'm I'm you back now. You. I didn't return it to you. We get blocked and we don't even bother you. They were pulling at me, so I put up a solid wall so I could disconnect. I, I had my energy. It. Whatever and energy I had, I had it. taken it because I wanted you it. Feel apparently. better, Sarah. I don't get to that. have it if I don't want to give it to you. You don't get to take it. It's it's gift. like ashtray change. Yeah. It's there. It's not really mine. But if you leave me in your car, oh I might need to buy some gum or something. Do you feel better, Sarah? <laughs> Let me try it for the third freaking time. Do you feel Sarah, better? Take your, take your mental health. Did you actually you send me a text? Because I did actually block you all. But I. Rib. I'm <laughs> what? Hey, you should. Like, you should you said and goodbye. Exactly. And then went in. I was being hole. fucking pulled at every fucking angle. So I just blocked every motherfucker from fucking YouTube. It wasn't personal. I blocked everyone. I'm gonna. I don't know how much energy I had, but I'm taking more now, just on principle. <laughs> well, do you feel oh. better? Do you feel refreshed? Dude, I feel good. Good. I'm you're not going to in the morning when you're like, where the fuck did my energy go? And I'm like, damn, look at all this loosh. Sometimes you're like, cut the fucking cord. No, what is going on? Because people are tugging on you way too much. I got, <laughs> I got shit to do. I think Flo likes it when people tug on him. Yeah, I wish someone would pull my energy away. <laughs> That's a different kind of tug, and I ain't but there. Flo, you got a girl for that. Yeah. Get you know, I haven't teabagged that. Lib. <gasps> I've never That's seen great. you, Lib. Can you ever cam up? I maybe I will at some point. I actually don't have like a cam worth of shit right now. I have like a really old cam from like 2003, <laughs> um, and it's awful. Can you so self describe you? I have glasses and dark hair. Um, I actually, I have some like scarring on my face. I was in a bad car accident when I was 17, uh, mm -hmm. like split open my head. Uh, I actually, actually broke the, the entire orbit around my eye and I had to replace it with plastic. Gangster. Yeah. Uh, and then I, it. and then I also broke uh, a collarbone. Uh, uh that too. yeah. Me too. Or I fractured yeah, it. You're all fucked up. Yeah. I actually, uh, I got in the car accident, like literally two weeks before we were to go back to school. I mm -hmm. had to go to the hospital because one of my uh, cut, one of the cuts uh, got infected and I literally got out of the hospital and the next day I went to school and I went with like a neck brace. I had an eye patch, what? um, whole nine yards. Yeah. You had an eye patch. <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. <clears throat> went to school with an eye patch. But you on. just wanted to be back at school. Just yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. I, I really wanted to, I did not want to. Are you um, tall? Uh, uh, I'm like six foot. I, I guess that's tall. No, so he's like five eight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, God, I, I, I know how, I know how to do I bro. Feel better. I wish I, feel I, wish like I was I shorter. More. I feel more feminine if I was shorter. I feel like I learned a lot about you. Thank you, Lib. Yeah. I can. Pr I can probably. Uh, I'll make. Sometime I'll make my PFP one of the the nice like super femmed up pictures that I took of myself. I'll dig around and find one. Make it my mm -hmm. PFP one day. You're, you're gonna you're gonna slut up. I'll, yeah. I'll slut up. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I've taken I've I've taken some pictures of myself. I mean, not slutted up, but you know, femmed up. Uh, yeah, where Flo brings the hose out. He does. <laughs> Even the ones I don't intend to bring out, like Mr. Pie <laughs> and Butthole Winker. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, he's better. He's better at bringing out the hose than uh than Jeff is. Golly, Jeff. Jeff is just a sausage fest over there. I feel like I have a pretty good uh, female to male ratio of the panel verse, which is it's basically weird. desperately it's male. So thing. wild. Yeah, I know. It's because, it's because it's all dudes who are hostile. And like chicks don't just don't enjoy sitting around in that crossfire. But you're the only panel that really has a strong female panel come up and join you, which it gives it balance. Yeah. Well, I like women. I think that that's something that's unique well, to me amongst like a lot of men online. Mm -hmm. A lot of men are like by that Rolo mm -hmm. shit, like treating women like the enemy, you know, like yeah. da, da, da. 
Like, bro, you're just bitter because you don't get as much vagina as you want. Well, I don't even, I view it as they just wanted to show their power. And it's like, if you were already mean, you wouldn't have to show it. It would already be understood. Then how it's do you? Explain, then, but then how does that how does that explain Jeff though? Because Jeff's definitely not one of those Rolo guys. Like he's definitely not like a Mig Tower. Like he's gay, but he's not like. like Jenna, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think Jeff hates women. No, I know that's what I'm saying. I don't, he he doesn't. But like, well, I think that he associates with men. I don't know what like he talks about his small groups. He only does uh, counseling for men. Like he only interacts with men. Sarah. Sarah, today was the first day I did like a live vlog of uh, washing my dishes and cleaning my kitchen. What? And then, yeah, and because he wanted, because he wanted to see what life, what other people's lives look like. So I did a live stream, and then I went on his stream later, and I cooked dinner, and he was so excited. He said it was one of the best Friday nights he had. Like he just what? enjoyed seeing. He just enjoyed seeing somebody else do average everyday life like normal life. Yeah, like, he wants to see normal life. Like that's all. Like, one? Dishes and food and work. I right on my couch. There's normal and life. Watch, read some TV. But people enjoyed it. <laughs> it was interesting, and I was like all embarrassed. I was like, they're gonna judge me for all my dirty dishes, but they liked it. <laughs> but it was interesting. What does he do? Does he not do dishes? Who? <laughs> when I was cooking, it yeah. was stressing them out because I have I like a griddle and then I've got one of those pots that you can remove the handle and put it on the next pot. And he was like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, that's so much. That's so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and so. Uh, I mean, for what it's worth, if you don't do a lot of cooking, you know, like it. Cooking can seem like I actually just recently started baking. Like I had, I've never really done too much baking. Like I, I cook a lot, but like I never really baked a bunch. So I like started like baking bread and stuff like that. And oh, at yeah. first, at first it was like kind of stressful and I kind of fucked up a few times, but then after you kind of get, get the hang of it, it's just kind of almost not. How is that well, oh. So what if you fuck up the muffins? Like there ain't no problem that can't right? be solved here. <laughs> like this is a Throw low. A butter on that shit and yeah. you're good to go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You're awfully skinny for for being a fat kid. Well, I, I love actually, bread and butter. Feed I, that to yeah. me all day long, okay. and I will love you all night long. Uh, honestly, uh, making making bread by myself has like made me understand like early humans because like early humans are just basically like staple crop. Like that is our shit. Rice. Wheat, you know, like we love that shit, all right. And humans have always loved that shit. And I understand I like that it's so it's so easy <laughs> and it's so delicious. I don't like bread. Why? Bread what? Because it's the only point of bread is to get meat to your mouth. Well, yeah, sure. Oh my what? god, no. I, I, hate, I hate Panera. Panera is the most That's overpriced, Panera. underrated restaurant. I hate, I hate, I hate Panera. Too, yeah, so. I hate that place too. My like, grandmother. What do you want for a side dish? Do you want a, an apple? Or a chunk of bread, or a bag of plain. They don't even have flavored potato chips or wrinkles in them. It's just a plain shit. It's like have some bland with your bland. But like, like but my bread. grandmother used to make us a loaf of our very own loaf of bread every Christmas. Like was that. It, was was it? it was the <laughs> most bread exciting. Bread yes, and you didn't have to share. Oh my god. Yes, that was amazing. And really? I, and, I, and I just started yes. using yeast. I don't think I've ever had bread. bread like that. Oh my what? god. My mom got a bread maker for Christmas one year. She made like two loaves no, of no, bread. No, they were no, both no. hard as fuck. No, no, no. This is made yeah. in the oven. Yeah. Bread straight yeah. from the oven and put a little real butter on Ooh. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we only do real butter. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then, oh, no, don't let it be banana it. nut bread. Don't be at birthday with a banana nut bread. But she that baked. That shit fire. All of our gifts were baked. And then fruit, of course, came with the baking. Mm. Banana yeah. nut bread, yeah, that's really good. And I and I, and I discovered a little a little thing, which is uh, it once so you finish baking your bread, once you get it out to to sort of like dry out, um, before it starts to like cool down, you just melt butter and then just spread butter on the crust, and it like seeps <laughs> in. It is so, and it makes the bread sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top, and then brush butter over the top of that. Oh my god, oh that my shit god. is like heavenly fire. Oh. 
And I don't want to eat pretzel. Like, I just don't care for, like, dough. Dough stuff. Stuff made of dough. I like that. I love burritos. Burritos have just the right amount of bread to hold your meat. A burrito. burrito? I can't. I can't. I can't blame you there. And tacos. Oh my gosh. Yes, like all the best food. Our tortillas and are the about best. Pizza, thing right? Pizza in the is world. just a carrier for the cheese on top of it oh and my, the cheese in the crust. Oh, the don't flip the carbohydrates it. to get the good food. Oh cheese. my gosh. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Don't Fist bump wizard. Yeah. Oh, well, it's Sarah I, that good. No, I, I, I just over her head. She's slumped oh, down. She's not very oh, tall, anyway. Okay, so, uh, okay. And I just want to ask everybody: you ever tried uh, French or uh, excuse me, uh, Texas toast or Texas toast bread in a oh, waffle Texas. maker, mm-hmm. and then put and then put cinnamon icing? Oh uh, my gosh! Oh, I love. I Texas. just sent my parents a waffle maker. They're going crazy. Oh yeah, my daughter, she'll, she'll, like, she'll, like wake up in the morning and make us all waffles with that thing. I honestly, I'm like at this point, I'm like, babe, can we quit making so many waffles? I I want to eat something else for breakfast, please. Let I me make, I make I got, waffles. I don't tomorrow. like waffles as much as pancakes. I don't know why the texture is different or something. <gasps> I feel the complete opposite. I can't stand Look. pancakes, but I love Look. waffles because of the texture. And, what, is, and you can you, what is wrong with you? And you can use two slices of regular bread and put something in between. Same oh, thing. Yeah. Regular sandwich maker. Why What'd do you, you need say, anything else? What did you say? You can put two what? Two pieces of regular bread, like you want a hot ham and cheese. Put it in a fucking waffle iron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. The cookie dough, the biscuit. God damn. Here we've been buying these extra, the George Foreman grills, not realizing the whole time they're exactly. just. Exactly. Same with your hamburgers. You got a fucking waffle iron. Get creative. Look, waffle, oh, just, and then don't, ham sandwich is delicious, okay? The, I would just I, I would just bake or toast them on broil in the oven for a little bit, like open yeah. face both sides, and then just yeah. and have a toasted sandwich. Together. Hell yeah. But I haven't made my own food in God a decade, probably. <laughs> uh, you got someone. Oh my it. god. She's a really good cook. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, Do you ever like, help her? Eat it. <laughs> no, like, do you like have like dinner dates? Do, you help do I help her select what we have for dinner? <laughs> do, you have, do you ever participate? Yes, but no, you Sarah. Around when she does it, or is she? I've, oh, shut up! No, not really. Do you do the dishes at least afterwards? She won't He's let me. Broken. Really? Okay, that's not. She doesn't, that. doesn't like me. Like, or wait, yeah, she doesn't, horrible. She doesn't like me doing the dishes happens. or the laundry. She probably did not want to try that. Like, She's like, no, get out of here. Yeah, you did them yeah. right, she'd let you do them. <laughs> when I when I met her, um, I was in single dad thing, and I was in. I had I would still had enough. Di- I was using regular dishes as disposable dishes, because um, I had I had more money than I had hours in a day. I could just buy new. You could buy a, t- a pack of plates at Walmart for another ten bucks next time you go. Uh, <laughs> she thought that was absurd. That is yeah, kind of absurd, that- a little bit. Well, yeah. I didn't want to spend all night doing dishes. And I didn't, the house I moved into didn't have an actual built in dishwasher, so I had to wheel in the little rolly ones and hook it up to the sink. It's all bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't just wash them by hand. I have a microwave. No. I I, here's the thing I'm also fairly anal and OCD. I don't, I never lived without a dishwasher in the house until like yeah. when I met her. And um, I didn't, if, if they didn't go in the magic box and come out of the magic box, they were not clean in my head. They were fucking yeah. dirty as shit still. You don't wash it by hands before you I'm, load Now, it. at this point in my life, I've gotten a little bit over my weird faith in the dishwasher um, as the magic sanitation box. But um, It is, though. For what it, for what it's worth, even even though we had a dishwasher, my dad when when I was younger, uh, he would make me and my sister like do the dishes by hand. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, like I almost prefer to do dishes. Like it's so weird, like having a dishwasher. We like we just moved into this new house together, and like we have a dishwasher, so like I use it, but it feels weird. Like I am like dishes should take like thirty minutes. You should be like you know filling up one side with the the soapy water so you can soak them in, and then use the other thing to wash them, and then move. Oh, them. I hate here, no, I hate that. I hate reaching my hand in like gross, gunky food fucking dishwasher. Ugh. Yeah, I, I you know. can't see what's in there. You don't know. It's all like, I don't know. It's just, I just don't like that kind of gross. Maybe I've uh, just had gross jobs. I don't know. Like I used to, at my old job, I used to like clean my hands with uh, uh, 
basically whatever chemicals we had. Usually it was like acetone or something. But like I was usually getting like oil. No wonder you got hand. scarring. <laughs> Why? I mean, it was I was usually getting like oil or paint or some other fucking chemical on my hands. Like I had to clean it off with acetone. Um, I worked I worked at Sonic for like a semester in the kitchen, and you know they got the big industrial sprayers in the kitchen. Like yeah. n nothing would fucking make my skin crawl quite like when you blast a dirty dish with that, and like it splashes on your face. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it only took me so much longer to do the dishes. Oh my gosh. No, I, like, I don't know why you can cook faster than anywhere else. Like, you clean slow as fuck. No wonder she doesn't let you in the kitchen. I get it now. I get it. Maybe I'm just used to like gross shit because like none of that stuff ever like. <laughs> but it's then, but then, but then, but then, like if I like touch certain textures, I like, oh, like my mom had these cups. They were glass and they had these weird little divots and like I couldn't grab them. Like it was just like the texture of them just made my skin crawl. And like I think the, the, the kind of like colored glass with the little ripply things. It's yeah. Like, mogul, it's like ski oh, mogul. Yeah. yeah. That didn't bother me at all. Oh, I hate those. And then there was always like the certain kinds of like blankets with like the certain kind of uh, uh, fabric that just, ugh. So like, the, like the stupid yeah. ones that have the open hole, like the Afghans or whatever, that have those open holes all over that your toe gets snagged in when you try to kick it off or something. I do hate those too. Then, those are the worst things ever. Those are handmade. I hate polyester though. I only like cotton. I also I, don't like wearing socks that don't match because I don't like feeling different toe seams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see that. Oh. I know somebody, he used to wear them inside out because he didn't want the toe seams. <laughs> I, mean, I, I sometimes wear my socks inside out, but that's usually because I'm lazy and don't turn my socks inside out. Oh. Also, um, I'm not a cross dresser, but um, women's ankle socks, if you're not going to be wearing them for a long time, just like oh. little, way comfortable than, and shorter than, than men's also, ankle um, socks, they, somehow can become a taller than they should. Wait, really? Even though I've got big feet, yeah. I don't think I've ever... I, I don't want any... There's no slack in any of my socks, right? That bitch is pulled on tight. Um, and yeah, because if I get what sock sizes, it's like by shoe size, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's just not... Women's socks are a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. Fair. Valid. I prefer um, to be barefoot. Oh, damn. You got to... Get a, don't don't show that on stream. You gotta monetize that shit. All right, you gotta sell. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. that, that Hold on, I've got I've got a couple things to do. First of all, rum ham. I um, am only thirty minutes late in noticing this for whatever reason. Rum ham's uh, contributions I always notice late. I'm normally pretty good about it. Um, also, where did uh, Mr. Pie said? I'm sorry, Mama. Mama, I'm sorry. Who knows? Mama, I'm sorry, and I don't know what. That's in reference to, uh, but it's probably me getting mad and dunking off the panel. I've already said you can come back up, Mr. Pi. I said that immediately. I actually only dumped you off the panel permanently because I forgot about you. <laughs> you said, um, I, 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 wear, I wear size 12 shoes, so it doesn't even make sense because yeah, socks are in like 6 to 12. Yeah. So I'm wearing, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You're stretching oh. them out. I probably do stretch them. <laughs> Uh, when the sentence I don't is, I'm not a cross dresser, but <laughs> I'm not a cross dresser, but I sure do love overalls. But if you're gonna be like walking around or actually doing shit for a while, like women's socks are too thin to be good for much. Most socks are honestly like shit. Like I, I when I when I was like working back in Tennessee and I was doing like twelve hour days, I would like wear holes in like my normal like thick socks. Cause just, you know, you're walking around in them all day. Dude, I bought some of those socks and this isn't going to be surprising anybody, but Timu socks. <laughs> oh God. Uh. How did I go? They don't hold up that well. Um, yeah, I can't imagine they do. Yeah, no. Oh, no, I got the joke, Brit. It just wasn't funny. Britt says Britt thinks I have a small penis. I know. Britt Brit has a small what's penis. What's wrong with Britt? Britt has Britt has a small penis. Britt's a little demon. Oh. My penis but, is very small, but my balls are massive. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 
All right. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. I hear that chicks like balls better than penises anyways. They don't really care about oh, penises. They're so weird. <laughs> if you actually yeah, chicks just love like playing with balls, balls and stretching balls. and What? Like, they really love that? on their big balls. Why would they say I mean, if you actually keep them, like, clean and, like, shaved, they're actually more fun than the Okay, penis. you and I both know that shaved, shaved, like... Not not really shaved, 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 but like okay. trimmed, right? Like you want you want a little bit of hair because honestly, like uh, when, nobody ain't nobody taking a razor to their ball sack the second time. Oh my gosh, what are you, you oh. guys are bizarre. You are interesting, but please. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> that you to save your ball sack. I'm just talking about landscaping. Come on, but I'm seriously. Who told you that they enjoyed the? Balls I'm just making shit back. right up. I'm just making shit right up. Okay, because I don't agree with that. That shit. I know. That's why I did. I mean, that. yeah, I think it's, it's that's all, like, not true ways. at all. <laughs> I was like more taken back. Like I was trying to remember anything I'd ever done, and I was almost gonna throw up in my. You're mouth. not ever like, let me see them big, big <laughs> droopy balls, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't. I can't. See the droopier there, you can like grab, Ooh. grab by there, and then just like slap them. Y'all remember I worked in the <laughs> medical field. Balls, I'm gonna tell you. Don't ever do it. Don't ever do it. Remember, I worked in the okay. medical field, so I would do catheters. So I've seen. Oh them. hell no! I hate, I hate catheters. Catheters. So, no, I've never had a catheter. Like, I'll probably just let myself die before yeah, I let. I've, Cynthia found me with a medical device. There was one guy who would not let me touch him. Like it was like when I came at him, it was like he backed up against the wall. Like I was like came at him. With why do why are cat? I don't understand why catheters are necessary. Because you can't walk to the bathroom. Because it's a, a urine infection if it's coming through that that uh, what whatever your that part's called. So ED, no, there's a, a tube urethra. in there. I, I feel, what did you say, Lib? Ure urethra? urethra? Yeah. Yeah. And so you have to have a clean urine sample. So we have to go in to put Oh, fuck no. I don't, urethra. no, you're not putting the, you're not doing that for a test. No, not it's, happening. It's not even just tests. Sometimes, like, yes, instance, it, I had a, I had to have a catheter um, when I was in the hospital because I, they didn't yeah. want me to move around because, like, I had, like, this, I had an infected thing, uh, uh, thing, and they needed to let the infection drain out, so they need me to not, like, get up and move around, so. I, and, I, 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 how do we not ever get that infection? What did, how did it get there? <laughs> Don't drink. I don't understand how you don't have them. You're sitting there drinking two liter cokes, like it's a bottle of. I water. also drink a ton of water, no yeah. alcohol, and I, I, okay. I do physical stuff during the day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I, he also I, might I, I, have. He also might just be like genetically lucky and not be predisposed yeah. to having kidney stones. Because I went uh, to high school. I never guy. had tooth pain. Yeah. I never had a toothache either. Oh yeah, no, I've never had a cavity no, either, and I'm like. I'm actually really bad about brushing my teeth. I really should be better, but like you, I'm. Ugh. Go ahead. Uh, I'm good about brushing my teeth, but flossing I think is a scam. <laughs> hey, uh, do y'all have a high pain tolerance when it comes to like the dental or the medical stuff? Oh yeah, when it comes to medical stuff, I do, but a lot of that's just because I'm no, I'm more of a bitch then. Like if I, really? I, I have a high pain tolerance if I've got adrenaline, like right, I won't even right. notice it for a while. Yeah. Uh, right. But if I have to like sit there and wait for them to stab me and they go, oops, and stab me again, you know, like, um, no, then I'm a bitch. I only got one tattoo for a reason. I, I, if I break a bone, I don't go to the doctor. I go oh. down to the parts store, get a fiberglass kit, set the bone myself, and oh make my, my own cast. Wow. I've never broken a different that, type of food. I've never done that, but the one time, I mean, I did have my nose reset just by a buddy. Sarah, what about you? But he <laughs> like, was a wrestler. Oh no, my God. Wrestler. Sarah. So what the worst about I've you? had medically is stitches. I've never broken anything. I hardly ever get sick. I mm. mean, I. Stitches. The worst part about stitches is getting them taken out. Yeah, that is true. It's the, the weirdest feeling is when they take the stitches out. I had, them, I had them like in between my eyes. I have a scar right there. Oh, and across no. the bridge of my nose. And, I did too. Oh God, that's the worst. That is, I. That's where like. But I was. I, I. I hated them all together. I would rather not have them at all. Um, but because they were itchy, 
And then, yeah. Right. They're itchy when they're Did you have staples? Did you ever have staples and take oh, yeah. them out yourself? No. Yeah. I, hey, I actually, Lib, when you that. when you had that um, the 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 broke uh, orbit orbit. Yeah. I had the same thing. Did did they uh, stitch your lower eyelid up so it wouldn't? Oh, yeah, yeah they did. They actually, um, I actually, so I've actually had like twelve surgeries, and um, oh most God. of them were around were because my eyelid um, wouldn't like shut properly. They, they had, they <laughs> I thought had that was add, freaky. <laughs> yeah, no, they had, they had to add skin uh, a couple times to get it to like properly close. Um, when it didn't close properly, did they put too like moist? Where did your original eyelid go? Uh, it, I mean, most of it was my face was my face got shredded up so. Like when they uh, stitched it back. What actually happened? I think I missed this. Oh, I, I was in a car accident when I was like 17. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I got in a headbutting contest with a windshield um, oh, and I won. You lost that one. Uh, no, I won it actually. Oh, damn. Yeah. No. Um, and the, it, it actually like it cut like up up my under my eye and then like up my head up around my head it actually cut down what? to my what does wizard have a um, wizard is is putting us all through uh, just a fraction oh of the pain God. that he brought there by exposing us to the uh <laughs> did you set it yourself with fiberglass no not that one yeah. i actually no. that's no, the I one i did have to go in and have surgery on yeah that's fair it fucks up your, it's your nasal passage that goes through there and it'll fuck up your sinuses yeah. No, actually, I when I was in the ER, my youth pastor at the time, he actually visited me uh, and he was like, yo, I c you can see your skull. Have you seen your skull yet? And I was like, no. And he's like, you want to see it? And I was like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> he took a picture and showed me. So I've seen my skull, which is badass. Holy shit. Right. Um, I wonder if the, did he, he let you keep part of it. <laughs> No, that would be a badass. Like, like put it on a necklace or something. <laughs> How long were you in the hospital? So I was in the ER for four days, and then because, and then I went back home and was going to go back in for just a, a outpatient surgery, but it got infected. So then I had to go into the hospital for two weeks. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I had to like, I had to have the, a lot of those surgeries over the course of like four or five years just because like it was like okay we got to do this surgery the wait for it to heal wait to see what oh yeah because I mean, technically they were all cosmetic um mm -hmm. however it was more like it was like cosmetic in the sense of like quality of life because like um right. my eyelid not shutting wasn't gonna irreparably harm me it just meant that i woke up and my eyes were very dry oh so and you didn't have to constantly keep them moist throughout the day or night oh, no i did um oh, okay. like but like that's According to the um, <clears throat> uh, health insurance, that is a cosmetic issue. So, uh, so insurance didn't help you with any of this. Uh, no, but thankfully, my parents are very well off, so it wasn't. Oh wow! That big of a. I mean, it hmm. was, but it wasn't like. It wasn't strong. Well, I, I, I was because I was fucking. My, I'm glad my. you're here. I think you're interesting, yeah. and I enjoy hearing your stories. I mean, I, I like being here. I like I like y'all. I like Flo. Flo's cool. Yeah, Flo's all right. Flo is definitely cool. Right. Even RTW knows Flo is cool. <laughs> Every, everyone knows uh, Flo is cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. So like all the all the surgeries I've have all have are technically except for the two that I had when I was in the ER um, because I I actually they actually had to. Um, uh, helicopter me into the ER because it was a head wound. So they right. had to like, uh, they helicoptered me out there. And then I remember like the doctor like flipped me on my stomach and then like had to like get on, on top of me so that he could like staple the back around back the back. Is of that me. when you yeah. learned you were gay? Uh, <laughs> no, it was, uh, a little bit after that though. <laughs> you reminisced That's on what it. I, thought. <laughs> I reminisced. New poll is up. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense though because you I'm can't not. share this stuff with Flo. You know oh, it. You know, like all right. I'm you can share me. anything with me, but if you expect <laughs> that the shoulder to cry on or some sympathy for your bullshit, you like, it's probably... it's the wrong panel. Like no, my I... me feeling some sort of sort of way and me me me. me well, it's not going to help you. No. Pull that hose out of your dick and pee like a man. 
I don't need, uh, I don't want sympathy. In fact, the only person I want sympathy for my story about my uh, accident was my sister who was uh, in, in the car with me. Um, but she had nothing, nothing bad, just uh, some bruising from. Why did you want her sympathy? Uh, because I, you know, she was like a kid too. And she who was driving. I was. Did you have a seatbelt on? Oh. What? <clears throat> what, Lib? Yeah, no, of course I did. I yeah, I don't drive without a seatbelt. Okay, good job. But then, how did you have a situation with the windshield? Uh, so basically, someone rear-ended me. So mm -hmm. um, uh, I missed I missed my turn, and so I was gonna go. Uh, it, I was taking my sister to cross country practice early, and like on a Saturday morning, and mm -hmm. I thought we were gonna go to a different part of the park um, than what we did. So I missed my turn, and she was like, "Oh no, go turn around up here, and then go that way." So I mm -hmm. went, and there's like a divided highway, um, and there was a a left-hand turn and so i got i started getting into that lane i put on my blinker and started getting in and the person mm -hmm. behind me um uh, i guess just wasn't paying attention because they just hit me at full speed and uh, i was driving my mom's uh a pickup truck and it's like really top heavy so the front we got put we got pushed forward and the front of the car clipped um uh, uh, a part of like a curb um mm. and we flipped mm. uh, and like just tumbled through the highway Oh my gosh! When we were when I was in a car that rolled, we uh, the road T bone and we were going too fast, and the driver fishtailed, and the back wheel hit a gutter, and we rolled into a what? we rolled into these people's front yard, and uh, the car landed upside down, and we got we got out. There was there's two couples apparently. It was like a weekend night, and all four of these people were just like standing on their front porch, holding their drinks, looking at us like. <laughs> <laughs> like we were like, like look at these fucking kids in our yard. Nobody's like, are you guys okay? Nobody even like <laughs> took us out of the porch. They're just holding their drinks, looking at us judgmentally. Uh, also, there was a whole bunch of Budweiser. Kids. The trunk popped open. Budweiser drinks flew everywhere. So that's probably why we had to run around and throw them all down the storm drain that we just hit before the car got there. <laughs> did they? Uh, did they go inside before the cops got there? Um. I got picked up before the cops got there. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good, good God. Good that. Yeah, well, when yeah, I, were you the driver? Nope, I was the front oh. seat passenger. Oh, well, then yeah. no reason for you to stay there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Get the fuck <laughs> out of there. I don't want to deal with the popo. I want to deal with the popo as few times as well. Actually, funnily right. enough, uh, in my accident, I was given the uh, ticket because I was a, just like a 17 year old kid. And, uh, you know, even though, tech, even though technically a law, if you get rear-ended at all, it is automatically the person who hit you's fault. Correct. Mm, not always, but yeah. In, in, in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Oh, in Tennessee. Not in have, yeah. Um, sort of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't, I think it's kind of, it's kind of bullshit, but I understand it why. Is total, I know people that will uh, get in front of you and slam on the brakes and let yeah. you wear in them for the, for a, a lick. So, yeah. Yeah. but then also yeah, I, I do think, like, I don't know, like a uh, proper, like safe driving is keeping a decent amount of distance between you mm -hmm. and other vehicles, especially mm -hmm. if you're going high speeds. Um, like if you're going, if you're going 50, 50 or 55, um, you want to keep like a couple car lengths between each other as much as possible. Um, it's slower than that. It usually doesn't matter, but like anytime you're going, fast, you know, it... I definitely drive slow since I've been in, I uh, bet you're a nightmare of a slow fucking driver. <laughs> I think yeah. a lot, technically two car lengths. It's yeah, it is. For every 10 miles per hour or something. At least that's what it used to be when I took the driving test. Yeah. I'm I mean, back roads. I'm back roads all the way. I mean, I do you like don't get on the fucking highway? I do, depending on the day and the time. Only did that has to be factored in. Then I check the app. And depending on what is all concluded, I might take it. I used to be like I loved highways and stuff, but now that mm -hmm. I've moved to like a much bigger city, I fucking hate highways. They're, yeah. they're so Same. slow. The highways in yeah. Kansas are nice. Hawaii highways, it's not even a fucking highway. You're stopped half the time and people stop in the middle of nowhere. It's like what the <sighs> fuck? Oh my gosh. Anxiety. Oh my god. The gosh. more I mean it, 
Yeah, it's way easier to drive with your knee on the highway. Oh, my God. I mean, I, yeah, like, now, for what it's worth, I may have been in a really bad car accident, but I still am a, uh, let's just say, aggressive driver. I am, too, but, like, here's the thing. Even though I'm an aggressive driver, I never get tickets. Yeah. I better not call something. I never get tickets. I've only caused one wreck ever, and that was when I was racing a snowstorm I was in. Oh. Um I guess I have backed up into somebody, but that's just because I'm a, a airhead. Um, yeah, I'm the most courteous driver. I let everybody go, and it's okay if it's two or three of them. Oh, that's <laughs> not funny. You're the person I get on the road. And I'm like, no. I just want. I make sure to wave to everybody. You know, oh. You've got to pissing everybody off by not driving like a normal person. You're confusing them. Here's like the I, I just want about. everybody to have a good day. <laughs> no. You're. You're, You're aggressively <laughs> kind. That's aggressive kindness. No. I'm usually just zipper move. <laughs> and then I'm, just chilling. I'm never in a hurry. So, I got the top peeled back. Just chilling. Here's the, th the thing that drives me more nuts than anything else on the road, and I guarantee <laughs> Cynthia does this, is when two people are approaching a stop sign <laughs> and the person who's there first stops all the way while the other one's car's still rolling. And then waits for this car to stop completely before yes. it decides to go. Because <laughs> it's, it's, I don't want to stop all the way. It's important. <laughs> it's important. It's important. Because these people will run red lights and not care. Like, I don't even go sign, on a green light to my county. If stop end. sign and you oh, can my. see I'm braking. No. You can go then. No, I'm no, no. See, I'm my, telling you, these people in Texas. I've driven. I've been Texas. in six car wrecks, time. six car wrecks, and not one That's of them has ever been my like car. Not one, of, every single one the, of them, except one. I was at a red light. The because other you one don't know how to take turns at these things. Apparently, a red light. I just wait for it to turn green. And then the other one, it went green, and I just went, and somebody just team up, t boned me and somebody else. See, so my, no problem, my problem is, I, I grew up in Memphis, and Memphis drivers are super aggressive. And yeah. I, I, just, I had no I, issue in Memphis either. And I, I used to think, I used to think that like, oh man, Memphis drivers, they're the worst. They're the worst. Then I came to Seattle and look, Memphis drivers may be aggressive, but Memphis drivers know what they're doing. Okay. These people over here in Seattle, they don't know fucking shit. All right. I've had people like fucking do the weirdest thing. Like they don't know where they are or what they're doing or like that they're in a car. Like a lot I, of Asians over there. I, <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know. I don't have any other. West really coast. We know so. I don't really know it, having any of the big cities to judge it by. Um, uh, cause like I'm again, compared I'm, to Memphis, <laughs> actually, Memphis has a really big no. Korean population, does it? Yeah, um, it has a really big Korean and a really big Hispanic population, uh, in addition to okay. the black population. Like, Memphis is a majority non white city, um, but it's not a majority black city, or it, it is a majority black city, but it's like. Black people and Hispanics and uh, Asian people that make up the non-white, the, like <laughs> <laughs> the majority of the non-white. Majority of the. I'm reading the comments. I'm still chilling. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm a. I think I'm an aware driver. You have to be aware of other people. You just don't have to be aware of yourself. You have to watch the other guys because. That's some scary. Like they're always in a hurry. Like where are you going? So, so are you paying? You're paying too much attention to other people's cars. You're where are they your going cars. so damn fast? Where? Hey, based snowfire. All right, hit hit more <laughs> off duty cops. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she, was a, she was such a mia. Oh yeah, female cops are the worst. Always. They're they the got the they are actually i've i've been i got ticketed by one one time and it was at one of those like uh uh speed traps you know um mm. oh god i fucking she was like do you know how fast you're going and i was like i you know i was going uh i was going 40 because i i just turned onto this road and i didn't know what the speed limit was and it's a big like open like highway so i assumed that it was 40 it was actually 35 because it was just outside of a town and i didn't know that there like there literally wasn't a speed limit sign 
uh, until like past where I got stopped. Um, and she was like, oh, well, it's 30, it's 35 through here. You know, we can't, we can't have you doing that. And then, and this was like a town that was like an hour away from where I lived. So I had to then come back an hour, uh, an hour away just to go to court and like, be like, Hey, please don't give me this ticket. This is stupid. And they were and like, they gave you the ticket anyways, though, didn't they? Well, the, it was, I just had to pay the court fee, which was like 90 bucks, but that was less expensive than the ticket, which was like 180. Yeah, that's how small towns make revenue, though. So yeah, no, I know you can just always assume that they yeah. probably love Cynthia. They're like, damn, she was going fifty-five before she even got here. The whole Cynthia has a traffic attorney. They don't, I, man. I'm fine. I don't even care when they write me a ticket because by the time I get home, I've already called it in, and then they'll, they'll, call, you? they'll just call me later and tell me how much I owe. And trust me, they take it all like. I can take a three hundred dollar debt ticket down to like one twenty. They'll, they'll negotiate it down for me. Yeah, but that's irritating. I don't. I don't like that. That's what? It's like it's one of the things that like I fucking hate no. about cops is that cops do all this like stupid traffic shit, which is where they basically just okay. extort people for like minor, you, minor violations. Like I told you, for two dollars a week, my my job offers attorney privileges. I mean, that's nice. What? But. I told you, yeah. Put me on as a bit of, as your, on your plan. <laughs> yeah. We're family now. Yeah, so I'll just be like, what ups? When I get, after I got the uh, Yeah, anytime I, I get a free consultation and a discount if I choose to go with them. After but they the, usually the, tell the, me, help me, get point me in the right direction of what I'm trying to do. Except for those, the traffic people, they, they got to handle it. The first time I uh, renewed my work benefits um, after I got divorced, I tried to leave the life insurance policy on my ex-wife. And uh, <laughs> the woman in HR, <laughs> the look she gave me, oh. she was like, Taylor, wow. these are benefits. you can't gamble on whether your ex-wife is going to die or not. Please, I want to. I'm like, like, but that's what insurance is. It's gambling. And you have her daughter, you have her beneficiary. You should have been able, and she lived a high risk lifestyle. I mean, I was, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, well, she wasn't really contributing much to the uh, parenting. Um, besides, um, it wasn't, it wasn't a huge, that's, life a, that's a whole scam too. putting people on life insurance policies. That, well, that's I was, I, really. I was I mean, young. Hmm? Yeah, that shit was super cheap. Our life, and when I was that age, and uh, the job paid for a lot of it, it was like a dollar a month or some shit. It was tiny. That's what the music labels do. That's what comes in never uh, when we'll artists. Oh. That's why artists never die, or if they do, they that's, just recycle them into. No, but that's how come they never. Like life insurance policies. Gonna, I heard that Walmart does it on their greeters. Don't I heard that too. I don't like know. It's, they're going to start. A, uh, they're going to start cycling in actors too. Don't worry with all this. Uh, the AI gonna stuff. Start? Have you? Have you? Have you? Well, have you seen? Going to start. What no, actors, gonna, the actors are we talking about? Whoa! Well, when do we they're, they're doing like, like Will Smith, for instance, is an institution. He's not a, just a person. He's his own company. Well, Listen, have, we are watching some big stuff happen right now. Have yeah. any of y'all seen like Star Wars stuff? Yeah, not in years. I quit watching it when Disney started ruining it. Because because Disney's been doing some shit like with um some of the Carrie Fisher stuff. Obviously, like uh, she died uh, before they finished making the second movie in the sequel trilogy, but they mm -hmm. still had her in there. And then they would do some like weird, you know, like CGI stuff on her face. Um, uh, in the Mandalorian show, they had Luke Skywalker show up, but it was like a young one. And mm -hmm. obviously Mark Hamill's not, you know, right. 30 yeah, anymore. They sold, they sold their likeness. Every and time you sell your likeness or give permission to use it. Super fucked up. Hey. It, it looked Man, bad. we could have read the conditions of YouTube better before we started channels. Sar side note, Sarah, you with that gray on top of that gray leg. I keep looking and think you only have one leg. It's <laughs> really weird. Like with his background. It's jeans. They're not gray. No, no, no. Like put it back, Flo. Put it black. Put like put oh. her back. Like see oh, your background oh, with the leg. Around. And then her gray shirt matches the leg. It, like it looks like it's one. 
Okay. A little bit. But, it's kind of the same. It's a little bit. Yeah. The same. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I got the new one. Um, yeah. So Flo, it keeps I, throwing I, me I, I will. I will say, Flo. Um, if if you want to watch any, uh, <laughs> there is some good Star Wars out there. Even even made by Disney. It's called Andor. It's actually a really good show. It's a, about people being based and like uh, and slash or like what you know. No. Like, no. Andor. It follows. Um. Uh. Did you ever watch Rogue One, the movie? No. Okay. There. It. There's a character in there, and he's he's a part of the rebellion. Um. And he's one of the major characters in that movie. And it's a show about him when he was younger, and about him joining the rebellion. And it's like it's this movie about there's if there's a, a bank heist, there's a prison break, um, there's a riot. It's actually like a really good movie. Um. It's only like twelve episodes too. I I want to tell you that I'll watch it, but I know that I don't really watch things. That's fair. If you've got Disney Plus, though, you should check it out. I don't. Uh, well, I don't know. I probably do. I I hate fucking uh, – because I don't watch TV, and so I'm kind of a crab ass about paying for all the different things. No, fair. But, valid. Like, I, but I also don't pay a lot of attention, and, you know, like, free pro- – she's real good about, like, figuring out how to maintain things without me knowing they're being maintained. Fair. Yeah. I mean, I – I watch a lot of things um, by streaming them just for free because I hate paying for them too. So. I love Spotify. Spotify is bay. Spotify is bay. Um, uh, Cynthia, it's a it's Andor A N D O R. Um, okay. Yeah, it's. I think it's like the you forgot only, the slash. <laughs> it's the only good Disney Star Wars thing they've made, um, in in my opinion, at least. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I canceled Netflix. What during the cuties thing? That was it. I was done with them. That fair. Fair. Um, I have the fire stick, so I can just watch anything. I had. I don't know. I had a few jailbroken fire sticks. I don't know where that went. Dude, the the cuties thing was so fucking psycho. Oh my god. There yeah, was, and it, I it pissed it. me off so bad. Especially like it was an uproar, and they're like, "Nope, we're gonna sexualize these kids." Um, yeah, and actually, when that came out, the main character was exactly my daughter's age. I don't remember, yeah. like 10 or 11 or something. And so it was like, okay. I see yeah. you. I see you. Goodbye. We're ending our 11-year relationship now, Netflix. Apparently. Yeah, like, <laughs> the, thing, the thing that was super fucked up is like, honestly, C- Cutie, I watched some reviews of Cuties um, and it seemed like it was like actually like supposed to be a, a decent movie that was supposed bullshit. to be. Bullshit. I call bullshit on it. I call complete bullshit on it. It's a cope because they were getting attacked. So they made up a lie. If I watched clips of it, enough clips on Twitter to see that those scenes were unnecessarily sexualized. Yes. No, no, no. That's that's what that's the point that I'm like getting at. It's like the movie had like potential if they had like not put a lot of those like explicitly sexualized scenes in there, if they had been like, okay, this is a movie about how this sexualization is bad and we're not going to explicitly show any of it, but we're going to sort of like imply it like, and it's, that's going to be sort of like the theme like that. I could see it being like a defensible, like, and like a, a decent, like movie that you could have that be, it's, it's kind of like how um, in game of Thrones, right? Like in game of Thrones, there's a bunch of rape scenes, but part of the point is that rape is bad. They didn't whoa, actually whoa, 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 live. Great. Scene. Oh yeah, grape grape, grape juice. Grape juice, sorry. Um <laughs> but like a lot of the point is like it's all like it's meant to be like bad scenes. Like it's bad people doing bad things to people who you're supposed to empathize with. But like the problem is the the show just like basically did like a lot of over sexualization of that and just like the normal sex. And but so uh, this is the and this is the normal predator trope, right? Yeah. Why are you doing this with kids? Oh, I'm trying to help kids, right? No, They're always trying to help. I'm trying to show how it's bad to do these and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're in planning thoughts. Well, the thing, the thing that like mm-hmm. they're, they're shifting the norm is yes. um like there there are movies about like these kinds of things. Like uh, what was the there was one movie I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, not super bad. Fuck. Um, I don't know this. What's it about? Uh, it's yeah. about this. It's it's about a girl who um she's like being. Uh, uh, sexually abused. Um, however, whenever uh, and she has to do like these erotic dances and like do you know sexual stuff with people for for money. But like whenever she does that, she goes into this like uh, uh, internal world that she made in her mind. Um, and 
like it ha- so it has like this cool these cool like wacky things like there's this like steampunky world war one universe that she's in um god i wish i could remember it's like she's dissociating but they're yeah, more, yeah. like she's glamorizing yeah. it yes well she's dissociating but like the point is that like they're the, the movie is about how it is bad that she is experiencing these things but in the movie they never show these things because when these things happen she's disassociating and they're showing you disassociating and like it's all like it's actually a really interesting uh sort of like semi-action movie um i wish i could remember but what was where were you landing it i don't even remember what we're talking about oh yeah. and, and that's and that's how like you do a movie about that topic oh like, yeah and you imply uh, yeah yeah yeah, punch, but punch, no, you. because you're that's just teaching way. kids how to disassociate. Yeah. Well, not even not even that, because it's it's just mostly. I mean, that's sort of just an automatic coping mechanism. And this is yeah. also this is not a movie for kids. It is explicitly a movie for like people who are. I think it was was it rated R. I think uh, no, I think it was PG thirteen. Even so, well, then it's PG- for kids. If it's pretty PG thirteen, it's basically. <laughs> At least teenagers are preteens. Right? I think, like, I, I think teenagers you, are. I think it's good enough for teenagers. I think it. it, it but I mean, do you remember going to the movies where you're like in middle school, like 19, 11? Like you wanted to see if you weren't watching a PG 13 movie, you really weren't watching shit back then. Uh, sometimes. I mean, then you have like stuff like Kung Fu Panda, which, by the way, is a or fire. Or ET. Movie. ET was the ET. shit. ET, ET was, the was shit. kind of boring. Um, Kung Fu Panda was <gasps> shit. Oh my god, I cried and my dad yelled at me at the movie theater. Said you're going to cry for this movie. <laughs> like I will actually say, um as much as I do hate a lot of <laughs> movies that will make like a movie 1, a movie 2, a movie 3, a movie 4, um Kung Fu Panda, I I have watched and enjoyed every single Kung Fu Panda movie they've made. So has my dad. <laughs> I, it might I think it's just I think it's Jack Black. I my dad loved Kung never, Fu Panda. <laughs> I've never watched the Kung Fu Panda. They're pre- they're pretty good. They're pretty good, honestly. And Shrek Shrek One and Shrek Two. Honestly, I think Shrek oh, Two Shrek was better. great. I think Shrek Two is better than Shrek One. Hot take. Um, what's mm. the one with the uh, fuck? The it's like the char- like Little Red Riding Hood and like all the fa- fairy tale characters. That, that's Shrek. Uh, no, it might, not. It might There's be a the- different one. There's a different oh. one. Um, fuck. Katie, are you watching? Are you there, Miss Flo? Is it a TV show? Is it a TV show or a movie? No, it was a movie. I think they only made two of them, and it's, it it does have the same sort of. Oh, I you, know, you know what I'm talking about. about. Oh my god, I I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up. Um, that one was fucking hilarious, because it wasn't like it wasn't ogres and princes. It was like actually the characters from the stories. You know, like Jack and the Beanstalk. You know, and they put them all together. Hmm. Hoodwinked, Gary Baxter. Hoodwinked. Thank you, sir. Hoodwinked. Dude, hoodwinked is so good. All right, bring out that Mensa brain to save the actually, day. Actually, I'm. Thank you, thank you, Gary. Um, I'm actually gonna put this on my polycule to watch list because hoodwinked is so good. I'm glad I could contribute my part towards the polycule. Hopefully someday <laughs> I can have, I can earn a share in in the the polycule. <laughs> <I'll see. Nice. laughs> Lindsay, everyone would Jake, Jake, date Jack Black, okay? I think straight men would date Jack. Jack Black is just like... I wouldn't date Jack Black. I really? wouldn't date him, but I'd definitely be his friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's, I appreciate the aloofness and uh, with which you just friend-zoned the fuck out of him. Friend-zoned Jack Black. <laughs> like, on. like, oh, we can be friends. Like, damn, he just got friend-zoned Jeez. hard. Like, that's any sort of... Uh, <laughs> He's like fucking hilarious, guy. but I'm not yeah. gonna fuck him. Oh, I would. I feel Have the same way. Like, School of Rock. Come on, <laughs> I'd fuck yeah. that guy. There's nobody funny enough to make me want a fat man on me. Nobody. Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm thinking like I'm thinking Jack Black in his uh uh school uh School of Rock days. How do, I, take which, out the qualifier, a man. Except oh, Heavy man. D. Heavy D could make it. I've got Heavy D. Who are you talking about? Tenacious D. Mm. Heavy D. He's a he's a rapper who uh, was in the nineties, uh, early nineties. Mm. He was in Tenacious guy. D. Though. I was like, how did you know my my nickname? <laughs> Big D. Heavy D. Heavy D. Yeah, but he's passed away. So but he had really good music too, and he could dance. He had a really good dance style. I have a pretty good dance style. Do you? I can't dance with crap. I can't. I, I, 
my like like five years ago or some shit, my daughter taught me how to do the floss, and mm. now she can't get me to stop. Oh god! <laughs> In my mind, I'm a dancing thing. Okay. The floss is certainly dancing. Aside from that, there's like stuff that libs people do right and then there's this like the slow dancing which is just a walk like and a then there's dance. the TikTok dancers i'm sick of them i just oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't I know what, I I'm so like, you know it's wild the, the school that i went to didn't have prom it had protocol um basically oh God. Is yeah protocol. Is sounds, that? sounds rigid it sounds it's terrible right sounds military yeah. so basically what we would do is um in the in the months leading up every uh like three days a week um we would take a period off um uh and we would take dance lessons and <laughs> how to do ballroom dancing so like waltzing and nice nice so I, I know how no to wonder you're that. rebelling so hard that sounds awful that's no, I love great. That. I, love I like to know that. I, I like that. that. I like that. Super fun. I feel like I that's a baller card. If I'm, I if wish I had paid mom attention. My mom tried to. Out. Yeah, but I, no. I, 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 I mom tried to teach me piano, and I didn't want to learn. Um, I wish I learned piano. I, uh, <sighs> you know, there's lots of things I wish I had learned. Ballroom dancing has never been one. Listen. I think everyone should learn ballroom dancing or dancing as a certain because everything in life is a dance. So you need to learn how to do that balance. Actually, that's need, a good point. And you need how to do that. I wish everybody yeah. knew how to do that. And dance. Honestly, like even then, like even just like learning a waltz, it's super easy. Like it's actually mm -hmm. not difficult. Um, it's it, it, but it's like even once you like I like doing like the electric slide and shit. Like okay. You can get it down. Now you're just in the in this fucking line, like doing this repetitive motion for five minutes with a bunch of fucking other people around. Yeah, you. Know. That's that's a group dance, and there are there are fun group dances. Don't get me wrong, but like um, learning how to like waltz and stuff like that. There's tons of like iterations you can do. Like there's you can do uh, different like spins. You can do different like. Uh, uh, there's different like ways you can do a waltz. Like obviously you're still moving. Have in you ever here. waltzed with anybody outside of waltz class? Uh, yes, I we, we okay. Had, You're in a poly. Well, I I shouldn't ask you. We had oh, we had how I and what and I'm what would and feminine and perfect harmony. It's beautiful. Well, and what would you think about the introduction of something like say break dancing? Then you know you got to have a course on break dancing. What is that? I bet the wizard no? is this your segue into how to tell us you're actually a rapper and a break dancer? Oh my dancer? gosh! I mean, that's a good <laughs> no way. Um. Yeah, but we learned we we also learned like there are these uh, uh German uh like ballroom like uh bar dances where it's like a group dance you know and where you cross your arms and and stand on the table and kick your legs out. I mean that that is that is one of them. That's uh, river dancing. I love river dancing. How do they do that with their legs? I it baffles me every time. I feel oh, like I can do it, but I've never watched myself, so I probably can't. <laughs> We, we actually did have someone, we did have a, a sort of like a talent show thing where we had some people do some river dancing because, oh God. So the school I went to had a house system, like Harry Potter house system. Oh God. Um, and, but they, but Your all the parents houses, raised yeah. you to be gay. But, what is the Harry Potter house system? You know, oh, you lived at the school? That's, yeah, that sounds like a military uh, we foundation. We we didn't, I we knew didn't this was. See, it was I a, knew that dance it sounded was a, it was military. A, it was a classical Christian school, um, and uh, oh, our, yeah. our our houses were named after different saints. So there was um, Boniface, uh, uh, there was Athanasius, there was Beckett, and then there was the obviously the best house, Columba. I don't know um, any of those saints. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Uh, well, Boniface, I was thinking that was Boniface, like a, what yeah, type of school? Guy who, he chopped down the uh, tree, the Thor tree, in somewhere in like Germany, modern day Germany. Okay, okay. so he was a conqueror. Uh, so, but, uh, but you called it a what type of school? A Christian school? They, they called they call themselves a classical Christian school. Classical Christian. School. Um, Where's my notebook? But uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm just confused. Yeah, so it was a boarding you school. No, 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 it was not a boarding school. So Where what, did you grow up? Memphis. I grew up in Memphis. Yeah. Memphis. Okay. Yeah. You didn't under the big Memphis pyramid. Memphis. Yep. Um, but uh, there's Athanasius. He was the guy. He was um, 
think he was like he was like Egyptian, I think. Uh, and he was he was one of the guys who was a, one of the early church fathers who his whole thing was he fought against Gnosticism. Um, he was one of the big enemies. Of another Gnosticism. conqueror. All right. Um, uh, Beckett oh, was man. he was the he was the uh, priest of the king. He was the art the Archbishop of Canterbury and one of the Kings of England said, uh, you know, in a fit of rage, uh, who will rid me of this meddlesome priest? And one of his knights took it very literally and lopped off Beckett's head. Um, okay. What was he meddlesome for? What was he doing this meddlesome? Oh, um, this was uh, the, the Henry that wanted to um, divorce his wife and Beckett was like his like close friend. And, but like, because he was like, very whatever catholic he was like no you can't get a divorce you're the king you of course you can't and the king was just very upset that his best friend wouldn't let him get a divorce um so this uh, henry the eighth who had like seven fucking wives that he killed yeah i think it was it was it was, it was the eighth yeah <laughs> look um, at this when he <laughs> back in, look at this picture that comes up he's yeah. got that sword stuck in his dome <laughs> and then uh the best the best of them uh columba who was an irish priest um, who he was like the son, he was like the third son of a nobleman and he got mm -hmm. involved in politics in Ireland and accidentally caused a battle in which like 3000 people died. Uh, so he, mm -hmm. uh, accidentally, uh, so we got conquerors, conquerors, and then one dude who was just a prude. Well, okay. and then, and then, uh, he exiled himself from the Island with his 12 friends, with his 12 best he friends. He ran away. He started a war and then he escaped. 12 best friends. Interesting. And he then went to, uh, Scotland and, uh, promised to save as many souls as he had killed in that battle. Um, and he did a bunch of like stuff. Like he, he went to like this Pictish warlord and like, what was his guy, name? Columba. Okay. Hmm. St. Columba. So um, you didn't live at the school? Did you go like stay there Monday through Friday and come home on the weekends? How was it? Was credit it with spreading Christianity to what is today Scotland. Yeah, bro, these are all conquerors. Yes. <laughs> and is, this is dude true. on screen though, can you see, look behind his head. That sword got stabbed so hard through his head that it bent on whatever's yeah. behind him. Do you see that blade down there? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, I do. look like it's phasing him though. He's just yeah, he's pretty mind. chill about it. He's like, dude, <laughs> dude, seriously. You know how Moses so, parted the seas? God parted the sword. So did you? So you didn't live there? Was it just every day, Monday through Friday? Your parents it was, took you. It was, a, it was a normal school. Yeah, we just okay. You know, we did there. Um, but we had house meetings every Thursday, which was the we took a period uh, and we had like house meetings. And I mean, it was mostly just what like, would happen during a house meeting. Uh, so it largely depended on like what time of year it was. Cause, um, the houses mostly mattered for things like field day, like field day, all the houses would compete, um, in all of the different activities and try and see who could get the most points. However, uh -huh. there were other things like there was like the talent show where we would put forward different teams. Um, we would get together and actually, uh, do some like community service and stuff. Um, we would, uh, get together. There was, there was a bunch of, uh, the school stuff. Like we actually, the houses had to like do different cleaning duties at the school. Um, well, I, we didn't have to, but it was one of the things that my class proposed that we have the houses do. Um, when we were, when we were the seniors do cleaning? in charge. Yeah. Clean, well, cause do cleaning and stuff. Cause, um, the, where the school, the school was at a church, um, there was like, you know, that we took a, we had a building at the church. Um, and so and <laughs> I, yeah, I liked a lot of the, uh, church staff there. Um, they were like really chill. Uh, and so, uh, I got the rest of my, uh, classmates to propose that the houses do cleaning, uh, once a month, uh, for, I want to propose a theory to you that, um, Columbo is an alien. Look at this fucking bone. <laughs> thing. Do you see the shape of his head? <laughs> And what and what the fuck is this staff he's holding? Every, like all the pictures have him holding this weird thing. What is this? It looks like that shuffleboard thing. It's, it's English shuffleboarding alien. It's an Irish thing. Okay, look, I'm, I'm I, like all good white people. I'm part Irish. I've never heard of or nor seen something like this. I'm not Irish, and I'm very funny. You don't have any Irish in you. I'm pure German. When you come back to Kansas City. I'm German um, Scottish. I'm mostly German and Czech. Oh, German, Scottish, and English, you, but uh, I just ignore that English bit because the Scottish and the German is more interesting. The English bit isn't very interesting unless you're descended from a long shank. 
Then it's interesting. Actually, uh, I do know um, that one of my ancestors owned a bookstore in London because there was. Um, uh, I, I found... killed Braveheart. Not yours. No, get out of here with that shit. <laughs> I, f I found a picture of there's actually it still exists okay it's now like a library but um um Aphiolus or whatever what's the the name one of the other things you said a a Athanasius oh I'm looking at Alphonsus this isn't even the right no. thing these if you look at the images of the saints they're kind of interesting because like there's yeah, common right. things like this dude is always given that he's like got his head <laughs> filled, he's always giving that snaky he ass look evil right yeah and, like all the pictures of this dude, he's kind of got that looking at you at that angle, and he's giving you that look like, "Hey, bro, I boned your sister." And then, like, they even have the image, like, yeah, you can just sense that this isn't right. That it's there's something off. Yeah. Is that a ring on his wedding finger as a saint? That's on his right hand. Right. Yeah. 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 It's not on his wedding finger. Uh, that's, the, that's the ring you kiss. <laughs> Also, there are uh, there are saints who were married. Um, not all the saints were like priests or something, but mm -hmm. yeah. He creeps me out. Yeah, he's definitely one of the creepier of ones. But yeah, and that alone throw up red flags of, of inconsistency. <laughs> yeah, there was um, like here. Here, I'm going to show another one. This dude is this. I got to look into this Alphonse guy or whoever because um, he's creepy as fucking all of them. So, so he's creepy as fuck. So you want to learn more about? I him. want to know what this creepy ass dude is doing being oh a saint. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is he holding Jesus? He's holding a crucifix. Right. Yeah, so crucifix of Jesus. So I uh, hang on because I wrote it down. This is the classical Christian. So yeah. did y'all just have the Bible, or was there another book that y'all studied out of as well? Oh, I mean, in Catholic school, we barely touched the Bible. It was all about right. sacraments. It had nothing to do with the Bible. I mean, like, look at this have... creepy motherfucker, dude. Right? This dude pedophile. is up to some shit. <laughs> we we did so, a theology what, class. Um, you which, did, yeah. Um, he's, and here he's got he's got a red ring here on his on the same finger though. Mm -hmm. And then everyone he's got he's got that crucifix in the background. Look at the way this halo set up. He's got antenna horns, aliens. <laughs> All aliens. Yep. True facts. So did y'all even did y'all study from the Bible or did she yeah. like Sarah said, did y'all have sacraments books? No, 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 no. It was a uh, reformed Presbyterian was the specific kind of uh, Christian that the most people were. Okay. Um, okay. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know. They, they were uh, fine. Uh, no, my textbooks were not a Becca, uh, though they were when I was homeschooled in fourth grade. Um, but that was just. Mm hmm. Because that was like what my mom like figured out about. Like it, honestly, a Becca is like super mid. I don't really like a Becca, but I have my issues with them. But okay, so um, how do I how do I spell this thing that I was looking for? Uh, a T H uh, F A N A T I U S. I think. Hang on, let me Google it. And that, that, that it'll it'll find the right thing. <laughs> what That's is way it? Different than the way I started spelling it. Go back and look at at the guy's digit. What digit? I don't understand. He had it on his ring finger, but of his right hand, not his left one. I had to look up what a Becca was. Uh, yeah, a Becca is a homeschooling program, uh, but it's like very religiously oriented, and that has um, uh, influenced a lot of their perspectives on things. Uh, like, I see that. yeah, um, mm. and to the point where like they they take yeah, i mean veritas press is moder moderately better i also did veritas when i was homeschooled in seventh grade um but this dude better. has an alien shaped head too these are i'm i've, I've cracked the code <laughs> well according to tommy oh I have head. does that make me a saint according to what what go back is he throwing up my head body like sign? An alien. oh hold on we're gonna check back. this out Put him back real quick. Hold on. Do something. Do like do like the above the below thing. Hold a book oh. and do something. You might be. Might be. Or yeah. saint. Both. I mean, same thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> was yeah. No, go back to the guy. Go back to him real quick. Just, this dude. Back him, back him up. Back him up. 
Yeah, see, he has the Illuminati sign. If I have to be real, I think Athanasius might be one of my favorite of those saints because he was a um, uh, he was uh, a ascetic. Is he's the one that that killed the uh, Gnostics or something? Yeah, he opposed the Gnostics, but yeah, um, he was he was an ascetic monk. He was one of those guys who would like go out in the desert and uh, like. There, oh, um, hold on. From I, I, I did a poll. Yeah. Hold on, I forgot the poll results. Wizard, should Wiz shave his stash? 55% uh, said no, the labia tickler is dashing. 30% <laughs> said keep the stash and add some beard. Uh, and 15% said yes, stop being a bigot. No. I, I don't even know. What Hell is. yeah, I like his stash. It's a good stash. It, it's gotten less bigoty uh, since you've been hanging out over here. <laughs> um. Uh, oh yeah, we have a we, Sarah looks like this, like a wood elf from Skyrim. What's that? I, think that I don't know, but wood elves sound hotter than aliens. Actually, wood elves in uh, in Skyrim lore are actually semi cannibals. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> they can't. Be, that doesn't I mean like they can't me. be hot. How wait? How do you kind of be a cannibal? Yeah, what's um, a semi can? <laughs> what is that? Cannibal. <laughs> I bite thing. my nails. Is that what you're talking about? So they um, they do do they do practice a sort of like ritualistic cannibalism, but it's not like, like Christianity. A, They're Christians. I kind of actually. Um, really? Basically, when people are dead, I think they eat they eat certain body parts of the of the dead. It's a respect like thing. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't think you're like talking placenta. Oh, I what? I've heard of people doing that. That's so fucking wild. I don't even want to look at that. Look at Tommy Hilfiger. He swears. Okay. Yes, I have to look Hold up. on. Uh, Which, oh. there's, there's one more uh, house that I'm missing. I got Beckett. I got Athanasius. I got um, the dude oh, with the is, stick. Columbo. Oh, Boniface. Boniface. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, I guess it wasn't the uh, Illuminati sign. He says it was the sign of peace they do. Yeah, yeah, that's what the Illuminati like would tell you too. I was, I was trying to find the the actual name of the mudra. This motherfucker's got an axe. Yeah, that's what? The, he's known for chopping down the the tree of Thor, tree of Thor or tree of Odin, one of the two. So, what do you think that that experience for the German people at that time was like? Um, uh, horrific because that was like supposed to represent their deity and stuff. It, yeah, I mean, it probably was them. I bet it was. I, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Boniface is also the uh, underdog house. Uh, they were always the smallest in number, and they just lost every field day. Um, but they were they were allies with Columba House. Um, now, how did y'all get chosen for these houses? Did the school assign you? Did yeah, this? So they they, they did. Uh, they they did assign us, um, and they would basically like do a like a spread. They would basically try and make sure that each class has about an even number of people spread between the houses. However, they would have uh, legacy people. So if you had an older sibling who was in a house, you would then be in that house. So like my oh, okay. brother, my brother is in. He goes to the same school I graduated. That school I graduated from, and he is in Columba House. Oh, okay. Because I was I was in Columba. Nice. I don't know, man. This seems like a creepy ass school. Facts. Big facts. I mean, it, is, it is definitely a little weird, but it is also the place. And I went to a high school. It's insight into um, different uh, upbringings. They it's also, interesting. They also, they also <laughs> taught me um, uh, formal logic, and then we had three years of rhetoric class. That's rhetoric cool. Classes. Um, and also, the uh, one of the only languages you can take is Latin. Um, however, I got to take uh, uh, Greek when I was a, a senior. Oh, you were one of those. So I went to a Jesuit high school, and one of the options for language was Latin. And you had to take Latin and then be like recommended to be in the Greek class after that. Yeah, and the way the way we learned Greek, it was so awesome too. So basically, we learned the alphabet, we learned the basics of grammar, and then my teacher gave us each a copy of the Book of Mark in in the original Aramaic Greek, and he was like, "All right," and then we just read through, what? translated the entire Book of Mark. Hold on, what um, 
what languages were offered there? Latin freshman year, you could take a language. Was it Latin, Spanish? Um, what other one? What was the other one? Did you have more than three languages options your freshman year? No. French. It was, was it French? It was just Latin. Uh, now, now I think they offer French and Spanish. But when oh, you I just there, had Latin. Okay. Yeah. When I, and actually, um, even more so. So the school I went to is a K through twelve school, and they would start teaching Latin in sixth grade. Um, and then, so then by the time you were in uh, seventh grade, uh, or uh, ninth grade, sorry, when you're freshman year in high school, um, you would take like your first actual Latin class. Like, I would love, I actually, I bought a book on how to teach myself Latin. Yeah, we, I, would uh, love know, I would love to know how to read the language that all the old shit's written in because, um, you know, the history, the popular versions of things that we're taught are just fucking bullshit wrong. If you can like, get your hands, we, we were talking, I actually, I've tried to look at other Books. Um, I used we, we used Wheelock's Latin. Um, if you can find uh, uh, some of that, I think it's some of the best for like teaching people Latin. Um, and like um, Christopher Columbus, nobody, everybody's heard the story. Nobody tells you. Well, you probably know. What role did the Catholic Church play in that? In in Christopher Columbus discovering like America and stuff. Or or and then the events thereafter. Oh yeah, no, no, no! It was like so they were super involved because they wanted yeah. to. There's a papal bull that's still up that's never been retracted. Basically, say go to America and conquer anything that's not very Christian. Yes, yeah, because that was uh, around. The, it was like in the 1500s, and uh, the church really was still in their like almost like neo crusading kick. Um, they've where, never, they've never. Uh, I don't know what the word is. Re revoked or repealed. They've never re revoked that one. Yeah. Uh, commanding them to conquer everything not Christian, nor the one that started the uh, Inquisition. The Inquisition is still right. in effect, technically. Tupelo's got it right in the chat. Doctrine of Discovery. Nice. Thank you. I was on a different tab. I didn't see that. Um, uh, before I take it off screen, can we appreciate this Christian print right here? You could have this fucking poster on your wall. Bitchin'. Letting people know that you're holy as shit. I would never. You would, I mean, though. You're actually the one on this panel that is most likely to. That yeah. is pretty bitchin', to be fair. Like, that that picture is pretty cool. Pretty metal. Well, I, want, well, like, I want, like, a big Mexican light-up Jesus. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, you know what's actually crazy is that the Catholic Church did not um, uh, used to teach um, that uh, they used to blame jews for the death of christ um and they didn't revoke that until like 1967 <laughs> that's not surprising yeah i mean did the did the the pope not, oh wait did the pope ever uh, do it address the uh the canadian schools that were getting dug up years ago that whole uh, uh this uh he didn't he, he sent a pope and he get he, or he sent a bishop or something and he gave some like flippant sort of dismissive uh yeah. address of it that's actually it was actually wild. pretty shocking yeah because this this pope is surprisingly progressive as far as popes go like um so i'm actually shocked that he that he would sort of dismiss that i don't know that's weird maybe he's just fucking old as shit now i don't know no, he just didn't give a fuck. Like it did end up getting addressed, but not by him, because uh, there's a lot of outroar when they were uh, the loops was the I don't remember what the school was called, but yeah, when they were no, digging I, up their schools in Canada, yeah. like because the Catholic Church ran that shit, and there's a big outcry, and the Pope himself never addressed it. Just the local bishop did so, and and I watched uh, a video of it with the translation on it because he's speaking French or Latin or some shit, and it was very like. Sorry, you're upset. Mm. I mean, that's um, kind of how a lot of the bishops are. Like, honestly, like, uh, people will, like, praise the current pope for being, like, super progressive. But in reality, the vast amount of, of the people with power in the church are super, like, wild and, like, conservative in that, like, very not agreeable kind of way. Like... They're very dismissive of people below them. They very much are like stuck in their kind of like tradition and like what we say kind of goes and like all the bad things that happened in the past. Well, like, you know, whatever it's uh, they weren't 
actually that bad and if they were it wasn't our fault and if it was and if it actually was our fault then uh they deserved it so they're exactly the same as when jesus called them a bunch of fucking hypocrites who didn't oh, yeah. understand the actual scriptures yeah i mean yeah oh they understand them just enough to to pervert them right like yeah um so, uh who who just told me to look up saint george i did i'm i'm familiar with saint george where he's trying to put his uh his shaft down that that poor alligator's throat. Uh, yeah, two below. The last Indian boarding schools in the United States were still up in the '90s. Yeah, no. Uh, again, uh, the United States also doesn't really have a very good uh, reputation with the Indian. Oh yeah, no, they're garbage too. Yeah, we're and the Indian reservation thing. I think is still it's like it's still super. It's up. like it, yeah, it's their ghettos, right? It's true. Yeah. They act like they're oh, we're giving them. The, no, nah, you just put them all in a ghetto. Yeah, I never knew anyone from an Indian reservation my whole life until I went to rehab, and then I met several of them. Yeah, yeah. It's actually oh gosh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep recommending things, and I know that like you hate you hate this kind of shit, but like it's still it's a very good it's a such a good movie. Um, based off of the book, uh, how to blow up a, a pipeline. Um, which I know is a very I, I let's, just, title. let's just tiptoe around that that title though because algorithm. I know I know I had I had I had yeah, to no no title. you're good you're good you're good I just don't want to have I, it there, yeah but. no I, I don't I don't want to say the title again but like it, it's actually it's it's less of a how to manual and more of a of a why you should uh, is the the book what what the actual book's about the movie however is about people who actually do it it's a sort of a fictional story but like all of the people there have like actual justifications like one guy is like a dude in texas who had his land seized so they could build an oil pipeline um and uh there was uh some guy who's from like he's from like north dakota he's a, a native american and obviously in 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 there like a lot of the lands have been like overtaken by a lot of i call oil. bullshit on those no that's pr stunts by no, 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 no. It's, it's a made-up story. It's a made-up story. Like all of these are okay. like made-up stories. Like that's it's a fictional story explicitly. But it's like oh. all of the people there. You the do see this shit though. They have. love they love putting token Indians up. Yeah. Uh, fucking even the UN does it and shit. Like at these ceremonies, they it was it's wild. I watch weird shit like yeah. UN. Yeah, <laughs> like the UN. You know, and and actually, it's actually it's actually kind of interesting because the um the. The Native American kid, he's actually the one who is the least like ideologically uh, motivated. Like he just fucking hates people and wants to watch the world burn. Um, like it, it, it's actually, oh, it's it's interesting. Um, there's, um, but that's okay. exactly how all environmentalists really are. Yeah, there's a there's a girl who's from like Los Angeles, and she. Uh, <laughs> Uh, lived right next to an oil refinery and uh, be living next to the oil refinery, like uh, uh, gave her like cancer, um, like a, some like form of like skin cancer. Um, uh, Cause yeah, like people who live near oil refineries are at much higher risks of getting cancer. And it's usually, are they, are they, they are. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a, there is a uh, high correlation between living next to oil refineries and it's usually Why, like, what's the correlation with the skin cancer? Like uh, how with the uh, because, because because of the uh, refining process um and like the the chemicals that they put in the the process puts in the air um uh, and then and then if you uh, live near it you know like when it rains the those chemicals then come down gotcha on top of you uh, um, so they're gotcha 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 so the uh the chemtrails are, are blaming the oil refineries i see i mean yeah actually <laughs> sort of like how they blame the health tubes that i smoke um, and then there was, uh, what is it? There's, and then there's another girl who her, her mom died in like a, a heat wave, um, uh, like some like freak heat wave, uh, and a freak heat wave. Yeah. Mm. She lived in, uh, I think it was like, uh, the, and the so coast. what does that have to do with anything? Oh, the, I mean, for her, it's, she's, she's the like, oh, the global warming she, thing. Yeah. She, she's the climate activist. Um, okay. Right. Right. Uh, and then there's like people who like just don't like the oil industry, you know, like again, like because they're they're blowing up a, a, a. Well, I'm yet to meet any climate fanatic who ever or an environmental fanatic who actually has ever been in 
the climate at all or in nature. I mean, I, I, I do. I like being in nature. Do you? I, I do. I actually go on hikes quite often. Hmm. <laughs> I live. I live in Washington. Okay, you know how many fucking oh, yeah. 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 gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I've never been up. I've never been up there. I've never been north of Northern California. I went right. to the redwoods. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, well, the redwoods are cool. I'm gonna head out. You Come are. By. Yes, I'm tired. Uh, but good, good live. I guess. Yeah. I guess our fight with Tarek that was short lived. <laughs> well, I blocked. I blocked his bitch ass. Yeah. But he's gonna be freaking out again more tomorrow somewhere. You know, like he does. He doesn't seem to be uh, taking. He just seems to be spinning worse and worse. Um, All righty. Yeah, well, I hope it gets better. I hope he gets good night. Yeah. Night. Yeah. Hi, Mister oh, Pie. Night. Bye, Lib. Good talking tonight. Oh man, Mister Pie not, got got his anon mask. He's gonna remind me everyone. I know. I can't be. believe she left. Maybe oh, maybe okay. she did for a reason. V V for Vendetta. All right. That's also another good movie. I think it's ironic that that's become the, the symbol of uh, anti-establishment because of a movie from the establishment. You know, like it's just, I mean, it's, it's so, it's so um, ironically perfect. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I, I think they're I think orchestrating, maybe. right. Sorry, they're orchestrating the, the anti-movement because they oh, want to bring right. in their new system. So we got to tear down the old shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that is actually one of the things that's part of the reason why um, people will like complain about like um, how anti-capitalist uh, 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 movies and like media can take place under capitalism. And a large part of that is like that it, it feeds into this like thing of like having people do nothing because it's like, oh, you watch this anti-capitalist movie and then you feel good for a minute because, oh, I just watched this movie that's anti-capitalist and now I'm not right. going to do anything about it um, that is one of the vul vulnerabilities for sure of capitalism absolutely that I mean, and um and like national sovereignty like the u.s has sold its power and ownership for trinkets yeah that's the I mean, flaw in capitalism but i, I mean, don't know that it, that there's an offer it's, it's basically a, a flaw in humanity I mean, you can, you can I, I i do think there's a justifiable there's justification for like limiting um medical freedom no 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 no. limiting um like uh what what people can do with their money to a certain extent right so like for instance um i'm gonna reference that uh <laughs> uh bronze age collapse book um uh there were uh certain restrictions on like people buying land right because like it was like okay if you aren't a citizen if you don't live in you know the city of ugarit then you can't buy land in Ugarit. Now, if you're from the land of Ur and you come to Ugarit, you can buy a house. But then if you if you leave Ur Ugarit, you can't own that house. That house then would be go back to the state. Um, and I think there's like reasonable restrictions on those kinds of things, especially when you have states. Um, oh, you're you're muted, Flo. I would absolutely agree with that. Um, but that's a, that's a, that's only with states. I do think if you, do I, have states, I, and I don't think that would be. But see, the issue, the the interesting thing for me is because I recognize that that is, a, there's logic behind those sort of policies. Yes. I also see how demonized redlining is. So under the flag of anti-racism, um, nationally we banned what is what could be used as a protective practice for a country. Um, I mean, well, sort of. I mean, now, for an instance, in America, the the limitations against redlining um, don't actually hamper our ability for, like, to say, have people who aren't, like, well, okay, I don't want to say aren't American because it's not that non-Americans, but it's. It, 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 I, I, I get what you're saying. It's not. It's not the same. It doesn't box out uh, foreigners. Um, it, yeah. does it does remove. Not. It removes the lender's ability to. Uh, it. it it basically does the same thing as as it just opens things wide up to anybody. Yeah, it's yeah, illegal it's, to have any discretion. Yeah, in it, who comes in? Yeah, it's, uh, like, it's like you can you can buy this land even if you're foreign, but then that doesn't make that land like Chinese because a Chinese company bought it. Um, that that land is still American even if it's owned. I by mean, China. but at some point, at some point, that just becomes token, right? Like we've got they're building a Panasonic battery facility. 
um, by us. You think uh, you think that this town is going to stay Kansan mostly, or you think it's going to get a whole lot of a uh, influence? I mean, that's fair, but like my th- my thing is, it's pe- the people who live here are the people who um, who deserve to be like represented, right? So like, if you have a bunch of um, ex Chinese nationals, you know, come over to work in that factory, but then they get their American citizenship and then they live here. I would, they're American. They may not be Kansan in the same. No, way. I'm talking. I'm talking about the 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 power. Institutionally, the power is not going to oh, be the people. It's going to be the outside money. Yes. No. And I, I, I think that, like, that, yeah, I, all I mean, that shit is not going to be up to people who live here. Yeah. And I, I do take issue with um, uh, the powers of um, global corporations. Um, I, that's one of the reasons why I'm very big on, I think, um, utilizing a lot of our antitrust laws, existing antitrust laws, um, in order to limit the power of um, global corporations, because I do think that that um, poses like, maybe not risks, but concerns. Sort of the issue though, like any, like any regulation is regulatory capture. No, that that's true. But I mean, like, I don't know, like the, the whole thing about- I'm anti- not like, sure what wizard agreed with it with, but yes. The, the antitrust laws, it's all about trust folks. Everything in contract is situated under some kind of trust, a public trust. No, no, no. That's not. Sorry, that's not what anti. So the anti trust is monopoly laws. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. anti monopoly laws, and like one of the things is they haven't really been exercised as much recently because they're the 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 country. They haven't been exercised in a long ass time. Because the country wants to be seen as pro business, which like I can mm. empathize with wanting to be pro business, but like I don't think that being no, that's not pro business, and no, that that's not why. They, uh, who was the first guy that did it? Fuck. Teddy One of the famous like uh, barons from. He was in the fur trade, anyways. Yeah, Ding, government has always been exploited for private interests, and yes. that's the perfect example of it. Is how many monopolies that we have. But you know, like when we established all these antitrust laws, uh, a lot of them were instituted under uh, Teddy Roosevelt, who like based. All right, look, I may not like Teddy Ro- everything Teddy Roosevelt did, but like that man was fucking awesome. He got shot and, and finished his speech before he went to the hospital. I know, I know. He's I don't so give a fuck what badass. all he did. I that man is all right with me. He was also a big uh, uh, conservationist. Um, uh, yeah, um, I have mixed feelings about that. I mean, he liked national parks, and I think national parks are like fucking awesome. Like even if yeah. you're not like a big like environmentalist. I know. The there's always like, having... like, how do you feel about the EPA? That's different than conservation, though. I know. I mean, I again, I like. That. I'm more familiar with the EPA than I am with the park systems. I, I they're like, a terrorist organization. Mm. Do you know how they do their audits? They go to construction companies and they say, for instance, we need to do an audit on the last ten years of your um, repair jobs, right? Which, of course, is where you're going to have accidents and where there's a repair, mm-hmm. or you can give a million dollars and they'll go away. It's pure extortion. Oh, in, in terms of, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I will say, I think the EPA needs some like massive restructuring and reform because right now companies will just pay their way out and it's just a, it's basically just an extortion racket. And I'm not a fan of that. I think that their regulations should, instead of being like extortionary, should come with like actually actual penalties for breaking their laws because like that's the point is like it's a law and like there should come. Well, sometimes like the problem is these, like, and it's the same thing with police. All the incentives for the problem solvers incentivize more problems. Yes, no, I agree. The Justice Department never gave a grant out for least crime. Yeah, it's it's uh, and like with the EPA, like it's cheaper for a company to you know uh, uh, illegally dump their waste uh, and then pay the fine than to find a way to legally and safely dump their waste. You know, because it's easier for them to just dump it and then pay the fine. Because the fine is worth is like lower is a less couple of cost than building a whole system where they could properly dump waste. Um, so the, the real, I think the real, the real, the biggest thing that keeps monopolies in place is the regulatory burdens. I do think that's a big part. Big. big I think problem. it's the number one thing. You Especially. don't. You know how much shit. You, like nobody can afford to start, say, a bank. 
Yeah, it's, it actually, oh, I was going to say, especially in places that have like high startup costs. But that's one of the reasons why I think um, a lot of these uh, uh, places, these kinds of things uh, are better run democratically by uh, a government organization, by privately run but publicly owned organizations, right? So like, for instance, in Memphis, Memphis Light, Gas and Water is a privately run but a publicly owned uh, thing. And what do you mean? So um, MLGNW is a private company. Um, they, you know, do profits and stuff like that. However, because it is a public interest, because they effectively have a monopoly on um, uh, on like giving light, gas, and water to the entire Memphis area. Um, they are. That's how all utility companies are run. The board of trustees is all appointed by elected officials. Yeah. And, and I think that's a, that's a, when you're talking about these kinds of like big systems, um, where the, the incentives for doing the thing that is beneficial to people is not there. I think that's kind of what you have to do in, in a way. I mean, I think, that's that's why socialism doesn't work because there's no incentive to do things. In, in, in a way, I think like actually, um, like ro our road building, I think should be instead of being done by um, being like bidded out to private contractors, I think we should have a basically a privately run but publicly owned um, government uh, construction. Well, the job wouldn't get done. It, it, or it's not getting done now is the problem. Like it's not getting done when we're having private firms do it. Like, or mm -hmm. it's getting done very poorly. It depends um, on which part of town you're in. I mean, infrastructure spending in the country. Like, is like now, now that now like, that we've got the Panasonic plant moving in, boy, they're blitzing around these roads. But um, like in Kansas City, Missouri, and shit, mm -hmm. there's there's steel plates that have been there my whole life. Yeah, and I, I like one. And the thing is, like, the money just isn't there. And then it's all like it's all contracts out to like private companies for the lowest. Do bid. you know what tiffs are? The tax, uh, what is it called, Sarah? What's the TIF stand for? Uh, I don't fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to look it up. I'm sure. Tax increment yeah. financing. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 a strategy where like like people who rehab busted down parts of town get to have that property tax exempt for a period of time, like like the valuable lifetime of that property. And then as it starts to degrade back at right mm -hmm. after it stops being a good part of town, you know, 15 year, 20 years, you know, whatever, then they start paying taxes, but also then it's turning kind of back into, you know, not, it's just, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah. I, uh, all I know about TIFFs is there was a conversation between, I don't know, some like crazy fucking, socialist light youtuber and vosh and the oh. socialist light youtuber was screaming what's a tiff what's a tiff and it was just very is funny vosh just, isn't vosh socialist like yeah, he is. no he's, he's 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 an actual socialist but um this guy was but, like he's more of a liberal idea. uh oh. this guy was like a liberal so li like one of those like liberals who like calls themselves a socialist because they didn't hate bernie sanders Bernie Sanders was such a douche, though. Like, I didn't hate Bernie Sanders either, but he just, like, such a crabby loser. <laughs> was he? I thought... I don't know. There's a, like, He just always kind of looked like... He was a pretty gracious kind of guy. I mean, considering he uh, got fucked over in the primaries two times, and then... Is that gracious, or is that just a loser? Like, like what can he do? What else can he do? I guess he could be like Hillary Clinton and not ever acknowledge that he lost, but... Or he was never actually going to going to win. He was never, yeah, he was never yeah. trying to win. He just gathers in the votes, and then they transfer the votes over to the one person who's actually going to win. I right. do not agree that that, is, uh, that was the intention of Bernie Sanders, considering Bernie Sanders has spent literally his entire lifetime of doing politics um, advocating for the same things. Bernie Sanders is a, 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 uh, is, he's a light bulb for the moths that are, would otherwise be too far left to bother voting. It, it's, yeah, it's for, it, it's for people who don't really like understand politics, but like, this guy seems cool. He seems like, he seems pretty. He really gets us. Yeah, Bernie Sanders. He doesn't like take in. 
He is a bad guy. Of course, he's a hypocritical fuck. He wants. I mean, to, he wants you to be socialist, but he's living. Politicians. Yeah, all federal politicians are just actors, basically. Yeah, I mean, they no, they, they already mean. have like a plan for who's actually going to go in for the primary and stuff like that. I think, or, 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 the, or they'll just, or they like this time they'll just not run a primary and then they'll just run a corpse and be like, "Come on, guys, you have to vote for him." Come on, guys, vote for this course. At least it's not Trump. Come on. Uh, but right. me, yeah. me, meanwhile, the DNC is like, all right, we're gonna run a fake primary, but um, uh, Trump is also a corpse. Well, uh, so it, we're gonna run him too. Yeah, it it just shows like it's just a clown clown it's, show. Yeah. It's it's it, 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 it you know since the it, Trump election and everything, it's just kind of like shown how much. I think it was uh, like my whole life. How fake I mean, I was. remember Clinton yeah. and old Bush. Um. But I mean, old Bush was the first president I remember, and he was a, the head of the CIA. Mm -hmm. And then he put in a coke runner from Arkansas, and then he put in his son, and then he put in his son, even though I guess he lost. And then he put in Kenyon. They're all planned. Not a single one of them has been our decision. Well, uh, the th the thing is, so I. I, I, one of the few things that I agree with Noam Chomsky on um, now, because Noam Chomsky's brain is now soup because he's 80, um, is Noam Chomsky wrote a book called Manufactured Consent, which is basically about how um, the democratic process. That uh, was, uh, that wasn't him, was it? Yeah, Noam Chomsky. That was, that was the guy who wrote Propaganda. That was Bernays. That was no, Bernays. No, no, Noam Chomsky wrote Manufactured Consent. Gary Baxter, are you watching? Who wrote it? Go ahead. Um, uh, t talking about how like the media has been hijacked to sort of manufacture people's consent, which is basically how you do it and maintain the veneer of a democracy is you basically get people to believe that uh, they have given their consent to to be ruled in such a in this manner by these people, um, you know, and. The thing is, like after after long enough of people being of that consent being manufactured, at some point it actually becomes genuine, and you get like fucking ghouls, um, at, not just among among like the the politicians, but in the voters as well. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you at all. <laughs> That's I, I wouldn't call it genuine. I would say they were brainwashed, manipulated, and mind fucked. Well, yes, so they no, I agree. They hey, nice product it's placement. True. Yeah, but. It's not authentic by any means. It, it was forged. Uh, so the brain. whole present, the whole shit show, the whole idea that we have a choice in who represents us is in itself kind of grotesque. If you take a step back and look at it, like, was we didn't get the choice for these people? Yeah, we didn't choose these people. I mean, said so you get this shit show or that shit show, but you wanted it. It's all and they're it's both the gaslighting. They're both funded by the same people. Yeah. But but the thing is, we could have a more representative uh, democracy um, if we change the way our voting works, right? So like with our first past the post system, we will never move away from the dichotomy, ever. Period. There, it will always be voting for Hitler or voting for ninety nine percent Hitler, every single time. There will You're never wrong. be wrong. I don't I don't believe that's correct at all. I don't I don't actually I don't have I haven't considered a, a different example. But if you consider if you think about controlling an entity, the best way to watch, like by that I mean society, the best way to move a big mass is left, right, left, right, right. Two wings, one bird, two legs, one step. They're just walking us around with two parties. I know. What I'm saying is, yes, which is the point I'm making. It's you get mm. Hitler or 99% Hitler. Like they're oh, both, okay. We're making the same point. Yeah, they're, <laughs> both, they, they're both basically Hitler, um, but like... You know, you're you're given the illusion that voting for 99% Hitler is significantly better. Um, whereas if we had a different different systems where we had more parties, where people had m actual more choices, where their voices actually what matter, what, 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 would that, what would that actually solve? Just by adding more parties, it would be more confusion. Well, first off, there we we know there are other democracies that have that are more representative of the uh, uh, values of the people who are voting. Um, European That's democracy. That's a subjective claim. 
I would okay. say get rid of the parties right. altogether. Well, the, 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 the problem the problem is with democracy in itself because it's just even even at the be best case scenario mm -hmm. where we do actually have representatives that actually represent the views of the people, it is just mob rule. And the more the more it becomes a direct democracy, well, the more mob rule it is. Well, and I we're didn't just, advocate for direct democracy, so. And, or in it, it, just democracy in general, because it's just think, mob I mean, democ rule. democracy is not just mob rule. Uh, it that, is. That, what no. is not mob rule about it? Okay, so you have you have majority rule with protection with minority protections. That is that is like the core of modern liberal democracies. Every single one of them. Isn't that what a republic was? Right, like there's core protections, and then the the rest of the things went to mob rule. Well, republic. Well, a, re a republic just means that there are multiple e there are multiple government like entities that all have representatives i.e yeah. like we have 50 states like the reason why we're a democratic republic is because we have 50 states and each of those states democratically elect representatives that they send to a bigger group to decide things you know like it's it's not that a republic is antithetical to it but the republic is the republic part of that equation yeah. is what controls i mean establish protects certain rights and that or am i yeah, no the democ is, pure democracy is just more federal i mean th there's not really such a thing as pure democracy um that's never really occurred and never well really i know but i'm tried. just talking about conceptually right all all the pl uh, pl politics is always theory that is applied in Yes, yeah. but like there's, in, there's in, no in America, pure anything. Yes. There's never in, been a pure in, anything. In, in, in America, we are a bunch of, we are a republic of states. So we are a bunch of states who all elect representatives to go represent them in a bigger setting. Um, and the way which we do that is through a is through democratic processes. Um, that's why we are a democratic republic. Um, and, and we also have the electoral college for the reason for because it just becomes the mass city centers. And well, actually, if you if you want to actually not really. So if you really want to go back and look at why uh, the Electoral College even exists, the Electoral College basically exists because um, the southern states wanted to protect slavery. Um, uh, that yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not him, John, I saw your head move. Like, I'm tired of getting like, I, like I'm sorry. Like, OK, I understand that people. Uh, uh, think that that's, you know, silly or whatever. Slavery or whatever. was already basically on its way out you know why wait not when not when the electoral not when the electoral college was formed okay uh, I, well, I, I, well, I, well, so what what's your basis of saying that it they had the electoral college because of racism or because oh, of no, 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 not, not because of, not because of racism okay so because the so we know and the reason i know this is because while i didn't graduate college i did go to college for two years and uh I went for, to college for history, so I took several history courses, several of which were on uh, uh, U.S. history, um, specifically U.S. Civil War history. And we studied um, the history of slavery in America and the southern states. One of their preconditions for signing uh, the, the U.S. Constitution in 1789 was the was there were a few things, but like. Uh, including the three fifths compromise, but also there was the establishment of the electoral college, which would, uh, because the um, southern states were less populous um, than the northern states in terms of like uh, people and who could vote. How, how does how does that equate to because of slavery, or it's because they knew that they would just be completely blocked out in in the voting blocks for larger cities. As they are now, or whatever. I, no, no, I, don't, no. so I the, don't see how you can say that. So oh, that's the, the representatives because they wanted the, slavery. So the representatives for the states specifically said that we don't want uh, to have uh, to be in a union with the northern states who don't like slavery because we're afraid that if they get that kind of power, that they will use their um, uh, overwhelming majority to get rid of slavery. At who some said that? And we uh, there were a number of representatives. Um, uh, from the southern states, who during the okay, I'm, I'm sure there was I'm sure there was a couple. Does that the, mean that, does that, that mean the, that, that was that the main was the, reason? Well, that, why would they not? I mean, just it, just in any it, that could be one of the points that they were they were we worried about. But that, it, it, it would be any anything because they knew they would just be pushed out, and it would basically be a grab for power by the union. But the thing basically is, give them no power, and it's that's the exact same thing that the Democrats I mean, do 
the thing now, is, and that's the what they're trying is, to do now. And the they, they is, say stuff like racism or whatever to do the, the thing, same thing and justify the thing is, John, taking that, all the voting blocks. The thing is, John, that um, a so let's start with uh, a, a really basic thing is our system already has a method for like circumventing sort of the mob rule thing. And that's the Senate, because in the Senate, uh, how many representatives does each state get, John? Do you know? How many does each state get? Yes. How many represent Senate representatives? Is that what you're saying? Yes. In the Senate. How many representatives do each state get in the Senate? I don't know. It's two. How many do they get in rep in the House of Representatives? That's proportional to the population. That's proportional to population. So within Congress, you have the two houses. You have the House of Representatives, which is about sort of representing the um, uh, sort of like more people it's being more representative of the population the house of have, commons but then you have the senate, in britain england or in canada but then you have the senate which is where like each state gets the exact same representation no matter how many people they have or don't have they all get the same and laws have to go through both houses so already we have a system for preventing this sort of mob rule where you know the more populous states will vastly overrule because laws don't get passed unless they pass through both houses so what the fuck is the electoral college doing then what, what's the point of that if if we already have this system the senate to mitigate the fact that some states are more populous can, can they can they can the house can the represent house uh house of representatives overtake the senate be like you know if if, if, if there's more if basically all, all the basically, let's just say, like Democratic um, populace, all of their represent House of Representatives vote for one one side or whatever. Mm -hmm. What would would that it somehow how how would the Senate itself balance it out? Uh, because laws have to pass through both houses to be laws. Yes, but if. <laughs> But if there's more people, more, um, if all of them are voting and all of the representatives or whatever, I'm trying to think of a way to say this. I mean, explain it to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. So in theory, one is supposed to rep to, you know, basically we have the House of Lords and the House of Commons. This goes back to the British when you had the aristocrats for the House of Lords. Yes. And the, uh, the, then when the people, I don't remember, what, but anyways, the peasants got pissed. And so they can see and said, okay, well, you can have a House of Commons and we'll both work together or something like that. We just moved it over here. Uh, ours is better, though, because both of ours uh, require... Because America, uh, excuse me, that's I mean, why. That's true. Um, but also both of our houses require people to be, the people to be elected by their constituents um, instead of having like lords. The House of Lords is like super fucked up. I'm not a fan of the House of Lords. However, the function that they perform is actually notable and good because it prevents um sort of that mob mentality um i i agree there is there is something to be said for having a rulership class or whatever because their names on it democracy the problem with democracy is it obscures everything that's what i fucking hated about Not really because you can you can see you can see everyone who votes you can see all their all their all their votes in can the you as Do you know who voted for what? You no, you can't. You can't go look at voter rolls. You just hear on the oh, news. Sorry. Sorry. sorry, okay, uh, sorry. No, not who votes for the representatives, but you can see the representatives and what they vote for and don't vote for, and you can see what each of them does vote for. Which, but you trust that your vote is getting counted so that they're accurately in office. Oh, I mean, yeah, but that's sure. But that's any system. Like either you yeah. trust that you either trust that you, the system will count your vote or you trust that the person sense. who's in power has your interest in mind. Um, if there's not a democracy. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess my point was though, is that like in, for instance, you can look at the democratic governance of cryptocurrencies. If anyone knows anything about that and that's freaky as shit, because now you've got, uh, anonymous people in charge of the money basically. Yeah, but that's because they don't. There's no um, uh, accountability mechanism. Where there, whereas there are accountability mechanisms within our government. Even though I would argue that they aren't being implemented in. Uh, well, the government checks the government, right? So it's like. So 
no, 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 people check the government because uh, one of one of the accountability mechanisms is voting. Now, I do agree that because our voting system is super fucked, it's not actually a very useful one. However, I would it's argue- It's a theoretical one anyways. It's a placebo accountability. If we, if, if, we had, if we had a better voting mechanism, the accountability system would actually work. If, you know, for instance, uh, we had like ranked choice voting, then when a politician doesn't do what it, their constituents want, then their constituents have options and can vote them out and vote someone in who might. I, I agree. There should be recourse for somebody who fucks up their shit better than what it is, which is basically you can impeach somebody. It'll take as long as just waiting them out. I, I do. I do think there should be more mechanisms for um, holding uh, like special elections and stuff. Like uh, if if you could get like, I don't know, like a petition of like 500,000 of someone's constituents, um, you could call for like a recall vote. Um, and vote for a new representative. Uh, I do think that would be. Are allocated among electoral votes or allocated among the census? Every state is allocated a number of votes equal to the number of senators and representatives in the U.S. congressional delegation. Two votes for senators and plus a number of votes equal to the. So at plus a number of votes equal to the number of its congressional districts. So. Three electors and three electors. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be happy with anybody ruling me, no matter what system of. Uh, yeah, but you have to. Um, um, now I will say, John, doesn't work. if you would, if you would that, like, John, uh, if you if you would like for me to state my actual issue with the electoral college, I can, um, which is that the electoral college uh, the is unelected officials um, who are not obligated to vote the way their constituents want them to vote um which it the that's the the term is uh, unfaithful electors um well i mean it, it wouldn't that because it's to counteract the mob rule so obviously they're not going to go with the mob rule that's what the other votes are for but that's what the senate's for Right. That's what the yeah. That's what the senators so, and the representatives so why, are for. So, so the electoral is so. There's a third party that isn't isn't, uh, isn't elected isn't aligned with a particular group or whatever. Well, or a certain no. mob. So it's worth noting. And it, and it isn't ba and it isn't based on uh, being elected or whatever because they're just going to uh, cater to the to the base. They're just catering to the mob to the probably to the people who appoint. And that's why there's both. And not just one or the other. And That's not why there's both the electoral and the regular votes as well. They're both because you need a third party who isn't just trying to appease the base. Yes, like it, like for instance, um, uh, if you would have a bunch of people who didn't like slavery and wanted to vote in someone who was anti-slavery, then the southern states could. That's not their what elections. happened. Well, actually. It, and it why, why why do you apply apply it to that? We could apply that to literally anything. You're doing that well, intentionally to most, obfuscate. Mostly because that was the purpose of the electoral college uh, when it's in its uh, that says you. Uh, so I mean, it says the people uh, who founded the country. That's not what Abraham Lincoln said in his own writings about the electoral college. Well, about the whole civil war. You're right. I guess I did. Well, I mean, what, what? I understand within your your mind, you, everything has to be related to slavery within I mean, no, that time frame. Okay, but not no, it's, literally everything because it's not, not just about the slavery vote. They have other issues that they have to delegate. I mean, during it, in early America, that was actually one of the big issues that the southern states had with the whole union i thing. mean it, it is a big issue because it's a lot of labor force that that will drastically affect the economy yeah of course they're going think, to have that i think the and, issue is i mean the, the whole the whole narrative is so uh disingenuously virtue signaling that you have to see through it for propaganda it is i do but, not i do not think that it is virtue signaling to be anti-slavery no, that's not what hey, I was look, saying. Look at that disingenuous. That's that's that bad. That was a, dis that was a disingenuous, disingenuous response. Bullshit right there. You're using that as a tool to make try to make your point stronger, but it doesn't actually affect the point of either side because it's, it's not the only issue. The Throwing South the decided to now. secede, which was its right under the contract that unified no, the states. The North waged war. It's, it was not. It's not. See, but see, you're using it as a weapon. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it was. Well, there's a voluntary union. Where in the Constitution does it say they can secede? Point point out that, and then I will accept your point. 
The contract um, was the Constitution. I'm pretty sure any state can. Yeah, they the right to the seed. Well, first, yeah. first off, they definitely don't now. But even back then, they didn't. well, I don't even I don't even know if they're actually explicitly forbidden from doing it now. It just obviously can't. <laughs> I mean, Texas is try has been trying to succeed for like ever. Yeah, I mean, and uh, what parts of Washington or Idaho are talking about it? Like, so there's still talks about succeeding. Obviously, it's uh, not going to happen. It's not going to happen, but some it it's got to be legal at least somehow, it's, right? It's like not. people are acting like it is. There's a there's yeah. a there's well, people can act like a lot of things are okay. Liv, do you know it's not, or do you just feel like it's not? No, I know it's not. Um, it's do not you have something you can reference? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Okay. Well, regardless, yeah, regardless really it, it's exactly like I said, and I, I, I looked mm. it up, is that it is every state has allocated a number of votes equal to the number of senators and representatives. Two votes, like you said, for the senators, plus a number of votes equal to the number of con congressional districts. So it's mm -hmm. plus. It's not in spite of. So if they have more congressional districts, they get more votes and thus have more power. Regardless, if, if if everybody else only gets two when it comes to senators, that doesn't change the fact that they equal them together, and thus gives it more. more it's still mob rule. How are they? Aren't they appointed to what the electric call the electors? Yeah, and that the, yeah. no, though the, uh, those are appointed not by votes or anything, which is what his complaint was. But the reason why it's not by that because that it's still just mob rule, and the whole point is to get you have to have a third party. Can you can you can you, can you find something that says that that's the reason? I mean, I can look it up. Yeah, I mean, why? What else would it be for yeah, uh, I'm, other I'm, than I'm, slavery? I'm, 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 well, hold on, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm 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 looking up this, so I I do think it's fair okay. that you at least find that because uh, I'm finding this for you. So, I I would say in a perfect world, it's not mob rule. Just like in a perfect world. You know, communism and capitalism all work perfectly. But in reality, it is mob rule. And that's because they rigged the fucking system. So though we might have these, you know, protections in place it, by the written law, it isn't actually abided by in practicality and application that basically we're all being fucked and told what to do. And it's not working the way that it was intended. It's basically, yeah. My irritation with it is that people love their slavery. The land of the free, home of the brave. Like, yeah, no shit. Okay. Um, like so Jeff. Gen X Jeff, I love the guy. He is the happiest slave I've ever met in my life. <laughs> He's the dude loves it. Okay. So, um, he is in the Supreme Court ruling, uh, Texas v. White from 18, where was this? 1869, 1869. Um, I'm gonna post this in the private chat. It's a Wikipedia article. Um, uh, where's the actual quotation? Um, where was the holding? There was a little section. I mean, Texas all, and the rest all, of the Confederacy know, never left know, the Union during the Civil War Wikipedia because they, never they been not unilaterally secede. U.S. Treasury bonds sailed. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, hold on. So they, they were saying T-bills. Did they say, no, you can't secede because you're on the hook for this debt for existing no, bonds? No, 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 no. What they were saying, well, first off, it was about a debt of existing bonds. Um, however, uh, the argument was that since Texas seceded, um, in 1865 or whatever, that um, they were no longer obligated to have the bonds because they seceded, even though they then, you know, had to were forced back in. Um, and the Supreme Court ruled that no, you are still obligated to the bonds because Texas never seceded because states do not have the unilateral right to secede. Um, there is no provision in the Constitution that allows for secession. Um, uh, where, where was this thing that I was 
Okay. Just so reading. I never left the union during this week because they cannot unilaterally succeed. Treasure bond sale. By well, obviously, like, the secession was not... The losers lost. So, it, retroactively, and, 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 they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna acknowledge a, 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 a secession, and then, but it's, you know, claim that that they're just gonna deny the whole thing. That's of course gonna be the end after the fact. What I'm curious about is, was there a pre, uh, a rule preventing it? Sarah, why do you look like you're? Uh, I mean, once the states signed back, once once they joined back in the union, that was one of the uh, provisions in the uh, them joining back in the union. And also, he is right that there is no claim that you can make in in, in using the Constitution that say that you can succeed. But technically, there was no claim for Americans to be like, well, we're going to uh, rebel against Britain. So it's, just, it's, it's all about what can you do and how the circumstances fall in your favor, really. Well, also, the states also, were – but before the Union, the states were basically independent countries, more or less. That's how they functioned. The yeah. Union of the states was different, at least theoretically. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that the whole thing of uh, and thing, yeah, you could say, oh, no, it's all about slavery and everything, or it could be that well, the, off, that again, it was talking, more of a talking, play. You're talking to someone who literally studied U.S. Civil War history. It was explicitly as as the people who did this definitely was Civil War. Yeah. Session, yeah, the people who did the secession literally said, "We are seceding because we want to keep slavery." So I, I'm not gonna, I'm then, not gonna like. Why does why did all the things I've read by Abraham Lincoln say it's not about slavery, it's about well, the, Abraham the Lincoln union. wasn't trying to keep the, preserve the union because of slavery. He wasn't yeah. trying to preserve the union because of any of it. He just wanted to preserve he was all about keeping the union and together. Then, yes. And when every any so, state joins the union, which has been happening since the thirteen colonies came together and formed a constitution in the in, in a country that's called the United States, you have to join the union, yes. So it is a union. It's been a union since they signed the Declaration I mean, of Independence. But not 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 in the same way. You know, it it, it is a grab for power because it was it, it it completely consolidated all the power back into the union and to the fed. They basically empowered the. Federal it was, government it more than upended it was. the entire the way that everything functioned. It turned it into yeah, yeah. And so they, have, they, they use this, you, they lose the slavery narrative to, to just are, are, you, are, you, are you still are you still claiming that the Civil War was not about slavery? I am. I am. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to go really fast and find the um, people who who attempted to do the secession. And OK. And okay. They, you, they, you, they, you they, do. But well, in the I, meantime, I want to I want to point something out. We have a central party taking power from a mass of individual states. The single consolidation of power by the conquering force, they say, is to end slavery. They gave it. They gave a massive power grab, the most altruistic cause. If so, that doesn't throw up a lot of a lot of red flags, so, then I don't know what to tell you. But, but that doesn't change the fact that the. That doesn't change the fact that there's like three. There's like a bunch of racist guys who were, who wanted slavery, and they use that as an excuse. No, it's, to, it's, it's I, I don't. I don't. That's I don't great. Care whether or not they were racist, I care whether or not they wanted to keep slavery because that's the question: is to whether as to whether or not they seceded because they wanted to keep slavery well, or because they there wanted was to there was slavery. Race begin with because the slavery the but the slavery controversy at that time was happening all over the west it started in great britain um this was a this was a big social change occurring at the time anyways you're definitely going to find people even people in office who are discussing slavery on the pro-slavery no, 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 side it's, 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 not, it's not about them discussing slavery it's about them saying we want to secede because we want to preserve slavery uh, who so all I'm of them, the southern states, all the uh, southern people. Was that the only people. reason? Do, do you think both things can't be true yeah. at once? You're yeah. making a, a false yeah. dichotomy. Of course, no. Both things can be true, it, but if you want to go okay, look at the so letters of the people who actually, if you go look at the letter of the people, true. you go look at the letter of the people who actually wrote about their secession. Most of them did not talk about state rights. None, most of them did not talk about a centralized. Uh, power taking over and, and consolidating all the power. They talked they, about slavery. They they did that. That is a huge part of it. Is that they were worried no, was, that, that the, the union, union was grabbing power. Part, if you look at most of the power, slave, power, slave, slave owners, it's just the truth. 
and what and what the in, industrial with, with the industrializing of everything, the union was gaining more and more and more power. And one one of the things, yes, is slavery that they were worried about because that is a big part of their economy. And without then, slavery, the, we, the, the, the slavery union and, and their, the industrialization uh, the is, is going to basically wild. take take over. It's wild that the southern economies didn't collapse after we abolished slavery. You know, it's kind of. Insane. I mean, they will pay they because will they were because they were co they were consolidated into the union. What are you talking about? And they will pay. But, so of yeah, course they was, didn't collapse because it it was consolidated into the union. They will pay, and it was industry. It started. Be, it was this is start the start I, of the industrialization. You're not, you're not, you're not making. You're not making the start of the industrial revolution was already happening. Can you please yeah. explain why, if they were worried that the abolition of slavery would collapse their economies, why then did after the Civil War the abolition of slavery not abolish their economies? Can you please e elaborate on why you don't think it did? While I look up, I this. mean, the South is still uh, poorer than the North. I think it did. I mean, it technically didn't. And slavery never ended. Technically. I would, I would ask question. I think maybe. I mean, if you look at the 13th Amendment, it didn't. It, slavery is abolished itself for punishment by crime. Then, so, so as soon as you abolish slavery, all you do is just start naming anything and everything a crime. Hanging out after nighttime, all type of shit like that. Yeah. So. Mm. Freely, uh, freely slave, freely, yeah, freely. No, 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 nobody, nobody. So the thing is, is it, it, but what, what it is, is it's used to completely to to completely white whitewash ironic name or whatever whatever you want to call it to completely like say it's just because of slavery no. that's that's what uh, you're attempting to do by saying that it wasn't about slavery did uh, i say that i mean you're claiming that it wasn't predominantly about slavery which is did i say predominantly <laughs> i would i would i would say, I would say it's not i'll i'll make that claim I would okay. say the Civil War is not predominantly about slavery, apologies, John, but I would... the narrative was, of course, centered around slavery. They're going to put – look, all these big actions are, of course, going to have reasons that people can get behind. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to have – We're starting this war because we're greedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we want to yeah, I mean, take over the power of – and, and what, was the big the power, what was the big thing that the, the, the central power was trying to take away? To have full, full control of their of the southern economy. Man, I'm I'm so rusty. Right. Yeah, full, full control of the southern economy. You 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 you're definitely right. The northern people did not give two fucks about black people whatsoever. All oh. they cared about was making sure that the south wasn't making as much money as they was making with free labor and also okay. getting representation off those off those people, even though that those people were not represented. Yeah. So I don't think it was North which versus is technically South. illegal in our system, which was technically illegal for it, it, I, mean, it, I guess it, it wasn't it was, because we wasn't human it, at the time. Well, but, what, uh, I, so. what I'm thinking Flow State's about to say, which is what it is, is that it's taking away the state power yes. and giving it to federal yes. and consolidating the power in, overall. It so, changed so, from the state of state who is to human and not with districts. So if 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 I may, um Flo. Um, I would like to present, uh, I posted in the chat, the uh, uh, Stevens Cornerstone uh, speech. Uh, I was just looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, um, if you go down, there is a paragraph. I'll read the. Uh, I see that paragraph. I was looking for the whole the whole um, speech, though. This, I don't this, want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want the, the was, paragraph. This has, this has the whole speech. This oh, is does it? Speech. Okay. Which yeah, one? The top or the bottom one? Oh, the bottom uh, one. Yeah, the, the bottom one. Uh, so okay, this, cool, cool. I was looking at the Wikipedia yeah. page. So, um, uh, the the section that I'm saying where he says that the reason why they seceded, the primary reason, was because of this. So, but not to be tedious in enumerating the numerous changes for the better, allow me to allude one other last, not least. The new constitution has put at rest forever all the agitating questions relating to our particular institution, African slavery, as it exists amongst us, the proper status of the Negro and our form of civilization. This was the immediate cause of the late rupture and present revolution, referring to the Civil War. This is a massive speech. Yes, I'm aware. Jefferson okay. in his forecast. I'm going to share a screen and just and just scroll down so people can see how much how many words he spoke for you to pull that out of there and then say this is the reason so actually, for the war. So actually, first off, the initial part was him talking about how um uh, what what okay, the difference but, between their constitution and the uh, 
uh, uh, previous, like the the Union Constitution was. That's what he was a new. I, I mean, I can read. This is the pro This is my and I, this is sort of a tangent, but like this is the issue I have with our education system: is it teaches people that truth comes from authority and to disregard your common sense. Like common sense says, common if somebody sense. attacks somebody else, he's going to give you a good reason for it. Like, well, he was hitting me first, right? Like that's just how that's how, that's just such rudimentary human behavior that when you see something like well we needed to end slavery it should throw up your red flags like this sounds like bullshit to me well first first off uh the union wasn't in, at least initially anti-slavery um at least to the point or they weren't pro-abolition rather it should be the the more yeah, thing uh, i'm pro i'm pro-abolition but well there's the stop okay. it no okay everybody nobody's supporting slavery you don't need yeah. to identify yeah, yourself as pro -abolition. that's just some bad faith this is exactly why you're using this because you're using us as a bad faith tactic yeah. to virtue signal and act like and act like we're saying some crazy wild shit like, like, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna scroll up again. If anybody we're didn't, talking watch about, we're talking course. about history here. We're not agreeing well, with any moral sides people. on any either side of morality. I, do, I, on I, I, did, I did actually apologize, John. I was uh, uh, imprinting uh, 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 flow, flow saying things as to you saying things, and I know you weren't. <laughs> saying, so. Yeah, me and me and John were both kind of going rabble, rabble, rabble at the same time. Yeah, and regardless, you're still not addressing the point, which is we're not. Do you do you honestly think that that's the only reason? It's just slavery. They yeah. didn't have. It wasn't about power grabs or any of these things. Oh, we're talking. Well, we're talking no, about the consolidation the of power reason. of the union. It was externally funded by Europe. It was about consolidating power over the U.S. externally Wait, away from the states. It's but Europe wasn't funded in the north. If Wait, you go what? back and look at the records, the Europe was not funded in the north. The north already had enough money to to do its own warring. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So if there was some type of well, and all the manufacturing, the it wasn't north. for the North, and the North was the so, one that was against slavery. Yeah, and and I'm rolling off memory, so I might misspeak this, but basically there was an economic system. We were exporting goods. The man, the manufacturing was in the North. The yeah. materials were coming from the South, man. and we were exporting to Europe. Co cotton was coming from the South. Uh, the a lot of uh, the North textiles. North we had a massive textile production in this country and we were feeding it to europe uh sort of the, the problem was that basically immediately after the civil war began uh the uk who was the primary um buyer of a lot of our textiles um basically swapped over to producing their own textiles um at the time they had already begun like sort of their imperial projects so they began basically getting other sources for their textiles and the north Northern economy swapped to different kinds of manufacturing than textiles. Um, like, it, again, I, I literally me, studied this in college. I know that you did. Actually, That's why I want to ask you about some another another phenomenon that makes no logical sense uh, as the explanation. But we look at the the uh, British Empire, yeah, and sort of in a really after all this conquering, in a very small period of time. They just released their grips on all these places, and now they just stick on their island. Um, well, does it seem uh, I mean, did they release their grips for real? That's, that's what I'm implying. I don't it, think they did. I think that we're still a colony. Well, we're not. We're not still a colony. However, there are other places that are sort of like dubiously colonies. Um, like for in, I mean, well, India used to be like. Okay, first off, they didn't like loosen their grip on India. India literally broke free. They had to like. Do, I like, know we did too. That's of course that's what they're gonna say, right? Like, I mean, you it's, have not, to, it's not what they like, say. It's just what happened. Okay. You just trust people more than I do. That's 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 how we're going to resolve well, this. I know. I, I I I know what happened. Well, he just he just takes the basic like well, basic I, thing that agrees with what he already agrees no, with. No, I I know what happened in history, and so you because, don't know what happened. I, like you, like right. all these things are stories. Every I mean, single we don't story know. We can't say told. that we know for a hundred percent every right. single thing that a person ever thought. I, I, we right. can't say for the most part we have a good consensus of what either. people thought because you got right. people's letters. Because that's how they. That's how they. Right. They, 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 they get these, these information. That there are some stories about history that we can look at and go, "This is particularly sus. It's got too much virtue, but the results, the actual results." Are two. I don't think anybody here is 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 is, is misrepresenting the North's actual Actually. thought process 
in uh in the whole slavery debate because there wasn't they wasn't abolitions like he said in the beginning they was they they didn't come in just saying we wanted to d- get rid of slavery. No, this they were became trying to a, a tool. Actually, this became- let me let me let me go ahead, go ahead. really fast because um while I I see what he's saying I don't think it as much applies to Great Britain as it does to France. So France is actually the colonial power that basically didn't really release Damn. its hold on its what? colonies. Um, so France actually had a lot of African colonies um, that they technically, they technically left these colonies. Um, however, um, a lot of the most, a lot of these colonies were still dependent upon the uh, French uh, uh, franc, um, franc at the time, uh, the the French monetary system uh, uh, to fund them. So uh, Niger is one of them. Uh, there was, oh, fuck, I cannot remember. There was. Um, and 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 that's that's what's happening now. Look at look at uh fucking what is it? The predatory lending that the World Bank does. Yes. No no no. And it's that's exactly what France was doing to its former colonies. Um, because they're it's not really they're, they're quote unquote former colonies. You know, like very, and we're gonna have to help here. Ukraine soon. That's gonna be our next one. Well, we don't have to help them, but but I think um, we should. But 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 if you look at the timeline, right, the dollar is what is the world currency so technically you could say that um that we're the ones really behind even though it's un you know money pat bundles which is a weird thing in and of itself but yeah really you can you can push it back to the us i mean but I'm not a the US, this didn't happen until well after the federal government's supremacy was established and then re-established in the 60s and beat into everybody's head uh the patron saint of everything Martin Luther King. I kind of like Malcolm X better. Based. Because he's more of a dick. Yeah, the, the powers was consolidated and then uh, European banking took over and it was it was consolidated to the the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not royal, a, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan royal of royal bloodlines. Like, I, you're not going to like hear me like sing the praises of the IMF. So I don't like I don't know what. Lib loves the IMF. I really don't. I think they've actually basically done nothing but bad. Right, but I mean, but, but my point is, is it, if you look at the timeline, it looks like the whole, all at once, basically the British Empire just went away. I mean, not all at once, but in a relatively short period of time after conquering the world, they just unconquered everything, and now we're all still technically kind of conquered. But we just think that a lot we're of the, well, because a, a lot of a lot of that had to do with financial. Yeah, a lot of that had to do with post World War One and post World War Two stuff. Um, actually, a lot, a good portion of it had to do with after those two World Wars, the UK didn't really have the strength even to yeah, hold the, on. The, to the, yeah, and the, and that that was that was the purpose of those is to yeah, d- like, destroy. If they, if they destroy if they, companies, get everybody onto the uh, Rothschild banking court. It's almost like it was the Russians and, that won that war. If they, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't disagree there. Um, mm. uh, but like, yeah, the, the UK, if they still, if they had had enough power after the second world war, they definitely would have tried to hold on to more of their colonies. Um, but they just, you know, held on to whichever ones they thought they could hold on to. Um, I think, do they still own the Falcon Islands? I think they do. Right. They, they beat Argentina. I'm not sure. They but. definitely beat Argentina in the Falkland Wars. Avuela, Argentina, Avuela. The 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 whatever the ANCAP president they have now. What's his name? I basically um, maybe I'm too jaded. I don't know that I really believe any of the historical revolutions or revolts or whatever are organically created. I mean, no. I think Haiti probably was. Well, the Haitian well. revolution where they, I mean, they did so much fucked up shit after. I mean, that's one people. that I would believe because they keep crashing tornadoes into them. Yeah. <laughs> Haiti, Haiti's like the only place I've ever heard of that has an actual Honestly. food that is made with dirt mixed into it because they're so poor and they just want something to if, if there's if there's one place that that needs that 
that needs reparations for slavery. I think it's Haiti because did you know that yeah, Haiti but, actually had to pay? They had to pay France. They're still paying France. After yeah, but we, we can't ever support that shit because you know it'll just go to the Clintons. <laughs> Hi, boy. Right. Yo. I don't have anything particular to say. I thought I'd just join this uh, conversation. Mm. Why well, not? Welcome. Thanks, uh, John. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not like super well versed in this stuff either. It's just that, you know, just like Flow State, whenever I hear a mainstream narrative, <laughs> uh, I'm not, uh, you know, and somebody just pouting that. Look, are pouting we, that are off. we narrative anymore. I, I, so. I don't believe I don't believe mainstream narratives unless I think they're right. And okay. I usually and think that, unless they go with your bias because you went to school for it. I mean, okay, really. I'm gonna I mean, go to bed. Yeah. But I'm gonna yeah. tell you that basically the 13 colonies, like half of the population, were indentured servants that came over from Europe. And it wasn't a black racist thing. There was Every race that were fucking slaves. Pretty racist. Well, and then just serving and slave is two different things. Well, I mean, the, the, yeah. And, I mean, and, and, everybody that says, is, and it, everybody, everybody, that everybody was enslaved. Like everybody. I, was I actually, I actually country. lived in everybody South. Everybody wasn't Africa. enslaved in America, though. I was actually, I actually no. lived in South Africa when there was apartheid. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm so, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so you know, I mean. I mean, ra I mean that is racist, right? Apartheid, like yeah. this is where yeah. the whites. Go, by definition, yeah. <laughs> mm. But if it's based on it. it's no, weird. Even apartheid and slavery is two different things. But so, I mean, like the question. Uh, go ahead, boy. Yeah. I just what oh, is the yeah. distinction between slavery? Where does slavery start and stop? Right? Do yeah. you have to be? Does it have to be bondage, or can it just be um, freedom of? Economic freedom can it be? I don't know. I mean, it depends on if we talk what kind of slavery. We talk about chattel slavery here in America. We talking about economic slavery that's still I'm happening. Not, just, I mean, just in general, I guess. Yeah, is what, the, the the bad one that we're usually talking about is the chattel, chattel slavery. slavery. I mean, I think slavery. for what it, yeah. for what it's worth, I think slave all slavery is like morally if you, not good. God but I do damn it, live. Nobody asked you if you thought it was bad. We assume you think it's bad. Well, right. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm saying, well, we but I'm do saying, also I understand there is a scale on, on, on yeah. you know, chattel slavery seems to be pretty, pretty much right there at the worst. Oh, kind yeah. of slavery when you kind of breed people to be slaves. Yeah, so, I right. Right. I think that right. I want to eugenic. Speak to speak to and how yeah. many people were chattel slaves uh, again? Just so I mean, we can be clarify. Uh, what do you mean? In the millions, how many I, how many know. people in in, in I mean, world history were classified as chattel slavery? Um, oh, I think a lot. A lot. Yeah. 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 Now I will. Oh, so we're be disingenuous yeah. now. No, no. I, no. It's, the word is named is literally named after a European tribe. Um, there's lots. It just and there is still a lot actually in the middle. East, European. Right? Okay, so yeah, the word slave comes from uh, the Slavs, but they were not chattel slavery. I think they were. I don't know. They no, were not. They, well, are you it, sure? It, 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 no, I'm well, sure. It, it, yeah, yeah, I'm why, sure. why? You just want to be like special? No, that that's true. Yeah, I don't want to be special at all. I, I so don't want to be. I, I, I rather not have the history of slavery be a part of my culture. Is slavery not related to being so in it, bondage, or is it related to being bred? Um, so I, if um, un, un, my understanding, chattel slavery is um specifically referring to like the um. The ways in which people got into slavery and the um uh i, I think it, it was like the, which they were kept enslaved and, yeah, and they, bred to be slaves it's specifically like it's a heritable thing like chattel slavery is like you're a slave your kids are slaves like there so are in athens like, in ancient athens if socrates slave had a baby was that baby a free person to a slave mom uh if the if the if the father of the baby was a freeman, then I believe the baby was free. If the father was a slave, then they were a slave. I, it's it's complicated. Uh, slavery in the ancient That's world got complicated, weird. right? And then people it, started living out of the city bounds, and uh, yeah. Yeah, sl slavery was weird in ancient times. Like it sometimes it was really bad. Sometimes it was slightly less bad than like other forms of slavery. Sometimes it was actually. I, 
sometimes it was like just debtor slavery, which is more, like, more like it's more like modern. I, I, I just it seems illogical to me to, to think that people who disrespected human autonomy enough to enslave a person at all would then have respect for the person that so, baby of that person. Well, part part of part of the thing is that slavery um, was a in, in like sort of human history. Slavery was a moral advancement because before the invention of slavery, um, what would happen is your tribe goes to the other tribe and and you kill everybody, and then that's that. Uh, and then what people started doing is just killing some of the people and then taking the other people in bondage with it, which is morally. That sounds more pragmatic than moral. It is pragmatic, but it is morally <laughs> less bad to take people as slaves than to murder everybody. Yeah, but they don't get morality points for that. Yeah, that's, that's not, the, the, the morality like, is a byproduct. Like like no, no, it's I'm not, not like you get less points. Point. It's not like we're going to kick you less dead before. You yeah. know what, though? It's. Speaking of morality points, it's been a minute since Lib has denounced all forms of slavery. Lib, could you go ahead and just refresh her? So yeah, sure. Know. It's a refresher. I don't know. Uh, slavery is immoral. Um, oh, okay. I'm glad. And you how do you justify that? that? Um, <laughs> I like that. My my axioms. I believe that. Oh, your you, axioms. Okay, yeah. dude. Okay. I mean, so, so, well, that's how that's how everybody I mean, justifies. Axioms. I'm, all, I'm all moral beliefs. His axioms are defined by his logo, I think, by his avatar, right? Yeah, I think that John is taking a jab at, at how and how can morality come from anything yeah, but God. Objective morality, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but the God. thing is, is that all morality that is subjective. If you want, and then you call it morality. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. John, who, did, who, who makes your moral decisions for you? Who makes my moral my moral decisions? You're a moral act actor in this world. What do I, so. My base. Well, we're asking about justifying morality, not by how you well do more. How you uh, in, enact morality in in your life. Okay. Well, every, you every, be, everyone. Uh, yes, I know. Flow state. Every one of your actions is ultimately on you, and your yeah. own discernment and your own yeah. certitude is on you at some point in a base level. But we're talking about justification. Okay. But your justification is also just what you decided it is. No. Yeah, you decided to follow the Christian God. Yeah, I decided to to, to follow a certain moral code. Yeah. Yeah, ju justification, That's not justification. Must, it must be relatable to the to the real world, right? It, it cannot just be a fantasy. That 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 would be. Well, then it definitely can't be God. Oh. Hmm? It's a joke. I mean, I I I think John, I'm a theist. I didn't get it. Laugh. Well, I, I, well, I, I mean, this is. Just, I, didn't get I don't, time I don't know if you guys have talked before. Yeah, John and I have that. butted heads about this, but. Um, yeah, and you got fucking would, owned the entire time, dude. John. <laughs> God not existing. <laughs> Literally default I know, to I was, I was, I was Oh, did you see the well, post? Are you over here because you saw. I, just before I started the live, I put up a post. Actually, I stumbled across a clip um, or a short that I hadn't even seen that Speakeasy put up. Um, where I actually basically have this exact conversation on one of his panels with uh, Jim Bob and uh, uh, who's the yeah, crucible you, guy, did Andrew. Get, did you get owned by them too? Um, no, they, I barely got a word in. They're, that panel was chatty, chatty, oh, chatty. Oh, I, I know which panel you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. Um, they, they got the, you know, Andrew's there or whatever. Everybody gets excited. Yeah, Andrew and, and then Jim the Bob's also excited. And they were really going after what that one dude, like, Messed up or whatever his name is. Oh uh, yeah, because because he, he just he doesn't even but, know what argument is. But I saw that short and I'd never I hadn't I didn't realize he even put it up and so I did a post I, where I reposted that short and then basically said I still stand on this point um, and then I tagged Easy and Jim Bob and and uh, Andrew. Oh, is John one of the Ortho Bros? John is an Ortho Bro. Ortho Bro. Oh Sick. yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. tell, tell the, me the, the head bobbing off screen really helps that little. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the ortho bro phenomenon is very interesting to me because I never met an orthodox person ever in my life until YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it is a it is a new thing because orthodox isn't a American no. thing. It's a it's an Eastern, you know, it's Eastern Orthodoxy or whatever. It's very Eastern, so it's very. Uh, not I didn't even know what orthodoxy was. I, I mean, thought it was I thought it was just Protestantism and Catholics, and I was like, 
Well, orthodox pretty much just means hardcore, right? No, the, the no. no, the Orthodox is like the Russian version of the Catholic Church. Basically, the, there was the original church for the first thousand years or whatever, and then what the Catholics changed, started doing the Pope thing with Vatican uh, one and two and all that stuff. I mean, that came years later, but um, they started adding stuff. So the Orthodox stayed the same. Catholics kept changing things and added, you know, the papal supremacy and. Don't yeah. question the Pope. And then from that, that's why there, Luther had a problem, and it was split under Protestantism because Luther had a problem with the Catholic Church, justifiably, because... Wasn't, wasn't the straw that broke the camel's back for the split uh, iconography? Like, it wasn't even something big. It was like iconography. Yeah, the, on a, the iconoclasm. Um, yeah. Are you talking about from catholic and orthodox or from yeah from, the, from catholic catholic and orthodox like because there were a bunch no of no i mean uh that wasn't i don't think a big because they, they both believed in there was an iconoclasm where it was a big question for a lot of people yeah but i uh, iconography was there since the beginning or whatever yeah. and catholics also affirm iconography it was mainly the filioque way um which is like the uh father and the son having oh, it's, a I remember this. it's yeah. the filioque oh, way that, and um yeah freaking papal supremacy or whatever because... yeah yeah the papal supremacy was honestly the, the bigger thing yeah all, all i know is that uh, uh orthodox icons are way fucking cooler than catholic icons um, well yeah because, a, yeah yeah i had yeah. a i had a i had a teacher um my rhetoric teacher at my school he uh converted to orthodoxy and he actually brought in his um what are they, are they called priests? I can't remember. Father, father, what is father. iconography? <laughs> uh, I'm smooth it's, brain. It's the 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 little like pictures of saints and stuff. Um, we just yeah. went over pictures of saints. There's some fucking dope shit here. Yeah, there there is some yeah. dope shit. Um, that saint but, that you showed that that looks so much like your grandfather. Like <laughs> he could be your grandfather. He could be. Your <laughs> but um, Saint that, from Stasius. I was actually really upset because that teacher um then got fired. Uh, from that school because he converted to orthodoxy because it was like a reform. Yeah. Are they better than this? <laughs> I mean, they're they're usually yeah. something like that, just in a in a yeah. The, box. the West, the, the yeah. The thing is, is like um, the West or whatever. They're more like flagrant. They're more about like the ima ima being imaginatory. This is Orthodox, the Orthodox, clubs. Orthodox, what, What's this that? guy looks like? What do you mean? There's something wrong with my head. <laughs> he's still standing he hadn't even dropped his hat well that's that's beckett i does actually i do have a question does orthodoxy do they do y'all um uh, uh share the same like list of saints or is there like a different no there they, i mean there is uh some, some overlap say, some overlap yeah. because of the first thousand yeah. years or whatever but yeah. from from then on it's not it's not the same especially because a lot of their theology and their philosophy or whatever has a lot of problems like uh they they really like uh, augustine or uh, yeah Aug that you know the augustine yeah. No, stuff. No, no. They, I, yeah yeah they 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 like that and they kind of go with their thomas mm -hmm. and, and all that thomas we don't Aquinas. yeah a, a lot of our, we don't really uh, yeah we don't yeah. i mean like they're interesting philosophy but uh, uh mid theology yeah uh, and it, it's a lot of it's just to like reaffirm that the Pope's the bomb. Yeah. Um, and also, <laughs> is, there, is, there like the... Who, is there a Pope in the Orthodox Church? No. No. The, there po is a... the, the, the Pope is Jesus Christ in the, in the Orthodox yeah. Church. I mean, there... how, what's the what's the top of the uh, stru authority structure? Is there like a. Uh, the, Pope, it, they're, they're... The, Pope, the Pope literally means the boss, right? The, like, the, since Christ is not here, the Pope will be here. Well, that's, that's the that's, that's the Catholic that's the function. That's, I mean, yeah, the Catholics yeah. That's the function make a lot of ju justifications for it. They call him the Vicar of Christ, and basically, yeah. he's infallible whenever he feels like being infallible. Yeah, and when in yeah. in reality, like for most of church history, the Pope the the Pope of of Rome was just basically another bishop. He was like an important bishop, it, but it's he was the just first first bishop. among equals. So he did yeah. have he, him and like one that's of, that animal firm shit. Yeah. <laughs> They, Actually, they had, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that yeah, sort of. Yeah, you know, because he they Substitute. basically had similar things. So, um, what what do they call it? It's um, so the top of the line, I would say, what is it called? Freaking, Patriarchs. Uh, 
Yeah, a patriarch. There's like a, num there's like a number it's of a specific, patriarchs. It's a specific word I'm trying to think of. Oh, but, is there? Okay. I don't know. But, you know, they do a lot of their own uh, yeah. linguistics or whatever. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just first among equals. It's all um, within each church body. There is a patriarch, and each of them are equal to each other. And the Pope used to be first among equals, yeah. but that doesn't mean he didn't give any special privileges to yeah. the Pope. It was it was just like a more of like a symbolic, like traditional thing. Like, oh yeah, you're the the Pope of Rome. You're the you're you're the Bishop of Rome. You're the guy who is like uh, Peter had your position. So like that's cool right. and all. It's because like... and it's because Peter was given the keys directly by yeah. Christ, and uh, Peter was first among equals of the apostles and it just his church was the Rom roman church and it's just had it was more like location yeah right? I, because location not really is i don't know it's it probably just church was the roman church is not even a real issue but i cannot fucking stand the gas or like first among equals what the fuck is that shit that's not a thing well, it, it, feel, yeah. it feels like it's gaslighting because maybe it is. I guess it probably, see, it's like it's like a no, see, it's, it's like a, it's a very logical thing to uh, to arise. It's a very logical concept to arise if you wanna if you are creating a community. If you create, well, a hierarchy a, is logical. Well, it's yeah. not even. I mean, yeah, yeah. and so, and so uh, when you're, uh, let's say you're on the run. It's, it's right? probably just me being pedantic. Let's say, let's say you're on the run and you meet out in the field where nobody goes, and like, okay, we're all. You know, we're all on the run. Glad we got away. So how do we how do we set up this thing right now? Right. I mean, that's that's basically what I'm thinking of. Charge. And yeah. No. 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 I mean, like part, part and of so, it. Is and like, so you're all together, and 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 like, but you need somebody to take charge, and um, you know, because that's the most. But it was it wasn't even that because like I if I'm if I recall correctly, the whole part the whole point was that the the bishop of Rome doesn't actually have any actual power over the other bishops it's literally just like a tradition thing like a oh you occupy a space that is special within our like humans love tradition okay that is like our shtick we fucking love that shit um do and, we right I mean, that, yeah. th there's a reason why there was ecumenical it is ecumenical councils it wasn't just yeah. the pope saying something yeah. otherwise and, and, and a lot of and a lot of the catholics try to make that argument that uh but look they went to the pope for everything but all the a lot of the councils were put together or called by the emperor yeah and and then the uh then all the fathers and all the all the patristics would get together and have a council and then form the canon and the bible that we have now yeah. and uh oh that was my ancestor constantine you're welcome <laughs> <All> right <laughs> I'm still waiting for my tithes from most of you, by the way. I mean, how old is that? How old is that mitre that you own? Um, oh, oh, my, my Gramps Constantine, Grandpa Constantine. <laughs> Grandpa Constantine. Just, you know, just great. I don't know. It, it's something like a hundred fucking uh, great grandfathers or something. But see, see, John, um, here, we can, we can, uh, uh, yeah, Boniface. Fucking, what a Chad. This, this is, what is the Chad is fucking saint. <laughs> this is how you will look like in uh, in ten years, uh, Flos. I need a I need my I need to grow my beard longer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Richard could look like this if probably. You convert, this is what you could look like. I'm doing. <laughs> it's like Brian O'Shea is near this level. Yeah. No, no, no. This guy, this guy doesn't smell like piss and live in his car. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, John, why couldn't we have gotten off on this foot where you just shit all over the Catholics? So what's right? the yellow stains yeah, about? Yeah. I mean, if yeah. he doesn't. Uh, drink the piss. What's all, all the yellow well, stuff? That's, that's, that's just low hanging fruit, you know. It's it's Matt's easy to, to to you know. I mean, it's not as Catholics. It, it's not as low hanging fruit as making fun of Protestants, though. To be fair, uh, I, I mean, yeah, but I mean, Protestants they need to be they need to be put down a couple pegs or whatever, man. Well, only a couple. We live in so, America, all right. <laughs> yeah, so it's so it's so prominent here that we have to you have to combat it because yeah, this is why you got you know. Yeah. Uh, religious tribalism is a beautiful thing. Is it really tribalism if if I want to take all of them down a few pegs? Yeah. Damn. Because <laughs> you're not in their tribe, any of their tribes. Exactly. I'm. I'm just running. You're not. Yeah, and you're not. You're not in a tribe. You're. You're a lone wolf. I'm you're a out here stunting, man. I mean, not really. I, hey, look. You don't I don't have any dogma. A, Weirdo John I'm likes to do the little mocking right? thing got, because because nobody wants to join his fucking cult. 
I'm just gonna. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm gonna, Nobody I'm gonna wants model. to join your cult. You're the. You don't I'm want not. Invi- well, cult, I am, dude. I'm not inviting people. I'm just saying my cult has cheaper tithes than anywhere else. Five percent. <laughs> I mean, my cult has no tithes. Base. And I don't give a fuck what you do after that. <laughs> Sounds like the Pope. <laughs> um, I don't know. Although I, I might adopt this 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 bro's imagery here. I mean, honestly, of all the saints that you could, I have the I have the honestly. axe and the hat. If yeah. I had a beard, I could do exactly this. Boniface Elise was kind of a badass. Like he went he went into a bunch of Germanic tribes that really fucking hated Christians and uh, was just like, yo. This I wonder tree- why they hated Christians. I mean, fair, but. <laughs> You know, I mean, they they were they were sacrificing babies and shit. Who cares what they think? Well, I mean, that's sure. Of course, they were. Some of them. We were had to kill issues. them. They, I mean, we had to kill them to save their babies. <laughs> good, good makes sense to me. That holds water. It kind of depends on which ver- which ones you're talking about, because like it, the the human. Isn't it amazing how all through like, history, like we got the good guys, say, like. There's all these bad guys everywhere killing babies and shit. Even in Iraq recently, during the wasn't that one of the claims during the? Oh yeah, that was one of the claims. Yep. It's almost like there's a playbook and it never changes. I mean, human sacrifice was a part of some of the uh, uh, pagan uh, sects, but like not all of them. But especially like the um, God was it the Picts? I think the Picts were like. I don't think it was. Just like. Just like you question flow state, all of regular, you know, mainstream history, you you should also be questioning a lot of the mainstream history of of these things because you're you're just like oh well the because that is the mainstream narrative. All oh, the Christians are evil, killing everybody. Look at the Crusades and all this stuff, but you, you don't question that mainstream narrative. What that people were that, that the Christians? The I, I question ones that don't make sense. The Christians conquered things, conquered countries. And, and and what I hear is that, well, the people there were killing their own babies? Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe that at all. I do not at all believe that, that right. one country I mean, that one group of people religion, conquered like, another people, and it's okay because they were bad people that killed their babies. That's, that's a narrative. I mean, that, I mean that's, that, that, that's uh, known uh, propaganda. To For me, the right. record. They killed their babies. They're, well, they're cannibals. Christianity has been the biggest babies. country on earth for a thousand years. And how many abortions are there? That's not and, and well, and, uh, yeah. And what and what Christian what? sects allow that? Well, some of them do, but mostly Protestants. But I mean, this is arguably a Christian well, society. We're not we're not talking about Unitarian, you know. I mean, no, they're like uh, they're def- they're like actual product, like mainline Protestant sects that allow for um, what the uh, cults. No, 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 not the I mean, this... No, I'm talking about like, uh, like Presbyterian. There's a, I can't remember, Reformed Presbyterians that allows for not all abortions, but they make do make a lot of a, a lot more allowances for abortions than other. If you were to look sex. at just the, if just the biggest, what's the biggest religion in the U.S. and Methodists do. It would not be it would not be inaccurate if I were to say, this is a Christian country, and they. Allow the killing of babies. If we were reading history, if we were writing history, that could be stated, and it would not technically be inaccurate. Oh yeah, in terms well, of it's like, not, I mean, if 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 we had, if we were, if the government was, you know, if, or, or, separation the, of church and state, and it, there wasn't, the, the, it's completely secular. At this but point. anyways, I've, I've, I've walked off of the the original question is why don't I question that history? Because the narrative that I'm hearing is the same that the conquerors. Conquered the conquered, conquered the con- God. That's, well, that's just me. history. That's just yeah. how history works. Yeah, that's in every that you could on right. either side. Right, right. Yeah. No matter what side. And I, you, I you always would, believe. Yeah. I always believe the conquerors did the conquering for selfish reasons. Always. Yeah, usually, actually, not including Pope Chad. Usually, the religious reasons were just like uh, a priori justifications. Um, well, and that's and that's what I was saying is the the problem that religion presents is it gives a default to authority for all all moral decisions. So you got Pope Butcher here, uh, 
Well, I mean, doing terrible what, what, things. Do you, what do you think we're appealing to? Are we we're appealing to like God? You're, a you're bunch of random to the, people. We're we're appealing to yes, a yes, specific book that hasn't changed. It's very it's very historic. It hasn't changed. It's one of, it's, it's one of the most historically okay. Uh, like that's at, fantastic. That's fantastic in history. Fantastic. If you want to deny that, you have to go ahead and deny like the Odyssey. Okay, and all throughout history, the priest class has usurped moral authority from people, from individuals, under the claim, uh, under the, uh, the fucking, I'm losing my train of thought. Well, that's they said they know better than you, right? They're, yeah. they're, 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 compared they're to Bible giving up their moral judgment. But that's just, it's just everything. There's not, there's no, no way to, you don't, you don't, you, you don't get out of that. Just um, by, by just well, denying no, everything. I'm trying to give you it. moral authority back over yourself. That's been taken away from you. Everybody has like their own moral authority to choose which moral code they go with. But you, but you, but you don't get out of it if you just making up whatever moral code is not even morals. Yeah, uh, I just guess I'm saying yeah. that. Yeah, yeah so it's you that God it's made you. you a world. You're just saying pragmatism. Morality is pragmatism. Yeah, yeah. It must refill. Yeah, it, it must relate to the real world. You know, it, it, in the end, it come morality comes down to owning land and um, how do you say? Um, well, how how is owning land moral? Or owning or land or? and and uh, and and uh, toiling the land. That's how you say it, right? What? And, no. and well, how is either of those moral or immoral? That just well, like I mean, it, it comes down has to do with it's it's a social. Like you said, it's pragmatic. It's, it well, comes it down. No, to I'm, I'm saying it's not. I'm saying if you're a subjective, secular, subjective morality person, yeah, it's just pragmatism. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I mean, it's but there's but it's it's the unity of society, I'm, right? It's a societal structure. You have to have a moral moral individual within a society, or else the society the society yeah, will collapse. So how do you able to override their instinct to not like just butcher people? Well, like well, like you said, you I mean, subvert their moral what, boy? Yeah, it, once it's once the practical things are taken care of, the the morals, um, you know, come to a different level. Wouldn't you say so? I mean, morality. No, I don't think. I so. mean, I mean it's not just pragmatism or whatever. No, 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 what you're going to what you're going to yeah. appeal to is liberty and um, self -auton or autonomy or whatever, like self whatever that word's word yeah. is. Which so, isn't so a bad economy. thing. Um, not not in, not in general, but once you get down to the nitty gritty, like like we had this conversation well, before, the morality talking about somebody's be, trying to kill somebody, kill them. It has to be autonomous morality, though. If it's if it's imposed morality, so if somebody's it's not moral. if if you're mo like when we've had this conversation, and you just kind of like admitted to it. You we like I said then, and I'll say again: if your child, your mother, your brother. Is trying to kill themselves, and they're, and they're they're not like mentally ill or anything. They're just depressed. And they said, "You know what? I've really thought about this. It's been years. I've I've thought about this a lot, and I want to kill myself." Mm -hmm. You have you have no actual moral. You have no way to justify stopping them. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. that. Yeah, that paradigm doesn't. Disrupt that the does whole. Apply, that applies just because you can find a one-off thing that, that's like, not well, one-off. People kill like themselves it. all the time. Oh, oh, you yeah, have to like, stop them. Just because there's there's a, a conceivable situation that is left inadequately solved by that paradigm doesn't mean that there's a better one. That the better one is to remove that autonomy. So your 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 solution is just uh, like uh, there's nothing. You're nihilist. It's just nihilism. Yes, yes. If somebody wants to kill themselves. Um, do you think that do you think that anybody has not killed themselves because it was illegal? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I think that's, that's a case for making that, it illegal. Yes, it's, yes, it's yes, making a case people, for morality. There's people that will hold back because because it's, it's illegal. about should you stop them? Only, yeah, and they will only should go you physically about it? grab them and stop them from killing them. There is people going the only. Clip. It will are only you, go you about it justified in stopping them. Okay, so you believe that you should then? I said I would. I don't. I don't even give a fuck about justifying it morally. Right, so you can't. You, you don't even live it. Live, and we're talking about practica or pragmatism and practically and how to apply it in real life. You mm -hmm. don't actually live what you're preaching, because you would. Stop okay, so preaching. what does the Bible say about that situation? You would stop somebody from hurting themselves. 
Okay, where's the Bible in the Bible? And that, include, and that? And that includes like drug use, all these other things. It's not so just we actually we actually killing themselves, but our two our two more because we don't we don't we don't we don't put more uh, bodily John, autonomy over everything else. John, we both just did the same thing. We have the same pragmatic result in society. I did not need God. What are you talking about? We what? both stop. We both are going to stop that person down. I just yeah, recognize but, but you're, that you're, I you're preaching that to not you're you're preaching yeah. that you can't you shouldn't. I'm preaching. No, I'm not. You're I not. Just, you're I not living. Like you're not living what you're preaching. Well, then, the then get mad about it. Call me a hypocrite. I mean, you found right. It cool so that's why your system doesn't work. That's the flaw in the system. That's why pragmatism doesn't work as a moral system. Okay, so body autonomy. It, it, it works in it okay, works no, 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 a, lot on, of, a lot of a places. Body, but bodily autonomy doesn't work. It's out now because you would have to then not stop somebody from killing themselves. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, no. He's just talking about pragmatism isn't like a uh, fully so, so uh, we can, coherent because, moral justification. Right. God gave well, people free will. That's not the only people, example. That's the that's one I pragmatism right now, because, but... because morals are, are, are very pragmatic, you know, in the first stage. They can be. But, more, but morals are more ways. than just pragmatic. Just, you know? and just because free will leads to unpleasurable, undesirable results sometimes, doesn't mean that not free will is preferable. I think that the Bible makes that perfectly fucking clear. That's no, why God gave it free will. God gave it free will. Which God is, is harm reduction. And that's why, because you're saying the pragmatic thing is to reduce as much harm and suffering as possible. Right? Um, no, not, no, 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 I'm not. Not all. Not, there, I'm, not, I'm not sitting in God's place looking at all of humanity trying to assess all. Yeah, no. I have priorities. My if some if my kid wants to kill himself or something, somebody close to me, um, I'm looking out for me. I'm looking out for the people around us. I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna consider myself looking out for that person, even if they don't appreciate it in the moment. I recognize that those feelings do pass. Um, uh, yeah. You don't live by what you're saying. The system doesn't work. Okay, so free will is bad. That, that's not a moral. Yeah, I mean, you haven't. That's not, that's like, not like, you, pre you present me with an alternative claim, and we'll figure out if that's better. I What's have a better? Sort of the Christian moral system. Yeah. Based on the foundation of God giving us that moral foundation. It's not based off pragmatism. God gave us free will. Yeah, yes, just be, but, and just because we have a free will to choose the moral so, to do it or not, that doesn't mean. There's no morality because you have an option to choose between it. There, that, that doesn't mean there's not right and wrong just because you have the ability to choose the wrong thing. I don't I don't place the the designation of something that's good or bad or right or wrong. That's just a personal sentiment. Well, we're, no, it's a moral sentiment, and we're talking about morality. So, morality the the reason morality matters is because it's basically i look at it like the laws of nature but for human societies and basically it's as simple as if i'm going to live in a society with somebody i have to be comfortable i can trust them not to fuck me over you know the minute that they get the a shot there has to be, be pragmatic for them to do that right so that does it doesn't work to what ends it's that's what really do you mean <laughs> That's, that's, that's that not mean? truly pragmatic, and, and here's why. There's there's eventual repercussions to that kind of application of pragmatism that would come back to you and ruin a society. So you can't right, say that's on. pragmatic. Only if the society isn't based off well, of those those. Give me an example of how if if like negative rights, right? Um, how would that go bad? What's the repercussion? Negative, negative of, rights. Negative rights being that um, like a positive right is. Everybody has a right to health care, right? So they're providing something. Negative rights basically means Freedom you problem. you don't coerce me. You can't force me to do anything. You have to respect my autonomy and not force me to do shit. And that's what I view as actual morality is negative rights. Because everybody, because well, not I, everybody I, can, can. What come are rights? Hmm? What are rights? I don't know, but that's not that's sort of not a, even an important question. Well, um, it is. I, if, if your morality yeah. is based off rights, Look, then pot, you have like, to the, dis rights. the distinction is one is providing something. 
And not everybody can agree on positive rights because some people think you need free health care and free housing. And some people think no, you don't need free health care. There's always going to be, but everybody on earth can agree they don't yeah. want their free will violated. That's the furthest yeah, everyone can agree. Flo, the, the question, no, morality doesn't have anything to do with, with laws. or It has more to do with, with free will, actually. I mean, morality... You know, it, it, law right, is that, derived. I, law I mean, is derived from a general morality. Law is a perversion of morality. Yeah, you could say that too. Yeah. Well, yeah, not, but, not but, only but morality again, comes based. comes, yeah. comes from like, oneself, right? But anyways, Flo, the the, the question was, uh, uh, what what are how do what are rights and how do they relate to morality? Because like the question is about like mm -hmm. why. What, what it's i think I'm, that rights are, are not really anything it's not a thing it's a it's a it's symbolic for important things i guess values well, they're, they're of abstract life. concepts but it's it yeah. seems like you're, you were using the term right well, sort of like as a replacement for things that are morally the, 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 no i'm not talking about rights and I'm, i want i'm making a distinction between um uh imposing an action on somebody and just not having action imposed on you Everybody can uh, can agree they don't want to be imposed on. So if you have a society where everybody, well, that's not some, I mean, some people. If you want to have your free will violated, then it wasn't your will to not be violated, was it? It just means you're into kinky shit. Well, but the problem comes. Okay, so the problem is moral systems are only useful if they're applicable to everybody. Like if if everybody can adopt your moral system. And and it, the society which function is, that is a which, functioning moral system, which is why I think negative rights is the the functioning one, because everybody can agree with that, but then no further. Am I am I on the case with that, both of you? Just so I, where, I don't know where, where you're going. Because I think that we're on the same page. Yeah, just, just, go ahead, just go with your line of reasoning. Okay, because because you know. well, I'm just trying to like bridge the gap because I I don't really have much of a dog in this fight, but um because this is y'all's conversation but uh i'm not really i don't really care to have i mean everybody can everybody's free to throw in their ideas or whatever you know i or mean just... i'm mostly trying to help y'all reach some sort of understanding uh because no, we like all <laughs> well, I, I, well, I, I know what he it, he he is it's just you know he he's because... it's, it's, he's in permanent denial phase uh and you know just pragmatism because... <clears throat> the the belief that or the claim that we need God to give us morals ignores the fact that the individual is always making the choice. You have way. proper, you have, proper you have proper morals. You can have any moral system, and you can choose any one of them. And like, the you, like, like, we, like I've said, it's up to you ultimately which moral system you choose. Right. And exactly. that, that doesn't that, but that. But you don't in reality, to... there's only one truth, unless you believe truth. Is okay, relative. that's what all religious zealots say. But the reality is, is that religious people zealots, are okay. always and only the only moral system is people making the decision in the moment. They can give credit to God like it's a touchdown or something, but um, making a choice isn't morality. They have moral implications. Yes, they do. Absolutely. Yeah, your choices have more moral implications. Right. Yeah. But what morals? That's what we're discussing. The question is what Well, morals? they're the values that guide your actions. And we're discuss we're, we're the question mm -hmm. is what morals? And how do we determine morals? And even it within even within something, I'm sure that you and your or ortho bros, there's probably trivialities there that you have disagreements with. Just like Christians and Jews differ on the eating. I mean that, that's a, that's a, that's a that's a fallacy. That's just because the, fact, because the fact that people disagree does not mean well, it, that, that doesn't actually tell you whether anything is actually false or true. It just it, it doesn't. Just it that people it are just show you that they didn't come from God. They are in fact always. How, do, how does how does that how does how does that in the entailment? Because people disagree. You, you're saying the entailment of that is that God doesn't exist. I that, didn't that, say God not, doesn't exist. I said that these moral systems aren't don't exist as being from god because people god, disagree yes because the things that god made that's not how you come to truth the that's things that right. god made like free will you can't you can't take away somebody's autonomy um at least in their i mean okay, I major degree um i mean but you, can, you, can, you can say you shouldn't you can say that 
Like that's one of your. And then, you, and then you have to you, you have to justify. Unless that. you absolutely fry somebody's brain with like a lifetime of torture, you will never get rid of their individual capacity to think for themselves and what what they want. That's will. Their will yep. is free. It's their own. Doesn't free matter way. how much you restrict Moral, their morality. And then here's the thing: um, you're you're just appealing to God free gave us will, logic. Free will and free will. Uh, morality requires free will. I agree. Okay, but having free will in having choices doesn't determine which choice is true. And just because there's multiple options doesn't mean that there is no there is no truth in it. So you have, have, to, have, to, have, to, his... you have to at some point pick okay. pick something. <laughs> you have to at some point pick something. Damn, John can... keeps racking up the W's. I hate it. <laughs> well, it's because he's just, he's just a negating thing, right? He's like, this doesn't prove that. That doesn't prove that. Like, no, I know. no, I'm telling you, that, no, that's a, a logical fallacy. It's a yeah. logical fallacy. Like, there, is, there is no, no reason to think that John's God is telling him the truth at all. There's no evidence that your belief system is from God at all. And, and, and the best way to actually get to God is by negation. By showing that every other every other yeah. system does not work, I actually kind of like that. And, the, and, the, and thus, the <laughs> only thing to. left, but your attribution system doesn't work. Your attribution every other system, system does not work. work. Yeah, what's that? Hey, John, your, attri hey, your attribution system does not work. Attribution system does. You're work. attributing your morality to God, but there is no evidence that there is, because I, what do you I, consider evidence? <sighs> I'm not playing this game with you. <laughs> what a game! What are you talking about? It's, it, it, it's it's not so much a game as it is. I just like... I just I just put the burden of proof in. I I see how there's a. They must teach you guys that like. Listen, if you're going to ask for evidence, you have to tell yeah. me what you consider evidence. Yeah. Why do you Why do you believe that your morality is given to you by God? Because I was, want you to pause it. It was divine. It was divinely revealed. And that's the thing is you want me to keep making because we did this last time and you made endless questions of ma yeah. making me take positive claims over and over again. Endless questions so because is, you don't have to actually explain know we're system. playing because the whole thing is ultimately – You don't have to explain your system. The I whole have to thing is ultimately subjective. System. Yours and mine. They're both subjective. That was my point. In what way? I can show that. Please do. My my brain's getting tired from this, dude. <laughs> it's happening John, again, uh, Flow State. It's happening yeah. again. <laughs> John, I don't I don't think I've had the privilege of speaking to you personally before. My name's Richard. Hi, I'm John. How you doing? Hi, John. Hey, John. Uh, small, small, tiny thing. Maybe maybe 15, 20 percent of the time, you're expressively moving your microphone away from your mouth, oh, which sorry. makes you fade in volume and makes it hard to understand you. My bad. You might want to avoid that. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm just, just I'm just I'm saying you're animated. more understandable if you don't do that. <laughs> it's up to you if you don't want to be understandable. It's fine. Okay. Um, whether whether we say it's our church and and the dogmatic view of God's law, God's moral law, uh, we we still have chosen that because mm -hmm. um, because if say for instance your church suddenly announced. Hey, we had this breakthrough in prayer. The Holy Spirit told us that everything that we have said in the past about the morality of God was sarcastic. Not possible. You're shaking your head. Because we that's Why not that that, that, that's impossible? not Christianity. Is the, that uh, the, the canon the canon is sealed. There is you're, no you're more. You're not letting me finish. He I, I think that, you're good at argumentation, okay. but I really have not made my point at all. All right. Okay. So, so should that happen, would you leave the church? And that ultimately shows whether or not that that divine command is coming down to you or you are selecting what you agree with. Are you, okay, so I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you trying to get at like divine command theory? Is that where you're kind of going with this? Well, when someone, isn't that what, Line of when questioning? people say God told us and this is correct, that's divine command theory, right? Well, s sometimes it, I, I don't know, John, do you subscribe to divine command theory? 
All right, you have to describe to me what divine oh, command. Yeah. I mean, I think I I think I I think. I mean, divine I, divine command theory is that um, things are moral or, or immoral because God says them. So, like for instance, if not that it's a hypothetical, if God were to say that um, uh, killing babies is now moral, that it would necessarily now be moral to kill you're babies. The, sir, you're muddying the waters. You're making this too complex. It's not that complicated. Well, he's no, he's not, he's not. Yeah, I agree with Richard. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to describe what divine command theory is. So. I know, but it doesn't need to be yeah, described. We don't need it. It doesn't we don't need, need it. Well, that's what you're getting at, right? No, I, no it's not. That no, you put those words. All right. I'm, sorry, I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm not trying to muddy that. Okay, then uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying yeah. to muddy your your. I'm just. I was just trying to see if that more. I I, I I asked for a definition. I got a definition, and the basic definition is that. Whatever God commands is moral, and I would say yes. And but you're making assumptions that God has new revelations. No, and not things an like this. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not about new revelations. Rib, rib, sit down. It's a thought. <laughs> it's a thought experiment to to show how you're actually selecting this, how this gets selected. So so what I'm saying is. If your church, for whatever reason, completely flipped, would you remain in that church? Would you still agree with them? If if the church was in complete heresy, no, then we okay. we would be we would leave the church, and but okay, we wouldn't so, be leaving the church. We'd be, you know, starting a di a separate sect to keep the church okay. alive. Okay, but and, you know, how would you know? It Revelation was says that the hell, you know, hell can't never. Uh, what what is the thing? Um, Prevail. Whatever. It, regard, regardless, regardless, you you know, as a secularist, you're not going to believe any of it. But within my system, you know, because you have to take the okay. system as a whole. You can't okay. pick and choose the system. Right. Okay. So otherwise, so it doesn't the, work. So you said it'd be heresy based on what? Based on you can't have new revelation. So okay. If, so if, and and in it, in there's already uh, an established doctrine and dogma. That's the whole point of the. Ecclesiastical, the the councils. That's the whole point of the councils is to establish direct and established dogma that can't be changed. I, and I once understand. they change, that's why the Catholic. That's why it's orth. I believe in orthodoxy, not Catholicism or Protestantism, because both of those keep changing the doctrine with this exact thing that you're talking about, and that is the problem, because it is okay. turning into whatever. Oh, now there's gay priests. There's this. You can actually I'm, I'm be gay. Sorry. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, can no, everything can change. Several examples of everything you say, unless I ask clarifying questions, because I'm confused. Why do you? Why, who, who, who? Who do you think you are? I'm just asking you. No, to, I mean, like, do you do you establish the conversation? No, is that, but what, I'm is that what this is? You're no, very no, argumentative, John. I'm it's just trying to. Have it's a called a debate. It's about to become that. If you have to be John. You want? Do you want to have a debate? It'd be fine. What do you think this is? What do you mean? I thought it was a conversation. Do you need me to moderate it? It can become a debate, John, if you need somebody to moderate you. Okay. Okay, so all I'm trying to, without making a bunch of examples of it, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to assume that you're smart enough to understand what I'm saying. If you could leave the church because of what you think, then you also select or continue to select that church because of what you think. Ultimately, it's your subjective opinion. Ultimately, everybody makes their own just choice on what moral system and what what church they go to. Yes. Does okay, that mean your... does that does that mean what that the system that you choose is true or false because you make make a decision to choose a moral system? Right. If you're the trying answer? to say no, it doesn't, the answer is no, it doesn't. Okay. So then what, your argument is means... mute. No. It, it, it verifies that your original statement is absolutely wrong. You are picking what you think about God. It's not God sending divine commands to you. It's just not. No, God doesn't send me personal divine commands. Okay. Well, you base your morality in, if you base your morality in some church's understanding of God's law, and that's your base, you are picking that base. It is not objective. Whether I choose it or not does not make the system itself true. It doesn't give me the answer of whether that's true or false. Does right. it? 
Okay, so that's not how you get to. to so you're you're basically just saying you're making a choice about which moral system you want. Right. Yeah, or you. So is everybody. So, right. That part is subjective, the, but the part is that isn't not. subjective. The part that isn't subjective is truth itself. And so, I if see. there is a system that is true, there could you're be. not actually you're not at, there could be. So truth doesn't exist. So what are you arguing right now? What, what, Why did you just say truth what you, what doesn't you, what exist? You, what are you trying to come to if truth doesn't actually exist? I said there could be. I didn't say there couldn't be. Okay, so is there Your a Morality there? doesn't come from God. That would be the point that I started on. Yeah, you have right. subject, You Is the truth subjective? No. It has my, to be. The, no, morality is subjective. You just, no. you just proved it. It, it doesn't have to be sub the truth doesn't have to be subjective, but my view of the truth will be. Well, that's just true with any belief anybody has. Right. I'm making universal statements that are provably true. Where how do you get right. universal statements? These are universal statements that we are biased animals. How, how do you get like how do you get universals? That's a universal statement because of human nature. It's just true. It's just a truism. It's a talk. How do you get <laughs> it's just true? We're biased animals. It's just true. Yes, we are biased animals. I mean, I don't think anyone would argue with that. Okay, so because we are selecting our moral guide, whether it's personal or it comes from a church or it comes supposedly directly from God, doesn't really matter. So long as we're selecting it, it's still our subjective opinion. Yes, that's that's how every that's how any belief works. Okay, well, I may have misunderstood you, and I apologize if I did, but I thought you were saying there is this objective set. Yes. You didn't you misunderstand me. The, 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 tru is, the truth is objective. That you are your cut your, deci your decision to to, fall, to believe something is true or not right. is your subjective opinion. Right. But that doesn't make mean that there isn't actually a truth behind right. it, an actual objective no, truth. Fine. That's fine. There could be. And we some can argue about what you answers. think it is, but right. You know. OK, so now you are admitting that your view of what you're doing is your choice and it's your moral code. It's not God's. No. <laughs> okay, if, I, all right. If I, I mean, believe I mean listen, if out. I if yeah. I believe. No, God. you can stay up here. He's just being. Yeah, don't don't go anywhere. It was nicely made. OK, right. No, I, I meant I, I'd retire from that particular conversation. Okay. I won't. Oh, I won't OK. Continue. Yeah. All right. I like how you dictate everything. I, I'm sorry. I mean, are you objecting to me controlling my own life? What? Is that what you're objecting to? Are I you can like a choose straw to man stop machine? talking about something. No, you. I okay. I hate. I'm just gonna have a fucking white knight for an ortho bro right da, now. Da, da. Here comes Wood. <laughs> well, he got. Well, Flow State got his white knight right here. So you get. I get one right. I yeah. I mean, I, I guess. What he's. My point is obviously correct. You're just. That's uh, that's just no. objective, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> you just believe okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we have white knight in here? What are you gonna hang on white knight? Okay, so. The contention is that uh, uh, Richard is attempting to demonstrate that John's uh, 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 truth, capital T truth, is subjective. However, the, the problem is that the line of questioning doesn't show that the truth, capital T, is subjective. It just shows that John's choice to follow the truth is subjective. John's contention is that that truth is objective, not subjective. Okay. And well, and the way to do that would be to examine. Like, but why? No, that's not right, though, because this whole thing started because of the claim that you need God to have objective morality. You don't, because God didn't give people morality, as evidenced here just now. Oh my God! That doesn't follow. That doesn't. I, oh my God! Okay. <laughs> the the the, pro, the, pro, the problem is that objective morality is a thing that is based, best argued from a right religious standpoint like it it is easiest to argue like it, it is uh, easiest uh, to get uh, a lot object, of it. objective truth uh objective rally requires an objective truth and if you you can debate whether truth is objective or not but if truth is subjective then there actually isn't any truth because it's just relative Let, there's, there, then there's 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 no like 
differentiate break that you can't it's just there's no actual truth which we know isn't true well, well, because sorry when, when, when i say capital t truth i'm talking about like morality as in like objective morality um uh, objective morality I, I would argue is 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 best argued from a some theistic standpoint uh i, I don't think that it's very easy to argue objective morality from an atheistic perspective. Well, I don't disagree. Oh, no, with you can't. That. You that's, can't. That's correct. Yeah, that's you can't. Yeah. Um, uh, and that's why I'm saying you, atheism doesn't work. Like uh, but, empiricism doesn't work. Doesn't it's, work. You, it's 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 more that like morality. Uh, to, like, you can't get an ought from an is. And if, and if all there is is, if it's only is, and that's Brojo, all you have, let me see your camera bids, before I bring you up. You can't get an ought from an is. Right. You you don't have the universal ought is the claim. And you saying you don't have you don't have any universals. That's what I'm saying. You don't have any. Neither universals. do you. You're just claiming you do. You think you do. You well, say you that's, do. That's, that's but... a different conversation than than whether or not like because like at this point you should be arguing about whether or not uh, John's God exists. Why that, should we be doing that? I'm not trying to argue yeah, that at all. That's that's the contention. That's not Lib, where the fuck is your brain well, going? Be, because that's because never been the, to, the, to argument. the whole system has to, the whole paradigm has to be debated. And what I'm doing is comparing paradigms. Yeah. And I'm saying within your whole paradigm, you can't justify things like morality or truth, capital T truth at all. Yeah. And because if, it's subjective, and it's because your paradigm. I don't falls claim apart. to know the whole. My truth. whole, my whole system, which is I did choose my system, right? But my whole system accounts for all these universals and things like that. Your system does not account for them, so I'm comparing. That is correct. Paradigms. Your system accounts for things that humans don't know. That's part of the problem as well, Brojo. I'll bring you up when I can see your camera on. Hey, Lib. Do, if I could, do you know Brojo, just... Richard? I know a guy who calls himself Brojo. Do I know that Brojo? I can't prove that. One second. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good point. Um, hold on. Oh, here, Brojo. Give me a second. I'll throw up a banner for you. Um, okay. He's he's, he's mentioned he's mentioned in private chat things that shows who he is. That's that's a guy who's trustworthy. Go ahead. All right. I'll, you know, I'll I want to throw up my Jewish bullets, anyways. <laughs> That's pretty hey, What's up, hey, Flo Lib. State? You've been by my hang a couple. Of times. You've been by my, my hang a couple of times. If you yeah, that's the road, yeah. <laughs> I'll, vouch, oh, yeah. I'll vouch for that voice holder. Good hey, morning, hey Lib, you've, you've probably heard this before, and so if you already know the point of it, please feel free to interrupt me and summate and, and tell me why I'm wrong. Okay. I, I walk into Flo State's library. Uh, behind him is shelves of books. Some 30% of them have an orange tag on them, which uh, read the following, uh, the, the letters R-E-A-D. Now, okay. the, the rest of it, whatever arbitrary number I selected, I don't care, uh, have blue tags. And on the blue tags are the letters R-E-A-D. Okay. Now, okay. what can I determine from those blue and orange stickers? How many of the books... Has he the intention to read? How many of them uh, has he already read? Uh, well, there's a few different ways you can interpret it, um, but uh, I, I mean, you would need more information. Currently, you are uh, you don't have enough information to determine which ones he has read and which ones he has not read. So, I, I, so I would what say, what if I decide the sixty, the sixty percent, or, or whatever it was, is um, because he's a smart guy and he quotes stuff, right? Sure. So uh, I assume that those are the ones he's he has already completed. Sure. Then you would assume that he the blue tags mean that he has already read them, and the yellow means right. that he is intending on reading them. That works. Okay, that's good. Okay, so so in the same way, if I say something like. Um, I went to several Christian churches until I found a preacher telling the truth. Do you see how that's that's the same kind of bias that's that's not founded? Uh, sure, but that's not a de demonstration uh, uh, that it's all untrue. Is I think no, no, no. I didn't it. say that. 
I didn't say that. Okay, sorry. Can you repeat that then? I okay. Where where churches are, we agree that churches will argue with each other on fine points of morality. Yes. Sure, they'll argue each other over major points of morality too. So yeah. I'm I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call them fine points because it, it, I'm not trying to insult anybody, right? Sure. Okay. So so if, if they have arguments, it's because they disagree because they see it differently, right? Which means uh -huh. Which means that it could be true that one of them are correct. It could also be true that none of them are correct. That, it could be true that none of them are correct, but it can't be true that all of them are correct. Uh, right? in, in, the, in the case of, of um, well, yes. Uh, in, in the case of many Christian denominations, that is true. There are some denominations that are compatible, but not all of them are. So, yeah. Okay, so, so let's, say, correct. let's say that, that person A supports abortion yeah and and they can only find church one church that that supports that so they decide that they're going to the correct church sure okay do they have objectivity from god uh it depends on whether or not they claim to um let's say I, they I, claim to uh i then they're claiming to, but I, I don't like, they don't get objectivity because they claim it. Um, objectivity is a thing that's demonstrated. Um, but it's, it's genuinely what they believe God is telling them thereby it's objective. Well, they believe it's objective, but that's not what makes something objective. Belief in okay. something being objective is not, does not make it objective. Very good. I, I'm an ex atheist. I'm an ex Christian ex atheist. Okay. Like me too. I I've, I've been around. The yeah, world. I saw that, John. <laughs> Actually, I heard that. I heard your eyes hit the back of your head. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. I valid, John. I also, I, mean, I also roll my eyes at myself. I mean, it's fine. The, the, the thing is, is this isn't actually because what we're discussing is whether there is actually a truth. No. Regardless of whether I believe, it doesn't matter if I pick the. I could have picked the wrong one. Yeah, that's right. I, I, again, Anybody like, could have picked. Think... I'm arguing mean, with the thought process, not with the conclusion. The yeah, thought process John, is the together. You, you can't have one without the other. John, if what you're, 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 you're saying is true, then you're starting from the bottom arguments. up instead of a top-down you can You can bumble your I'm way. With, I'm standing with the fact that there is objective truth somewhere out there. Yeah. Okay. okay? I, can, and I, I have an no argument. And I'm, and I'm eliminating things that are, aren't that. Right? You're stating it as a fact with no proof, though. What do you consider proof? Some evidence of you tell this, me. What, what do you consider evidence? Yeah, this is one of those questions. What do you consider Empiricism? evidence? What do you consider evidence or proof? You're making the point. So, what is good enough for you to consider it? Yeah, you're making the no, claim. No, you're you're the no, you're the one making the claim. You're the one. No, asking you made the evidence. claim that it's a fact. You're that making the truth. You made. So that. there's nothing. There's no. There's no such thing as truth. So what are you arguing See, right now? Now this is a disingenuous argument. So you point. can't make you can't make sentences. You can't make arguments and debate if there isn't actually a truth to be had. It's it's sophistry at that point. Just because uh, Brojo John, whose name is yeah John, yeah, uh, John, just because Brojo asks for evidence from a person making a claim does not shift the burden of proof on to the one who's asking it does, for... it does they, they have to define the evidence if they want no. evidence yeah no they I have to define what what evidence your, is. rather i i think you brojo should probably define what he even just give examples of what what he would uh take as but isn't uh, it easier to satisfy how am i, that how am I that? gonna give you something yeah if the, i don't the, know what it is that i'm trying to give i, I would just, uh, make a simple definition of truth as uh what comports with reality well no no no. we're asking about like what what is evidence what what kind oh, of evidence, evidence. I, yeah what do you mean by you need evidence like um i will i think that it's fair to allow john to make that decision question. of what is evidence i think that's kind of unfair to put that that burden of defining well, yeah that, that's evidence. what that's what they th that's what they do all the time but he's come they, 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 they able to draw a conclusion an impossible burden of proof that they won't define and then yeah. say look i got you it's, it's not fair. no it's not um, what what is the thought process that got you here you claim you have truth or no truth how did you come to this resolve 
by the uh, by the app the the contract by basically having no other option no paradigm that fits that properly that gives all these universals that we know are true if you say truth is reported to reality which is just begging the question but i'll even go with that definition that means that there is some objective truths that is in reality and how we justify those truths some systems can some systems can't so you get rid of the ones and the paradigms that can't justify these things. And that includes empiricism and atheism. Why, so, so then why, you go where, then you go God. Okay. Which God that doesn't tell you which God. So, so you have why, to go why, through and then, and then eliminate other philosophical so systems that do don't we, work logically. Why, why and couldn't get it be rid possible of them and rid of them, rid of them until you get left? Isn't it possible or even likely that I don't disagree with that thought process, but that assumes that somebody that we know it. Well, but I think you could say that for any. You could say that for every, I, I, You could say that I we think, have. There's this impossible worldview and system that nobody knows and nobody could ever possibly know. We'll never know truth ever. Yeah, I, everybody. I think, but you but but don't claim, believe that reality. When, you don't believe. You don't live your life like that. But when you, you wake make up in the morning, claim, assuming the sun's going to come up tomorrow, if you that, make that it your claim, skin is your skin, that you here. know something that you don't know because are you, you here? Want, Listen, are you here? Do you know? Do you know that I'm a real person? No. Do you have it? Do you have evidence for that, sir? No, I so have it's all it's, it's, I have it's experiential called, evidence. <laughs> I have experiential evidence to, to believe that the people what, I talk what's to the, what experience? How do you know that that's real? How do you because know every person I've met off of here has How been you know a real it's person. not all on your head, right? We can do this forever. Um, exactly, what are you that's proving? the problem. And the only way out of that is to not believe in subjective truth. In the eighth, in empiricism, you're making claims that you don't. You're claiming to know things you don't know. You are. It's called faith. Yeah, you have to have well, faith. It's called, it's called faith a lie. Right now, it's you called have a faith. lie. You I have, faith. have faith. I have faith that we know individually what we need to know, and that God gave us a brain oh, so, oh, and common okay, sense. Right. God made us oh, right. Okay. Surely yeah, He could equip us with the tools we your need. Evidence? You don't have faith in God. You made a claim, you sir. Faith in man. The burdens on you. Where's your evidence? The gospel. I, right? I will reference Jesus for evidence that you believe in the in the gospels and or in the. What I'm telling the you is we're in the same boat. We both rely on faith for basic things. You think that it's all empiricism, and what I'm showing you is that within that paradigm of materialism and empiricism, it doesn't account for these universal things and these metaphysics that we all use and have faith in and use every day and pretend like it's real. Otherwise, you don't know if I'm a real person and that it's not all in your head right now. Okay? You can't prove that to me. There's no amount of evidence. There is no such thing as evidence for that. And that's why I ask you what evidence. And what you're going to say uh, is empiricism. And you can't if, justify something in material with empiricism. So you have to use other means of, of proving, which is fi like ph philosophical correct. things of the contrary. Like the precept, precept argument, the tag argument is that um, X is the necessary precondition for, or what is it, freaking God is the necessary pre precondition yeah. of knowledge. We have knowledge, therefore God is a. Um, it is it is a valid argument. You so can't refute it. it. Okay. I, I would say I would say that if we're trying to come to understand the the objective truth about something that's not physical that you can't find empirical evidence of. It would be worth taking into account the fact that there's a long history of evidence, almost perfect history, of people who claim they have perfect knowledge of God Just using correct. that for devious reasons. Doesn't mean we it that isn't actually a true story. It doesn't prove we don't, that we might not fault. have it. We might not have it. We might not have it. I don't if know if you're know, a real person. If I know I that this make and model of car sets on fire every time somebody drives it, faith. it doesn't mean that it won't but set you have, you're in the on same fire. Boat. So you you have know. faith? I have faith. John, I would love boat. to hear what Flow State, who owns this channel, is actually saying in a full <clears throat> sentence. Oh, uh, yeah. I, okay. Well, I, fin I don't know if anybody could hear it, but I finished it. I, I, I could not exactly. make out so what I you were It's saying. almost like I talked right after, right when he was done. And you're just a piece. Wow. Um, no, I he, don't even know what just, saying. He was just talking over you repeatedly. Every time you would get in a sentence part, he would just I assumed that I, I don't know how the mics sound uh, comparatively. So I assumed that it's, I could be heard over him. 
you you couldn't be by by okay. my hearing. I, I I could hear both of you. Um, I I don't, I don't remember know. what I was saying now. I don't know if he's if he's the example of ortho bros then. I, ortho this bros is actually one of my bad. favorite ortho bros. No, this guy, this guy, John is one of my favorite ortho bros. They've also got Toilet Bowl Earth, who's a raging nightmare. Of yeah, I, I don't, I don't. Wait, I, is, I, is, I is Toilet Bowl Earth an, an ortho bro? Oh my god, yeah, is he? Yes, I, he I, is. I, didn't, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I, yeah, yeah, I haven't really. I've um, heard not great things about him, but I have no clue. I can't. Um, I don't think Smith is an ortho bro, but um, I don't know. I do. Um, know. Andrew, Andrew sounds cool. Andrew's Andrew is the only ortho bro I'm I'm familiar with who I think well of, um, and his his tactics. Ortho bros have this weird. I don't know. I don't know where they teach y'all how to argue by asking ridiculous questions. And um, how is it ridiculous? I, it's not what is ridiculous? Yeah, that's why I asked. What, yeah. What's ridiculous? What do you mean by ask? You made the claim. It's the, Bill Cl it's the Bill Clinton defense tactic, right? What does the mean? What's the definition of the? Like, all right. If we're, what he was when, doing. Whenever you ask for like, like evidence, whenever you say, hey, give me okay. evidence, I have to know what you mean by evidence. What and I mean by evidence is whatever you think evidence is. I want that's, your. That's not, want, that's not how that works. Sure. You're, you're the one okay. asking okay. for it. If, if you're I trying to figure out what evidence, I would I would gladly define what I think evidence is if I was asking evidence for your position. What you do is you don't actually take a position, you just endlessly grill me and then get mad that I'm not My, I don't slip up. You yeah, you don't but you know where it's going. You know that you've got logical that you've got flaws in the thought process. The thought process doesn't make sense. That's why you you're fact, you, against you didn't you didn't you didn't prove that. You didn't show that. I think I demonstrated it. Richard demonstrated it. Well, I mean, it's just, you don't, Thank you no don't word. have to admit defeat Sorry. to be defeated. I mean, that's true, but I mean, you, okay. Show me. So, <laughs> did you just ask for empirical evidence? Oh my God. I don't know. We need to move on from this. We're, we're just going to get stuck loop de looing. I think it's been beat that's, to death. That's and, fine. And that's fine. Well. That's fine. I've made my points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you have. He, he, he did and make I, and I, still, I still love your flow state, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, John, maybe, thought, maybe one day you'll have faith in something, you know. Um, John, I thought I you have did superb. True. What's that? I thought you did superb. Thank you. I it's think I have that all of us operate in faith to He also love. thinks he's a woman, though, so. Yes, exactly. I mean, so, that's well, fair, but, you yeah. know. I'm just trying to prove that we're in the same playing field. Yeah. Because a lot of times atheists and stuff, they think that, you know, I'm not an atheist. You know, I know that I know that. Oh, I, wait. Are you I'm not, not an atheist? No, I just don't. I don't. Uh, I don't claim any institutions. Uh, yeah. You're a theist, but you're not. a. You're like a, a little T theist. What? I'm like just lost in the it's world. A, it's a, a deist or whatever is what you would call. Well, it. I'm a, just I'm a, a general. Deist. I, I I recognize the shortage. I acknowledge the shortage in my own knowledge. So people are asking me to identify uh, a way that I don't know the answer to. And my response is, I don't know the answer, which is the only, I think, honest response to that question. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But you, but you can't, you just can't get mad at me whenever I take a positive claim. Yeah. Well, I get mad at you when you take a positive claim and then act like it's a universal, obvious truth. Well, you're, not, you're, you're giving. You're giving yourself obvious. more credit than you get. It's not. It's not that it's obvious. It's that it is. It's uh, arrogant and it's just no, false. You don't. It's not what. It's 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 a it's a it's a paradigm. If, if, you, if yeah. it's comparing paradigms, I'm telling you that you can't take one part of it out, and then the system falls apart if you do that. So you have to have all of the system or none of the system. So you have to take the and that's why it's that's why I went to orthodoxy not random Protestant sex because yeah. their system falls apart because their paradigm is I faulty. That, and so, I would say that the confusion or that, that where I disagree with that is that I don't believe, let's say if there is God and he's created this stuff, I don't believe just like, I don't think an ant can understand calculus. I don't think I can understand the paradigm. Um, you can't see nobody can, nobody knows the essence of God, but we know him by his energies 
and by the revelation he gave us. You can mm. believe that it's the revelation yeah. and that Jesus Christ wasn't a yeah. God incarnate. You don't have to believe that. And there's many. I, I actually I don't, I don't, I don't believe. Right. I don't ever really believe when people make big claims and give me trust me, bros, which yeah. is what I consider revelation to be. Well, I don't. Okay, so like this is this is where like you could have like the actual like in the weeds conversation with John is like talking about that and like talking about those justifications for like the revelation for his specific interpretation of God and why that like that's where you could get into like the weeds and stuff where you could kind of well, get away from. And I'm not trying to necessarily tell John not. I'm not trying to convince John not to be what he is um, well, it, it, but, at least something you should at least take from the yeah. fact that after the two times that we've had the, these similar conversations i've never backed down once yeah I've, I've came on and i've said good points even if you don't like the points <laughs> yeah, they're salient points yeah. and i'm and i've never been stumped the no matter how many questions you've asked yes. so the system has to work at some level yeah you have yes. though been proven wrong several times and you don't acknowledge it but you've never actually shown me where I was wrong. No, that that is you didn't see it. Mm, no, I he, okay. So like, Maybe. if you're talking about this conversation, I he he didn't ever run into any point where he had to take a logically contradictory position to one that he had right. already it's consistent. Given. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, it, that's it's, just consistent at least. That's yeah. all. That's do you all, know, at least do, not consistent. Do you have a belief that you know moral truth? That I know moral truth. Yes. I have faith. I have moral truth. That's a belief. Well, yes, and but it's a. Why do you believe that? Look, the the reason that he hasn't been pushing that is because he refuses to explain the thought process clearly and without deflecting how he came to the conclusion because he knows. I did. I, I explained, especially last time. I explained literally my entire process of how I got to God, and I showed did it again. Well, okay. I compare. It's by comparing paradigms, and if one system and, doesn't account for things like metaphysic and universals that we do use, have faith in, and use every day, then if you and, can't account for that in your system, then that's a bunk system, and you need to find yeah. a new one. And I, what so, I'm saying is, I found a system. I believe I found the system that accounts for all of that, including truth itself. And so, and, and I, that the, is, and the truth is Jesus Christ. And, and as a person, I get my original That's point was that thing. this whole process of finding the truth was your subjective process of it. Yes. That yeah. was my whole point. That's how anybody comes to any conclusion ever. But that does not mean that the the truth, the moral truth that he believes in is subjective. It can be objective, even if his process to get there is subjective. It could hypothetically be objective, but his process to get there was not. So um, the, 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 there's that no reason to claim. believe that. Well, it, you're, what you're doing is you're asking for something impossible. And I showed it whenever I did, pulled the same thing on you and asked, what's your evidence? What's your evidence? And you couldn't say anything because it's an impossible task to ask somebody. It's and you don't, you, you don't, you don't, and you don't apply that. Same but thing I don't, I don't claim to, I don't claim to have God's truth. Yeah. And if the I fact of the matter is that we okay. both, but we, hold on, real quick, Richard. But we both yes. did. We both have moral systems, and both of us got there the exact same way. We both thought about it and then made our own decisions. But the problem, the problem is okay. Like you're, you're then claiming that because his, his process was subjective, that his moral system therefore can't be not, objective. No, I'm not. Luke. If I could. what I'm saying is that it cannot be. I was, God damn it. I'm saying that it's ultimately root the whole the whole decision making the morality the moral decisions came from him. He may have stumbled onto them um, onto God's, but ultimately the whole way through, this was him making his own decisions each step of the way. Yes, just as it is for me, atheists and Christians and Muslims, every living being makes the same has the same process for determining what is moral and how to act and that's a subjective one every decision is a subjective one yeah okay flow, not... flow state i'm gonna i'm gonna be just really rude for just just because i i love it, all you guys equally i've been watching brojo flip on and off his mute <laughs> 
What, would you please? Give oh me yeah, the barge in there, man. Don't don't wait for politeness. Thanks. Uh, I'm just curious. A couple of questions, Weirdo John. I'm I'm assuming you you say Jesus that you use the Bible as your um, reference for truth. Uh, what you, in in what way? Like I mean, I, do you consider do you consider the Bible God's word? Yeah. Well, no. Well, Jesus Christ is God's is the Word incarnate, but it is a it is a divinely inspired text. Yes. But you come to the conclusion that Jesus is is that because of the Bible? Uh, for that specific one, yeah. I mean, it's it's a, it's a you know truth. You don't just come to you know truth in one way. But but I do believe in divine revelation and what the words of the Bible are true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I won't deny your experience. I've had my own. I won't deny anybody their experience. But experiences are a poor way of coming to any kind of truth. But my thing is that we have a lot of claims of uh, text, holy text being word, words from God or divine. I'm wondering what methodology can we use to determine that a text is actually from a divine being or a God? I mean, how do we come to that conclusion? And the only thing I can see sometimes it's a lot, a lot of the conclusions we come to, especially in the West, is because of the culture we're brought into, where where we believe things through the through the through the lenses right. of our culture. Well, that yeah, that's not a good way of determining. It, it, it it's for one, it, you have to. It's a whole paradigm, so you have to take the paradigm as a whole. So let's so to in the creation story. So if you're believing in evolution and all the different a whole different creation story, it doesn't make sense. The whole the whole system falls flat if you believe and because there is a it, the bible is a veracity i think that's the word like a veracity like it's a very um historically um attributed text it's not just like some rain up they like the earliest thing in record or whatever it goes all the way back to um the first around the first i think it's like the first couple kings of uh israel hello are you, so you, did, you determine the yeah we're here i'm i'm just curious yeah. of the method you're using that, that it's you're it's using. it's a whole it's a whole thing so you it, you have to believe for for one for me if you want to say me personally uh -huh. it's by the denial of everything else and seeing the like you know flow state likes to do with denying all these mainstream narratives and understanding um trickery and deception and things like this that it, it's it, it's a narrow path like the truth is narrow the the path to christ or whatever god is narrow it says that because it's taking away all these falsities that you've assumed throughout your entire life from what people have told you all this stuff yeah john and but i don't think you assume something's this. true just because it's written down i don't think you assume that do you no that's that's okay. not no that's not how it works it, no no it, not just because it's written down, but it's not just written down. It wasn't, it was an oral text before then. It was an oral story. It's an oral, it's a, you, it's a creation story. So you don't have to believe the creation story. Histories. Not all of it was oral histories before, but yeah, the, right. the but, Talmud and most of the Old Testament was oral histories. Mm -hmm. uh, the Talmud isn't, is a old or later rabbinic Jew. I, that's not. That's just like a commentary. Oh, on sorry, the the, sorry. The first five books of the Bible. Which is... Yeah, but th there is historic for if you want to go with empirical, there is historical thing all the way back to the first kings with the tablets and texts. So we know that at least there was a story that has been around and told, and that is has a through line from the start of the book to to where it is now with the lineage and genealogies and all that. It goes all the way back thousands and thousands of years, all the way to the Old Are Testament. Interesting hearsay. No, this is like actual tablets and things they found in these places of the exact places that is described within the text. Yeah. So, and those these are historical. Yeah. These these aren't just these aren't just made. These are empirical, studied historical. You talking like the Sumerian tablets? Yeah, like like stuff like that, yeah. which is older than the Bible. And yeah, they're, they're, Gilgamesh. yeah, and all the yeah. stories are very, very similar. All those creation stories are very similar. Right. So what makes yeah. Gilgamesh not yeah. true, also, but is, the Bible true? Also, it is. It is worth noting, like Gilgamesh and a lot of these other things, um, 
uh, we have copies. We don't have original originals. We do have, but we do have copies. That's the one yeah. thing I, I would mean, but, say. Is every, I mean, it, it, they're very old texts. So like it's at any point in time, there in, in any history, you would have to deny yeah. it, like all of history. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's yeah yeah i'm not i'm not saying that that's a point yeah, but that's deny, one but empirical I'm, way to know yeah. that it's historically veracity. it's and then you have to go fil philosophically or the the uh the theology of it behind it of uh, the philosophy has to be logical and make sense that's another what another piece of evidence so there's the empirical evidence with with going with the, these tablets and things going way back when in these places that are actually described, um, all the buildings, all the different temples, they have evidence for these. So that's the empirical. There's philosophy that shows logically um, the theology works. Not all theologies work. That's why the, I chose the orthodoxy ones. I did choose it, guys. I did. Um, Let's take some from the Gilgamesh in the Bible, the Noah story. Do you believe it's a local flood or a global one? Well, it's a global. It doesn't say local, does it? So you, uh, you, believe, you believe that you believe that all human beings were wiped out, except for eight people. I mean, for for what it's worth, a lot of the Old Testament does use a lot of, um, and in a lot of texts, they use sort of like. But there, there, there is plenty of there's plenty of evidence of a flood. Okay, but I'm asking you: Do you believe in a global flood where only eight people were left to survive? Was it eight people? I might have. No been. one's like, no one like, like eight or twelve, something like yeah, that. Yeah, no one. No one's, like one, one, like you were than you Noah, three Noah, like It's Noah, his three sons, and their wives, and then his wife. So and Noah's like wife. Eight. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. eight. Do you believe that there was a global flood, and then only eight people survived? And, and and my other question is, how long ago did this happen? How would I know that? Well, do you believe that only eight do, survived? Do you, do you think I like? I think what? he's asking if you're a young Earth creationist or not. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I that's one of the ones I don't know. I don't believe in evolution and things like that. And I wouldn't see a problem oh. with a younger Earth. Um, because yeah. God could just like have made the Earth you know how it is and right. everything and then yeah and there is evidence of the floods and stuff like so you know it takes a lot of a lot of faith and then a lot of a lot of research you have to do your own research just like what well, i'm asking you do you believe only eight people survived a global flood i mean i don't know if it's eight but yeah sure i the one family i'm getting to got on a boat and gotten survived and the flood. Flood. also the flood it, it wasn't necessarily global. Like, I, again, like, I mean, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I don't it, know it's sure, but the, well, it kind of goes against the evolution. If he believes that only eight people survived the flood and he's a young earth ages, atheist, I mean, a young earth creationist, and it only happened a few thousand years ago, really kind of makes it hard to, to for the population well, we have and the different it, races it, we have so, now so, only so develop only a few thousand years. It, it, it does, assuming that you're, that you're assuming God a model. Does, yeah, like, it's you're assuming you 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 have presuppositions. Yeah. That no, I'm you're, assuming you're, you're putting survived. Well, no. And what does that say? What does that mean? God, it, it's God could, it's just a, so, Brojo, God could just you know make it to where it, it's possible to have that happen. Like so, then live. You know what the problem there is? Then anything is possible. It's magical thinking because God can do anything. He can make unicorns and flying pigs. But did he? Anything is yes. possible. <laughs> That's, that's not a sure, sure but like your problem, incredulity is not an yeah. argument yeah the um let me i want to point something else out that i forgot about earlier though um when richard asked about would you how would you handle it if the church flipped on its head and you said it's impossible that's exactly what christianity is though god already did it once if you're a christian he up, it upended everything one time already what do you mean by up ending? I mean, you have a trinity. It's, it's one God, the father, one God went to a trinity. Um, no. The Sabbath that's shifted it. days. No. The law was completed. Uh, that's uh, what, that's that's not the same thing. How, do, how as, does that how does that like follow? Yeah, with like the truth or falsity of something. Just yeah, God can change whatever. God he changed his mind. He changed, and everything that's within the point. Bible story. No, it's no, not no, like there's a new Bible. There's not yeah. a new Bible. Also, also God didn't. The, the there is a new God Bible. It was written even in a different language. The Torah got added on the New Testament, written in Greek. 
It, yes, it was entirely. I was, there was the Septuagint. God, you know what God, that is? God didn't change First his five mind. books of Moses. The, the fucking Written in uh, Latin. The New Testament is supposed to be the, uh, or, what, what did Jesus say? The He's, first five he came books the, of, we'll say that again? It, it was uh, Torah written in Latin. Oh, okay. Septuagint. And it's what, what, it's, what, it's what the, the it was a lot of most of the like Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, you know, a lot of uh, people uh, don't use the Septuagint, but Orthodox do because the apostles referenced it. Jesus Christ referenced Septuagint and the Deuteron Deuterocanonical text. So they're not as important as the, you know, regular scripture and canon. But, you know, to be fair, Flo, from the Christian point of view, there's references to the Mashiach, the, the Jesus Christ in the old testament and since they believe that he is the fulfillment all of it refers to christ right the, the, I, the, I the theophanies, that. like the you know um the angel of the lord jesus yeah. is jesus christ for, for, for they call him the, he called, they call him the lord not just an angel so but for jews at the time it would have been experienced as a basically an inversion of their belief in one god no, and a strict that's law that's not true that's not yeah, I'm... no the, 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 you can you if if you if you really want to interpret it that way you can there are definitely right. ways you can interpret been plenty it. of heretics and uh yeah interpret it as, 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 as they stomped out the first do of how do you think how do you think most jews interpreted the son of a trinity now? yes the, yeah the jews as themselves after the fact rabbinic judaism is not the same as well, Original. what kind of Judaism do you think Chris, uh, Jesus believed in? Do you... Jesus Christ? What do you mean? He, he is. Never mind. That, that that was the wrong question. Of course, you think he believed in the same thing as you. Well, he, he believed. He, yeah, he believed in the yeah. uh, Septuagint and the and the Torah or whatever. Yeah, but he is God. That's so, it. like, I don't know what. Uh, I do actually have a question that. I don't want to turn into a debate. I just genuinely have a question because kind of, <laughs> you, well, you, you, John, John, you brought up presuppositionalism, and I, I actually am curious. It, do you believe in the presupp arguments, like like tag and stuff? Yeah, I, or, I believe they're valid arguments, you know, and they they're a good they're a good argument for for God. I mean, there's many different ways you can argue yeah. for God, but I believe it's the one of the strongest, if not the strongest. Because it's on okay. a paradigm level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I guess that makes sense. I yeah. I don't know. I've I just I um. Do you know who uh? What was his name? Tur Turek. Frank Frank, Frank Turek. Frank Turek. Yeah. I had that you know, name he's, sounds familiar. He's a he's an apologist. He I I spoke with him one time because he came to the University of Memphis and I my sister wanted to go listen to him so I went and he's a he's a he's a big uh precept argument but he's a He's a Protestant, so it. Oh God, it, that doesn't make no sense. Yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, it does because I mean, the precept yeah. argument only gets you to. to um, it gets you. To just a to like a, a g general God. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Or, it doesn't even get you to like the Abrahamic God. It just gets you to a Creator God. Right. Um. But there, there is certain specific things that yeah. it needs for certain universals. That yeah. only works if there's an, and that's why orthodoxy yeah. works and is actually yeah. require. It, it can get you to orthodoxy in a way because the is essence energy distinction is necessary mm -hmm. yeah. for a lot of those universals. Yeah, it's the same reason why um, uh, precept arguments actually work for uh, Islam as well, but they don't really work mm -hmm. for. I, they work for it better than they work for like uh, uh, most Protestants. Like the the precepts like get you to. Like, don't get you to a personal deity, um, which I don't think. Uh, I mean, it it does because it the thing is, it's a an entire system, and it's basically for for a lot of those things, it requires a certain kind of god to have those universals work. Um, like you, you would have to go into specifics of like the essence energy distinction, because if you don't, it is unitarian, like Muslims. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I would, it would be good to go. Uh, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd have to go. go. I'd have to go. Dyer or something like yeah. that. Cause I've heard I'd, those I'd, arguments, but I'd, I'd, I'd have to do more. It's been like forever since I've even like thought about this yeah. kind of stuff. So it's yeah. I'd have to. 
I mean, um, I argue for it all the time, and I'm yeah. pretty good with just doing the basic. But if we want to get real specific, then you know, you know I personally some. think that David Silverman tore up Frank Turek. I it's not difficult. Um, uh, Frank Turek is like a fucking. He's a Protestant, right? Like you said. Yeah. Yeah. So well, of he's course, a, yeah. He's a popularizer. He takes arguments that he thinks are valid. He's not a philosopher, no, but he will argue for all. those that he's not. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, I'm definitely not either. That's for no. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's fair. But like this man will like write books and like try and sell himself yeah. as some like a super yeah. intellectual. It's, if anybody's I, like writing a bunch of books, I'm all, my red flag immediately goes off. Yeah. Like, roll what, what if they've written no books? <laughs> I mean, then well, I, mean, I have no red flags because well, then God's out. All right, I'm on your good side so far. <laughs> damn, <laughs> if they've read no books, damn. Okay, so they have to have read it. They have to have read no uh, written. written at least one book. That's what they. That's what they have to do. And if they're like written. chilling it all the time, and you know, they're like, if if they like, if they Not if much. their work is all like, it's always referencing back to their book or whatever. It's just like a red flag. Yeah. I guess if they don't have anything. That reminds me. I've been a terrible show. <laughs> this is Flow State, home of the $1 memberships is the best deal on YouTube. Um, buy one for yourself, buy 10 for your friends, make it rain in the chat. Um, also, as you can see, the ticker across the bottom. If anyone's seriously annoying the piss out of you, like probably all of us are to an extent, you can have them silenced. You can silence people in the chat. Uh, you can do all sorts of fun things. Uh, the the more information with prices and shit is in the description box below. Damn. Pro censorship flow. Am That's I pro right. censorship? Here I am. I'll censor the fuck out of anybody. <laughs> censorship for dollars. I, I keep trying to, to lower people's, I try to lower people's expectations always in all areas of my life, but no matter how hard I hammer on, on freedom of speech, like I can't get people to stop expecting it from me. John, I like the, that. I, I like that. I mean, if, if you if you try to lower people's expectations, that you will lower their um, how do you say uh, disappointment, right? There will be less disappointment. Yeah, right. no, no disappointment. Yeah. John, John, what's that W thing in the background? I was. That is my logo. I am a rapper musician, um, and yeah, oh. it's just my W. Uh, the O is like a wow, old, wow. Old weirdo W. Wow, wow. It's, it's obviously um it's obviously you know representative of butt cheeks and testicles and <laughs> yeah clearly clearly right. yeah clearly, clearly. right yeah he's his, his caught me. <laughs> you caught me man. He's, not, he's not hiding it no no, no. there's some man. subconscious thing going on there yeah <laughs> it's not pointy breast <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He's been teabagged all Maybe the time. It's a head <laughs> in between pointy breasts. He's been teabagged all this time, and we didn't even know. What, what does it mean dude. when you teabag yourself? What does that mean? <laughs> You've got big balls, or you're flexible. Oh my! Uh, weirdo John. Just for the record, I'm a theist. I believe that the Bible is inerrant. Um, I believe that it is not literally true, but figuratively true. That is, it's trying to say things and it's saying it poetically or cryptically. Um, and, and to properly divide the word, showing yourself a, a, a good student is to understand such things. That is a very Protestant take. Well, I'm not Protestant, but... Uh, uh, how, do you, how do you how do you how do you how do you determine your interpretation? Do you just, I don't just go with whatever you you think. I don't. In fact, I think if a person does, it's just within their own biases, which is the case I was making earlier. And in fact, what you have to have had done to you involuntarily is to be completely defeated in what you think is true. What does I that didn't mean? follow that. Yeah. Um. I, yeah. That's that's the process of like um, somebody that's always been a um, a NASA boy that goes through a flat Earth awakening, right? Something like that. Yeah. 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 You, you have to be completely defeated. It has to be outside of your experiential range. It has to be against your opinion. 
of course, there's always a chance, you know, like Gettier cases that you could be wrong for, or you could be right for all the wrong reasons that there, that's yeah. always possible. But yeah. the chances of that, of course, is very, very slim. But instead, uh, to be able to show that there was communication and that it was against your experience, it was against your mapping of reality, yet when tested is still true, just outside of your knowledge range. I don't know. Am I speaking in, in word salad here? Am I, am I, no, talking I mean, that right I, now? I, I, can't no, I made sense of you. I mean, I, I did. I, I, even I was able to make sense of you. Even I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what, not, is that, what, is, what is that actually like? Because it's not my first language. No, okay. no. So, like, what are you then? I, like, you're not, you didn't really, what? I mean, I'm independent. You're, you're, a, you're a non denominational Christian. That's that's a denomination of Christianity. Yeah, he no, thinks. Well, that, no, it's a and, it's and a so what group? It, it it actually the independent and like non-denominational don't really mean anything. They just mean you're not. You just don't, you know you don't appeal to any church or any no. authority or any interpretation. Well, I do appeal to a certain authority, and I believe there is an objective church that is correct. I just don't think it's on this earth. I think it's I think it's of heaven. I don't. Okay, I don't well, think there is a church to choose here. All right. Well, so that's the top cool one. Attitude. Top um, I, but so, like, I'm sorry. What would you say about attitude? I missed that. I said. I mean, that's that's a cool platitude. I don't. I don't. Oh, platitude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. I, I'm just trying to like. So, what is? Like, do you believe in like free grace? Do you believe in the essence energy distinction? Do you have like, like, what's your hermeneutic? Like, how do you? I don't know what you mean by free and grace together. Maybe you could tell me what that means. Like, at certain Protestants believe in free grace. I don't. I'm not sure about about that. Well, one I think I, I believe in deserved grace because the text itself proclaims our ignorance and you like did you appeal to the like the church fathers like the of the first century like the first couple do, centuries the patristics do do i value what they had to say no you don't value what the church fathers who gave you the bible say no yeah, they didn't give us the bible that yeah, that they, they, that would yes, indicate they, that wait you, yes, that they, would indicate that so the the, oh, the go bible ahead, Liv, we, cause you're yeah, going to saying, yeah, the Bible that we have today was put together by uh, several um, uh, uh, councils of a lot of the early church leaders um, who got together and uh, they pulled together all of like the uh, uh, potential like Christian writings of uh, writings of Christians, and then they through long debate and and discussion and I I, I don't even know like what other. Okay, uh, so here's the criteria issue with that. they put together the Bible they, that you use. They today. did not decide. They did not decide what was included in Aboriginal dream time of the Australian tribes. Yet, uh -huh. what's in the Aboriginal traditional stories is the Bible. It's the same stories. Not, I mean. I'm sure there might be some similarities of some of them. I, are you making an appeal to general revelation? So, okay. So do you, you believe that the Bible is inerrant, yes. right? Okay. That Bible that you believe is inerrant was put together by those early church fathers. They oh, were the what? ones who, they were the ones who like, they, they collected all of the different writings of many other Christians and they, put together because, yeah and, said, theology canonized it put it all into one book got rid of ones that um they were determined that aren't actual that are uh you know uh works of freaking, man. yeah that are well, fake yeah. that aren't that aren't real uh some, really some that are like bibles useful, some that are actually from the apostles yeah uh there, there were know. some that like they're like oh yeah this is like a useful text but it's not like in yeah, the Deutero oh, canons, God. like yeah. why why don't you like like why don't you have the Deutero canons? Do you, do, what what canon do you go off of, and how is it not arbitrary for your decision? Well, it, to, it seems that you're claiming that it's arbitrary, decided by church fathers and whoever compiled the Bible. It's not at all what I'm saying. Well, no, no, no. So the Bible could have been 
it, like that those decisions could have been guided by God. That is true. Um, but it is also true that the people who ultimately made those decisions that allegedly were guided by God were those church fathers that you just yeah. said you don't like. They're, they're inspired writings uh, no, that, okay, so that God did through men. The hidden assumption. I see the hidden the assumption. I can clarify pretty easily, I think. Uh-huh. You're, you're assuming that when I say, and I tried to make example against this already, that when I say the Bible is inerrant, that it is also the only word of God. Never said it. Said no, something no, no, to no, the no, opposite. No, 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 no. That's not. So you, you, I'm trying to. We're trying to understand why you believe that the Bible is inerrant, and yet the okay. people who put it together, the church fathers, do you think you don't like put any stock in the things they say? Because those are the same people who put together the. They, they are the ones who collected all of the books and figured out which ones through like you know they're, they're the ones that and, you know again, debated I, I and got rid of all the, yeah. the heretics that I, give I get rid of say, jesus christ divinity and they didn't get I rid did of not say i didn't say inclusive i did not say that the bible includes all of the truth i, I did not say that that's not i do not think issue. that's so but but like how, how do you what is there i believe is true they sure they could only select from what was there they uh-huh. did not include some things. Uh-huh. I'm okay with that. I don't take it as being the, all of the story at all. In fact, it says so. There's parts of the Bible that say this is not all the story. Okay, so yeah, now you're talking about like general revelation, uh, uh, which is, no, is fine. No, about special revelation. Wait. Okay, maybe I misunderstood. Isn't special revelation like... The, the Bible or like personal experiences. Isn't that special no. revelation? No, special revelation is only the Bible and other such things. Uh, then there's personal revelation, right? Like you get a message from God. That's personal mm-hmm. revelation. But and why then you... there's, and then there's I... general revelation, which is yeah. like, I see trees and they're amazing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I understand this distinction. What I'm, what I'm saying is, why is the Bible special revelation if the pe- like, okay, I understand the idea that you don't want to be beholden to what a bunch of people uh, 2000 years ago thought because some of what they think you might not agree with, but like, those are the same people who put together the Bible. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, and you put no stock in what they say. Right. Except for the Bible thing. Except no. for when they put together the Bible. What, what no, is, I don't care what, it, what they say about the Bible. So how, how do you determine something is in, uh, divinely inspired or not? Well, it, it can meet that certain was my criteria. question to you. It, it has <laughs> to be coherent within itself as a minimum, because if not coherent within itself, you can make anything out of it. You can just exercise your personal bias all over the place, right? Sure, that's, a, that's a very you, low you, bar, but sure, that bar. We need, I am starting at the lowest bar. bar. Good job, Lib. <laughs> uh, does morality exist without God in the poll uh, 63% said yes or can it exist without God 63% say yes 11% said no and 23% wanted to remind people to hit the like button oh cool <laughs> democracy wins uh, okay so yes that, Only that's among a minimum church fathers, yeah, but... we need the aristocracy to tell us what to believe Good. That, that is if something's inconsistent within itself we can dismiss it. It's not true. It can't be true. Okay, so that that is a minimum bar. Yeah, and from but within there, but within itself, like it's not established as a canon yeah. yet. And what we're determining is how we determine what's canon, canon. and what's not. Yeah. So you can't re- it, things- you can't reference it if we're deciding how we got it. Uh, yeah, I, I just hadn't gotten to it, and I appreciate intelligent people want to go faster and jump forward. I get it; it's fine. I gotta go ahead. What it do? Good to see you again. Hmm. Peace and respect, double of seven. Good to see you again. Oh, okay, and, and and then and then beyond that, if it's coherent, then maybe it has value, and and you keep building that way because you guys are getting bored. I'll just skip to the end of this. Then, then you keep building that way by higher and higher standards. Okay. Like if something is true, it's true in reality. It, it's not true because I like it. 
That's not what makes something true. Right. So so should a certain book or text be within, say, for instance, the Bible? Well, does it agree with reality? Okay. okay. So, so but OK. All right. So let's, question. Yeah. OK. So, um, uh, Richard, here, really, really fast. So I have written down on this piece of paper um, uh, one plus one equals two. Okay. okay. It, is, is this now divinely expired, uh, inspired because it, I believe it meets your stated justification, right? It's, it's not contradictory. It's true. It's evidently mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Is, is this, is this paper now divinely inspired? Well, if, if I say that you're a child of God who has intellect based in, in this case, mathematical logic, and that that works against reality, then yes, it's divinely inspired. I feel like you, I feel like you have a very loose definition of what is divinely inspired, because and, the, and then you can just put in whatever you want. Yeah, right? no, no, throw, it has to be away true. Whatever you want. Sure, well, well, that's, that's that's what's in question. That's, yeah. like, that's, that's what's in question. <laughs> so you, you can't you can't you can't appeal to the thing that we're asking yeah. how you know it's true. So like if we're if there's a bunch of books that are a bunch of writings from the apostles and the and the people coming from the apostles and all this the apostolic all apostolic fathers and Jesus Christ they're not all together all at once. There are a bunch of different writings from a bunch of different times and a bunch of different authors. Uh -huh. So at one point in time, in several points in times, they got together, all the church fathers, and they decided what the canon was that actually is the physical Bible that you have now. The 66 books or whatever. Uh -huh. what, we're decide what we're asking is how do you, if you don't appeal to the church fathers... How do you have the Bible? How do you know which is what books and what writings are actually divinely inspired and canonical? Well, I was given a reading frame, a context with which to read this with. And well, I look at everything that's... I'm that's sorry, what go ahead. Question. That's, that's the question. You said the context, the reading frame. That's what we're asking about. How do you have the reading frame? The content. It was given to me forcibly, and I didn't want it. A non-consensual framing. Spiritual rape. Here, Miller. Yeah. Um. Double seven. You're kind of like a uh, 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 muffled. Like we can hear, but it's very, very muffled. Um. Maybe you're on the wrong mic. Yeah. I actually didn't hear anything. Give us a mic check. There we go. Mic check. Mic check. There we oh, are. There you go. Gotcha. Smooth voice. Um, was was the uh, was the can the canonization of the Bible? Was that not the the uh, Council of Nicaea? Was that well, not that, that, was, one, uh, that was one of them? There were that that I don't I, I don't think that that was like the uh, just the, the only thing. Yeah, that was my grandpa Constantine. You're welcome. Didn't they, didn't they also talk about the? Didn't they deal with like the Gnostic heresy? Or is that a yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're discussing yeah. the uh, position of Jesus. The deity of Jesus was one of the big things. Yeah, the Trinity. Hey, but, boy, John, I'm Voy, and uh, hey, up, guys, by the way, I'm Flo. Sorry. Hey, so so but, but yeah, Richard, um, we're we're just you know trying to figure out like since you're not appealing to the church fathers as the the justification for why you believe it's divinely inspired right how did you determine that it was divinely inspired because it contains knowledge that people of the time and age and location didn't have okay why are you any different than weirdo john then they're both fucking weirdos <laughs> what, do you mean, okay. what do you mean by different because libs asked the same kind of question to you that i asked john and you gave the same answer he did well this yeah. is this is within the context I, of yeah. like already believing being a christian and how do we get the bible itself this is that's not you were asking like how do we know christianity in general is true so, yeah, which is it's slightly different we, question, we're but. saying after we already believe that christianity is true we're trying to determine what christianity 
and what he believes about the canon of the Bible. Yeah. The, it, well, first, you, you guys have made some hidden assumptions that I don't make. Like that the Bible was inspired by God. I don't believe that. I, I believe it is directly written in heaven and distributed onto the earth. Oh, so you're like a Quranist. Wow. You're like a wait. You're like you're like a Muslim. What? Wow. <laughs> wait, am I that's like what, a Muslim? Wait, no, that's no, no, what no, Muslims hang believe. <laughs> hang on. So do you do you reject that that people got together and debated it and and chose what to what to canonize and what to not? Do you think that did not happen, or do you think it did happen, but that it had already happened up in heaven and they were just doing as above, so below. To, to take things away right. from it, but there being so many accounts of the same stories that when you take all of the stories and put them together, you're not missing anything anymore. So I don't care what they said doesn't belong in the Bible. Well, okay. Well, I, we're I, asking how, 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 what's your, what's your process of doing that? Uh, okay, so I was given forcibly a reading frame, which I apply to everything that works universally. And when there's an error, and there are few and far between, when there's an error in, in the text that doesn't agree with the reading frame, then I know it's a work of man. So you do agree with the reading frame? Which, which reading frame? That's what we're asking you. Oh, well, I'm happy to answer it, that. I just didn't know that's what you were asking. Yeah, I think that there's like a little miscommunication. If I understand the question correctly, and if I understand Richard's uh, reading frame correctly, correctly, he was an, well, not even an atheist, an anti-theist who decided to read the Bible from start to finish just a, completely as if he had, and try to scrub his brain and just read it for the first time like he never had opinions about it, right? Yes. Not, not an easy book to read from start to well, finish. Well, that's impossible. Well, any, any, it, it, is, it is impossible, but it's, um, you know, an attempt to look at something with fresh eyes. If you attempt to see things freshly, you can catch a lot of new things. Right. <laughs> you do agree that you are, you are putting your, your, what your, you think it is, your interpretation, that you can't help, no. your bias, that you can't help. You're reading that into the text. No, that that's why I talk about information theory and, no, and, get, and being fully defeated. You're not listening. You're just answering yourself. Go ahead. Well, you if you think that you can get rid get rid of bias. Yes, you can. Like and put your brain in a vat. You does text read itself or interpret itself? Let, let me put it this way. I'm going to tell you right now that my middle name is Curtis. Would you please refute that? With a C or a K? <laughs> Good question. That is, let's, that is, that let's is go important. The letters, let's go with the letter C. But, but go ahead and refute that my middle name is or is not Curtis. Go ahead. Just choose whatever side you're going to cause a schism in the, in the I, panel. I think it's a K. I can't refute it. We, we got, I can't I, refute it. We just have to uh, have faith that you're telling the truth. And we have and, faith that you're telling the truth by the reliability of your testimonies and in the past. Right. I mean, right. I, I okay. Could, so that's, could, that's based on relationship and trust based or a faith-based position based on relationship, right? Okay. Where you are lacking information. Now, do you think you could have guessed that my middle name would be Curtis? Do you Probably think you could not. have guessed that? I, I, okay. already, I already guessed it. I guess eventually you would have guessed it, you know, if you went through every name possible. But but that's not a that's not a very reliable process. It it'd take forever. Okay, yeah. so that's what I'm talking about. I mean, information was given to me from outside of my knowledge range that proved to be true in reality. If you check my birth certificate, my middle name is Curtis with a C. It is. Okay. But you didn't know that. That's how I know it's not my bias. What? That has no. What? what? You're, 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 no, dude. Information no, from out you you cannot extrapolate from from your mapping of reality. You can't extrapolate from Curtis. You, we're, we're not. Is this, is we're this not extrapolating an interpret yeah. a meaning of, of a text. You, is this hat black? Completely missing the point. Is this hat black? 
which means I I'm probably doing a bad job of explaining. Possibly, it, it could be a really yeah. dark green. Something. Something. Okay. Instead of example, let me give you theory. Y you cannot extrapolate without information. Do we agree on that? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if something is from outside of your knowledge range completely, you cannot extrapolate to it. We agree on that. Right. Without awareness of it, no. Right. Okay. So if something is given to you from outside of your experiential range that proves to be true in reality, did you invent it? Is it your How, bias? What determined that it was true in reality? The actuality of the universe. Your experience of it? Uh, no, true. Or true. I am using my map to say it is true, but I'm also using several other maps, and that's about the best we can do, is consensus. So what you're saying is... I can't invent a sentence in, in Mandarin because I don't know how to speak Mandarin. Right. But I said a sentence in Mandarin and then I went and referenced it and it actually makes a sentence. Right. Basically. Like somebody spoke to you and you just like oh, wrote so it like, down phonetically and then you looked it up and you understood what they meant. What? So like speaking in tongues? Okay. Is that way you're like referencing? I'm it, not referencing. No, nobody's trying to. It, it, just use it as an analogy for no, no way. If your beliefs conform to reality, Richard, how come not many more people believe the same way you do? People don't like reality? I don't know. People don't like thinking. I don't like thinking right now about this because it's kind of hurting my brain trying to figure out how this is relevant to what, what the question was. Yeah. yeah like... Like I'm sorry, Richard. I I, I do feel like I don't feel like you're trolling, but it like I'm not. It it, it doesn't sound I, like we're having the same conversation. I I see I see what not. you mean by that. I think uh, okay. So the church fathers only had so much to select from. They selected things that are true. They left out other things that are true. So sure. in that way, and, and then they give opinion on it, and you you have schisms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. Um, but, but that doesn't mean that although the Bible contains things that are true, that it is all of the truth. Does that not answer you? Sure. But like, I think our, our, our that, question though, is that, that like, why do you believe that the Bible is true? Because the, the primary reason why someone would believe the Bible is true is because they ha they trust in the methodology, the paradigm, the the, the process that the church fathers underwent to 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 do it. Otherwise, um, you, you you would kind of just have to justify it that way. Maybe maybe a uh, better way to approach it. What is something that you learned from the Bible that then you went and found true in reality? Oh, that there's moons over other planets. I didn't know that. Where does it say that in the Bible? In the story of David and Goliath. Except, okay, so it is worth noting that it's possible to observe that outside of the Bible. Even sure. before the invention of, like, telescopes and stuff. There I started, don't know about that. Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, Let's just grant it. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. See, but just because mm -hmm. some human on this earth knew a thing doesn't mean I know. I don't know everything that everyone knows. And that was one thing I didn't know. In fact, I thought we called the moon the moon because it's the moon. That's what I thought. Now, I know that was ignorant I, of me. I mean, it is our moon. Our yes, I didn't moon. understand they were referring to this one planet when they said the moon. I thought they meant it was ultimately the only moon. I thought that's what they meant by that. I it's never actually a natural it. satellite. I, yes, a natural satellite. That's what a moon I, is, yes. Are you not assuming that? Assuming what? Are you not all assuming that because you've been told it? Oh my God. I've looked up and seen the moon. And, and from what I understand, you can take a telescope of pretty poor quality and see moons over Jupiter, like Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system. Mm. You can just see I, that I, with I a cheap piece of crap. I would say all that you can see with your cheap piece of crap is like Is there is there anything in the Bible see. that you read that you don't that you don't understand the interpretation of? 
No, I have a, I have a complete theory of all of it. All of it. Are you being serious? I'm being quite. No, I'm not joking. I'm not trolling you. I mean the ego. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like holy shit. <laughs> wow, I say I say the most humble thing possible, and you call it egoic. That's amazing. This I this is, and he said egoic. We've all every every one of us sat here has got our own version of everything. All right. We all sat here with our own version of it and we all think that we're right from our own perspective or whatever because sure, we, but I don't think I don't think I have right? like a full a full and uncontroversial or not uncontroversial. I don't think I have a full and uncontradictory understanding of, for instance, the the Bible. Well you that's thought you could see I, that's that's one of the reasons the I know I planet. didn't I can, that's one of the reasons I know I didn't come up with this, especially without studying it. Come up with the you could not see the moons of, of other planets unless you could obscure the planet's brightness itself. They're too close to the planets to be visible with naked eyes. Ah, sad. Okay. I, I was wrong. <laughs> see, I, I, there's things I don't know. There's but tons of things I don't act know. like you do, and that's why I wanted to get that one. Not that it's a, not that it really matters, but um, I do that sometimes. I do that. So I, it, I, it was it was vindictive uh, correcting. I appreciate it nonetheless. No, you don't. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't mean for you to appreciate it. I mean for I, you. To... He wants somebody to get pissed off. <laughs> I... Richard, uh, how confident from zero to one hundred are you that your interpretation of the Bible is true and accurate? It's not my interpretation, and I believe okay. it's one hundred percent accurate. Whose interpretation? Okay. Is so, so let's let's be clear. It is absolutely your interpretation because there are other people who do not share your interpretation. No, so that's not necessarily true. I've actually adopted something that was given to me, and I can't disprove it. And I hold it. Who as gave true. G gave you? Who gave you? Gave you what? The interpretation? They gave it to you. Can Richard, I ask yes, a they question? Gave it to me. Can I ask a question? Knowing how infallible other men are, and how um, how easy it is to get things wrong, uh, how comf how comfortable are you with somebody else's interpretation that you're if somebody you're not, claimed that you're not so using your own like when you when you were when you were researching? I just want to know when you're when you were researching or studying uh, the Bible. Mm -hmm. Were you talking to God while you're doing it? Were you asking? Yes, were in you, fact, you, um, from you, start to finish, uh, every single sentence and sentence part, I believe, is not my opinion. Mm -mm, um, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Look, so, I don't. I mean, ex explain the process. How? What? I don't. I can't. That's a bold claim for me too. But you went through. You went through and translated everything yourself, right? Mm -mm. No, sir. I thought you did. Or you read it in the language. You did no, something with I, that. I understand it. I, I was given a reading frame, which I immediately knew had to be wrong. What, what, I set out to what disprove is, it. I'm a bit confused. And in trying to disprove is. it, even to this day, I cannot, nor can anyone else seem to disprove it. Dude, what's a reading frame? I'm sorry. I'm English. I'm, okay. Um, um, I, I could look at Moby. Accepted. I could look at Moby Dick and say it's oh, no. it's about uh, a fictitious, maybe um, you know, pigment-free whale and a fisher fisherman captain, right? I could say that, okay. But I, I also could say that it's about obsession and sacrifice, and and uh, that obsession ruining your life, right? I could say it either way. Right. Like and I'd be right. I'd be I'd be correct in both cases. But one is more like literal hard, hard wooden literal. And the other is what was the author trying to say? Right. Man. So is that those are different reading frames. And so you're well, you have an, you have basically a perspective on it that nobody's proven wrong. Is that what you're which does I mean, not so, make it but, right. But even when that, you're right, you might be wrong. And even if you're wrong, proven wrong, you might be right in the same sense. Based on what I can understand that. I 
I just, <laughs> but, brother, that was the most salad. confusing sense of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I think the beauty of this realm of living, man, is that you are right and you are wrong both at the same time. Um, I just said that. He said what? So I'm going to tell him what. He explained two different... Look, he explained what his thoughts is, and he he explained also what people would perceive outside of his thoughts. What you think is right and what you perceive is right might be wrong in the eyes of other people, but what they think is wrong in the eyes of their eyes, your eyes see that you are right. Who is right and who okay. is wrong? That makes there's sense. no wrong and there's, there's no right. right. Okay. There's no wrong, there's no right. So now you you understand. How do you decipher from delusion no. then? You, well, you, you don't want that them. paradigm. There are layers. Yeah, you you don't you don't want them. You get to just say whatever you want, and then you get to always be right. John, I think I think I agree with you. I think I think it, it, there is something as objective truth, and I think this conversation is objectively uh, uh, melting my brain. Um, <laughs> the, the one with the penis. Come on, dude. Mm -mm. Okay, it was a low blow, but um, it's been a long night. So, okay, yeah. so the best what, the best we may, can do is consensus about reality right things that we can confirm that you know a vast majority of people believe like there's moons over other planets and and the best evidence we have that it's not our own biases is when it's outside of our experiential range that is it's informational and then it's knowledge okay but okay based on what you just said and i'm gonna give i'm i'm, I'm gonna give them uh okay for anybody that think there's no moons up on other uh, around solar systems and other planets, why did we get a moon and don't nobody else get a moon? Never thought to ask the question. See, you see what I'm saying? If we yeah. got one, why would it be wrong for everybody else to have one in the Milky Way or the galaxy? It wouldn't. So it wouldn't be necessarily what? wrong, but if that never occurred to you, you just wouldn't ask the question. Right, so I wouldn't ask the question because I'm glad that I have a moon. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, telling you, uh, y'all, listen. I'm saying, it, are you fucking with us? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm saying, but it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's right though, but it's wrong. Don't make the job. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm gonna it's bring right, it up. but it's wrong. But I'm right at the same time. So am I right? Or am I wrong? Really, me this. You see? Uh, Listen, I'm gonna, be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be one of those YouTubers that has got this thing that he likes to talk about that it he applies to everything. No, it's all about this, oh, right? Because it's I'm that way with capitalism. Uh, <laughs> right. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because you you used the word earlier and, and it's interesting because it's a word that's it's chucked into conversation, it's chucked into um into uh yeah, into conversation, and it's done so lightly, and people don't really seem to fully grasp the power of it, right? Perception. Mm -hmm. Perception. Everything. Everything that you experience, absolutely every single thing that you experience, you are going to be perceiving it, right? Mm -hmm. you, you perceive everything that happens to you, right? But you perceive it how you perceive it. It's your perception. Nobody else has your perception. Nobody else has my perception. Nobody else has lived my life. No one has. You, m m Many people have lived lives similar to, or they could say, oh, I've been through way more than that, and I've done way more than that, or other people just haven't done half the things. You know, They've done nothing. They've just spent their entire mm -hmm. life in the bedroom. Right? Mm -hmm. Every single person's experience is unique in that respect right can you agree on that oh yeah You're, we've all had oh, yeah. fish and chips so that that leads to unique perspective perspective um perception right perception and perspective both inextricably linked together but how you perceive it that's that's your reality that is your reality and we all generally perceive the same things physical things are easy because you know things that have got physical uh bodies to them that you know they're, they're easily recognizable and we can put a label on it and say that is look that's a car and that's a computer and that's a phone 
and that's a human, and that's a rabbit, and that's a fucking cat. And those are the voices. voices. If we didn't Everyone agree on the voices. most truth, you know, most things, most of what we, you know, everybody. The saw. things, the things that we can see, really easy to sort out the perception of what those things are, but the things that we can't see. What happens then? What happens with the things you can't see? Because the only way that anybody can describe those things to anybody is to, according to their own perception. perception. But not one yeah. of us is going to understand what your perception is because we haven't lived your life. Just And I'm basically, I've got, I feel like I've got the answers. I feel like I've spoken to God and God's spoken to me and he's told me exactly what's going on. I feel like that. I've, 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 I had an experience where I prayed to Jesus and a golden fucking orb came down into my room in my perception. That's what I perceived mm. to be happening. Right? Could that be a demon? No, because it was an answer no, to it. No, it couldn't be no, a demon. No, that's what I'm saying. It was an answer to saying, a demon. He's, he is saying oh. something because, I look, not to cut you off, but i seen certain things in my life that was in my room when I was a kid, and it, it, I don't think there it was God. Whatever was sent might be sent from God, but it was telling me, you better get yourself together because it had feet like a dog. It made no, the room cold. Look, no, uh uh, no, look, it had feet like a dog, look, but it was walking back and forth. It was walking back and forth through the doorway and I was saying look you know the old school bunk beds when I saw it yeah. I kicked the top of the bunk bed and my brother did not move the room was cold it's like got cold but the thing was sticking his feet out so whatever was sent to me it might have been sent from God but it wasn't godly to me I pissed the bed that's that's did you me. did your weed sparkle <laughs> that night? Shit. Oh, that's Shit. literally I, whatever a dream, I had man. to do. Get so, what? Right. Yeah. So let's let's just go back. Let's just go back to what I was talking about. Perception. Right? So hang on, weirdo John. Right? You perceive it immediately. You're perceiving a demon. Right? What does a demon? What is a demon? A demon. At the end of the day, demon is a word. Demon is a word that's turned into a label that has a narrative attached to it. That narrative is full of fear. It, that demon has power. That demon has power over you, has the, has the potential to have power over you. If you're not good, if you don't do the right things, if you don't live a, um, you a right demons life, are powerless. right? Hang, hang on. No, but if you're believing the demon story, it, like there's, there's, there's different nuances to the demon story. Yeah, some people think demons are powerless, but other people think that they're fucking scary, terrifying. <laughs> They, 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 they shit their pants, right? I had the shadow. I had the shadow. Shit. Well, he's I, I his bed. You're shitting but, your pants. You know, you know I, I pissed yeah, the bed. What's going on? Let him, let him cook. Let him cook. Uh, let him wow. cook. He's walking. He's going somewhere with it. I, I'd love to hear I, what he's going to say. And I think I like it. Right. So you're perceiving it, the unseen. You haven't seen what it is. You don't know what it is. You're going by his description. His description filters through your perception as a demon i said to you a golden orb came down and sat next to me you don't know what happened before that you don't know why the golden orb came down and sat next to me but you immediately jumped to was it a demon right you are programmed i'm sorry to say it you're programmed to de to decipher things in those ways your perception the filter that you're looking at the world through is perceiving you are filtering things in those ways. That's that, that's the unseen. How do you know what it was? You're only going by the description of another person, of another man. You didn't actually experience it. Yeah, it's probably it's so, probably it's probably just a lie. But right. if it do, is do true, you agree, do you agree that your relationship with God is personal? My shit won't yeah. lie. My my look, my experience. With, uh, whatever a god sent an uh, angel or a demon whatever was standing in front of the door i saw it 
Rooster, I believe. Only, you saw, it. only, only you saw it. I and you saw couldn't it. wake your brother. You couldn't wake your brother up for him to see it as well. It was only for you. Right. And yeah. And, and I've been on the straight and narrow, trying to be. <laughs> Oh my hey, Rooster, life. if you don't I mind me, it. if you don't mind me saying so, I say th I say this in critique, but in love. Could you please let Richie finish the point? My bad, my bad. We all love King Rooster, but he uh, <laughs> he gets told that a lot. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it, it, it's such a big point. I don't know. I don't know quite how to wrap it up. Uh, um, but, but basically, <laughs> right? We've all been given free will. Yeah, that's that's what we have. We have free will. <clears throat> free will doesn't is, is so much deeper, man. You can choose how you perceive things. You can choose to perceive things in a different way. That's your choice. What, how, how you choose to perceive things is up to you. Entirely up to you. This is a battery bank. If I choose to perceive it, as a fucking marshmallow and bite into it. It's not, it's not going to be a marshmallow, is it? Because it's a physical thing. We can all see it. it's a battery bank. I'm not going to be able to override that by perceiving it to be a fucking marshmallow. I'm not actually even sure if you can actually perceive What's it. What's this I've got in my hand? What's this I've got in my hand now? Like, uh, it's it's an imaginary thing. I I can describe it to you, right? But what I described to you could I could change that. It could change from being I'm I'm holding a fucking Snickers bar, and I'm going to take a bite out of a Snickers bar to actually the Snickers bar's just turned into a log of shit. No, I don't want to take a bite out of that now. Damn, it's unseen. But how do we go from what we believe to be true to what is actually true? Right. Stop, do... stop believing. Stop believing. Stop believing anything. That's what I'd say. Don't believe anything. Well, if then you you're not what nihilism. If, if you, if what you if can't the nature of the, What if the nature of that observation answers the question for itself, which is that things like experiences or perceptions are not to be dictated to others because they can't even really properly be communicated to others. Yep. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Fucking right. absolutely. Man. I love everyone on this panel. I am not even close to high enough to actually participate <laughs> in this conversation. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. No, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. don't back and out. Yet man. You, don't found back a, out. you found a way. Dude. I, don't bag out. Look. I, I will. I, uh, look, I bet you, you, are, you better than me. I bet you are better than me. We've I, always been I'm, doing I'm this for nine it. hours, man. You can't. I'm, even... I'm I'm a D-Gen, All right, I'm worse than everyone on this panel. All right, I love you all. No, not um, me though. Uh, 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 peace and love. Be well to all of you. I enjoy meeting all of you who I have met for the first time. You too. Take, take easy. And we uh. And I appreciate you clarifying. Oh, there he goes. I was about to take a dig at him for claiming <laughs> he doesn't. Because earlier he over clarified that he doesn't support slavery like anybody assumed he did. <laughs> we were talking about yeah, he, 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 he just did. He, he, yeah, he, he didn't. I guess he didn't want to re restate it again, but uh, whatever. I, I, I got I to go too. Um, I got to get some sleep. Uh, have, good time. Having fun. You know, have a good one. Check out my music, Weirdo John. Uh, I dropped your link already. I, I'll drop everyone's link again. Um, all right, cool. Let's yeah, you got some, yeah, you yeah. got some good stuff going on there, uh, Weirdo John. It was nice to uh, talk to you again. Appreciate Come it. by the 420 Cafe, yeah. Weirdo John. We have these same kind of combos. You know, if you're looking for another place, and you know, 420 Cafe. All right, I'll look it up. Have a good one, y'all. Right. Have a good one, man. Yeah, Flow State. We got to talk. I, <laughs> no, no, I, 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 probably, I probably missed that part because I was over on another town listening to their bullshit and rhetoric. But look, I am a black person. And then yes. when no. it comes down to slavery, well, look, when it comes down to slavery, I, I, I'm going to tell you like this, though. 
I don't know that I want to have the slavery conversation again. We just did it. No, 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 I understand, but, but okay. Some Are you fucking with me some, again? Some people, some yeah. Look, some people have to be pushed, regardless of slavery or not. Some people have to be pushed. And when it to comes what? down to what's what's going on in the United States right now, that's a lot of people. They found out that they cannot be cannot be pushed. So now they are pushing another group of people that are willing to be pushed to well, I don't this. you are speaking so, very up to ambiguous. ambiguous. This is what I'm saying. I, I understand it, look, Flow State. You know you are now we good. We like bread and butter. We all right. We good. I think that you just said that I'm a white man, so I don't know about history. No, I ain't said you don't know nothing okay. about history. Hold on, because we were talking about yeah. No, we were we were we were discussing the Civil War, not not racism today. And he, while discussing the Civil War, he is uh, stated many times he does not support any form of slavery, which was kind of an absurd thing to state because I think that's just assumed. That's the the assumption is that nobody is supporting nobody. Well, nobody fucking supports slavery, do they? Does anybody? I mean, hold on. Nobody, at That's least not openly. No, it depends. Everybody, hold on. Everybody, everybody, everybody that runs a business or everybody that runs a corporation and everything supports slavery. Te this whole thing. Listen to what I'm All saying. Right. The thing is, the thing is, people don't understand. Like the wages. People are saying, oh, we need better wages. We need this and everything. That's part of slavery. If we keep I mean, the wages it, down, look, this folks don't people don't even understand about this right here. Slavery has never ended for anybody. They no, always no, associate slavery for to black, right? Yeah, no. It was it's, white it, people it, with look, slavery. Look, it was in slavery. It was Irish I mean, people. Thank you. Everybody thank was you. slaves. What are they all, talking we're about? All the whole thing here. We're all still soft slaves slavery. now. We're all we're all considered slaves now. We so all are under soft slavery with mandatory also, income tax yeah. and with the war on yeah. drugs taking away our bodily autonomy. Um, that's definitely a form of soft slavery in my mind. But um, I'm, but it's not look. So, but, it's, it's, so what? It's not I mean, even like, about the war on drugs. Just think about okay. No, I mean that's that that, that, that pay taxes. That's, why okay? Just look at it. Because the, you country, got the right? fruits of labor. Uh, the fruit. I'll tell you why. The war on drugs explicitly attacks your right to decide what to do with your body. I just changed well, my own name to Sovereign Slav. Well, I ain't, <laughs> look, I, ain't never, I ain't never sold no drugs. So, uh, this is what I'm saying. Look, I'm saying. As your lawyer, slavery, I approve right? of that statement. Slavery. <laughs> look, slavery is okay. <laughs> if you wake up, you got to get up. I didn't in. actually want to talk about slavery, though. No. I mean, listen. But, but this is what I'm saying. I want it. It don't bother me. Look, I swear no, to God, it it's don't not. Me. I know it doesn't bother you. Black people love talking about slavery because they foolish. Because they don't know nothing about slavery. A lot, look, look, but you do. You actually you. irritated. Look on these panels, on these shows. When I'm in another sector. I get mad at black people when they talk about slavery because guess what? What is but None what is the point them, that you're trying to establish that you think that we didn't we are on different pages about? I feel like you're no, cooking no, up a big oh, explanation okay. about. I feel like you're explaining that how nail clippers work and we know it already. Like <laughs> well, grandmothers okay, and eggs and stuff. I'm, but, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, look, look, flow state. When I speak on the internet, I'm not just only speaking to you and you all on the panel. I'm speaking because I'm a represent. I'm a representation of myself. See, a lot of uh, <laughs> so you're what? Like, what? You know what, they, what? What? What is that? It's you a are not, it's, okay. Okay, just go a ahead. Representation go ahead. of myself. I was just, I was yeah, just amazed for look, a moment the, there. The, look, the way I move throughout life is not what the average black pe person will move like, right? Bro. So when I, when when I hear black people speaking about slavery and everything, the most of the, most of the black people that are speaking Man. about slavery 
have not even they don't even know their relative. They don't even know they. I feel like you just made a killer point, under. Rich, and it just blew up people. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know. Uh, a lot of the people that really talk about slavery, like in the South, I'm still in Mississippi. We don't even talk about slavery down here. But you will have the Northern Blacks are talking about Why are we this day. talking about it? What? Yeah, it, when, can I just break the, in real quick? Yeah, as a BDSM dom, I firmly support slavery. Consensual sexual <laughs> slavery is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, Lord, he's a freak. <laughs> He's a freak guy. This man is crazy. Nice talk, man. Nice talk. Now you even got the black guys up supporting slavery. <laughs> hey, I'm here to... But this is what I'm saying. But, but you know how I roll, uh, Flow State. You know how I roll. Mm-hmm. A lot of time when I get on these panels and I talk to black people, you know what they say? I, I'm this certain type of black person. But no, I understand. There's a lot of people that get into the, into those topics of slavery. They don't even know who their uh, grandmother is. They don't know who their uh, great grandmother is. They don't know who their great auntie is. Agreed. And all that. They all get this information from movies. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? They, so yeah. right. them, they yeah. only get this information from movies. Like the color yeah. purple and all that. But the, the person that wrote the color purple is a person that was married to a white man. So what is y'all talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, the I mean, fuck? the color purple. They don't even know that shit. We wasn't talking about... Uh, and that no, 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 not y'all. Not, not y'all on this panel. Right. I'm saying that. The, oh, okay. the, the groups I'll that give I you know, that fluoride they stare. They talk about so much stuff, and I'll be like, what did you tell me? touch with my um family member my dad still living my mom still living and then my uh old uncles and all the information vic, that i got from boy vic boy. what is the point that you're making the point the point that i'm finna in make in one is, sentence in just in one sentence yes, what please. is the point yes please okay the point is don't listen to black people <laughs> no, I'm From the I mean, that's, that's feasible. Talking about that's true. Cool. No, dude, dude, don't dude, listen to black it. people. From Ninety-nine the percent certain that the suspect state. is black. So we can do that. We can do I'm, that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Did you? Are you over here saying this because you're mad at the black panel you just left? Is that? Am I interpreting this correctly? Oh, right. no, I'll be mad. Hey. Look, I'll be look, 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 flow state. I'm mad at every black panel. <laughs> Because they have failed us. King Rooster, are you a fan Fuck of Jesse it. Lee Peterson? Are you a fan of Jesse they, Lee look, Peterson? They, no, listen to what I'm saying. I've been telling them that, look, look at all these black panels. They following the Jesse Lee Peterson uh, blueprint. If you can go over there and you can tell them the uh, sky is blue, and then they're going to come up with some astronomical shit and say, well, if the sky is blue, uh, how is it not blue in night? Because if it changed uh, in the dark, uh, it's gonna be black. Dude, Where's you're the blackness on a, coming I mean, from? Dude, I mean, that's I, what they you're do, on a man. white channel. We don't ask those questions. We just, we don't. <laughs> well, I know that. We don't. Uh, I, look, I, I don't actually know I know advertise myself channel. as a white channel. <laughs> uh, but it's see. primarily Although, a white um, channel. I get, this is yeah. not yeah. a white channel. This is a channel theory. See, no, dude, don't do flow state like that. Don't do it. I'm mixed race. I'm mixed race. I'm one quarter. I'm one quarter North. I'm one quarter. I'm one quarter North. You're a quarter of what? I'm one quarter North African. I'm quarter Algerian. So I'm mixed race. Wrong question. I mean, you're on the right panel, but you've got the wrong. And I'm a felon, so I might be mixed race too. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. My great granddaddy on my dad's side. My great on my dad's side is is a poor blooded white man you sure you know what I'm saying? my gramps yeah. was black so my gramps was a black man right you know what i'm saying I'm, i look black, i look black but my kids come out looking like mexicans and shit so i, yeah, I, I know. Know. I'm the sun and i look like i'm from algeria <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then i got a uh, i got a uh i got an east african face you see what I'm saying? Like I when I show my face, I'm, but this, this whole thing about race, man. This whole thing about race is one of the it's one of their main tools to it control is us. A fantastic division tool. 
It's such a beautiful division tool, man. Yeah. I, no, I don't give I don't a believe fuck. In it. No, I, I don't, don't give a fuck it. what color somebody's like. And most of the people that I know don't give a shit what color somebody's skin is, what what shape their eyes are, what shape their head is. None of it. All all any of us or me or any of my friends care about is what. Who are you? What are you like as a person? Right. How do you right. how do you no, behave? Yeah. How do you conduct yourself? How do you you know? That's that's all that's all I care about, man. You know, Richie, and, uh, the, the term racism I is hear. racist because yeah, there's not actually is. racial divisions among human beings. We're all of the human race, and it's actually it ethnic oh. prejudice. It's actually yeah, ethnic is. prejudice. It, it is racist. I, I never even thought about that. It's racist to call someone racist. It's, it is. Yeah, it, it's actually elevating it to a, a place it doesn't belong to call it racism. That's just not true. Mm. Yeah. Fair mind racism, racism, racism is a group of people uh, working together to, in order to be like dominant in the society, in order to like be built up to like have fun and take care of their own. I've been missing out. And I just on, don't I, like you. Haven't been, you no, haven't I just don't like before. you because I don't understand you. Prejudice is a different thing. Racism is see the whole thing is everybody that's more born of a different ethnic. All right, go ahead, Vic. Do you, want, do you want me to drop everyone else backstage, or, or should we? Can we? Should we sit here quietly? Say what? <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's jabbing you. You're doing your thing. You said, You're do my thing. Nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to. Listen, I'm not Rooster, trying to. I want to hear, hear, I wanna hear what you're trying to. I want to hear what you're trying to articulate, man. Come on. See, what I'm saying is racism and prejudice is a totally different thing. Racism is like a group of people that are taking care of their people. The lifeblood and the heritage. So incoherent that it's barely comprehensible. Boundaries. And they, they put that in. <laughs> and hold it together, but the, 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 but so the whole epic. thing is prejudice is just like a random person that you don't know nothing of, and that's just a person across the street, and you just hate them for no reason. That's prejudice. Racism is a group of people trying to build amongst their own community of their so, same. I'm, I'm, I'm naked on the show. When I do the show, I'm naked. Then they look at the show and they, am I naked? I mean, and, and, and I mean, this is how dumb the white race is. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Where'd you get these from, man? Yeah, really Dude, I got clips for yeah, days. I haven't even been playing any of them this stream. And now Vic's doing his monologue about a topic that nobody... Ever What's up, buddy? What you got, brother? Now, I'm going to leave it long. I'm going to leave it long, Flo State, because they'll be joking. Uh, well, Vic, I think we all agree with you. You're sort of preaching to a choir here, I think, with More most of the things that you said. So Dude. we don't... We don't need a diatribe on. Yes, My you're man, right. Man. We're, we're, we already agree with you, man. Look, look, this is I the funny the thing. Gab, Pink Rooster, we all agree long. with you already, man. Like, look, I got the gift of gab and I got long arms. So let me know when I'm running off. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I was playing the clips. I was sending you little hints. You know, I didn't want to just show you. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Oh, you just didn't want to piss him in the mouth. Yeah, I get the message. Yeah. That clip makes me so happy every time. It's been a minute since I've seen it, though, because, like, God damn it, just perfect. StreamYard, StreamYard definitely works better with the little clips, man, with the little, putting the little snips in. Yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm um, sitting in my corner with the cone hat on and shit in a minute. You know? King Rooster, your Raider fan? I said the cone hat. Man, you know, <laughs> everybody else caught that shit, and you ain't catch it. The dunce hat, man. I'm gonna sit in the corner with the cone hat on. You remember when they used to put the oh, cone and say time out? Yeah, yeah. Because Raiders fans yeah. are stupid. I get it. <laughs> Actually, look, I'm from Kansas City, man. I got a feeling about. I feel a certain sort of way about Raiders fans, and I'm not even a football fan. Yeah, it's it's baked in, dude. It's the last in. fist fight I got in was a Raiders. It was because he was wearing a Raiders shirt and I said nice I said nice shirt. And then kind of chuckled. 
and he was drunk enough, and he was a Raiders fan, so we fought. <laughs> it's crazy. It's one thing I never would do is fight over some corporate. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really have a choice. He was bigger than me. We were face to face, and he was. Conv- you know, I was. He didn't know I had one of these in my pocket, and I broke his fucking teeth out. He was not gonna. I apologize. I apologize in everything. Um, oh. But he was. Uh, yeah. Huh? Did you, did so you say to him before you before you got in the fight? Did you say, "Are you sure you want to do this, man?" Like. I apologize. I said I was just joking. I didn't like warn him, um, but I did apologize and attempt to smooth things over. And he would just continue to advance. And so I waited for him to take a swing. He was drunk and I wasn't. And yeah. so he took a swing. I was able to, you know, it just kind of glanced because I ducked and I, ha- I was ready with this in my pocket. And I came back over the top and just broke his teeth out. I mean, when you're drunk, I mean, you can take it. Well, and I so when this was the only fight I've been in since I used to fight a lot when I was younger, and then when my daughter was born, I made rules for myself, and one of them was no recreational violence. If I can avoid avoid violence, I will no matter what. No ego shit, no whatever. Quentin Tarantino, there, right? If I can't avoid it, then I'll just end it as efficiently as possible, and so that was that's the one situation I made a comment about a Raiders fan shirt. See, most guys don't you have a plan. You actually sound like fight. Quentin Tarantino there, you know. I, I sounded like him. Yeah, recreational <laughs> violence. I never heard that terminology. I, I never. I, I used to fight a lot, but it was. Hey, I placed an order on the menu. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, for five bucks. Why aren't my fucking things showing up? Kick the ignorant blabber into slavery. Um. Hold on, I gotta go fan funding, and I, I did something on Streamyard, so my thing isn't showing up. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. You, I'll bring you back up in five minutes if you're still here. So at at seven, uh, somebody paid good money for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody paid five dollars dollars to get rid of Vic. So yeah, Vic's in five minutes. I'm out. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> You're welcome. I sympathize so much. You don't know. <laughs> ah, I'm getting too much money. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new one. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I really kind of back myself into a corner with the gifted memberships clip because it's a good one. I don't know how I'm going to top that one. I mean, did anybody does anybody pick up on the on the Hitler uh, makeup that he's wearing upon it? It's like, Dracula. Yeah, oh, it's Dracula. Dracula. Like, I, I was think thinking well, monster. That's close enough. I think that's close enough, right? Yeah. Hitler, Hitler, no, Dracula. It, I mean, it's less funny if it's Hitler than if it's Dracula. I mean, for most people, probably. <laughs> Some might think it more. I, I thought it was. A, I, I thought it was, he would make a good Hitler, but he would make a good. Nah. Can, can I see These cops are interrogating me about an ounce of weed as if I didn't kill an Applebee's hostess two miles away. <laughs> yeah, he's bald, so he can't do a comb over. Not that he's a Dracula. I mean, it's it's a whole new perspective, dude. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sovereign Slav, Tiruski, or Sto? Dagut. I was just wondering if you speak any European languages. Voice oh, so voice. 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 you're a fake you're a fake european i'm i'm european i'm a european vampire dude you're, you're probably in like wichita and just faking your accent yeah i think so yeah boy's my hero you he never lets me down you know? man was, he never comes on panel day, boy on, on I mean, dude, uh, he, he's uh, this guy asking me like do you speak some european languages of course i do i mean some, not all. Which? 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 It's German. I can sp- I can understand German, speak a little. I can understand French, speak a little. Most of Spanish I will understand. I will understand some Russian, some Slovenian, Slovakia. Well, I spoke in Russian. That's why I was asking. Well, look at that. Russian because you named yourself. I know you. I Mr. E says we fake the true European language every day. I'm not sure what the true one is. 
Ele gosta absolutamente não é o Spiegel. Ah, só não. Deutsch, 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 I would, I, yeah, I would go for He's that. He's trying to say UK English, but you know that's not continental. Something well, oh, yeah. That cucumber sandwich shit, it don't fly over here. Crumpus. Well, um, uh, how do we get onto this? I just saw his name, and so I asked him. But we were talking about simulation theory. I hear before I joined. All right. Well, I miss um, I think 007 made like a banger point and it chased away actually both the people who were making not banger points. And <laughs> okay. then it made and then it made Vic go off on <laughs> wherever he was. Stretched it out on. To... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know where else to go on that topic. It feels like that was sort of a a, a thud, at least in my head. But like, I sort of already had the same agreement. And, Did I mic drop it? You did for me. So the third. <laughs> nice. okay, am I the yeah. only one that woke up and I'm on here? I got sleep. Yeah, no, you absolutely are. I've uh, what time is probably it? I've been so moody this week because I've been working. Like I've gotten on this uh, night shift streamer shit, but this week I actually finished up a job that oh. I had been sort of sidelining for a while, and uh, yeah. I was going to ask you, you've been working. Um, I, I did this. I did this week. I mean, I got, yeah. But I'm, I'm in a lucky position. I can take more work. I can take less work. And since the winter's been kind of weird, and then me and Katie ate some funky pizza and got sick, and, like, just a lot of things fell in line to where I was. I ended up spending more time here and was able to just sort of roll it. Um, so. But yeah, this week I needed to, to actually pick up the revenue a little bit and also um, finish something that was hanging out there. So, because as much as um, I enjoy this, it doesn't pay a fraction of what <laughs> no actually working does. I was listening a few months ago to you, and uh, and uh, it was a couple months ago, and you were talking about when you were in jail, and you were telling some stories, and uh, you know just one to another to deal with the guard and doing this stuff and getting like the was it just me board. what's that was it just me monologuing up here it was you it was someone i can't remember it was a panel and they, you were just mm. you were going over some stories and someone else was like i was listening going damn and each story was getting more progressively i was like damn flow's pretty hardcore i'm like you must have been in there for years man and <laughs> uh and someone on the panel a black dude asked you man how long were you in there for and you're like Four months or something like that. Well, when you when you spend four months inside of a thirty by thirty room, four months is enough. Four months, four months is way more than enough. I, I was only I only spent nine months in the end. I only spent nine months inside, but for six of those months, I was looking at eight at serving eighteen. So, I was looking at fifteen. Right. So when you're in the cell and you're looking at the potential of it, you are it's hard to it's hard to explain but you basically in your mind you are serving that sentence in that it's, fucking yeah so it's 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 sort of time, up your, your brain time, for a bit. time and space are connected right and so time actually yeah, stands yeah. still because your space is also um how do you say um disrupted uh is i don't i don't i don't know uh well you you have you have routines but you lose all track of basically it, it's like you well, know it's it, you know it's monday and and tuesday and wednesday and stuff yeah. because well, but, but you don't you know there's nothing it's not because like, meals come on a schedule yeah but, right. um, where, but where i was at it was 24 7 lockdown no yard time no windows 24 7 fluorescent lighting on full blast uh, so we act, you actually could, except for the meal schedule, you didn't have any idea what time of day it was. Yeah. Yeah. That, if, that, if they would serve that, you the meal like midnight, you would say, oh, oh, that, yeah. I, that went Absolutely. by fast. Really? Yeah. I mean, if somebody put money, because there's the phone in there, but somebody's got to put the money on it. So, like, my mom would put money on it. I could call her and she could tell me what time it is. But as far as your own internal clock, now, nah, I, I went over a month without seeing the sky 
at all Whoa. outside. That's just that's 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 alone. I mean, that that function alone of of um, of being uh, being in in such a in such a position that is criminal, right? To put oh, that yeah. upon somebody, it, it is. It, it's almost it's like a war crime, it's isn't it? It's evil. It is. It's. It is one. Actually, I didn't know this until after that. That whole paradigm I'm describing, where you know the sensory deprivation of the external world, basically, and then the yeah. overpower and like the everything was painted white or stainless steel. So you had silver and white and big ass fluorescent light bulbs on full blast twenty four seven. That was the form. That was one of the uh, interrogation techniques they would use at Gitmo that yeah. came under fire. Um, right, and it's to yeah. break down is to break down the the inmates. Basically, you need to take a plea deal. It's to break you down. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you were good at it, though, Flo. That was my point. You, <laughs> you <laughs> run that place. <laughs> well, there wasn't a lot to run. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what story you heard, but it was. I mean, I went in there already. When I went in, I had enough reputation that like. The two most respected people in there were the only two who knew how I was, who I was. So everybody else kind of fell in line after that. It's that's the thing, right? In prison, it's got fuck all. All it is is who you know. It's, it's, yeah. If you it's if like you know scouts, or, it's like being it's like school kids, but it's just but it's yeah. all dudes and they're all angry. <laughs> Who you know and who knows you and what they know you for. Oh, you were probably hearing me talk about the, the cellmate I had that I'd tell him when I was pooping. Is that what you're talking about? You started from the bus ride in all the way. Oh, when I went to rehab. Yeah, they see that the shit was just everything. silly. They really <laughs> like dramatized it. I mean, that was unnecessary. But um, yeah. I looked, I looked pretty hardcore, except for the fact that my clothes were way too small at that point. Um, I looked like kind of a badass getting shipped to rehab. Yeah, I was just, I was driving and I was thinking, and so there was some black dude on the panel, and he goes, "Damn, bro, how long were you in there for?" And I was thinking it at the same time he said it, like, "How long was he in there for?" And so it was fucking funny, dude. I was rolling. Yeah, I was like, they, uh, my good, case, good you would think if you just looked at the way that it was. Uh, treated, I guess, by the courts and the cops and stuff, you would think that I was Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, they they raided me a ton of times. Uh, I made the front page of the newspaper below the fold. Um, they, you know, but it was, it's just small town shit. And part of it, I believe, a big part of it, actually, I think is, is egos. They're not used to have somebody play back against them. Um, and I did that. And actually, I don't know if I said, when I, the reason, they told my lawyer, the reason that they agreed to let me have probation is because I'd fucked up my supervised bond three times. They assumed I would go to prison. Um, and so like when I, when my pro a probation officer recommended me for early completion, I was denied. It flipped her the fuck out. She said she's never had anybody be denied for her from her recommendation. Um, so I think it's egos. Also the prosecutor, was my ex-wife's attorney during our divorce before she was a prosecutor. Whoa. Wasn't that so, grounds for fucking um, disqualification? Like, no, it's not a conflict of interest. interest. If she was my lawyer, it would have been a conflict of interest because that would have been a previous uh, relationship on the same team. But since she was opposing me, then it wasn't a conflict of interest. Jeez, yeah, it's poisoning crazy. the well. It's a, it's a pressure. She has, a pre she has potentially has pre a knowledge, like she has, potentially she has knowledge that she shouldn't have. Um, I, 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 I you, that's that's true. Object. It's not. It's it. I don't believe it is a pick. A pick. Well, no, I mean, let's just say that, like, that might the be American justice system's fucked. Anyways. Right. And, and I. That's the first thing I said to my lawyer, and he he had a quick response for it. Like this is already established case law. Um. But yeah, everything's in the court's favors. Um, obviously, that's why cops' words are treated as true, unless there's a good reason why it's not. Well, I mean, the reason is job performance, right? They have an obvious overt incentive to make arrests. I don't know why that's not treated as a conflict of interest, uh, at least to a small degree like it is. 
Yeah. They, have a, they have an incentive here to um, to give fines. They get they've got a quota, uh, like yeah. a quarterly quota or something. And so when it gets to Christmas, they start pulling everybody, you know, for whatever whatever they can. They are just random searches in the cars, random searches on the street. Yeah, the quota. Oh, sure. Because they can, because they can grab. Yeah, it. man, I left Vic backstage. Where'd Vic go? Tourists are easy picking. Yeah, it's been longer than five minutes, man. Um, I don't know if Vic was picking. waiting back there, but Vic, I apologize if you left because I forgot you. Anyways, I think, I think Vic was five or six tins into a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> How much is it? Yeah, had a bit of difficulty with the word prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what gave it away. Yeah, well, no, it's more than that. No disrespect, King Rooster, man. Seemed like a cool cat. Uh, Hillary, I was just, I was just in county. I wasn't in oh. prison. Oh, okay. I wasn't in federal. But I was in all units of county jail. The two man cells, the main general population, and then solitary for a few days. Well, it's really fucking fit. Hillary's, you've been uh, employed in corrections, have you not? Yes, in Texas. Hmm. Are you still? Or maybe you don't want to answer that. I don't no, know. not anymore. Uh, Harmon, uh, one of the regulars up here, he worked in federal prisons in, I think, what, California or Nevada anyway, for 23 years. And he actually guarded uh, Man Charlie Manson um, and shit. But uh, like screw. Yeah. Did you call so, screw Hillary, America? Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to uh, give you shit for being basically a cop, but I don't know if you deserve it yet. Oh, well, I was also a, a patrol sergeant, so. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Weirdly enough, a decent guy, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get, you know, my opinion, some of you probably have heard my opinion by now that there's no such thing as a good cop because you can't be a good person and have a job that exports your, um, that obligates you to act violently towards someone could you be a good ex cop? Sure. Well, um, but, but as long as you're, as long as you're, unless you agree with that, that uh, morality is determined by law, right? If you enforce a law that you disagree with, you're basically a moral prostitute and you're attacking yeah. an innocent person. Yeah. For clarity, I would say that the law is codified morals, but morals are not always ethical. So yes, if you enforce unethical laws, then that would be an unethical person. I use more. I use morality and ethics interchangeably, probably because I'm an amoral person, and I don't think morals are a thing at all. And I think ethics <laughs> are what's I actually right. Am too. Yeah, I mean, because morality is just like rules that people have a certain sort of feeling about, right? Or like that don't make, like fish on Friday for Catholics, or you know, like just shit. <laughs> Like saying bad words is bad. Like, well, kind of arbitrary and silly. Uh, I, th I think, I think there's some. I think there's just some basic standard, like morals or principles, or you know, or ethics. Morals, principles, or ethics. What is it? There's basically there's these things that kind of it. It kind of goes without saying. It's not good to do. Yeah, right. right. It's they're all describing the same thing. I, essentially. Right. In my mind. So, so basically, any anything else you could say that that you, you call, call call it whatever you want, call it morals or ethics or, or principles. It's just it's basically it's this code, right? I don't says, think right. Yeah, I don't think there is a distinction between them, right? Because uh, I mean, Hillary's point was that they're not, or they come. He made a distinction there, and I think that it's a distinction without a difference in my mind. The only, the only other thing with cops, though, is you got to know that there's a bunch of them that are just, it's a job, and that's it, and they're counting their I pension. know. That's why my, my, uh, my prejudice was philosophically founded. Yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, you can't, you, you, I mean, we were talking about uh, morals and, um, and ethics, and you, can, you cannot 
per definition, you cannot talk about cops then, joking. That's <laughs> <It's, laughs> right. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they, they they clearly don't have any of that. They don't it have any to be different. That's yeah, right. yes, well, yeah. Uh, but, but nowadays, but nowadays they are selected on on the lack of that. They're actually, it's actually flipped. Whatever the, whatever the, you know, whatever the script was, it's flipped. Yeah. Now they're looking for people with personality disorders, with under management issues, right. with narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 I know, I know. Narcissistic, confused people who are basically yeah. those are the ones that they need. They yeah. need those people, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, emotionally unbalanced, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, they would really—they should really just run around picking up YouTube panelists because we're all basically <laughs> pretty hostile and antisocial. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, no one well, asked me yet why I became one. Okay, go ahead. Because I saw so many people getting screwed over when I was growing up, and I grew up in Wichita. Uh, and so I saw so many people get screwed over by the system. I thought, you know, that that I would become a prison guard first because it was easier to get into. <laughs> and then when I was in there, I realized that by the that, that even though I could help people out, by then it was already kind of too late. So then that's why I became a policeman because you can. I think that's I think people. that's a very um um how do you say um brave choice to make mm -hmm. to fight the system from within mm -hmm. i like that yeah, yeah. um and okay the other issue is it, i'm taking up a spot that some uh somewhat monster could have been taking so yeah. i'm kind of displacing that person yeah if you went in with that if you started out with those intentions and i think that um you might actually be a saint sir well thank you i just have never heard of a cop doing that mm. So and, and also like so you're you're no longer a you're no longer a police officer, right? <laughs> Correct. And do you mind if I ask how long or when like when you were I'm not trying to dox you, I'm just curious because right. obviously you're in my state and it's you know. Okay. Um in Texas I was a corrections officer for two years in the mid nineties. Then mm -hmm. I was a policeman for twelve years and I'm now medically retired. Jesus Christ, you sound like you're about 28. I'm 40, 49. <laughs> but thank you, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't smoke and very rarely drink. Yeah, Hillary's you're, you're pretty much Fred Thompson, the actor who got a seat, I believe, in the House of Representatives saying that, you know, if good people don't try to get into those kinds of positions, then you don't have good people in those positions. But exactly. then he yeah. he retired from it in six months, saying it was hopeless to fix. But yeah. don't you think yeah. that there's? It, it, I mean, I would say that. I, that Fred I think that personally, I think that the law. I think the whole and the whole industry is fucking. Our criminal justice system is. It is an industry, and that's the point. It's an industry. It's a joke, it's it's a joke and an industry. It's a money-making, it's a yeah. money-making, it's revenue. And that's it really it. turned into a predatory activity and not a protective one, in my opinion, during the war, when the war on drugs was kicked off. Mm. We well, what do you think it's supposed to protect? Victims. Right. Of the, 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 the but adults, adults engaging in a voluntary activity, <laughs> even if it is a, a silly one, that's their right to do so. Dude, what a hilarity, though, the war on drugs. They create a, a problem and then say, we're going to go to war against it, well, against the problem that we created. And we that had the perfect, we, the perfect case system. study with the prohibition. We already know how this is going to be handled. Organized, vi organized vi crime is going to increase dramatically. Cops are, cop deaths are going to increase dramatically. We're going to have more of it because it incentivizes the supply side. Uh, yeah, it's it's a complete. I farce. think that phrase really, Richie. That phrase is missing a word. It's not the war on drugs. It's the war on drug lords. Yeah, it's I'm the war on people. No, I, I dis I disagree like a motherfucker I, with I, that. It's a lot easier to bust a low level deal. <laughs> yeah, and everybody the the threshold to become a uh, the sentencing grid in Kansas is. 
I was a level two, which was the second highest. That means the second worst one. And that uh, quantity is anywhere from three and a half grams to a hundred grams. Anything over a hundred. So a hundred to a bazillion grams is one. Three and a half to a hundred is one. And then three below at three and a half to zero, you have that tiny little amount broken down into three different categories. Uh, now a gram, a, a three and a half grams of dope back to probably cost me about 60 bucks. Um, and that was an, and that's also the tier at which your, your possession is presumed to be intent to distribute. Sales. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so 60 so bucks worth of shit. If you're not going with a 10 to get a new hit every day, um, you're a dealer. So, I mean, the law is entirely, yeah. And the drug dealer, the, the drug lord thing, that's all propaganda anyways. Drug dealers are drug right. users, and it's just, you know. Well, it, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. It's a lot easier to, to have a, a drug dealer, or, at, or especially a high-level drug dealer, as an informant and have him go pick up all his competition. I mean, the numbers are a lot easier to I, get that way. And, so, and But if you took the history of policing, you'll find out the history is uh, the police are there to protect the rich from the right. average person. That's really that's like, what I the, That's what I believe. It's, it's, it's about protecting money. The, the police are there yeah. to protect the, the police are there to protect the, the fucking the lords, basically. And anyone, mm -hmm. anyone that's anyone, that, if you're above they're, this they're, level, they're, they're protecting. It's not yeah. protection. It's not they're there protection. to hunt for them. Oh, well, yeah. They're, they're not they're just protecting them people. from attack. They're on the attack for them. It's fucking Vikings. Right. So in the, in the, I mean, in the UK, it's for revenue. Here in Spain, it's revenue. They just want to screw you one way or another and to get money from you, to get revenue out of you. It's not like to try and put you in prison. America well, is, that a, is a revenue center, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ, look at all the new prisons that were built. Like the the amount of the amount of money in the construction and then the management and you know it's and then and then rehabs and then all the industries right. that service it's, prisons. It's an entire it. fucking it's a commercial industry, man, an international yeah. industry, and they've been and it's how they got to power. It's how all of them. It's how the British monarchy got to power. They did it with opium and alcohol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. We've all been fucking hoodwinked, made to believe, you know, this ridiculous fucking narrative about drugs. And absolutely. The reality is I worked for two high level drug dealers and um, like in on the one, one was a, I worked for three actually, fucking hell, <laughs> two distributors, like local distributors. And one was a, the logistics guy that just used to deal with the fucking getting it out everywhere. So he was fairly high up and all of them had relationships with the fucking police that's the only way they could operate they had relationships with, with a police officer with somebody somebody on that side who kept them tipped off or they you know they had a relationship with them like the guy that chucked me under the bus i was the payment you know <laughs> it was Chuck one under the bus every three months. And I was the yeah. one. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, yeah, shit. it's the drug lords are the fucking are the very ones that are claiming to be fighting against it. It's regulatory capture, basically. It's just, you know, it, I've yeah, I've bought coke off of uniformed officers. Motherfucker didn't even change out first, you know, like it's just. <laughs> I got a photograph, and it, God, I don't know where it is. It's on one of my hard drives that, and one of my laptops that I can't get into. Um, I got a photograph of one of the policemen here, one of the road cops on a bike, taking a line off his fucking motorbike, off, off the seat of his motorbike. <laughs> it was the second line. The first line, we didn't get the picture of it. He did the first line. I'm like, no fucking way. Did he just do that? We were sat in a cafe watching. Did he just fucking? Yeah, he just did that. And then he, he starts walking back to the guy, and then he stops, swivels round, walks straight back, and taps out another one. Click. Can't use it as evidence or anything because it's illegal to photograph or film the police when they're working. Is it really? What? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. 
But the road cut, the road police, the local police, the local policia, they don't have random drug tests. The nationals do. The national police have random drug tests, so they're all on steroids, but they're not on. They're not taking drugs. But the, the local police, they're all fucking cokeheads, man. Well, random isn't it? Random anyway, in house. Yeah, that's like, true. I, I worked. I worked for a company, and everybody knows that. Just knowing me, that I'm squeaky clean. That I. I don't do. I don't play with anything. So every random drug test, I was the guy they sent to get tested. Yeah. And my yeah. last job where they did randoms, you never got a random until they wanted to fire you. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah. I, I got fired on a random that got sprung on us because this dickhead that was working on the crew, he wasn't invited to go and have a split. Uh, when, <laughs> he wasn't invited and he ducked we were we were working next to the railway so we had these big salmon um containers and the lads had all ducked into one of the containers and we're having a joint and he looked over and saw them all and was so butt hurt that he wasn't invited he ran to the fucking foreman and told him they're smoking weed down in the salmon so the foreman had to had to call a random drug test and i don't know if he said to me rich for fuck's sake. If it had For just sure. been weed, if it had just been weed, I probably could have got you off. You probably would have been all right. But cocaine and fetamin, methamphetamine, I've got no choice, mate. I've got to let you go. Yeah. <laughs> I had it uh, all in my system when they fucking caught me. You know, for a long time, when I was on supervised bond, I would buy um, the the gas station bottles of... Man, where'd he go? I wouldn't even hear, get to me <laughs> yet. Um... The bottles of green tea, the Lipton green tea bottles, you can just pour that shit straight in the cup if they're on the spot test. That's what we we did something similar in prison, using uh, just tea bags and warm water. Dip a tea bag in warm water. Yeah, I'd I'd uh, microwave a little cup of it for seven seconds, I think, and then put it in a flask and I carry it in my pocket in, which works great until uh, you know. In, in uh, until the DA sent a judge or a cop up to watch me. Fuck. The the last three months I spent in a in the sort of um super advanced wing like the, the because I was I only had three months left on the sentence, so I, technically I should have gone to an open prison. So instead I was put on a super enhanced wing where um you had a key to your cell, you had your own shower, your own toilet. It was. Yeah. It wasn't lock up until like quarter to nine at night, and then you had to. You had to just basically. You you had all access to the wing, the pool table, the TV, the the toaster, the the kitchen, everything. In the kitchen, they had plastic uh, gloves, and so you just cut the thumb off a plastic glove, dip a tea bag, put it in the thumb, tie it up with an elastic band, wrap it around your cock, and then they were supposed to strip search you, and test it for ph and everything um to see. Lazy. they're supposed to do all that no they did deliberately didn't they didn't bother all they tested was the temperature that's all they tested was the temperature to make sure it, it was you know out of your body basically and it stayed warm the whole time because you keep you know you keep it lit on your inner on your inner thigh in a plastic bag they and you, they let you into a private toilet close the door Nick the bag, put, and they're just testing tea water every time. And they did it because it was so fucking chilled out on that wing. Nobody stepped out of line because, you know, it was too. It was too good. There was no trouble. There was no because on the on the main wing there was trouble all the fucking time. But on this wing, everybody was chill. Nobody wanted to get kicked off. And the the POs understood that if you just let if you if you let the prisoners if they let the prisoners just get high and do whatever you know it was like a quid pro quo which All is right. exactly why when i ever I hear something like oh they like smoking's not allowed in like or you know magazines are taking away whatever restrictions they're putting on prisoners there's always you know some people going good they're saying it's supposed to be punishment blah 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 it's not a hotel room and i'm going well they're stirring up the pot they apparently want mm-hmm. more people to stay here and catch new cases. Because it's interesting I mean, that 
that the idea in prison of privilege is is just below civilian life out of prison and, and you feel like you've earned something you've accomplished something and your life is better when, when it's actually below uh, uh, some kind of humanitarian average I mean, that's brainwashing that's what the hell that yeah. is well, the whole point of privilege is... I mean, the point that I was making is that... Was that... I said the, the whole point of privilege is so that uh, there's something to take. Right. And you take it away when you... I mean, it's 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 an intentional prov provocation of the inmates, is how I view it. Uh, well, that, yeah. Well, when the, it, like when you ban smoking... People do as long as... Well, the reason that they, well, I can't speak for every state I know here. It was because of uh, health issues. Which is bullshit like, as well. So like if the whole, if the whole you have talking. somebody that's in there for 20 to 40 years and you've got to treat them for emphysema or throat cancer, it gets really expensive. So it's just a money issue. But it might be easier for him to get cancer or cheaper for him to get cancer than for him to not get cancer if he's in there for a long time. And, um, uh, I just, I just will give him cancer. Oh yeah, especially especially in there eating nothing but ramen noodles and cornbread. That mm -hmm. weird bologna shit. That's like all. Oh, you in Texas? You can get hog and doss and all kinds of good stuff. What? We didn't cheap. have commissary where I was. <laughs> yeah, all that um, stuff is cheap too. It's a lot cheaper than on the outside. Hog and doss, no shit. <laughs> You're yeah. in the wrong state. <laughs> no yeah. fucking shit. Well, I was in the wrong jail for sure. Like anywhere I go in the, even within the same state, when I tell people like about the conditions where I was at, no, no TVs, no yard time, 24 seven lockdown, no commissary. They're like, uh, what the fuck kind of dungeon are you? And I'm like, yeah, you've got eight people and two decks of cards and one book print mate at a time. Yeah. I did a few days in the County in Santa Clara, but it was for a second DUI. But like it's funny, it's so long. I, I tried to find my records and it's totally erased. Everything's totally gone. Like even the cat like the, like I know people in the county and stuff and they can't eat like everything's just disappeared. I'm like, all right, cool. I got no record. Uh, <laughs> Hillary, I'm gonna need you to break into the to get your connects in the Kansas system to get my shit out too. Okay. No, I'm actually three months away from being able to expunge uh, to apply for expungement, so Expunge it. And I've already got the paperwork done because I did my math wrong. And I thought it was three months ago, but it's three months from now. I was six months off. Did I not pin the link? Like, oh, she's on a different channel. Em, it's on mine. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Hold yeah, I was, just gonna say, I was just going to post, uh, I was going to drop out and post a link for anyone who's watching on my channel to come on over if they want to continue watching. But, um, been a great convo thanks guys hey thanks for coming up man peace i will yeah, drop you and anybody who's uh here now or who is here early anybody who comes up here i do try to and i've been bad about it lately but i try to include links to everybody's pa uh, pages in the description box uh after the show is done so if anybody who comes up here thinks there's a chance i might not have their channel like joe king who i've actually looked for before you have a very generic name yeah, uh, there's YouTube for. Uh, uh, leave me your link. Okay. Void also, your boy, your channel was hard to find. Just searching void doesn't work. But I resolved that. No, you can't find me. No. I've got you now, Seth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hashtag four twenty cafe should be able to find your channel over here. We have similar conversations, religious discussions, political events, <clears throat> political current events yeah um karaoke music <laughs> uh dude, you don't want me to do karaoke i only do it hostily because i can't sing but if i'm drunk enough to want to sing and then i just want to torture you for 12 minutes with some dude, love song. That, that's the whole point of karaoke though isn't it right we're, we're really it was just show to sing yeah, I think the whole point of bars was just to get some strange, and then um, <laughs> once you once you quit to, or once you get in a relationship, at least for me, then bars just became expensive places to drink where you can't change the 
the TV channel. I want to shill somebody from Yours? Brojo's channel. Uh, all the okay. gifts by Geo Sam, and he is for hire. Geo Sam, I have. Yeah. You got some feedback, Barbie. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean feedback? We're getting an echo back from you. You got an echo or something? Hold on, it might be gone. How about now? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone now. I didn't have it plugged in all the way. That's my bad. How you did doing? you see it's the like, uh, screenshot I sent you? I did. I woke. That's what I woke up to this morning. That was like so nice. I was like, oh, I miss you guys too. Well, the next one was like, it's been a blessing without her. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I somebody like, asked her I, said, I, screen, that. I, I took a picture of it and I sent it to her. I seriously doubt that. I don't know why you got to lie to me like that, Flo. Because if it was true, I wouldn't tell you that. So you can see <laughs> it. <laughs> I miss you guys too. But I was spending time with my grandbabies. Yeah. So how, can babies, how can the babies be on the... Yeah. There's three of them. The, where's where's BB? Their ages range from four to four months. Okay. Nice, Sam. I got two. Yeah. yeah. I love my, I love grandbabies. They're like a whole nother level of like awesome. That's yeah. what your, I like your kids are people. one thing. You mm -hmm. just trying to keep them alive and, and survive them while you're surviving and they're surviving you. But grandkids are so much better because you give them back. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everybody keeps saying. I'm like, but I don't. But don't you like your kid? Like when Is my mom saying that to me, it's like grandkids are awesome because they go away. Then I'm like, well, uh, thanks, mom. I'm glad that you had fun with my daughter. Yeah, I, I, tr I tried well, to figure out because my daughter, my daughter asked me, "Do you love you know the girls more than me?" And I go, you know, like seriously. And I go, well, it's not that I love them more. It's just that it's. I had you, and then you had the baby. So now we're invested. Just deep. it's just I don't know. There's just yeah. more love there. Like it's weird. yeah. And there's probably less stress. I would assume. Um, oh, way less. Oh yeah. I've yeah. heard it said. I've heard it said that grandbabies are the reward for not killing your own kids. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and they I'm are. a very and... low stress person, so I think that that might be kind of my, like. I, I don't <laughs> know, my, my mom. My mom loves being glammy. She loves, and my dad loves being glammy. What's that mean? What's glammy? Glammy. It's like they love being grandparents. It's, it's, oh, it's, grandparents. It's Bushy. not, it's not Bushy. granny. It's not it's granny. Glammy. Nanny. It's glammy because my nanny. Oh, I'm Gigi. My, my, mom, my mom obviously considers herself to be quite glamorous. So yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Opa. Oh, My dad so cool. decided to be Pop Pop because pop, he pop. apparently felt he was not old enough to be grandpa yet. I like pop, well, that's pop. why I'm not not grandma. I'm Gigi because I was like, but, no way. Because yeah. my daughter's no the first grandchild on both sides, and oh. uh, yeah. But then. Uh, my dad quickly turned it. My my sister started having kids like immediately after me, and so he didn't. His youth didn't last long. Did, did your sister get broody after she saw that you had? Is that what she, happened? Um, no, she married. She ended up getting married, and uh, she married into Mormonism. So that's what right. happened. Right. Okay. My you know, my uh, history uh, history of the era. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, my godfather became a Mormon, moved to America, and became a Mormon. Never saw him again. Sorry, go on, carry on. <laughs> I, I was going to well, say the sucks. historical. The, the worldwide historical average of becoming a grandparent is probably about age 34. What? I'm 37. Me too. But yeah, I'm, I'm 37. And my, uh, my daughter's 22. So I started young. I started super young. Mom, I mean, my mom... She was 19 when she got pregnant with me. That's, uh, that was, that's still young. Teenage mom. Basically. Yes. It's, it's, yeah. No, they, there's no way. Not so a teenage mom it's, is the privilege of technology. It, yeah, it's it's different, mean, though, isn't it? It's different for women. Like after 35 years old, it's only 50 50 if you're actually going to be able to conceive. So that's, you know, that's I, the statistics, isn't it? Like, I, 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 five. 
Yeah, I agree. It's I think that it's a big fucking societal trap to keep people infantized until basically they're thirty five. Mm -hmm. what, what we're look, what we're seeing in society well, it's not just in society man it's reflected in politics if you look in congress or you look in, in it's a, really reflected uh, in all of humanity everybody's children, so fucking childish fucking childish yes yes it's like what a bunch of creepy person of? fucking children running around like uh, and it's like schoolyards everywhere's a fucking schoolyard epidemic what, man. what if that's the limit of their capabilities i don't it's believe it i don't believe it's an organic limit i believe it's no. a manufactured limit yes yeah 100 percent manufactured limit caused by basically what we're ingesting what we're digesting a steady diet of fluoride and more. um and public schools TV. E Fucking, See, I mean, what, what do you learn in school? You know, you're oh, trained man. where truth comes from. You're told what to do air, by somebody, and world. you're told what to believe by somebody. And, and these, and then, and then people graduate and get in the real world, and they like don't know what the fuck to do with themselves <laughs> at all. Yeah. And they've got no ability to think crit critically about anything. Like, can you not work out how that happened? What they what? think they're thinking. What? But they're just telling you what somebody else apparently thought about. Yeah. Dude, I, 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 I age forty two. I'm completely guilty till age forty two. Never had an original thought. Yeah. Hello, I'm glad that you busted out of the uh, the thing. Does original thought exist? Has well, not, okay. The thought that yeah, you've had. Right? Way, way, to, way to fuck up the celebratory revolution. You know that that Richard escaped it. He escaped. Good job. But no, but no, it doesn't really. You still In haven't context, had one. Richie, I, I meant. I, I hadn't had an original thought to this earth to qualify it. And um, at some, but I think that your take on the Bible now is like fucking original as shit. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty scary for me. And there's, there's parts of that that I don't like. The way I the way I um, approached it was when you know I like I said spoke to God and basically where like my conversation with God was something along the lines of you know that um, everything's pretty messed up now and you know that there's a hundred and one reasons why I cannot trust what I'm being told by other men other men and and women i can i can't trust it i can't trust the intention behind Ooh. it i can't trust what's being said and i i think you know come on man if you're there can you help me out can you help me work it out can you help me but you already did you got a brain to, you got a brain to realize that right no, yeah chat. exactly but i think that's the whole point right this this is the whole point because it's not a two-way conversation you ask no. questions, and you say, ah, help me, God, man. and then you get on with life. And then later on, you look back, and you go, oh, well, the answer presented itself. Well, that was either God answered it, or, you know. Bend over to the front, touch your toes. We're going to do some yoga. We can't hear you, but we just been, I've been looking at fucking... Weirdo John all night. I'm allergic to cats. That's what happened to my leg. I didn't well, we haven't seen your legs. No, but I don't know about your legs. What? She's going to show her legs. Oh, yeah. What? 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 A bit skinny. Got measles. <laughs> yeah, but a bit fresh, too. Come on. You're having a yeah. bad day today, uh, Em. Yeah. What is this? You have herpes. I'm bleeding. You have herpes. She herpes. <laughs> The There's no cure for that. You're not allergic to cats. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's going to itch for a long time. You're going to want to tell all your partners about that? <laughs> um, it's, a good day. it's a good day to get rid of all these uh, toxic things. You know, yesterday yeah. was a good day. Today. So I think it's just one of these moon days, you know, and, and your body is just getting rid of it. Richie, oh, you wait, said wait. something. Er Sorry, no, go on. Uh, you said something earlier that that caught my interest because I have seen 
or by my perception, I believe I saw actually two occurrences of a golden orb. And, and what seemed particularly interesting to me about that was that what I saw looked golden, not because it was reflecting light, but because it was creating light. And I wonder if that was also your experience. My experience was it was in my peripheral vision, right? I didn't, because I, I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. I was mm -hmm. the shadow man. What I perceived to be the shadow man had come into my apartment. Uh, the, the, the atmosphere in my apartment had dropped. The temperature had dropped. I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. I was falling asleep. Like I could feel I was starting to lose consciousness. And I would try to say, because of where I was with with my Bible studies and everything, and you know, I'd been studying with Jehovah's Witness for for about six months. Uh, where I was with my own perception, I wanted to say, with the power and authority given to me by Jesus, basically by my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I couldn't say it, and my, I, I couldn't, I actually couldn't say it, and I was, I was like. Fuck, and I'd heard about that, you know, about them paralyzing you, not being able to say what you want to say. So in my mind, I just said, I literally, like he was my brother, said, Jesus, am I, what's going on? Am I doing this right? Help me out. Help me out. Please help me out. And this golden orb in my peripheral vision, this golden orb came down and basically in my perception turned into the shape of a man who put his hand on my shoulder and just said in my ear, you got this. Wait, where were you? Why couldn't you, where were you saying that you couldn't I was sit? on my sofa. I was sat on my sofa. One thing just I've noticed. Just a normal afternoon the, and you no, just. morning. It was 11 o'clock in the morning. I mean, or just a regular ass day that, and you just couldn't regular say where. Day. And no, you, who, surprised. where Right, hang on. So I'm sat there watching TV. I'd been up for an hour or so. I was on my second cup of coffee. I was I'd rolled a joint. I'm sat there, <clears throat> and I'm watching. I was watching something. I'd been playing the place. I've been playing the Xbox. I'm watching something, and you know when your eye eyes just get so heavy, you you can't keep them open. You, when you nod, <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. I, start, I start nodding, but I'm not losing my consciousness. I just can't keep my eyes open. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why, what's going on? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I've been up. I'm on my second cup of coffee. What's going on? And then I started to feel like were, the same time as I started. Were you, were you, were you, you were saying you were Jehovah's or doing Jehovah's Witness shit. I assume that you were like, was it like day four on a bender or something, or it just was normal ass? No, it was okay. a normal normal ass day, and I was I was studying for like five. Well, no, this is this was about six months into the studying, so I was doing twice a week for like three or four hours on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and I was going to Kingdom Hall on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Okay, and tr and it wasn't it wasn't with any interest of becoming but a you, witness. You mentioned uh, you. You you said that you had heard about this happening to people before. When it's when it happened, when I was, when I couldn't mm. speak, mm. I remembered seeing you know watching documentaries and stuff about possessions and about um, night terrors and all of that that sort of stuff. So I I just it you know it was just my mind referenced something that I'd heard before about not being able to speak. And I thought, no, I can speak in my mind. God can, you know, Jesus, whatever can hear me. I don't need to use my voice. This was the. Whole, it was like a realization that I didn't need to use my voice. Um, but I needed, I needed confirmation from what I perceived to be Jesus to believe it. Right. You know, like I, I just need, and, it, and him coming down and going, "You got this." Is this in, your first yeah. time on? Is this your first time here, uh, Richie, on Flow? Uh, I've been to his panel a handful oh, of times. This is his first time here, I think. Yeah, yeah Richie's a trip. He's, he's got some trippy yeah. stories, man. Like the number 23 in Richie is a trip, man. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Before we change topics, though, um, Richie, it's been my experience, and I wonder would you agree with me, that our angels are edifying, <coughs> and their angels assume the role of the teacher and are demeaning. And are demeaning? Yes, they're demeaning. Sorry. Like they talk shit to you? Well, they they imply it. Maybe, like maybe they say it directly. <laughs> So I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, like if I said to you, flow state, I'm trying to tell you the truth and I don't know why you don't appreciate it. After okay. all, what I'm giving you is super, super, super valuable. And you seem to not be grasping it. That's diminishing. Right, right, right. Whereas right, right. If I say, I, I know these things are complicated. They're not easy to absorb, but I totally think that you're capable of it. Okay. So, yeah. So, so they but they were doing the first one like they've been trying to tell you and you ain't been listening. Yeah, that. Or would be they demonic. were doing, huh? That would be demonic or okay. The, others, the angels. angels are like encouraging. Okay, I, I didn't mind it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got a big laptop though. I'm I'm tr I'm still trying to kind of work out what you're saying. Um, well, well, geez, you said by, by your perception. Uh, in your experience, this golden orb came down. It took the form of a man, laid his hand on your shoulder and gave you encouragements. So just, and so I yeah. disagree with weirdo John that this was necessarily demonic. That sounds mm. like that sounds like an encouragement. It sounds like edification. Mm. It sounds like a positive thing. It was a, it was a confirmation. It was a confirmation right. I'd been seeking. Like, hey, have I got some authority here? Do I have authority? Do I have? Do I have any authority as a sovereign yeah. being, as a sovereign, as a as a human vessel carrying a, a an eternal soul? Do I have any authority here? And and in a dialect and in an expression, using the correct tones, reassured you and encouraged you that you do, in a way that you could understand. That's perfect. Oh, mate! Like filled me with. I'll bet. Just uh, it's, I can't explain it. I've never I've never felt anything like it in my life before. I haven't felt anything like it since. It was. Have you ever uh, done a panel? <laughs> it was incredible. I, but the because you know I started to say what it was I, I wanted to say, and before I'd even finished his name, this thing was gone out of the apartment, along with all the all the atmosphere with it. The light seemed to come back. Like the whole light, the, the whole apartment filled with sunlight, like because the sun was on its way, um, was on its way over, and it yeah, it was like well, it was sort of overhead. It was enough for for me to get some sunlight on the eleventh floor, and um, yeah, it was it, it was just I felt um, where I'd felt really really heavy, like I was being really squashed down by. I don't believe in gravity, but you know, like the gravity had increased in the room and then mm -hmm. it, it completely released and I just bounced out of the sofa. Like felt like I could fly. And it was in, it was just like, boom, instant from, from one state to the next state. And there were no chemicals involved. I hadn't been doing anything. I've been clean for quite a while. Isn't actually. it funny how many people will ask that? Well, and I asked that because, what he was describing because I did drugs. It was a trip. It was well, a no, trip. But, but when you're talking about the, the 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 heavy thing, when you're on meth for five days at a time, at some t at some point it's called yeah. it's called falling out. You just yeah. wake up somewhere. You didn't. Yep. You don't. You just woke up. Like what the fuck happened? Yep. Oh, don't I even know it. what the fuck happened. That yep. you were just sitting there eating, and the next thing you know, you wake up and you're face down in your food. Like what? Sometimes happened? it's really awkward. <laughs> yeah. I, I've yeah. I've never done yeah. I've never done meth, but I've gone five days without sleep back in November that led to a really fucking profound spiritual experience and felt like during those five days I felt like I was tripping. During those five days, I had a moment where I suddenly felt really guilty. I felt really bad, as if I because I was like, "Ah, oh, Rich, you were supposed to be clean. You're not supposed to be doing drugs. You're not supposed to be feeling like this." And then another little voice goes, Rich, this one's natural. 
you don't worry about it embrace it this is natural and it was and so i went for five days and had a conversation with my higher self uh, <laughs> you know it was Look, i i don't it was fucking better than drugs it, it was better than drugs sleep deprivation um and and uh did you just will yourself to stay awake for that long? No, no, that was the thing. I didn't No, I was it was like four, three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm thinking I'm going to go to bed. And then I get a phone call from a guy that I hadn't spoken to in almost exactly a year. And we end up chatting for about four hours, four or five hours. And at the end of that conversation, I felt like I'd done half a bag of Coke. I was really, really i was buzzing like our conversation had just been fucking amazing we've been bouncing off each other for for four or five hours and then and and i just couldn't go to sleep i did i had no desire to go to sleep i couldn't sleep so i just carried on through the next day and then three at the same time the next day he called me again and we had we had another like three hour conversation i think it was it was three hours every time it was a three hour conversation and by the end of the conversation, I was fucking buzzing and I couldn't sleep. And it carried on like that for five days, not with him calling me, but with me having conversations with people that was, we would, I don't know, we would, it was just creating energy that seemed to be feeding me. And I was whatever energy that was being created between me and these individuals or in groups or whatever was sustaining me I'd, I'd lay down at two two three o'clock in the morning think right i really need to try and go to sleep now All right try and go to sleep and i'd close my eyes and then i'd have this thought that was like a line of coke and then bing i could not fucking oh i can't go to sleep now <laughs> i've got to think about this you know just and praise god man fucking praise god god is so amazing the sun, the nature, the earth, water, the way words work, the way knowledge works, the way love feels, God. Praise God, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of my favorite oh freaking clips. You look good in that video. Oh, oh he, God, man. He, he, I was just, I, he looks like he might have had a similar God experience Richie had. I think that. He definitely looked like he was dosed up. He looked, yeah, but he looked like healthier back then, or I don't know. He looks all beat up. His now. hair was cut. He kept his hair tighter. <laughs> he was, uh, Fucking praise God. That's what he said. He's I been a little stressful lately. It's a stressful time for me now. Yeah. Richie, go. what what happened to me was um, I had a non drug induced, not sleep deprived. No, nothing was wrong whatsoever daytime experience of what I could call a dream. It was like having a dream, but it was better than any of my dreams ever had been and have been since. Uh, so I, I don't perceive it as an actual dream because it was like a Hollywood quality movie that, that didn't skip. It didn't skip forward in time at all. It was continuous. It was really solid. It it was progressive. It was building a storyline. It had a point at the end of it. All of these things for me, very not dreamlike. Revealing to me a reading frame that I've been using since and cannot seem to, uh, to disprove, nor can anyone else seem to disprove it. And, and um, immediately in the, in the next week, the repercussions of the reading frame caused a, a series of epiphanies which occurred during my waking states about once every three to five minutes, there was another epiphany for an entire week. So, uh, I, I mean, really impactful, really changed my view of what reality is, changed my view of what, what the animal you is, uh, in, in serious ways so that I cannot any longer return to what I would now refer to as, uh, an ignorant, blissful state. I, I can't go back to that. Um, believing now what I believe is true. I mean, I guess it, we need to understand what your reading frame is. 
I need to understand what your reading frame is. Like, you, I, I know what you, what you mean by reading frame, but so, so what is your reading frame? What the reading this? frame that I've adopted that was shown to me is basically the following. Um, a, a biogenesis and, and following evolution did happen in the universe, but it did not happen on this planet, which is why we don't find an uh, ancient atmosphere that's compatible. But where it did happen resulted in a very advanced uh, species of animal, which became technologically advanced over time and just decided to start employing slaves like we do with dogs and cattle and such, you know, um, they took they take they took what we call apes and started using apes as slaves, mostly for their hand, their their mobility and their intelligence. But it wasn't good enough for them, so they started making improvements on that. Then they made one improvement that made the animal smarter than they already were. Smarter than the, the manipulators were. That animal, it, it called, uh, those, those uh, dominant species, called red in the face like the red clay of the earth, or Adam. Meaning it has emotional states that are reflected in its flesh of its face. This which differentiated it from themselves and everything else. Uh, in our self-realization and replication of, of ourselves, uh, becoming a, a new species in the universe, but smarter than our captors, we, we essentially made an exodus. We escaped. Using their technology and their supplies, we escaped. And What's they've that? been right. after us ever since. Is that the box saga? I don't know what that those words are you just oh. used. If you told me, I'd try to understand. Oh yeah, I don't know where you, you came up with all that though. Where is that? That's it's, all from your it's mind. The Bible. I, I mean, oh, no. it it sounds a bit it sounds a bit kind of ancient aliens, um, which is a well, uh, which I really think it was C.S. Lewis. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it, it, for me, it's just a Hollywood narrative. Um, it's all based, it's a perception based on a Hollywood narrative. Right. Or the or the exact uh, opposite, because I because I really vehemently disagree with NASA, um, and with with current perceptions of like widely held perceptions of what this Earth realm is where we live, um, okay. because of my like very very staunch objection to the um, to the official model that we've been given that is completely it's been disproven in so many ways in my opinion um by myself a direct question on that go on no i'm not a flat uh, earther no could i ask a direct question not would i take a suggestion from you as questions i should ask <laughs> no i'm just trying to preempt the question <laughs> you, I, I thought you were going to say are you a flat earther i thought that was a, i thought so too <laughs> Okay, so outside of the dome of our atmosphere, what is there? I don't know. Do you Couldn't. do you personally think that there's good evidence that there's anything out there? Mm. Not compelling enough for me because it's um it, it it's too CGI generated. Um, Roger. The, that. I, I think. Oh the, my God. I think. If anything, if anything, the 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 air gets actually gets thicker the higher up we go, and that's why planes are able to fly because at what air is a different um, a, a different state of water, basically, mm -hmm. because air air is 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 contained within water and water within air. But you so know, I'm not asking you to justify the belief. Ready. I'm just trying to address you the way that you sit here in front of me. Yeah. So I'm saying I don't think that we can. Anybody can actually say. Well, maybe there's there are people that know what's going on. Whether we even have a firmament, like I, I think that there, if there if there are pressures, if there's a different pressure outside of this realm to inside of this realm, then there has to be a firmament to can, contain it. Um, okay. So okay, th then you're not going to agree with me on any of this because this necessitates that there's a universe out there 
and not just the appearance of a universe. I do accept that I could be that I might, you know, I don't, I don't know. I've never traveled to space, so I've, I've, I've okay. actually got to the point now myself where, I'm, where I will say that, you know. Do you yeah, know what? I've never you probably pretty much agree to disagree, like, like sincerely. <laughs> say that again. It sounds like you guys are actually like uh, agreeing to disagree sincerely. Um, That's okay. Yeah. Which is. Uh, it's a rare phenomenon. She's so good. No, Richie is really good at that. Really good at that. Well, he he's well, not persuaded that he has to, to be correct. And genuinely, yeah. And neither am I. I'm not proud of myself either. No, that's all uh, I just, uh, um, something Richie, on. You, you mentioned that the air gets thicker as you go higher, um, even when it's standing still. <laughs> I think it gets bigger. Well, because yeah. I was in the Air Force and I used to fly in the back of um, RC 135Vs. And the air, you can only call it thicker at higher altitude based upon the compression of the speed that you're going through it. I mean, if, if that's the way you say it, then okay. Well, then but otherwise, the ground level is thicker. I mean, I'm talking about the ho higher than, than the planes can go. We're talking about like when we're getting up to 400 miles above sea level okay then you know like where the iss is supposed to be uh orbiting like i think that that's a the air has a different viscosity I think you watched it when you were the kid yeah but i you know i don't know man i don't know all i know is all i know is that i live in tenerife and there are islands that are 125 kilometers away that are only two and a half thousand meters tall and that by the current model that's given to everybody the math says that i shouldn't be able to see anything of those islands nothing at all because they should be hidden behind the curvature but i can see the entire islands and if i get the p900 out or a p1000 out you can zoom into a fucking beach so is that are we okay hold on a minute my brain's trying to process what you're saying so are you saying that the Earth is flat? No, I'm saying it's only. Oh, you can. We can only say it's observably flat. You can right. only say that <laughs> observably it looks like it's flat. Right. right, depending on where you are. I mean, like I live in the mountains, so I. It's not. It's no, not no, no, no. A plane. <laughs> All right, a plane. Let's, let's, yeah. uh, the, the, the whole word flat is, is so fucking charged. Like yeah. it's, a, it's, it's been weaponized flat. Earth. And it's sort of disingenuous as well. Um, Obviously yeah. there's, there is, there is a relief to the earth. There's a, there are mountains and there are gullies and valleys and there are depths and there are heights, but it's all on this plane. This, this, uh, uh, observably flat plane yeah. because when, which is reflected in the clouds when you look at the cloud layers <laughs> yeah nobody can deny that it looks like a big long straight fucking line that goes all the way around flat um yeah. totally par totally horizontal parallel sorry to the um to the what would be the horizon you know yeah Brothers and sisters, I have two ways I could be rude right now. I could leave and not say anything. Or I could say, I love you. I appreciate you. You added to my experience, and I will never forget it. And thank you. So I choose to be rude that way. Well, thank you for coming up. Uh, you actually sort of sort of saved me because I was going to fucking probably just get stupider and stupider trying to talk to Weirdo John and end up making worse and worse points, which I think is already deteriorating by the time you showed up. But uh, well, he said I was white knighting for you, but that's not the that's not true. I was I just happened to agree with your point and have understood it and and wanted to play the pontificator, the bridge maker between which, the two of you, which I think he understood too. I think that's why he called it that because he was mad that you did that because yeah. he could already see the end. I've debated this shit with him before, yeah. Well. So the, wherever got, these ortho bros come from, there's some place where the Orthodox Church is teaching these motherfuckers to be like. What the fuck? I mean, why do they come to these streets? Why? I sort of, I don't know, but they I have, have a suspicion that, that the crucible and things like that has been a big in, influence on 
young men who are maybe looking for a way, right? Um, and since he is a good debater and he is orthodox, right? Like this. He is not a good debater. He's okay. <laughs> I mean, he's he, a young one. I mean, he, he's a young one. So he, he still has some. I was talking about the crucible, Andrew Wilson. He's, oh. he's, yeah, I wasn't talking about John. Uh, even Andrew Wilson has tactics, right? There's a lot of tactics that aren't actually solid points. They're just maneuvers. Uh, yes. But somehow all of them know how to do those maneuvers. I well, guess it's not a hard thing to learn. Like, or they just pick it up over time. I, I know what you're talking well, they about. Know, they know when to do it, right? Like right. they know exactly when to start going like, oh shit, he's going to box me in here. So they can obviously see the logic move coming. What doesn't make sense to me is why somebody wants to have a logic illogical belief. Yeah. Because they prefer their own biases over truth. That is to say, they don't feel secure. No, but or I mean, it doesn't seem illogical to, to them. No, they ha they recognize it's illogical because they know exactly what logic chain I'm following because they know how to disrupt it. Because, yeah, so so that's their that is where their gain is disruption. That is what they grow upon, right? That. That's that's what it is. Actually, but that's I don't think they, think they realize. I, I don't think they realize that that's what they. I don't think they realize that's what. Yeah, happening. I think that's a big yeah. part of it too, Richie. I think yeah. it, it, in that, that respect, they are kind of useful idiots. Yeah, they're they're cool like by themselves, you know. <laughs> well, they're cool in the moment, but but they're yeah. some, somewhat empty vessels. It's an affiliation, right? It's like having a sports team. You got to stick up for your team, you know, someone else talking about. And yeah. I mean, I think in that same way, they're part of a crew, they're part of a culture. It has, this is the unifying belief. You know, it's just all tribalism. But um, on on the real, like that form of tribalism is absolutely, detriment, uh, is absolutely detrimental to actual, any actual spiritual god connection happening if you're already okay. damn near damn positive you know um about god because this in, guy in I my, saw online in my own me. narcissism in my own narcissism and i have to go and I, I i thank you very much for the show please guys do check out uh brojo more for more casual or uh popular conversation and Hillary's if you're check out Hillary's emails for a more philosophical view. I'm going to drop you all again. Right on. More for is that is that a who's you talking about Hillary? That's a uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Who's the guy? He, he mentioned two channels yours and someone else's. Oh, Brojo. Oh, Brojo. Okay. Earlier, he mentioned an, uh, another person who can say it. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Geo Sam. But Geo Sam. Geo Sam. Geo Sam. Geo Sam. He doesn't actually stream, though. He only does graphic content. So if you need, like, something graphic made, you know, he'll do it. I should think your brain's fried, man, if you've been going for nine I've hours. Been, I got ten and a half hours now. It's crazy, dude. Of course. Do I don't know. Um, I've been I for a long time I was well at first I was I was kind of checked out for the first part of the stream and then I was engaged because I was agitated. <laughs> and then I was engaged because I was interested. And uh now I just like looking at your beautiful faces. <laughs> yeah. Also, I slept in. Biggest lie he's told this morning. <laughs> I slept really late yesterday, which is why I also started. You messaged me last night. I don't know. <laughs> I woke I mean, up this morning and I was all excited because I, I thought it was my my buddy. And I didn't have so. any idea it was ten and a half. Oh, you were excited until you saw it was me. I'm just gonna go and heat up my coffee. <laughs> hey, then it wasn't a dick pic, so I was all bummed out. I was like, "Oh, now we're this? going for now we're going for four mm. more hours." You know, you that's all that's all you have to say, Em. <laughs> he wants a dick pic. 
<laughs> Boy, Smith asked if that was your wife. I picture your wife. Can you just stand for that? Where? My wife? No, boy. Ms. Yeah, no, this is just in the morning before she shaves. You know, after that, she looks, after that, she looks like pretty uh, amazed balls. You know, she on. tweezes. Yeah. Yeah. She exfoliates and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. She got nice eyes. <laughs> Very. I mean, she's a gremlin. What can I say? What can I say? I mean, they have to shave in the morning. Which is what we say about you. It makes sense that a gremlin would get with a gremlin. <laughs> right. Gremlins get with vampires. Yeah. yeah. True. It's true. All chicks want to get with vampires because they sparkle in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. And they're mysterious. I bet they got bad breath, though. Mm. Nah. Just bad teeth. <laughs> Yeah, I bet that stank starts to. Vampires. We'll go, we'll go make some breakfast. Yeah. All right. The we'll blood. The cigar. The Where are you going to drop us, uh, Flo? 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 I'm just going to huh? call you Flo. Uh, I sort of, I thought at this point, like, I sort of feel like I want to push it to 12 hours. Normally at. Normally at six hours, I'm feeling it, right? Like eight hours happens. Um, I don't think I've ever gone to nine and a half hours before I realized how fucking long I've been on, ever. No, you have, but you were asleep. No, my long, you're right, exactly. My longest stream was the one that I slept the whole time during and you guys ran it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be listening. He just like gets it started and then leaves yeah, and goes to sleep. I was like, what is going on? I couldn't oh believe, I could not fucking oh believe that for 12 hours almost. Yeah. You got you guys couldn't add or remove anybody. Or the, no, we couldn't. So we just kind of like hung out doing stuff. And if they came up, they came up. I know Freedom Grower was there. And Joe Kane came up. Notch was there for a while. There were so I, many people there. I had a there dream, Andy up. M. Andy M. I had a mm. dream and you were there. Whoa. Well, that was that's from Wizard of Oz, Auntie M. I know. That's also what my niece and nephew call me. I'm in Kansas, too. Woo. Yeah. So that just threw me so off. I was like, whoa, what? I've been like running huh? into these like 5D puns lately and being scared about them myself. Nobody can follow a 5D pun. I don't even know what the fifth dimension would be. Of what? I don't even know what that means. I have well, a, on, I, on I, I, oh shit. It's like a layered joke. Oh <laughs> my brain cannot do that. I'm blonde. So, so what are you how even come, talking how about? Come, how come everybody knows what 3D is and some people know what 5D is, but all of these people don't have a clue what 40 is? It's time. <laughs> Okay. 40, 40 is the new That's a good answer. I'll go with that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It was a trick question, but of course, Flo solved it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, because Flo's kind of a normie <laughs> and kind of a douchebag with earrings, but. Um, yeah. Another solution is 40 is the new 30. <laughs> God damn dad joke. <laughs> Some frat boy Such douche with an earring who wants all the time, energy, attention, and resources. He's the hit. He's got an earring, you know, and he's got that frat boy douchey college vibe that you all love so much at the sports bars. You know, he wears his hat backwards and makes little quips, so he's cool to hang out with. Dude, so, I, 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 I would like to, I would a, like to get this head jive clothes. down and call it the pole jive. Like, the thing he does with his hands, he makes it so ex expressive. I like it. Someone like Flow State is going to be power hungry and controlling and want to be egoic. Yeah. yeah, he's kind of flamboyant, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> to say me. the least. To say the least, I would say that. Yeah. <laughs> why would he? Why would somebody? Uh, who listens to the Jonas Brothers? Get the fuck out of here. Are you talking what? to your grandkid? No. I was talking my buddy messaged me and said something about Jonas Brothers. And I was like, what? 
No, no, I wouldn't talk to my grandkids like that. They're right there. Hold on. Those are not Caesars. No, these are Caesars, Pink. These are Caesars. So I'm talking to the shadow voices so this, again. No, th I'm not talking to the shadow voices. I'm talking about darts. These are his clothes. Jubies. No, I'm looking for Adrian. They're right here. They're all right here. No. <laughs> I come down here to help her get caught up on stuff. And oh, I did her laundry. And did, her? <laughs> huh? You know what? After my daughter what? was born, my ex wife's uh, mom came and stayed with us and, uh, to help out. That did not go well. Oh, this is uh, because her, her husband had to go to school. He is going to school for some kind of uh, HVAC to become an HVAC technician. So while he was gone, I come down here to help her with the kids. What's up, Scott? How and, long uh, is school for? He will be back. He won't be back for another. How many days, Bink? For like another week or two? Hmm. Like ten days, something like that. But she, it's just it would be just her and the three kids, and like I wouldn't want. I don't wish that on nobody. So Plus, she the type of chick that has four kids and five different baby days. How does that happen? She don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't met Adrian yet till I got down here. So that's a, we got to meet the youngest one for the first time. Scott to be. Yeah. Because she lives like five and a half hours away from me. Good morning. What's happening, everybody? Oh, you know, just uh, brain dead power marathoning, you know. Ten hours ago, I started uh, watching you and then said, I'm going to fucking sleep. Yeah. <laughs> About two hours ago, I was like, holy fuck. Fuck, I've been going a long time and now I'm like, I might as well push it. You know, 12 hours is the limit between before YouTube stops keeping the recording. Um, uh, everybody that's been there knows that it's actually 11 hours and 55 minutes, but yeah, it is not. That's just when you end it for safety. No, no, no. what happened? No, no, no. Is it really? No, is it really? No, it, 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 I, even if you will uh, stop at 12 hours, it will register at 11 and 55. That's Don't it. fuck with me, boy. Dude, I've been up too late for you to be fucking with me now. To, I'm not trying to fuck with you. Come on, dude. Don't I mean, pull that Euro good. trash on me now, boy. We've oh, gotten this I'm far. A, you know me. I'm just a vampire. I know you're trying to... You're a I'm gonna, can I shout out to my chat room? I've just gone over to my uh, to my channel to have a look. Shout out the fuck out. You're restreaming this too. We got, yeah, I'm streaming it as well. I joined, I joined my stream. So we've got we got Nora and Wise Man and uh, Forever Love, you, Hillary's emails. Can we just uh, can we just uh, make a derogatory name for restreamers now? We, can we call them leeches? Leeches? <laughs> People that restream your, your actual stream. Well, I, I turn the option on because I like it when people restream because then I get more audience. Yeah, like hey, is Richie first so, cousin with Santos Bonacci or something? I mean, he reminds <laughs> me of the fucking guy. Right? Okay, right. funny joke from John Goodman. No, I'm listen. I'm not. I'm not even connected to Joe. Uh, to 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 uh, Mr. Bonacci. He's not Bonacci. Joe. Fucking Santos. No, <laughs> I should do a stream sometime with like <laughs> Santos Bonacci and John Goodman. <laughs> Who is it? Probably it so watching cool. knows you. Who is it that was saying that? Was saying that I'm I'm was it you, Voy? <laughs> That's why I thought it was so funny. <laughs> you literally Boy, have some of the mannerisms people. of the voice. You start you started it yourself, uh, Richie, and then I and I saw it and then you know, well here we are. <laughs> I've never seen him before, so I saw it right off. I mean that that was the first impression I had was wait, is this Santos Panachi? I don't have good eyes, so your voice fucked me up and you know. I didn't have my glasses on when I first started listening to this. I was like, what? It's Scott's eyes. It's Scott's eyes. Now, but... Yeah, I was I was like this going. <laughs> it's a fucking, what does it say here? No, man. I, I ain't Santos. Yeah. <laughs> Flow State. Where do you get the name Flow State from? Because isn't that a skateboard term? Yes. It's, it's actually like the hardest trick move Tony Hawk ever did. He's the only one who's ever done a Flow State. 
Right. And, you know, they've turned that into drones. It's now a term for drones when you get flying. The drone company was named after the Tony Hawk skateboard move. Actually, there's a Nintendo 64 game that came out that wasn't very popular called Tony Hawk Flow State. And uh, the, the logo from Tony Hawk Flow State is also the logo for the company that makes Flow State drones. I've got a couple race drones, and I'm I'm going through simulators and stuff because I don't want to crash these fucking expensive drones. But it well, actually I'm, is a flow state you have to get into to fly these things. Did, yeah, yeah, definitely. Did you do you uh, did you build them or are you? No, I well, you know that I'm making yeah. all that up. That I made all did, that up. The DJI Digis. Yeah, the FPVs. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that I made all that up, Scott? No, I didn't. I actually started. I, I, that's what I. That's why I thought I'd tell you. Yeah, I, I just made all that shit up entirely. There's a there's a pilot that I watch. Um, oh God, what's his name? Uh, he's got a he's got his own line in um, in drones. He makes it. He makes his own drones and that. And uh, what's his freaking name? I love I love FPV drone. I wanted to get one myself. I've got a uh, crazy. I've got, I, I, I just I can't even imagine. I was when I was younger, I was really into skateboards, and we had the kind of skateboard park that was meant to kill you. I mean, it was just a big you mountain. You could ride on a skateboard. What's that? No, I rode them actually, and was able to do a lot of fucking. Did you sit on them and scoot down the hill? It, you're just a little bit fucking tired this morning, aren't you, Fuck State? <laughs> so the. Um, no, nah, I mean the skateboards that we had fucking originally started out damn near like skates that you took the fucking wheels off and put them on a piece of wood. I mean, I literally had my first skateboard. But you uh, said my, my dad made and you know, was routed out with my name on it. It was really fucking crazy. But um, no, the uh, the drone thing is what's really you know. I mean, it's fantastic to be on the nose of a drone going freaking 80 miles an hour. And then when you're, you know. Drones can lift you that high? Yeah, actually. That's a powerful drone. I didn't it know is, the carry, man. You know, it's really cool, man. You can come along with me. You can I'll take an idiot, too. Up. <laughs> do you know, right, do you, did, did you get the, so I, I bought a drone. I ended up paying way over the odds for it because uh, because I live in Tenerife and you can't get them on the internet. You can't get anybody to deliver them. So I had to buy it from the shop here. I ended up paying <clears throat> like four times as much as I needed to. But it meant that when I was flying it, when I got up high, because it was a it it wasn't a great drone. It's a Parrot Bebop Two. Uh, yeah, I've got one of those. I actually have two of those. I have one that's a flare drone. Has it we're not sure what it. Scott does. We think that he hits storage units because he has a whole lot of stuff that. <laughs> Uh, I got uh, when, when you got the goggles on. Dream, then pay for your own. Go ahead. Sorry. When you that. got the goggles on, man. When you're flying with the goggles, just with the parrot bebop, I'm um, I'm um, I'm so. I don't know. I spent so much money on it. I was so protective of it, you know. When it's up there in the air, and when it it, I lost control of it a couple of times. It came flying down, and one of the one of the it hit a bird, blew yeah. it locked from there. <laughs> The bird hit it. it. Bird no, chased. Yeah, the it was a seagull. A seagull attacked oh, it. Seagull. Seagulls are assholes. Yeah, they don't like, like drones. A rat on the beach. But DJI, man. They have a lot of geese. That's what that is that we saw on the road yesterday, right? The geese. Those are geese. Yeah, they have a lot of geese down here. Like, and if you cool. hit them, like that's you'll get a ticket. They will literally pull your ass over and give you a ticket. If you hit them on base, your ass is going in the barracks. Boys, 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 a goose whisperer. Boys, a goose whisperer. He's got did you ruin your? Did you ruin your bebop too? Or you still have it? Um, no, it ended up. I've it, got it, a rock steady. <laughs> did anybody get that? It, it needs to be. It, it can't be flown at the moment. It needs to be fixed, and they've decon discontinued it. And it's like, man, where the I'm, fuck I'm, are you? I'm in Tenerife. Scenario. I'd almost, I'd almost sell you mine and send it over. So you had one that flew. If you have good batteries, because my batteries are fucked. That's the thing. The batteries are fucked on them now as well. Like I haven't even used them, and the batteries are blown up. The well, that's the problem. Is lack of use does that. That's mm -hmm. that's you have to keep cycling them. That's mm -hmm. you know. And DJI has smart batteries that keeps that from happening. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I aspire to get myself a DJI FPV digi digital FPV. Um, send me a thousand dollars and I'll send it to you. <laughs> Goggles and all. 
And that ain't four times over, brother. You just have to pay for shipping on top of that. Actually, I'll throw fifty into this. Nine fifty, and I'll throw fifty into the shipping Nine with the, the thousand. Um, okay, so that all has to be straightened out conceptually before we, as a species, let's say, can move forward intelligently on this front. I actually thought flow state that you would be into drones if you ever if you ever got into it, especially the FPV, the the uh, the race drones. Those are cool. I don't give a fuck. I can already tell you that now, but go ahead. <laughs> Man, I don't give a fuck about shit tonight. Like let that be known. But go ahead and say it. Moving right along, the Pope is saying mass. I should probably go over there I, um, the weekend. I think drones are cool, but I don't need an expensive new hobby. It doesn't have to be that expensive if you build your own drone. It can be a so, lot cheaper if you build your own, but okay. then you need to really get into it to you know to know what you're doing to build a decent fucking FPV drone. But um, I built enough guns when that was my hobby to know that when you build a drone for cheaper, you're immediately going to need to replace a part on it with something more expensive, right? These things are meant to crash. You're going to be replacing you parts built a lot. Guns. I used did to build guns. Yeah, the guy used to because uh, guns are. Yeah, I used to like eighty percent lowers or what? It's no, I would, I would get I would get full. Of, I didn't like I didn't mill them out of steel. I built parts and yeah, you can okay. assemble them because it like a gun is like Legos basically. There's a format they snap together. You can put. That's kind of what happens with drones, and you can print parts for them and stuff. But uh, they explode into fucking thousands of little screws. You actually, there's mats, magnet mats. Sure. If are, you have never shot a detent spring for an AR, um, a, 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 a yeah, detent. Uh, yeah, I get it. There's I'm special not. tools. There's, it's it's a whole fucking nightmare when you get into that. Um, like Shit sort starts of, exploding on you. Have you have you oh, seen? Actually. Know, do you know Actually, Mr. Steel? This is a rerun. This well, is taking it apart. It's just a bunch of pieces. You need to keep track of them, or you'll never get it back together. Do you know? Um, do you know who Mr. Steel is? The YouTuber. Sounds like uh, a porn star. He's an he's an FPV drone pilot. He, uh, I may have seen him. I watched so many of them that it's hard to say. The guy. The guy is like. He he's a he's a prodigy. He's you know he was born to be an fpv pilot there's a couple of them guys that are and you know what a lot of the skateboarders end up in fpv because they don't want to break I told you about tony hawk fpv yeah, like the, the, but uh, getting a good fpv uh pilot at a skate what's park, fpv um, stand for now that first the, person the, view yeah the the relation so you can just see it on the drone is there any anything skateboarding skiing snowboarding surfing you get an fpv i would have really liked to do that when i was like it had more enemies. <laughs> when I wanted to stalk people, that would have been better. Mr. Steel specializes in uh, like filming drift cars and stuff, drift races. Mm. Is that what he's on on YouTube, Mr. Steel? Yeah, called Mr. Steel. He's I actually a would like to have a lot. Ab, you taking off? Yep. Thanks for having me up. Uh, or thanks for coming up. Thanks for having me. Is that time in the stream? Um, I sort of intentionally don't engage with what looks like a very expensive potential new hobby. Really? To be honest with you, this FPV thing, I'm going to tell you straight up, and this is for you to uh, 007. Um, the DJI FPV, a lot of people aren't really putting the attention into these drones because they're going, Oh, it doesn't have as good a camera because it's a two access gimbal. This thing is meant to fly like a plane. None of that you means anything have a to me. And I just heard you try to offer him a great deal for nine fifty. It's no. an expensive hobby. Listen, I've your children will be taught combat skills early as age five in order to crush the competition when they fully mature. Little Deborah and Jesse need to fire a pistol with precision accuracy while drowning out the screams of the non-believers. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I found Mr. Steel. I'm going to subscribe to that. Dude, um, he is he's next level. Seriously. Flow State, here's this, the this thing. Seen all my clips. Just, this is uh, how, basically, this is how I disrupt things that I don't care about. Or if and it's I like, keep talking anyways because I really don't care about I know. Scott's immune to it. He's tired. It is, absolutely. He's so moving right along. Um, 
the antibiotics don't work on this one. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, though. I, I still got the thing. You know, to be. This one again, I mean, this one is hard to deal with. I mean, everybody gets disrupted. It is hard to deal with. <laughs> we lost, look, we lost Richie entirely. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, I told you, it's uh, so I can hard to get video. Richie tickled like that. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, we just need to hear him and see if he relates or, or competes with Sasquatch. You know, if he if your oh. laugh is audible, we need to see it. We need to hear I met, it. I met Sasquatch through Richie, actually. Mm -hmm. Then you know the Sasquatch yep. laugh. Are you trying to hide yours? Is it more? What the fuck, dude? That sounds that sounds so like out of this world to me. You met Sasquatch through Richie. That's it, it. Does it, it does seem a little bit weird? Isn't that dude. weird? That is weird. The the only, the, Richie the, only reason, the only reason that I bring this up is because you mentioned his name Sasquatch in that fucking video that I saw yesterday. The laugh video was it a laugh track? No, it was Sasquatch saying. So oh, it was short about the chick with the beard. Wait a minute. So, yeah, it's the chick with the beard. <laughs> Chick with the beard. Yeah, I love I'll, that clown I'll, clip though. It's, it's a pretty new clip. Sure. I'll, 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 I know. Ride. <laughs> She's, I love my daughter, y'all. She keeps <laughs> getting on to me because I'm wanting to scratch everything. She's like, Mom, you're going to spread it. What the fuck it's, are you scratching it, at? Like, it itches. Okay, so right, like, I'm allergic to cats. Scratching your herpes. Yeah, <laughs> look at it, y'all. Listen. Uh, Oh, what yeah, kind of person goes online and shows point. people their rash that they're scratching? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not too bad of a rash. Mind over matter. Mind yeah, over yeah, matter. Change right. your no, that's mine. Painful. Because you Change keep your fucking laundry detergent. Get some clear shit and see if that I think helps. It's a, right. I think, I think it's a I need to get clear detergent. I think it's very rational. Can we, we talk are, about hey, can we talk about yeah, the power of the words? Okay, yes, the 007, Richie. What are the words? Yeah, it's only me. The power of the words. I am. I am allergic to cats, man. You just. I bet you won't do anything about it, but complain on the internet. <laughs> Speaking of, how is Mitch? Because I have. He's all no hopped up on roast beef. It's ribot. Who's roast beef? Who's Mitch? Yours. He'd be all up on mine. Uh oh! I didn't say that. You want some of this, boy? Be honest. Did you sleep at all? I'm all hyped up on that ribeye. Come yeah, on. That's probably what it is. <laughs> uh, what's that Irish one? The corned beef, I think. I love him. It's, you should just call it's this. Just adorable. The floor, the flow state morning zoo. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Where in the fuck do you find these people? It's for you the camera. YouTube. Do you guys like entertaining uh, like ideas or theories you've possibly never heard before? Just actually chill. Like what? I mean, that's at eleven popular. hours into yeah. the stream, you're it's probably popular. not. I'm probably gonna like play clips at it and make stupid one liner okay. jokes. Well, it's you're just welcome a, to try. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. It truly is just a joke. But I was thinking, like, maybe what if the pyramids were like big? Essentially, like ant traps for humans, and then <laughs> yeah, he hasn't slept for two days. I'm just saying, you I'm never so heard confused. it. Wait a second, you're saying <sighs> that uh, let me make sure this is like okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, well, that's where all the sand yeah. came from. So, I think it was like a lipstick lesbian an incinerator, before, right? That maybe there was a next morning, I hear sound a voice, or something I around, that brought and I'm looking at people it looks into like a man thing. because it's got short hair and a beard because she had cut her long hair off and glued stubble on her face and she was there to invite me to her drag show she was performing in that night and my what it took fuck? me like a solid five seconds for my brain to make these two things come together into one reality and then i just turned around and walked away i didn't even respond it was it still so bothers you me slept with this person that night i slept with her before she had a beard <laughs> hey, i'm so confused wait a second
I don't think I, I don't <laughs> think that's sure. a good excuse, uh, Flow State. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, she grow she grew a beard after after she had sex with you. I mean, I mean, dude, I've got that much testosterone running through my blood that my oh okay oh okay yeah. that's not yeah, nice. it's, I like that. I like yeah, that. that's it, a good explanation. Yeah, thank you. Know. It's, it's science, a peer reviewed study. Science, uh, yeah. My yeah. peer, several of my peers, uh, uh, you know, on other panels, they all studied it, and they're like, "This checks out." It's super testosterone, right? <laughs> apparently, apparently, correct. So. It's that yes, correct. What carnival yeah. can we see this bitch at? Hang on, was this like I'm, real? I'm actually head? selling what? tickets. What? I, right, I was I was under the impression that she shaved her head and stuck it on her face. That is what happened. Yeah, right. boys being a vampire, and I'm being sarcastic back to him. Right, 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 right. <sighs> yeah, her hair was about as long as yours the next day. It was fucking weird. She she had a Britney Spears moment. Sorry, this yeah, happened, this she, all happened within like twelve hours, right? Like it was fucking certainly manic. All right, like, I banged her. I went to bed. I woke up the next day and I saw her. But this is a very short hard. time period. And you, like you banged her, you woke up the next day, and she. Showed but I, w I didn't stay with her. Do you no. think it was some sort of ritual she was trying to, you know, possess you with? <laughs> oh, I've had bitches try to do rituals on me, and that's that's not one of them. That's just that's just a straight girl with a butch bull dyke going through her lesbian period. I've woke up and fucking girls are sage in my room and shit. I'm like, I mean, no. this is the fastest blowjob I've ever had from. Oh, that was so that that so neat that flowed in so neatly. So yeah. flowed in nice, nice. So you had you had them sage in your room because they were trying to cleanse, cleanse, cleanse the, the fuck. Oh, They're like, I how got, the fuck do we get this dude out of here? His feet. No, it was my house. They're yeah. sage, but this one chick that I was letting live with me for a while, and she fucking came in. This was probably two in the morning. I'd been asleep for a couple hours, I guess. And all of a sudden, I woke up and thought it was. And she, oh, I'm just, I'm just sage in the house. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I've and actually had the same thing happen, except it was like I walked out into a family true. room, and she was like, like doing some sort of witch ritual, like thing, like I don't know. I have a thing. I mean, I, th I attract witchy bitches somehow. Yeah, I'm talking about you too. You know? <laughs> Sage in the room is a little bit, it's been adopted massively by the new age and everything, but it does actually have, there are benefits to sage in the room, man. Uh, I don't got, know what they are. Uh, well, it's got, there's, probably there's, a bug or two that wants to fuck out. It the energy, the it's, negative energy. What is no, wrong not just, with y'all? That's what she right. said. That's, that's it's what it just, was. But it doesn't just cleanse negative energy. It's got, uh -huh. it's actually, the smoke actually Delete. has antiseptic qualities to it. It, it was for pain. She was doing it for me because I suffer in chronic pain. My whole Scott, body. Scott, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Stage, I've never heard of staging it for that, pain, but. She was saying that the energy was bad energy in the house and that that would help you have a better, uh, you know, sense of everything and I, it was probably negative that my mind was negative at the point so i, I that's what she was doing it for she said so i mean dude i, I personally either I, that i, I she got picked up out of bed by a ghost and didn't want to tell you that might have been it dude that chick woke me up with some crazy battles or so. she was yeah she might have been trying to get trying to freak you out into thinking there was a ghost here she, she could get you out of the house because you remember a little bitch crying about it fuck him I had to throw that in there. I fucking hate that guy. Anyway. I just told you the same fucking oh, chick was... Is this the same story with the chicks about the fast blowjob? No, Pop-Tart. The, the chick with the fast blowjob was a doppelganger with that. Shut up, nerd! The fast blowjob, I'm telling you, it was from the time I met her, from the front door, she was already naked, to the moment I slipped it in her mouth. That was 30 seconds. <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> Bless it. Bless it. That was quick, man. Anybody who's got a quicker draw Bro, on that one, let me know. No one has a worse story than that right now to break up the beautiful sound of nature and birds happening around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I found a worse sound. Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna delete that one though, because I'm deleting Tarek from being relevant. Boop. Oh, and if, nice. I just, if I ever change my mind and want it back, um, that's how he laughs all the time anywhere. So it will be easy to find. Flow state. The only problem with deleting Tarek because of relevancy is you don't get to do that. He did it himself. That's true. Huh. huh. That's deep. That was deep. That was like the deepest shallow shit. <laughs> hey, that's like a like profound platitude actually which scott is our 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 local platitude expert resource i'll take that that's what she said and she did well you know if we're talking about the gorilla then it wasn't willingly but hey Shut the fuck up, retards. Okay, so if you want a, uh, a slightly longer break, I, I have this um, video, you know, um, ready for you. Um, I, I think I think you might know it. I think you, I think you're familiar with it. I don't like know shit. Whole... I had never heard shit. I didn't see. Hot shit. crazy matrix. Do you know the hot crazy matrix? I do. I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So so okay. Um, thank you for bringing us eight years ago's memes. I I do love it. I still love it. Um, it is good. I am 11 hours in and I have a, so I have a compilation video the last half hour. So probably 20 minutes from now, I'm going to start a, a video and just roll it out and let it be the outro. Um, I basically need to clear up space on my phone and I, I call it the, um, greatest hates. And it's basically 30 minutes of people talking shit about me. Uh, Before that gets done, just want to say thank you for having me up, and thank you guys for your time. Uh, for sure. And uh, I got to get going, but thanks. Later. Absolutely. Thanks for coming up. Cool. So we want to see this. We I'll wanna say, see. I'm not, I we probably want to see it. Like I'm not going to lie, it's it's pretty. There's a lot of people that don't like me. Huh? Like I st Put a different one. This on. could have been the never ending project. The the thing about people not liking you, Flo, once you once you grab any relevancy at all, you're gonna find equal parts lovers and haters. You're gonna find people that are on your side oh, and I know. Find people that yeah. oppose you. No, I, I appreciate it. Um hate watchers are the most loyal watchers. And they're sometimes the most valuable watchers because they end up being the ones that talk the most about you. Mm -hmm. Get the most publicity from them. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why they say, my, my father was a marketing genius. He used to say this all the time. Good press or bad press. Any press is good press. Because if they're talking about that you. That was not your fucking dad, Scott. He said, I'm not saying this I was call his bullshit on it. I think, I think I'm he's not saying he fucking catch up. Fucking low vibration pieces of shit. No news is bad news. I'm not saying he originated the statement. He probably wasn't old enough. But the no point news being, is bad news, man. Obviously, Scott. Thank you for blessing us with the platitude that. Yes, I mean I, I know I. You're right. You're but you're right, Scott. That's why I do things on purpose to. I'm hoping I to reach somebody like Jack, who's literally after everybody that hates on him. Nobody has reached Jack ever on anything, ever. It just literally is if he could parlay that into some relevance, then he don't would say literally. actually. Could. Just literally. Don't say. <laughs> Thank you, boy. <laughs> For real, if he could fucking parlay that into some, you know actionable oh, jesus christ I, I there's so many people that he's attracted for that reason alone he could he could monetize it he could literally figure it out <laughs> literally oh there you Boy. Did it. this is a good time to remind people that close yeah. to how many one dollar memberships you can pay to have kick people kicked off panel or muted in the chat there's a fee schedule in the description box tired of hearing little literally it's literally only five dollars to get rid of Scott for five minutes, and then of course, uh, Bolt gets discounts. 
This morning I'm four dollars. People put in four dollars. No, I don't. No, no, no. Bulk gets discounts, not because you're bulky, but because like if they buy <laughs> half an hour. <coughs> I don't normally put somebody on sale sale until like they're really fucking annoying me. Oh, like Tarek. Sarah's the last one I did it to. <laughs> And the minute, the minute I, I said Sarah's half price for the next half hour, and the minute I changed, her, knocked her down, she just left the stream. <laughs> I was feeling special when I was the only one discounted. I thought, I thought, I thought I she like, left the stream because I joined. But you know, I no, know. no, she. I mean, I I assume it's because I had literally just put her on. She might be only the second person I've ever done that to. No, it's not. I've done it to Smith. I've done it to a handful of people. I don't know, Sarah. I don't know these people. I don't think I'm Sarah. Sure. See, and Sarah's the perfect sort of person, like, and Scott too. Like, I like them both, but they can both just like get on my fucking under my skin. Guys, I've got to hop off here. I've got to go get the tires changed with my daughter. So I will. If if you guys are still on when I get back, then I might hop back in. If not, I'll I'll recap it and see all that I've missed, and then I'll well, be back home tonight. Car, if you find a rental car that's the same tire size. Might be a cheaper option for you. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. They already scheduled it. She's so from, we're going to do that. She's in yeah. Florida. Like they don't know about it. Where no, in they're Florida not in are Florida. You? She's in Jacksonville in North Carolina. Oh. There's a Jacksonville, North Carolina. Yeah, five hours, five and a half hours flow. I don't think they quite put you in Florida. It might put you in Florida from here. You think but I listen I'm, to you tell me how long the drive is that you have to go? Yeah, it's five and a half hours. So I'm leaving today at like two. Two two thirty, and then I'll be home tonight. For like, if you stream tonight, I'll be back home by then. Yeah, I'm not going to stream tonight. I can already I can already tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? I could I could totally see that. I'm not stream tonight. I'm not stream tonight. It just depends because I was sick last night, like over the night, like last night into this morning. I was throwing up. I don't know what is wrong with me or what the hell is going on, but I was sick. Yeah. If you want to know what's wrong with you, I mean, just go online and I mean, there's many people that will tell you everybody what's wrong with you. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, no, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> where's yeah, Resto I I at? Resto, are you still here? So something fucking. Thank you for the uh, the five dollar super chat. I don't even know when That's this good. was because I did I fucked up my stream yard somehow and it doesn't auto star my donations, which is obnoxious. Um, he said, I don't know what happened, but mute whoever is annoying. Who do you think that he was talking about? <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Right on. Thank you, Resto. Um, hey, Scott, who do you think he meant? <laughs> not watching, but I'm sure it was uh, not me. I don't know what happened to M. She put, oh, wait, she had to go. <laughs> I really wasn't listening to this shit. Scott, <laughs> uh, 15. But you know what? Thanks for coming up. I'm probably going to start that thing soon anyway, so by the time you get up, you can get down. Do you guys have any final thoughts? Voy, Richie, give us some brilliance. It was it was great to, uh, to see Richie uh, in, in this um, alley of the streets. So uh, I'd like to finish with that. It's so a worldwide, uh, worldwide right here, representing three continents, three continents on one stage. I'm gonna sign off as well. I'll let you uh, thanks for coming up. That thanks, fucking, man. I want to re like you, the mic drop. I don't know if I'm the only one who got the mic drop that you made earlier, but it's fucking on point. I think. I mean, I think that that's it. That I think you that you. Congratulations, you graduated to. <laughs> to exactly what I think is going on. Thanks for coming up. See you later, man. See you later, peeps. Thank you. Yes, Bye. Sir. Okay, this is officially the longest stream I've ever done that I was awake for. I have done one longer, technically on my channel, but I wasn't. I was asleep for ten out of the twelve hours of it. Um, I have been a lazy ass. I've been a poor businessman this stream. Um, so I'm going to do one final pitch. $1 memberships, buy one for yourself, buy one for a friend. 
um, buy 10 for friend, make it rain in the chat. You can see who's lurking and you get a flyover. If you haven't seen the flyover clip, that is there. Um, I am, most of you probably were here like a, sec, a minute ago when I said it, but I did upload a little montage that I'll play for an exit thing just for shits and giggles. I got a kick out of it. Most of you will know most of the people in it. Um, and so you'll get a kick out of it too, I'm sure. Actually, I anticipate that I'll have... I bet I've got 80 viewers. I'll bet... That's what I'm going to get. I bet that, that by the time the clip ends, there's 80 people watching. I bet it goes up. All right. Let me get that for you losers. Oh, shoot. Lou, saving the day with the first um, the f 11 hours, 10 minutes, and 45 seconds in. Um, oh, and for the record, any, if anybody was around the other day when um, I did, I accidentally, well, and I sped up that clip and said, yeah, you should, you should do a faster one because the, the song sounded cool, sped up to 1.5 speed. I'm working on that. I, uh, it's, it needs more. When you speed it up that fast, it sounds cool just for a second. But then, like, I don't know. So I'm making another one that sort of builds on this one, and it will have the music at five times speed, but it wasn't, it didn't end up being as simple as I thought it would be because the simple solution didn't turn out really as well as I thought it would. I'm just rambling now. I need to shut the fuck up. I need to shut the fuck up and let all of these people do the talking. Transmutation at its finest. You know, flow state something else. Right? Flow state, ho state, whatever the state you are. Ho state, no state, damned hellbound fate. Do you have a magnet for, like, lunatics? Some frat boy douche with an earring who wants all the time, energy, attention, and resources because he's got an earring, you know, and he's got that frat boy douchey college vibe that you all love so much at the sports bars. You know, he wears his hat backwards and makes little quips, so he's cool to hang out with. A lawless, dishonorable, bad faith, unethical scum. Fuck you, Flow State, you fucking piece of shit, white knight and motherfucking bitch ass made motherfucker. You grifting fucktard. Faggot, white trash, Missouri motherfucker. You white trash piece of shit. Flow State, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, man. You're sus to me, bro. I don't know what's going on there. Flow State, you're so fucking retarded. Chain smoking cigarettes in a hall. Flow is using Snaps and others as their person, knowing how you feel about them to get him money. And he's okay with grifting your money. All you fuck tarts who want to donate to his bitch ass. Right. And Flow State's absolutely in for the fucking money. One million trillion billion percent. He's a fucking grifting fuck. But Flow, I see your white knighting and the words you're using to protect these bitches who claim people online give them fuck. So, you know what, Flow, go fucking yeah, suck some balls, you grifting fuck. He's so low value and low worth that his value is a dollar. He's one of the most narcissistic, devious pieces of shit I've seen on here. And it's exactly the archetype of Lucifer they talk about in scripture. A meth head addict, low life, who's been living his whole life grifting, deceiving, defrauding, defalcating. Peaked in high school, he's going to go in your DM and expect him to take his shirt off and you to take your pants off and get whatever he wants and go on with his life and lie to the wife. It's a little flow state. The monograph optics are high. We know what you're about, flow. You fucking dope head fucking grifting fuck. 
someone like Flow State is going to be power hungry and controlling and want to be egoic and build up his ego. He's making his grift money. The fuck you, Flow, you cunt, little bitch ass flower made piece of shit. Smoking meth. I didn't meth know Flo, uh, supported Monograph. Smoking though. meth, probably. He's like, you know, he's a fucking meth head. Look at him. Little ho state fucking white knighting for some weaponized bitches. Flo, you're such a fucking clown, dude. Everyone sees that you're fucking in this for the money on YouTube. Everyone who sees it, like, whether or not you're getting the views or not, entertainment sales, we know this, but you're such a fucking joke and a clown. But in post date, fucking, I see you and Cruz watching your bitch ass now. And Flo, you fucking grifting piece of fuck. We all see it. The self proclaimed drama, uh, drama whore slash slut. I can't remember. He's, which he's white knighting for these bitches. I see what you're trying to do, Flo, you fucking piece of shit. Now, now I saw why he clipped your video and what he did with it. Uh, he's white knighting for these weaponized hoes. White knight and Flo is part of the Me Too movement now. And he's a grifting fat fuck. He's a grifter. Flo's a fucking straight grifting fuck, if you don't know. I mean, as simple as that. But fuck you, Flo. Flo's white knight and saying he's using key words like attack women. Flo. Fucking suck my balls, you white knight and piece of shit, grifting fuck. Low state, you pogo fuck. Go ahead. But he's a sellout fucking clown making accusations. Like I'm no huge fan of uh, Flow State, but he does seem to be making some progress here lately. You ain't shit, and you come online and pretend like you're somebody, and then you had the nerve yesterday to say the one thing we could learn about on your channel is how to get women. You are the narcissistic, <laughs> egoic freak. Flow State gets all the girls. Can you put that comment up? I have more women on my panels than most places, I would say. Yeah, uh, I noticed that, too. I noticed that, too. Somebody is going to be hating tomorrow. It's always mm -hmm. your butt hurt. Your show has has a lot of, is like a pussy magnet somehow. Somebody's oh, that's like, okay. There's somebody, somebody's going to be hating tomorrow. There's always some butt hurt never been anywhere, never done nothing, got a goofy bitch next to you, and you're going to go on a talking with famous people broadcast and tell us how to get women. You asked, why are you here? Chaos and controversy. And then when he didn't get that, he's bored. And he's, he's being mischievous. And this is the personality trait of those infidels that go around thinking that they can hate on somebody and entice them, try to tempt them like a devil. You ain't shit, bitch. The reason I said chumming him along, Flo State, is because that's how I see it. You know, you chum the waters for the sharks to come around. Right, right. Where in the fuck do you find these people? Jesus. This is just the rantings of a fucking psychopath. Cuck beta male. Just the broken, monotone, desperate uh, appeal to try to seem like somebody online. He had the balls to do a broadcast with people called Talking with Famous People. He was the famous person, okay? If you go into these people fucking background, Jack Talcott, and you look at who they've been for the last five and six years, it's narcissist central. The levels of personality disorder, lack of self-awareness, and complete dysfunction. All while having a methamphetamine habit, by the way. Fascinating. You can sit there and deal with stupidity in a way that I can't. Thank you. I think you live in a fear state, not a flow state. I'm flow state. No, you're not. You're fear state because you don't want to give up your false strength egoic presentment. That's a fool. Fool state. So we have fear state and full state. There's definitely no flow state and there's definitely no faith state. And he yells out, I don't give a fuck about truth. We know you're here for the next $5 for the drama fest grifting off my audience. I kind of want to bitch out and yell at Flow, Flow State over here. He's All right, go ahead and fucking, do that, sir. Uh, get to that. Little fucking bitch, dude. Like, he's an undercover, like, hater or something. You know? Say that over again. I got road noise. I got to hold the phone up to my ear. He's probably a little bit jealous, Brian O'Shea. A lot of people are, so don't, you know, take yeah, that Yeah, that's much. all it is. That's all it is. And he's handsome, O'Shea, too. say it again. I didn't hear it. I said I'm going through a bisexual stage, and I might want to suck your cock. You're really handsome. All right, no, 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 no. You a Care Bear, you in Flow State, y'all soft. That's you too soft, man. No, 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 no,
Did you see Flo State on my show the other day? Yes, I did, sir. Yes, we Chad, all did. Chad loved Flo State. You're acting like you love Flow State. Great stuff. Oh, I really do love Flow State. Have you seen okay. his his appearance on my channel? He's box office. Dirty hat, Missouri blue collar workers. Well, he's another one who says that he's all about the education and enlightenment, Mr. Flow State, right? But every other comment is about like snorting powder. Yeah, I got to give it to Flow State. He's one of the better manipulators I've met on here. Pretty good at what he does. He's one of the better ones, right? He knows how to play the back position, stay quiet, observe the dynamics, play people against each other, uh, drop things into conversation to uh, skew your perspective without making it seem he's doing it directly. You know, he's pretty good at what he does. Fuck you, Flo, you cunt, little bitch ass flower made piece of shit. Someone like Flow State is going to be power hungry and controlling and want to be egoic and build up his ego. He's an infidel scum. We wouldn't fuck him with your dick. He's got no discernment, no character, and no money on top of it. Where uh, So here comes the smoking. Looks like he has sunglasses on. Uh, I think this live stream was at night. He's got sunglasses on on top of his hat. What, what is with this guy? What's with this guy? <laughs> What's with this guy? Is that a part of an encyclopedia collection of books or those Reader's Digest behind you. I don't think you read anything, dude. Got to have your books on a shelf behind you. Try to make you look smart, right? My books, my books make me look smart. Do they really make you look smart? Or when you open your mouth, do you sound dumb? So this guy running this live stream, Flow State, is asking for money to kick someone off the panel. You can donate money to him to kick someone off here. You want to talk about stupidity? Stupidity, Jerry Springer show shit, and uh, degeneracy. It's right here. This flow state genius. Obviously, he must be a genius, right? He's calling me a motherfucker. Well, I do have a reason, dummy. Dummy, your IQ isn't even close to 100. You've got problems in seeing. You're emotional. You react emotionally to the truth. You've got issues. While you keep sitting there projecting, hate on me in your jealous, envious ways, your attitude prevents you, your arrogance. You've actually, you know what? Damn it, Flo, you're so frustrating because you offer a lot of good. And yet, this is, I don't, I don't, this is unhelpful, dude. He's just very angry. He's using her belief system against her while also throwing an effie tantrum like a child. Bitch ass slave. He's such a drug addict still. He can't even get on camera without looking creepy and blinking and I, having his eyes go all over the room. He's so bizarre. I These are bizarre, that. sick, twisted people. I give Ho State credit. He's so narcissistic and egoic and prideful and calculated. He'll watch consistently, but he'll never type and he'll never come up. I respect him more than everyone else because he'll at least lie, cheat, deceive pretty well. Yep. He'll at least hate pretty well. He'll at least keep up the appearance that he's busy and interesting and has shit going on. I know that's even that's ridiculous, but some appearance of it, right? Because he'll be here. He knows everything I've said, everything I've done. He consistently reveals that, but then says, I don't watch. So he won't type. You'll never see him. He won't come up here. He'll watch consistently. And I don't believe he uses alts. I must say that I'll salute to Flo State. <laughs> salute. Uh, yeah, he's that. very. You're, if you're gonna do it, be yeah. like him and do, and at least do it somewhat. You know, good. Be calculated, strategic. Be egoic and prideful. Don't show up places. Pretend other people are constantly talking about you and need you in order to promote. So you could build a viewership of hate who support you based on not liking me and realizing that you're their power base, right? Or the other way around. So it's great. What he's been doing, I really support that. He's 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 really good at what he does, like the political manipulations, deceptions, stratagem. He at least like excites me a little bit. Because I go, he's got some discernment. You could look in his eyes and tell he's a predatory scum. Those yeah. are the guys I like to to play with and compete with. Because he'll give you a little bit of a run for your money. Right. If you're going to do this shit, at least get good at being an infidel, manipulative, deceptive, worldly, cultural scum predator.
Just get good at it. You notice how all the middle-aged women have cozied up to flow state? He's so good at it. <laughs> he really is. I got to give it to him. All the most broken, seriously, watch for it. All the most broken, confused, lost, and or unattractive physically women who are past their, their mating time have all cozied up to him. He's their best friend ever. That's how you know a narcissist, egotist. But yeah. host a, he's great at what he does. Makes you feel like you're just one of the boys. You and him are buddy, buddy, and friends. And it's all just to take advantage of you and use you and have him have him get the genuflection that he's a ladies' man like the videos he was making. He's using you. He's playing on yeah. you, pimping on you. But at oh, least yeah. he's somewhat good at it. Makes it all seem like it's just an organic idea that like I'm the reason for all the stuff having to happen over there because I was so bad and wrong and wouldn't let anyone talk. He's such a great guy for one dollar a month. They clip this all out and use it for your next promotion because you know what I'm flow state will sit right now somewhere at work listening, giggling to himself. Yeah. He's one of those guys. Like, like he knows I know. He knows he's never gonna tell anyone completely. He'll allude to it with certain jokes as a coping mechanism. He'll reveal if you watch how he jokes. Every time he jokes, that's really what's going on. You don't know that. You don't see that. So, you know, again, he'll always reveal who and what he is through the coping mechanism of humor. And then he'll always get plausible deniability to say, oh, that's not really who and what I am. That was just a joke. While claiming that every time I do a bit non bit, it's really who and what I am. And there's no joke to it. Do you see the hypocrisy? I know you're stupid. And you think that you can just get into power and just kill everybody. His channel is Nazi friendly. Fucking flow, the piece of shit. Fraud state. Host state has admitted many times he's a self interested, self indulgent person. Anything he does on here is going to be for his own gain, his own benefit, his own profit, and his own fixation, compulsion, and impulses. He's not interested in truth, good faith, or honorability. That's a host state, slow state, low state. They don't respect you, they don't admire you, you don't inspire them. As a matter of fact, you dry them up. They can't even get wet for you no more, presuming they ever could. Uh, by flow state. <laughs> Faggot! I'm a self-indulgent, lustful, selfish, worldly narcissist. Flow state's an ignorant piece of shit. Hey, I would rather not have a uh, slow state here. I'm not going to have him coming around here because he's purposely trying to promote his shitty channel and panel indirectly. He's got a lot to say over there, you know, everywhere but in my face. I'm just going to prefer that he not be seen and heard anywhere where he's not given quarter. He's a rather boring character. Fairly stupid as well. Um, last night, he invited me up on his panel, so I sat down in his chat for 45 minutes, and he wouldn't let me up. I'll have this, like, lust for power and control on their shitty panel with 30 people watching. And then they want to do the rounds midday while they're at their slave job trying to promote with at slow state as his name. He's not an interesting, informative character. You're a disingenuous well, fake bitch, and I don't want to look at you or listen to you. Yeah, and he's a straight-up liar. He knows it. And it, you can watch it in his rhetoric. Go to his show and watch. When people tell him, present him information and tell him to look it up, he says, no, I'm not going to do that. That's the perfect epitome of ignorance and mischievous. He knows he knows there's more information out there. People offer it up. No, I'm not going to do that. He is a he is a narcissist just like Jack. He thinks he already knows everything. He's around projecting the false claims that he makes and says that he's not lying when he is, and you know he is. A disingenuous bullshitter. Slow state is a pathetic, creeping, crawling creature in the background, shape-shifting up front. Um, he's a joke. <laughs> if you had any self-respect or dignity, you'd stay far away from a creature like that, just as I and many others do. If you ask slow state on the internet, he's a ladies' man. Slow state's voice made her literally have a have a, a gag reflex reaction. Do you are you sure she didn't slip off in the bedroom and masturbate to their voice? Slow state, he knows that he's an evil motherfucker and he knows other people are evil too. And he will cast doubt upon the dark sides of himself and others in order to use other evil dark people to get something right. he and wants. This, this, uh, with flow state and others, they're fucking more of the demonic, they know what the fuck type, manipulative type. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They're people that will say, Flow state, you're so desperate for clout and views. Fuck these cupcakes. Your white trash piece of shit that thinks because I'm dishonorable. That too, yeah.
That's why you're more concerned with money to get me kicked off your panel than me getting money for this homeless motherfucker to get his job back or yeah. playing little games for you to just play that card. Cause you're mad. I'm calling you out for being a little man- millennial punk right now. That doesn't make you a narcissist or me. It makes you a fucking bitch. <laughs> Welcome back. Faggot. You a fucking liar. Are you talking while I'm talking? Faggot calling your punk millennial ass a faggot. You're a Missouri white trash blue collar motherfucker that can't stand on intelligence. You need to learn when to get the fuck out of the way. You've had a fucking court ordered psych evaluation, you fucking felon. Talking over me like we (laughs) all don't like. Faggot. Flo does have a lot of control, I've noticed, which is good. I I do admire the. uh, No, he doesn't have control. He's a game plan dickhead. Flo Sith. You're That's your, your petty, way. godless ass trying to play things. I don't have the time for your white trash yoke ass. You no, want to just stand on your little right petty now. bullshit. So here's this dipshit. If if you can, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he has no grasp of reality. Like fail state. Flow state. Please not float with my chocolate goddess. Okay. Flow state content is he he walks around and he tells black black people to get their shit together. Black men treat black women better. Because the white man will snatch her up. Flow yeah. State's one of the least creepy people in this community. I get creep vibes from a lot of people, but I've never got that vibe from him. Let me give him some credit. He's so strategically narcissistic and egoic and savvy. <laughs> He will, he will specifically stay away from me in order to avoid me feeling like he's validated me in any way or what I've said. You saw Host State admitting about his chapter and being part of the Proud Boys today, right? Just Proud Boy is fucking involved in some optics, Mr. Host State. I, now we got Host State admitting he's a uh, Fed tied, Proud Boy chapter tied. And we have Host State, all tied to supposed federal agent groups, uh, con men, frauds, dupes, uh, detractors. Proud State! You oh can, I'm God. not coming on your stupid shit show. Talking Fuck about you. Yeah, leave me Fuck you. His assertive confidence. Um, usually you see has slow no- state as assertive and confident? Yes. What do you think about all the effeminate beta males who, by the way, his name is Taylor. That's how I know you got the spirit of your mama. Your mama mm-hmm. named you. So I know she ran that house. Okay. Number two. When you turn to the side, you got a little black, tiny little black earring in your ear because you like came up under your mama watching her put earrings on and you think that shit's cute and pretty for a man to wear little black earrings and you ain't even pimping and playing like that. It'd be one thing if you were playing like that, if you were keeping it 100% player and you wanted to fucking throw some diamonds on to really stun on people, you ain't that guy. All you are is a broken, emasculated, beta male with your mama's spirit and you like to be pretty and cute and dress up like her too and you got your mama's name taylor <laughs> taylor is way more dangerous <sighs> uh, way more and you ain't got no uh, value within your word bitch boy I'm being nice, allowing him in the chat because he, <laughs> he, knows, he knows he's not welcome. Like, why are you even here? See now, Go now on. you guys, un- now you guys understand when I say he's not my brother. See, see how it works. We are <laughs> tribal people. Do you understand? See, all I want to know is who here saw Flow State's fat ass last night? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? No. <laughs> oh man. Well, oh, there's no. a. Flow. Out, <laughs> no. How was that? How Mimi, was that for you? Yeah, Mimi, you were there. <laughs> I was not. You were talking <laughs> to me about it. My thumb is cracked. All right, I'm not a gossiper. I didn't screenshot it, okay? But it was. It came out. Flo State, you got the women of Unsavia checking out your uh, rear end, buddy. Looking good, bud. Not see, you know. I mean, it showed up quite a bit on the stream. Is it hairy? <laughs> it's big, man. It's that's, that's, I am I am banning this from like we don't need to hear about it. I don't even know why you were over there. Like just come on. Come on. Gotta do it. I'm on I'm ashamed. it. 
<laughs> I'm ashamed for you, Brielle. This is just me. Good. Was it Kelly or? But Kelly was there, so maybe like, oh, is she? Like I, I don't even have the like the channel, so like, but I. No worries. It's um, we don't need to. Mm -hmm. Ever yeah. ask to visit this? <laughs> Shameful. Hang on. Hey. Hey, Wizard, what do you think about Slow State now asking women on panel if he can inseminate them and that he's open? Is his partner okay with that? Somebody somebody should should call up Mrs. Slow State and ask her if she's okay with Slow State doing a little bit of a bit non bit on a panel, just randomly telling attractive women that he wants to inseminate them. Look at his cute little earring. Isn't that so cute? Little black diamond, Punisher I shirt from Walmart. Hilarious. Yeah, this is this is the Walmart winter collection. Backward filthy yeah. hat, cute little black earring from Walmart, cute little Punisher shirt from Walmart. That angry, goofy bitch next to you is never going to ride you around consistently. She's never going to take you where you need to go. She's never going to pick up something for you to bring home. You got girlfriends who you ain't even fucking telling you to bring them pizza. They ain't going to let you use their car, right? They ain't going to ride you around. They ain't going to look out for you because you ain't shit. You're a low-value beta male. That's the difference. You're shitting on an experience you don't have an option to have. Oh, my God. So the guy who, like, gets women just admitted that he's got bitches in his phone who only hit him up to bring him food. Do you know how much of a trick and a simp you just sounded like trying to relate to the women because you're the nice, good guy? This is a ladies' man. Always oh, there. Five yep. flow states. Sorry, go ahead. Could you, just go ahead <laughs> could you just go ahead and tell us why your personal discernment sure. is that flow state is confident and assertive and capable? Sure. He is confident on many different topics and his knowledge about many different topics. And he will say when he's not, you know, he's not an expert in it. And he is pretty damn smart when he's, when you listen to him and what he has to say about it, particularly finances. And you reveal and expose yourself how much of a direct, manipulative, strategic liar and fake you are. And people buy it because you got a monotone voice and you look like this and you just put your bullshit across with no empathy or no feeling or compunction for what you're doing because you're such a narcissistic, egoic piece of shit just like your father is. So you have no trouble lying to everybody's face, pushing false narratives, and not even thinking twice or reacting to what you're doing in the moment. This is why I tell you, all you broken bitches who say this man's attractive, forget about the looks. He may be better looking than me. That's up to you, subjective. For you to say a being like this is attractive means you're a broken hoe and have no discernment. That's a predator, ladies and gentlemen. That's someone who's projecting onto me grooming while they're grooming. Groom the woman he's with, grooming people online for his own ego and his own gratification. Bitch ass motherfucker. What a bidet? You mean the, the thing that shoots water up your ass? Absolutely. A slow well, state's the kind of guy who uses a bidet because he wants shit in his ass like 24-7 even when he's taking a shit. Right? He's like, you know, I like the action of something leaving my ass and I like the action of something going back in my ass. So, you know, he's the type to kind of like, while you shit and pull it back in and push it out, pull it back in and push it out. I don't want to get into it. The point is, did you see him yesterday? He's now, he went to the mall. He was bragging. He went to the mall and bought a $100 pair of jeans while he's unemployed. This is why nobody would, with a right mind would invest anything in your channel. Because you come on and brag that you went and spent an inordinate amount of cash for a bunch of crap and you got scammed. Just so you could show up online and look like somebody. And he had big fucking teal earrings. He got even bigger, brighter earrings in both ears to look like a bitch-ass motherfucker. Be a meth head. And never leave the house. And have gray skin. Um, and constantly coughing up phlegm. Jealous, shallow, envious, narcissistic piece of shit. And I believe you're an agent working off charges. Just snake two-faced, backbiting scum. He only cares about his channel. The clout. The ego, he don't give a fuck about truth. Flow state just get banned from your fucking chat. Oh, you better be careful, Sal. I'll give you one mistake to even say his fucking name because I fucking hate him and I'm going to go at him as hard as I go at anybody. He's a piece of shit douchebag. He's fake and shallow and I'm going to show him. Uh, Tommy, do you think flow state is handsome, like objectively? What is your thoughts on that? I'm going to give you one more time. I mean, you can say pedo, dude. Pedo, pedo, pedo. And I dare the motherfuckers and accusations to come at me. I'm going to give you one more chance not to say his stupid fucking name. What? Because <laughs> you don't want to associate <laughs> that word. You know that word is a, a way we can be. You don't have any association with that showed fucking douchebag. <laughs> he's not that word in any way. He's fake. He's shallow and he's chasing small amounts of paper on this platform and I watched him get wrecked with his typical ways 
going against that verbal combat guy, trying to copy his shtick the way Flow State has only walked around looking for stuff to copy, looking for things to act like he's the first one, looking for new things to speculate even though he knows what they are as he brings them up. Oh, I got his game on lockdown, and I'm going to show it for what it is when I get to it. He's not a high priority, but he is a fucking douchebag, and he's full of himself, and he is a narc. He is a fucking narcissist. You want to shut no. those you want to no, shut his show down in whatever he's doing. If you want to totally throw any show off the rails, go tell him he looks like that guy. Whoever it is they told him he looks like, that his dad looks like. Oh, he'll derail any situation and put a mirror up and go back to that subject. I fucking hate him, and he doesn't believe me. Nobody believes you. You don't fucking hate him stuff, Dad. I speak more truth on this panel, on these in this panel verse than anybody. I hate Paul Unslaved. I hate Jack Talcott. I hate Snafu Snaps. I hate Flow State. And I'll even say his name once for his sake because I know he loves to hear it come out in his mouth. That's why he's got so many of my clips that he plays of me saying his name. He loves it. He faps to it. He fucks his <laughs> wife to it. He says, hold up, honey. I'm about to come. Let me play some of these Tom clips saying my name. He's a joke. And I'm going to hurt him. Uh, or Slow State the other day was like, Fucking showing all bunch of stuff, man. It was like, this guy is insane. Insane, insane. Whatever. I really yeah. don't want you to do that. And uh, he's going to want to get back at you for it. Yep. Yep. He's really, really, really going to get pissed off. Uh, bet slow state and the one pay have you. Yeah, can you believe that that he actually charges people? to have topics changed or people removed from the panel. He's got a whole menu, like $20 for someone to be removed for five minutes, $50 for a topic change. And he never gets any of that because nobody cares enough and it's all boring and nobody cares to hear him speak. Yet he thinks somehow he's Antoine, that people are going to pay him 20 and $50 at a time to throw people out or have topics changed. Very strange Ooh. sense of self-awareness. Wow. That's a, uh... Interesting way to drift. I mean, grift. Well, they yeah, they stole. They they they're they're all thieving off of everyone else's model. Okay, I meant to, to just end the stream and have it ship over. I forgot to see who's streaming right now, so um, I guess I'll, I'll see if he was streaming. If you want to hang around and see about a raid, then sit tight, and we'll do that. So, and the, the reason that I am, um, this was 30 minutes long. And it, the reason it's 30 minutes long is because the file was getting so big that um, the soft, like it was crashing the software. It by no means uh, at all was close to like the end of the material. Yeah, not a lot of people up. Oh, uh, we'll hit, we'll hit CT. Hit the like if on the way out if you haven't. <laughs> 